this secret, she will hide in her heart for a lifetime. Miyazawa, will never know the truth. There was no sound from the phone for a long time. All you can hear is the breath of the other party. The feeling of panic and fear is getting stronger and stronger. Shenro bit her lip and her long nails fell into the palm of her hand. She pinched a blood stain on her palm, but she didn't feel the pain, Zi Li, why didn't you speak? Did you hear the words I just said? Ro Ro, why did you suddenly ask? After a long silence, Miyazawa finally spoke. His tone was no different than before, but Shenro felt that there was something different. She pressed down the panic that rushed up, took a deep breath, and tried to keep calm, curious, just ask. The young master's eyes are higher than the top, so that he can really take it seriously, the woman who is attentive, probably only the Miss Shen family. Talking about family history, appearance, academic qualifications and conditions in all aspects, Miss Shen Jiata can deserve the master. It's just that Miss Shen doesn't seem to like their young master. Alas, I don't know what kind of woman the younger half will be. After the maid left, Miyazawa shook the ice that hadn't melted in the glass, remembering the phone call just now, her feminine and narrow eyes narrowed her eyes, picked up the mobile phone on the table and dialed out. After the call, an extremely respectful voice came from there, Young Palace. Help me investigate one thing. Miyazawa put the cup on the table and tapped his long, white fingers gently on the table twice. After squinting for a few seconds, he whispered, I want to investigate something that happened ten years ago. Asterisk. Chiao Mianmian's black material quickly withdrew. Mo Yeji sent Mo's public relations, less than half an hour, first all the big V have deleted the forwarded black material, then, the hot search was removed, and then, many netizens found themselves banned. The black material that was making a lot of noise was disappearing without a trace. The speed is so fast that things like the ones that came out before were just imagined by netizens. It never happened. Even related topics are banned. Some netizens found that as long as they typed words like Chiao Mian Mian, or Chiao Mian Mian Ziasen, Weibo could not post at all. Make this part of netizens can only use pinyin instead. You are missing a girlfriend, I wipe, who is like me, type Kiao Mian Mian, Weibo will not be able to post? Was it what Su Xiao did, too? Your smile looks beautiful, me too, just typed this name, and Weibo couldn't post it. At first, I thought I had a problem with the network. Seeing everyone saying this, it seems that it is not a problem with the network. I suddenly found that Jiao and Su's hot search was removed, and those big vs also deleted Weibo. Is Su's surname so powerful? Does this cost a lot of money? To be honest, you are ugly, you can't do it if you have money, you can spend money to remove the hot search but you can make all big vs delete related Weibo, this is not something you can do with money too. I also think that a Sua family does not seem to have such a big face yet. Is there any force behind the surname Zhou? Could it be that Gong Xiao was helping her? Little cute, this woman of Zhou is so powerful, Gong Xiao not only sent Weibo to help her clarify, but also helped her delete all the black material. Oh my god! Gong Xiao hasn't been so kind to any woman, is she really Gong Xiao's girlfriend? It's not black or blowing, it looks pretty, it's a fairy type, and it's the kind that hurts men when you look at it. It seems that if Gong Xiao likes her, it seems normal. A sour lemon, it's not black or blowing, it looks okay, but it's not as beautiful as a fairy. The effect of makeup plus beauty comes from the ability of Apple to take a picture of Su Yan before and it can stand the face value of Su Yan and Apple before it is really beautiful. I don't know which troublesome netizen. I turned over Chiao Mian Mian's photo album for nearly two years and really found a photo that was taken by the original camera without PS and makeup. Knock and knock, the knock on the door sounded. M.O. Yesi raised his head and said that he came in. After the office door was pushed open, Wei Zheng walked in from outside. Seeing the boss and the boss lady who are still together, his heart. In the future, 
will President Mo have to work like this? He is sure that it will not affect work efficiency? Wei Zheng walked a few steps forward, keeping a distance that was not too disgusting, and then stopped. Mr. Mo, the young lady's black material has been deleted, and related topics have also been banned. We just investigated that those who control the reviews and buy the hot search for the young lady are operated by the same naval company. That naval company is the largest in the industry. Many celebrities' comments and likes and reposts, as well as some related topics, were bought from them. I have arranged for people to investigate in the past, and I believe they will be able to check soon. Come out, who is the person behind Mrs. Blackshaw? Hey! M.O. Yesi nodded. Do I have another dinner at night? You pushed me to see if it was convenient for the day, and then changed it. Wei Zheng. He knew it must be like this. There are young ladies here, where President M.O. will be in charge of what to do or not to be entertained. Alas, beauty is wrong, beauty is wrong. Yes, President M.O., I will contact you immediately. When he meets this boss who is obsessed with falling in love and unwilling to work, what can he do besides cooperation? After M.O. Yesi finished his explanation, he raised his wrist and looked at the time, and closed the laptop, OK, it's all right for now, let's get off work. Wei Zheng responded and knew that he was a superfluous existence. He did not dare to stay suspicious and turned away. M.O. Yesi held Xiaomian Mian and said, Baby, what do you want to eat tonight? Xiaomian Mian looked at him with a smile and casually said, Eat hot pot? Do you dare to accompany me? Hearing the word hot pot, M.O. Yesi frowned slightly, but nodded and said, OK. Xiaomian Mian didn't miss his reaction at the moment, she smiled and said with a smile, Are you really going to accompany me? If you don't want to go, don't force it. I can make a date with Yolo Luo together. Not reluctant. Mo Yeji reached out and squeezed gently on her face. If you have a husband, don't always ask your friends to accompany you. I think in your heart, I'm not as important as your Lolo. In the last half of the sentence, the man said a bit bitterly. Chiao Mian Mian. Isn't it, he is, eating Zhang Luli's vinegar? He eats some men's vinegar, she can still understand. After all, there is a certain competitiveness between the same sex. But, he eats a woman's vinegar? God, this man's jealousy is getting bigger and bigger. Asterisk. Come out from Mo's. The two finally negotiated and went to eat a haircut. Mo's is in the city center, and the place to eat is also in the city center. It takes about 10 minutes by car. Just halfway through the journey, M.O. Yesi answered the phone. After hanging up the phone, he changed the driving route at an intersection. Xiaomi and Mian wondered, aren't we going to eat the recipe? How are you? Mom just called me and let us go back to dinner. M.O. Yesi turned her head to look at her and explained to her, Grandma also said she missed you and wanted to see you. In a few days you will have to go to the field to film and wait for you to come back. It is estimated that it will be a long time before you leave before, I should go and see them. Xiaomi and Mian also missed the old lady a little. But when she thought of Mrs. Mo, she was not in a good mood. She believed that the old lady really missed her. As for Mrs. Mo, I don't think I want to see her very much. Then shall we go empty-handed like this? Xiaomi and Mian was a little embarrassed. Last time I passed, your mother, no, it was mom and grandma who gave me such a precious gift. I just went empty-handed like that. Not great. It's all a family. There are so many places to pay attention. As long as you go, they will be very happy. Besides, there is nothing missing at home. But I still think I should buy something. Finally, under her insistence, M.O. Yesi accompanied her to visit the shopping mall. At the suggestion of M.O. Yesi, she bought a silk scarf for the old lady and Mrs. M.O. The teller packed the gifts, and the two came out of the mall. After getting in the car, Chiao Mian Mian was still hesitating, would you like to buy something more, just a silk scarf, 
wouldn't it be too casual? In fact, scarves are not cheap. One is 70,000 to 80,000, which is definitely a very expensive gift for Xiaomi and Mian. But it was only for her. For people of the same status as the old lady and Mrs. Mo, tens of thousands of gifts are similar in nature to those bought in the Ten Yuan store. However, she can't afford to buy something particularly expensive. Mrs. Mo gave her bracelets, tens of millions. The old shop that the old lady gave her had hundreds of millions. If she wants to give the same gift, she can't afford it. No. Mo Yesi reached out and touched her head, and said softly, As long as the heart has come, I've said that mom and grandma don't lack anything. If you give them any precious things, they also not uncommon. What's strange is not the gift, but the person who gave it. Okay, stop tangling. You still don't believe your husband's words, eh? Not. Xiaomi and Mian pursed her lips and whispered, I just think that compared with the gift they gave me, I am, too maddened. The two of them are my mother-in-law and one is my grandma. I have lived with them for more than twenty years. Baby, I know them better than you. I said they would like it, they would definitely like. It's true to listen to your husband. Okay. He said so, and Xiaomi and Mian no longer struggled. She nodded, anyway, this is what you said, not me stingy. Mo Yesi smiled lowly, his beautiful face came close, and the tip of her nose gently touched the tip of her nose, well, I said. Rest assured, your husband is responsible for all consequences. Asterisk. An hour later, arrived at Mazai. After getting off the bus, Zhang Bo waited to meet them. Second young master, second young lady. Zhang Bo greeted respectfully, dinner is ready, and the wife and old lady are waiting for you. Mo Yesi nodded and led Xiaomi and Mian forward, how are your wife and old lady in health these days? Zhang Bo followed behind and congratulated him, Mrs. and the old lady are as healthy as before. Well, my eldest brother and I are usually not at home. You spend a lot of money and take care of them. Yes, these are what I should do. The young master is back today. I will be talking with my wife and old lady in the living room. Mo Yeji stepped, turned his head, and raised his brow, brother is back. Okay. As soon as the voice fell, Mo Yesi felt the soft little hand in his palm tighten, and then squeezed his hand. He looked down at him facing a pair of gleaming black eyes, and the little woman beside him was looking at him brightly with excitement and excitement in his eyes. There is, a little bit of tension. Your elder brother. Big brother is back. Xiaomi and Mian was so excited when he heard Zhang Bo say that Mo Xiu had come back. God. Then she can see Mo Shixiu later? The candidate for the future president. Think about it, I feel so excited. She had only seen this person on TV and some pictures before. At that time, she felt that a person like Mo Shixia was too far away from her. Far away, she probably had no chance to see herself in her life. I didn't expect. Suddenly, she became Mo Shixia's younger sister. People who have never been able to meet in a lifetime have become a family with her. Now, she can see herself immediately. Although Xiaomi and Mian is not as exaggerated as Zhang Luli, he regarded Mo Shixiu as a male god, and various kinds of worship, but for a little fart like her, it is enough to be able to see Moxiu Xiu for a long time. Mo Shixiu is not her male god. However, which girl can still maintain a calm and calm mood when she is about to see the next presidential candidate? Her eyes were full of excitement and excitement and she could very much look forward to the upcoming meeting. Mo Yesi looked at it, and it tasted a bit. Well. He responded lightly, eating in his heart, but the surface didn't show at all. Mo Yesi, I'm a little nervous. Walking outside the gate of the main house and looking at the bright lights in the hall, Xiaomi and Mian stepped in and squeezed the palm of Mo Yesi. I don't know what kind of person Mo Shixia was. In daily life, 
will it be as serious as it is on TV and not easy to get along with? What's so nervous? Mo Yesi laughed, you haven't seen mom and grandma? As for your elder brother, you don't have to be afraid of him. He looks serious on the surface, but it's not a difficult one. People. I know. Xiaomian Mian took a deep breath. But I'm still a little nervous. Brother. Does he know about your marriage? Of course I know. Then, what did he say? Hey. Mo Yesi frowned lightly, then tasted again, could not help asking, do you care much about your brother's opinion? Chiao Mian Mian's lips moved, and when he was about to return to him, he glanced at the man's wrinkled brow, and when he had reached his mouth, he silently swallowed back. Is he, jealous again? She didn't know what to do with this man who would eat vinegar indiscriminately. He eats the vinegar of her girlfriend, the vinegar of his assistant, and the vinegar of his brother. Suddenly she was thinking, if they have a baby in the future, will he eat his baby's vinegar? No, I just ask. Mo Yesi stared at her for a few seconds with his eyebrows twisted, holding her to continue walking towards the room, and whispered while walking, Big Brother has the same personality as me and will not intervene in other people's affairs. S wife is a woman I like. What can he think of you? Of course he is willing to accept you brother and sister. When he talked about the word brother and sister, he deliberately increased his tone. It seems to emphasize something. Chiao Mian Mian who noticed this. Mo Yesi this childish man. He is enough. Asterisk. The old lady, the wife, the young master, the second young master and the young lady are back. Entering the hall, Chiao Mian Mian saw the old lady sitting on the sofa in the middle of the hall. The old lady was sitting on a sofa next to him, and Mrs. Mo was sitting. On the other side of the sofa, there is a man in a white shirt and black trousers with a pair of gold glasses on the bridge of his nose. Chiao Mian Mian was repaired when he saw ink on TV. So I recognized at a glance that the man was Mo Shixiu. There is a difference between television and reality. Mo Shixiu on TV is already very beautiful. In reality, he is much better than on TV. Like Mo Yesi, his facial features are very deep and three-dimensional, and his skin is very fair. Even if he is sitting, he can see from the long legs that are elegantly overlapped, he is at least 1.8 meters tall. Mo Yesi and Mo Shixiu are somewhat similar, but not very similar. If you look closely, you can see that Mo Yesi's facial features are more like Madame Mo's, while Mo Shixiu's eyes are more like Madame Mo's eyes, and other parts are not much like it. It is estimated that one of the two brothers is more like a mother and one more like a father. Mo Shixiu was young, only three years older than Mo Yesi. But this three year old gap makes the difference between the brothers still a bit more. Mo Shixiu looked older than his actual age. It's not that he is old but that his temperament is calm and restrained. In addition, he wears a pair of glasses and is very gentle. He really feels like an old cotter. Seeing him, Chiao Mian Mian remembered a former class teacher. That was the head teacher she was most afraid of. Suddenly, she felt that she was dominated by a certain sense of fear she had experienced in her childhood and was so nervous that she grasped Mo Yesi's hand. Oh! My dear granddaughter-in-law finally came. The old lady saw Chiao Mian Mian, and a flower on her happy face was about to laugh, and she smiled and waved at her, come and let grandma take a good look, but grandma wants to die. The old lady's enthusiasm slightly relieved the tension and fear in Chiao Mian Mian's heart. But she was still a little nervous and scared. Mo Yesi felt it, soothingly squeezed her palm, and led her slowly over. Just as she approached, the old lady held out her hand and pulled Chiao Mian Mian in front of her, patted her hand and patted it intimately, hungry or hungry, is there anything you want to eat? Grandma will let someone go immediately do it for you. Chiao Mian Mian was very moved by the old lady's humiliation. She opened her mouth and just about to speak, she heard a chuckle from the side, Grandma, I haven't seen your old man so excited when I came back. 
Your granddaughter is more important than your grandson. The man's voice is a nice subwoofer voice, it sounds like a gentle and gentle feeling. Just listening to this voice will make people think that this is a very attractive man. Xiaomian Mian was startled when he heard that Shi Moxia was talking. She has an instinctive fear of the man she should call Big Brother. Mian Mian is much more painful than your stinky kid. Don't look at how majestic it was when you were repaired outside. When you arrived at the house, he was just her grandson in the eyes of the old lady. There was no difference. She beat his when she was a child, and now she can still beat him. The old lady glared at him pretending to be angry, and then pretended to be angry and complained, How long can you talk about you before you go home? Your job is your life, no, your job is more than your life. Important. It's harder than anything to ask you to come back and see my old lady. Just like your grandson, only knowing to make me angry, and still counting on me to hurt you. After the old lady finished speaking, she gently patted Chiao Mian Mian's hand again, and the tone immediately changed to a very gentle tone, My granddaughter-in-law is much better than you. Yes, yes. Mo Shixia didn't refute. As the old man said how happy he was, he had a good temper, I'm not good, I'm not happy to make grandma. This time is really a bit busy, and I can't smoke too much. Come out and wait for some time to be free, I will definitely go home to visit your old man. Humph. The old lady glared at him again without giving face, I'm tired of hearing what you said. Which one did you really honor? Mo Shixi reached up and lifted the frame on the bridge of his nose, a little helpless said, Grandma. Come on, you are a workaholic, and you are uncomfortable if you don't work one day. I don't expect you to be empty or empty now. You really have time. It's true to deal with your own personal problems first. Me and your mother you can rest assured. Mo Shixiu who was suddenly forced to marry. The old lady is still saying, as long as you are married and there are people in your family, you will naturally not be so desperate. A C used to be like you before, this is not married now, I don't need to persuade him, I know it myself. Spend more time with your wife. I see, the fastest and best way to cure your workaholic disease is to get married early. Mo Shixiu looked helpless. When pay, the boss is not too young. You should also help him to see if there is a suitable marriage partner. The old lady said that the wind and rain, immediately instructed Mrs. Mo to find someone when she gave it to Mo. Mo Shixiu couldn't help it, afraid that Mrs. Mo would really find him a marriage partner, and his lips twirled with a helpless smile, Mom, Grandma, I have no plans to get married yet, so don't mess up arranged for me. Do you think I am in a state where I have time to fall in love with someone? The old lady frowned, in two years, you will be thirty years old. You have no plans to get married. When will you have it? If you have been so busy at work, are you still planning to be single all your life? The old lady was angry when she said this, if I said, you shouldn't run for that president. With our current status as the Mahists, it is the icing on the cake. If you don't, it won't have much impact. You are so busy now that you want to run in the future. I don't think you will go home once a year. Mo Shixiu saw that the old lady was irritated, and she dared to say anything else. All the rebuttal words swallowed back. He picked up the tea on the table and sipped two teas silently. Grandma. Mo Yesi watched for a while, and finally stood up. He stepped forward and dragged his daughter-in-law back to her side, embracing Chiao Mian Mian, and said, Brother's question is not urgent. You can slowly educate him later. Mian Mian knew that she would come over to dinner at night, and specially asked me to accompany you and choose gifts for you and your mom. Do you and your mom like it or not? As she guessed, a silk scarf was in the box. She picked it up and looked at it, then put it back in the box with a light smile, well, it's good, I like it. In front of so many people, she couldn't say she didn't like it. But she thought to herself that she would not wear this scarf. Mo Yesi turned and walked back to Jiao Mian Mian, 
hugged her, bowed to her, and said, I said, Grandma and Mom will like it. Now you always rest assured. Xiaomian Mian is not blind. She could tell that Mrs. Mo didn't like it. When I say that I like it, I say that it is very unconscionable, and I don't even do some superficial effort. But what can she say on such occasions? Really? She also said some scenes, smirked her lips, and then said, Mum and Grandma like it. Why, Grandma and Mom both have gifts, don't they have my gifts? On the side, Mo Shixiu, who had been silent, saw some clues, and his cold eyes fell on Mrs. Mo. After a few seconds, he joked. What? Xiaomian Mian took his words seriously, turned his head to look at him, and said a little embarrassedly, Sorry, big brother, I don't know you are at home. Next time, will you make up for you? Her name was Mo Shixiu's big brother, which was awkward. Not used to it yet. Especially in front of Mo Yesi, it was a nervous group. This is Mo Shixiu. The newsman who could only be seen on TV. Real country pillars. Mo Shixiu originally intended to make a joke to ease the atmosphere. When she saw that she was taken seriously, she couldn't help laughing, brother and sister, don't be nervous, I just made a joke. Speaking, this is the first time I saw you, and I didn't. What gift to prepare? I will make it up for you next time. Xiaomian Mian, er, that, thank you brother. When Xiaomian Mian found Mo Xiu smiled, he looked less serious. Moreover, his temper seems to be quite good. It's not like a bad person. She gradually became less nervous when facing him. It's not too early, let's eat. The old lady stood up and smiled at Xiaomian Mian, Mian Mian, walk with grandma, sit next to grandma for a while. The old lady naturally saw that Mrs. Mo did not like Xiaomian Mian. The gift just now was reluctant to receive. It's obvious that it's done. Xiaomian Mian could not see the things she could see. The old lady really likes her and naturally doesn't want her to be wronged. Seeing that Mrs. Mo had wronged Xiaomian Mian, she wanted to hurt the child more. Xiaomian Mian saw the old lady calling her, and immediately released Mo Yesi's hand and went to the old lady. She kissed the old lady's arm warmly and said sweetly, Okay, Grandma, I want to sit next to you and talk to you more. It's so good. The old lady couldn't help laughing, don't leave this evening, stay at home for one night. Grandma still has a lot to say to you. This. Xiaomian Mian turned his head to look at Mo Yesi and asked his opinion with his eyes. Mo Yesi nodded at her, since Grandma stays with us, let's go tomorrow. The old lady was even happier, holding Xiaomian Mian's hand and smiling happily, after that, after dinner. Will you accompany Grandma to take a walk? It is good. Xiaomian Mian nodded obediently as the old lady said. She looks like a cute and sweet girl. She looks soft and cute. She looks like the kind that elders like. At this time, before the old lady, she was obediently obedient, and the old lady liked her even more. To the dining room. Mo Yesi used to sit next to the old lady but now it is Xiaomian Mian. Anything that Xiaomian Mian likes to eat, the old lady will let people put the plate in front of her, so that she can easily serve food. During the meal, Xiaomian Mian just mentioned a dessert that was eaten on the Mazai side last time. It tasted good. The old lady immediately ordered the kitchen to make a copy for her. In short, the old lady's love for her, even two grandchildren have to stand aside. Mo Yesi and Mo Shixi have felt nothing. There are boys at home, and suddenly there is a girl. It is normal for the old lady to be so spoiled. Everyone in the Mo family knows that the old lady always wanted to have a granddaughter, but she was born and gave birth to all sons. The old lady has two sons. Mo Yesi also has a cousin. So with their two brothers, the old lady has three grandchildren. But there is no granddaughter. 
Chiao Mianmian's looks and personality are in line with the old lady's previous expectations of her future granddaughter, so for this granddaughter-in-law, she loved it as a granddaughter. Someone hurt his wife, M.O. Yesi happy. At the dinner table, the only one who felt uncomfortable was Mrs. M.O. Thinking of the call from Shen Ro this afternoon, her face was heavy and she suddenly threw her knife and fork into the dinner plate with a snap. A wealthy and wealthy household, the most particular about etiquette. It is one of the most basic etiquettes to avoid making undesirable sounds during meals. Mrs. M.O. was born in a famous family since childhood, knowing this from an early age. So she lost her knife and fork, and the conversation at the dinner table also stopped. Everyone looked at her sideways. The old lady frowned, Wen Pei, what are you doing? Mom. Mrs. M.O. picked up the napkin and wiped the corners of her lips elegantly. After wiping, she threw the napkin on the table, her sharp eyes fell on Chiao Mian Mian, and her tone was a little cold. I suddenly remembered thing, I feel the need to talk about it. What's the matter, let's talk after eating. The old lady was very dissatisfied with her behavior just now, and the tone wasn't much better. You have to say it at dinner. In the usual way, Mrs. M.O. looked at the old lady like this, but she dared not say anything. But when she remembered what Shen Ro said, she emboldened her courage and hardly suffocated herself. She said with a cold voice, At this time, everyone is here, and it is appropriate to say at this time. I'm sorry to disturb mom to eat, but what I want to say is also very important. When Mrs. Mo's eyes turned, Chiao Mian Mian felt it immediately. As soon as she looked up, she saw a trace of disgust and anger from Madame Mo's eyes, and immediately had a bad hunch in her heart. She felt that what Mrs. M.O. would say next must be related to her. Just thinking about it in my heart, I heard Mrs. M.O. whispered, Mian Mian, do you have anything to hide from us and not confess to us? Chiao Mian Mian put down the juice he had just picked up. She looked up at Mrs. M.O., the tone was polite and polite, Mom, what are you talking about? The old lady also put down her chopsticks, Wen Pei, what the are you talking about? Mrs. M.O. looked at Chiao Mianmian's calm appearance and couldn't help but sneer out loud, Our M.O. family is also not a stereotyped person, although since ancient times, the famous people are all good people, I also hope that my two sons will find me the daughter-in-law is a girl who is in the same household as our Mojie men, but the rules are dead and people are alive. If they really like the girl of the small door, as long as the other party is a pure girl, there is nothing messy about him. I am also acceptable. Sometimes, moral character is more important than family background. I'm not too open-minded, and I don't say that the family of Jiao and Mo are not matched, just play the Mandarin duck and let you stay with ACI. But I don't have too many demands, it doesn't mean I'm completely absent claim. Speaking of which, Mrs. Mo's face fell, and her eyes sharpened a bit, since you married my son. The young lady of the M.O. family, you should be clear about your identity, know your duties and rules, and always keep in mind your identity, don't do anything that will damage our Magia's face. It can be said that Mrs. Mo's words are quite faceless. Even the superficial harmony is not maintained. The others on the table changed their faces. Chiao Mian Mian was also stunned. For Madame Shang Mo's stern eyes, she was stunned for a few seconds and she probably guessed what was in her heart, Mom, I don't know what you said. Mrs. M.O. watched as she was still confused, and her face worsened, what happened to your former fiancé? You are now with us, and you are still entangled with him. Chiao Mian Mian, you are us what family is the M.O. family? The old lady turned her head and looked at Chiao Mian Mian, her brow furrowed, but the tone was still gentle, Mian Mian. What do you mean by the words your mother-in-law just said? What else is going on, Mrs. M.O. said coldly, all the news, so many people have seen it. Have you considered our Mo's, my son's feelings? Mom, you told me like as it's very good to be able to find a wife. It's almost okay to have a family background. I thought about it and thought that what you said made sense. 
As long as the lived happily, why should I ask so much? There is no shortage of status, there is no need to marry strong. But... Mrs. Mo's knife-like eyes continued to stare at Chiao Mian Mian, I can't ask for my daughter-in-law's family, but the character is absolutely not good. Mrs. Mo is so troubled that there is no way to continue eating. Mian Mian, what's going on? The old lady looked at Chiao Mian Mian's eyes still very gentle and kind. Obviously, those who didn't believe Mrs. Mo. She has lived for most of her life, and no one has seen it. She believed her eyes. At first glance, her granddaughter-in-law is a good and honest child. It is absolutely impossible to do things that are entangled with her predecessor. Among them, there must be some misunderstanding. She won't be wrong. Her grandchildren are smart and sober, it is impossible to pick a casual girl to marry back. Grandma, there is a misunderstanding. Chiao Mian Mian didn't show any confusion on her face. She met Mrs. Mo's cold and disgusted eyes, and she was not overly humble, things aren't like what the mother said, someone is rumoring maliciously. Rumor. Mrs. Mo didn't believe it at all, and she said sharply, everyone took a picture of you together, do you still say it is rumor? Mom, no, I. Chiao Mian Mian was about to explain, and heard a low, cold voice beside him, this matter has been clarified. What else can I ask? What kind of person is my own wife, I know clearly. Mom, if you hear any rumors next time, you can ask me first, if you are so fierce to me and me and, it will scare her. I brought her back because I wanted her to feel the warmth of her family, not let her come back to be wronged. After he finished speaking, he reached under the table, pinched Chiao Mian Mian's hand gently, and then wrapped her little hand a little. With practical actions, he expressed his absolute trust and maintenance of her. Mrs. Mo's face looked ugly in her eyes, and her face was irritated, what rumors? She said they are rumors, they are rumors? As, don't believe her too much, you think I'm making trouble unreasonably. There is no actual evidence, what would I say? You don't believe your mother, but an outsider. Mrs. Mo was very angry. Her biological son would rather believe an outsider than her. At the critical moment, she chose that woman and didn't give her the face of her biological mother. Embarrassed her. Under the extreme anger, there was not much left in the irritated reason, and some words buried in my heart, out of anger and impulse, spoke out. As soon as Mrs. M.O. said this, the old lady's face suddenly changed. M.O. Yesi's eyes sank, his face looked as usual but his eyes were a little cold. M.O. Shixi who also frowned, a little surprised that Mrs. M.O. would even say such a thing. In his eyes, Mrs. M.O. has always been an elegant and gentle, well-informed mother who has been well-educated since she was a child. Her interests and in cultivation are excellent. It is impossible to say such hurtful and rude words. This is what the harsh mother-in-law would say. It is not too hurtful to say that my daughter-in-law is an outsider. Wen Pei, what you did today disappointed me. Is this what you should say as a mother-in-law? Mian Mian is already married to Ez, she is part of the M.O. family, you are your family, you even outsiders can say this. After Mrs. M.O. finished speaking impulsively, she also found that she had said something she should not have said. But she wants to maintain her face. If she had already spoken, she could not take it back. She is even more unlikely to apologize to her daughter-in-law. Moreover, she feels that she did nothing wrong. How could a daughter-in-law who was not virtuous and morally ill consider her as a family member? The words have already been opened, and Mrs. M.O. has nothing to worry about. She stubbornly said, Mom, she did such a thing. Have you ever thought that she is the daughter-in-law of our M.O. family? I don't take her as a family people don't dare to ask what's wrong with such a daughter-in-law. Enough. The old lady snapped the table violently, and her face sank and became angry. Assiduously said, it was a rumor, and it was his daughter-in-law. If that thing is true, you think can he bear it? His own daughter-in-law, 
don't you know better than being a mother? You don't want to hear some rumors, just take it seriously. You also made the rumors make this home not peaceful, and this good meal was spoiled by you. Do you think there are few things at home, you have to make something happen to be happy? Grandma, don't be angry. Mo Shixia was afraid that the old lady would get angry and got up, and immediately got up and walked to the old lady, reaching for a light pat on her back, since this is a misunderstanding, explain just be clear. Mom. Mo Shixia appeased the old lady and raised her head to look at Mrs. Mo, frowning. You must have misunderstood your brother and sister. I believe in the character of the brother and sister. Don't say anything about this matter now that my brother and sister are married to the M.O. family, they are part of our M.O. family. M.O. Shixiu has always been in the position of a superior. He has taken up a major position in the Ministry of National Defense at a young age. When he seriously said something seriously, even Mrs. M.O. was actually a bit dazed. But she didn't want to lose face in so many people. She was a mother-in-law and she saw her daughter-in-law pulling on the street with her predecessor. What happened? Shouldn't she ask? Why is her daughter-in-law wronged? Who is this for acting? Do you want to provoke the discord between her and her son? Mrs. Mo had long believed that Chiao Mian Mian was a woman with ambitions, and set off his son, coaxing his son to marry her first. She was very unhappy about this matter. If it were not for the old lady, she would definitely not accept this daughter-in-law so easily. It is also impossible to let such a woman with such ambitions enter her Majia's door. Now that she has determined that Chiao Mian Mian is a scheming, non-kind woman, what Chiao Mian Mian naturally does is a deliberate act in her eyes. They are all performances. That's the sentence, when you don't like a person, what he does is wrong. In particular, now that her two sons and the old lady were standing at Chiao Mian Mian, her aversion to Chiao Mian Mian deepened a little. It didn't take long for this woman to marry the M.O. family, and it made the family out of harmony. In the future, I still don't know what means to use to make this home more restless. Good. Mrs. M.O. stood up angrily, feeling that she was helpless, even her son didn't help her, she said wronged and angry, it's my fault. I misunderstood her, it's me the out of nothing broke her heart, she was completely innocent, she had nothing wrong. I'm a wicked mother-in-law, and I specifically bullied my daughter-in-law. I was wrong, you are a family, and the outsider is me. After groaning like a vent, the last sentence, Mrs. M.O. turned around and left the dining room angrily. It's really unruly, really unruly. What does it look like? it's nothing like being an elder. It's just spoiled by your dad, not spoiled at all. The old lady had just calmed down her anger and was out of the dining room Mrs. M.O. got excited again. I was so angry that I couldn't even breathe. Old lady, you're breathless, don't let your body get angry. Zhang Bo watched the old lady gasping, so frightened that he immediately took out the old lady's daily medicine and the maid on the side also immediately received a glass of warm water. The old lady is very old. Although she maintains her body well every day, there are still some minor problems. Every day, I'm taking medicine. Zhang Bo was afraid that she would be angry, and what happened to her blood pressure? She immediately handed the medicine and water to her, old lady, take the medicine. The old lady was still upset and patted the table non-stop saying, I don't take medicine, what medicine do I take? If I get angry, I just ask Yunchen to go home and let him see if he favors his wife what it is like. Zhang Bo knew that the old lady was coming up, just like a child, it had to be coaxed. After thinking for a while, he handed the medicine to Jiao Mian Mian and said with a smile, Mrs. Too Young, let's coax the old lady to take the medicine. The old lady likes you the most. If you coax her, she must listen to you. Chiao Mian Mian was also afraid of something wrong with the old lady. In particular, the old lady was still angry to protect her. Then she will definitely feel guilty and feel sorry. Grandma, did you take the medicine? Otherwise, we will worry about you. 
Xiaomian Mian took the water cup and the medicine and said softly, I think mom and she misunderstood me. Yes. I didn't get it right, I should take the initiative to make this matter clear to you, and there will be no such misunderstandings. If you are mad at yourself because of these things, I will be very distressed and guilty. The old lady was very upset, and as soon as she heard her soft and soft voice, most of them disappeared. Looking at the clever and sensible granddaughter-in-law next to her, she felt that Jiao Mian Mian was hurting. Her obedient granddaughter-in-law coaxed her to take medicine. Immediately took the cup and medicine and took the medicine. Zhang Bo looked at it and couldn't help being relieved. At the same time, the second young lady also looked at him more and more. The old lady is looking at her temperament. In fact, no one knows up and down Mazai. She is usually a good talker. Once she is stubborn, she is also a bad-tempered person. When she was stubborn, no one could easily persuade. And this second young lady, just a few words, let the old lady listen to her easily. This skill is not something that ordinary people can have. This also shows that the old lady is quite satisfied with this granddaughter-in-law and likes it very much. Even if they can all see it, the lady can certainly see it. But madam, why did you want to come up with something that made everyone unhappy? The second young lady has already married into the M.O. family, and has been recognized by the old lady. The second young master also loves her very much. If the wife is smarter, she should try to accept the second young lady slowly and like the second young lady. Home and everything. If everyone accepted, she opposed it alone, what meaning could it have? No way, let the two young masters and young ladies go to divorce. Not to mention the rest, the second master is not the kind of person who has no opinion. Nor is it a foolish and filial person. Unless it is his own dislike of Mrs. E. R. Shao, it is impossible for others to divorce Mrs. E. R. Shao. It's still the second young lady. Zhang Bo is a savvy. After recognizing Chiao Mianmian's status in the M.O. family, his attitude is more respectful and kind. You talk the old lady can still listen. If you let us persuade, we're persuade. That's because my grandma hurts me. Chiao Mian Mian gently shook the old lady's arm and said softly. The old lady is so kind to her, and Chiao Mian Mian is not a person who doesn't know the hot and cold, and naturally gets closer to the old lady. We are so good, so painful, who doesn't hurt your grandma? The old lady finished the medicine, and let Chiao Mian Mian coax, the mood stabilized a lot, took Chiao Mian Mian's hand and patted gently, and the voice said, Don't worry about what your mother in law said just now. In grandma's heart, your grandma's granddaughter. She didn't know who heard the rumors, and she believed the rumors. Doubtful, so only those scumbags can be said. When she is clear, she will realize her mistakes. Grandma, don't worry. Xiao Mian Mian nodded and said with a smile, I know, I won't go to the real. That's good. The old lady was satisfied. The family still needs to be kind, and it's not good to have a gap. Grandmother. Xiao Mian Mian's eyes were a little sour when she looked at the old lady's affable, gentle whisper to her, and her eyes turned red. She remembered her grandmother. In memory, her grandmother also spoke so softly when she talked to her. Oh, how is your child's red eyes? Sad. Her eyes were red, but the old lady was distressed and coaxed out in a hurry. Good boy, don't cry, grandma knows you are wronged. You can rest assured that grandma will help you get back this breath in a moment. The old lady's coax, Chiao Mian Mian's eyes were redder and his nose was more sour. Oh oh oh. She thought she could do what she could, so she could please the old lady like this. Let the old lady treat her so well. Seeing that her eyes were red, M.O. Yesi frowned, thinking she felt wronged, so she cried. He immediately reached out to wipe the tears from the corners of her eyes and coaxed softly, I'm really wronged? I'll go and help you get that tone later? Don't cry, when you cry, I feel uncomfortable. I. I didn't cry because I felt wronged. 
Xiaomian Mian was sobbing, and Mo Yesi had just wiped the tears around her eyes with her sleeves, and the tears slipped out again. After a while, the cuffs of the silver grey shirt on his body were all covered with her tears. He didn't even look at the wetted place, and he still coaxed out loudly, not because of grievances, what's because of it? You say it, my grandma and I will make the decision for you. Zhang Bo looked a little dazed. Although he already knew that the second young master was very fond of the second young lady, he was still a little surprised when he saw this scene. Second young master, the cleanliness is quite serious. But he didn't care about the matter of Mrs. E. R. Shao soiling his sleeves. As if, there is no such thing as cleanliness. He once again deeply realized that the importance of the second young lady to the second young master was much deeper than he thought. There was also the look of the second young master looking at her. Gentle and spoiled. This is a sign of emotion. Although Mrs. E. R. Shao looks very good, few men will not like this kind of beauty. But this man is the second young master. In a family like the M.O. family, from small to large, what kind of beauty did the second master have never seen? Isn't the old lady of the Shen family very beautiful? He also grew up together with the second young master. I didn't see that the second young master liked her. Yet, yeah, girl, why did you cry? You told grandma, grandma gave you the call. The old lady looked at Chiao Mian and Mian and crying like that, her eyes were red and swollen, like the eyes of a rabbit, it was called a heartache. I'm not wronged. Chiao Mian and Mian chuckled and raised her head, looking at the man who wiped her tears next to her, and then looked at the worried old lady. It seemed like a warm stream was infused into her heart, and the whole heart was warm. She moved, I just feel very happy. Grandma, you treat me so well just like my grandma. I just remembered my grandma, so I couldn't help crying. After the old lady Mo Jiao took Jiao Mian Mian back to Mazai for the first time, she was asked to investigate her. Although she believes that her grandchildren's vision will not be a problem, she still has to ask people to look up things like marriage. Naturally, I knew that grandma Jiao Mian Mian passed away very early. Her mother also passed away very early. At this moment, she looked at the tears of the little girl thinking about her grandmother's thoughts, and felt more and more pity for her. The old lady reached out and touched her head, and let out a soft voice to coax, Good boy, I was thinking about grandma. Don't cry, grandma must be fine now, she is going to heaven to enjoy the blessing. Later, grandma hurts you. Mo Yesi did not expect her to cry because of this. He also remembered that grandmother Chiao Mian Mian and his mother had passed away. Thinking about how difficult his little wife was all these years, he put his little wife in his arms with distress and coaxed the child like, Don't cry, baby although my grandma left you, there are other people who love you by your side. In the future, you will always be so happy. I will always be by your side and I won't make you feel lonely again. The old lady looked at the young couple so lovingly and smiled comfortably. And the dinner table. M.O. Shixiu, who was obsessed with work and still single, looked at the scene of dog abuse by his brother and sister, and felt a little discomfort. He couldn't say exactly what was wrong. I just felt a little dazzling. His younger brother was not a man of this nature before. No matter how good looking a woman is, he won't take another look. Not to mention doing something like public love. But now. Listening to the words of his brother softly coaxing his brother and sister, M.O. Shixia felt very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. If he hadn't seen it with his own eyes and heard it with his own ears, where would he believe that his younger brother, who was never close to women, would now love his wife so much and take care of it? Is the magic of love really so great? Can make a person change so much. He didn't want to fall in love or try the taste of love because he felt troublesome. Also find it boring. He will not waste time on things he thinks are meaningless. Boss, are you envious? M.O. Shixia was thinking about something. Hearing that the old lady mentioned him, he couldn't help recovering and looked up at the old lady, Grandma. 
The old lady looked at her grandchildren who were excellent and outstanding. When she thought of him as perfect in all aspects, but still solo grandchildren, she was a bit worried, if you envy your younger brother, you will find your grandmother earlier. A good-looking granddaughter-in-law came back. As long as the lifelong events of your two brothers are resolved, there will be nothing to worry about in grandma's heart. M.O. Shixiu. He said with a headache, Grandma, I still have something to do. I'll go to the study for a while. Every time she came back, the old lady had to talk to him about marriage. For this, M.O. Shixiu was very irritable and helpless. The man who urged marriage was the old lady, his grandma, what could he do? Do you think that you can solve the problem by evading? I'm annoying you, don't want to hear me continue to talk. Then you are fighting for a little bit more. Get me a granddaughter-in-law to come back earlier. You have to find it. I won't bother you anymore. M.O. Shixiu. The old lady's mood stabilized, and he didn't want to make the old man angry again. He smiled helplessly and said angrily, Grandma, finding a wife is not as simple as buying food on the street. You can buy it casually. The wife is not the one I want to find, you can find it immediately. I promise you, if I have someone I like, I will definitely take it home and show it to your elderly, okay? Although M.O. Shixia was not interested in finding a woman to fall in love, he never thought of being single. He is not celibate. He just felt that if marriage meant that he would stay with a person for the rest of his life, then he couldn't find someone he didn't like. For a long life, he didn't want to pass it. Even if not married because of love in the end, his wife must be a woman who has a certain liking. Not just a woman who doesn't hate. The old lady no longer believed in his perfunctory words. She urged for so many years, which time, her grandson did not say so. But has he taken the girl home? No, not once. It was her little grandson, who had never promised her anything, and she had no expectations of him, but he brought her a granddaughter-in-law back in silence. That's it. The old lady also knew in her heart that her two grandchildren were extremely opinionated people, and she wanted to force marriage, which was absolutely impossible. Their little things will depend on her. Big things, it's all up to you. Rather than saying she was urging marriage, it was better to say that she was reminding him. She hoped that her grandchildren would not concentrate on their work. If they were empty, she would consider considering finding the other half. She was just afraid that he had completely forgotten this matter. Anyway, I have said so much, and you may not be able to listen to much. I hope, I will see you married in my lifetime, and the child is born, and I will have no regrets. Having a full stomach is a little supportive, Mian Mian, would you please walk with your grandma in the garden? Seeing that the old lady was about to get up, Xiao Mian Mian immediately grabbed the old lady's arm and helped her to stand up slowly, Okay, I'm also full and want to go for a walk, I will accompany grandma. Really good. The old lady took her small hand and touched her, smiled and turned her head, teasing at her little grandchildren, as, you and your wife are getting tired every day, there is no shortage of hours, please borrow your wife temporarily give grandma a while. M.O. Yesi said, of course. No problem. Then let's go. Mian Mian, let's go. Grandma takes you to see the garden. I tell you. The old lady held Jiao Mian Mian's hand intimately, Jiao Mian Mian also held her arm intimately, and the old and the small two happily went for a walk in the garden. Asterisk. After they leave. The brothers M.O. Shixiu and M.O. Yesi also left the dining room. The two also hadn't met in a while. M.O. Shixiu looked at his family and started a career, and became a brother of someone else's husband. He said with emotion, I didn't expect that you got married first. I didn't expect it. M.O. Yesi smiled, this thing has never been in my plan. However, I like this accident. M.O. Shixi raised his eyebrows and reached out to take off his glasses, revealing a pair of deep and cold eyes, brother and sister are nice you treat her well. 
she is my wife, and of course I will treat her well. Moyesi said of Xiaomian Mian, his brows were softer. The breath from his body is not as cold and alienated as usual. Mo Shixiu naturally felt the change in his aura, and he could not help hooking the corner of his lower lip again. He looked at him with a deep meaning in his eyes and said, I heard that you are a flash marriage. Okay. Originally, I thought you were married for some reason, and no emotional component exists. It seems that I was wrong. His own brother, M.O. Shixiu, naturally knows it well. Like it or not, whether you really like it, you can see at a glance. M.O. Yesi also hooked his lips, and his former cold face was now covered with a soft color, well, I was indeed with her for some reason. It will develop to this point, and I will did not expect. Perhaps, this is called destiny. He had never believed this before. What arrangement of fate is just a futile superstition. But now, he is willing to believe the destiny. Xiaomian Mian is his destiny. Hearing the words destined to destiny from Mo Yesi's mouth, Mo Shixi was startled, his face showing a bit of consternation. He froze for a few seconds, jokingly said, Do you believe this now? I have no futile superstition. Mo Yesi narrowed his eyes, and the delicate and delicate face of the girl appeared in his mind, and a soft color appeared on the bottom of his eyes, gently pulling the corner of his lips. I just believe that she must be arranged by God. Mine. Mo Shixi felt funny, isn't this futile superstition? Brother, when you have someone you like in the future, you will understand this feeling. Mo Yesi didn't explain too much. He reached out and gently patted the shoulder repaired when he patted the ink, said meaningfully. M.O. Shixiu. How does he feel that he seems to be mocked? Is his brother mocking him or a single dog, so he doesn't understand? As, tell me a serious matter. M.O. Shixiu looked upstairs and frowned slightly. Mom, you still have to persuade me. No one will help her tonight. She will definitely be more and more dissatisfied with her siblings. If you are really good for your siblings, don't make her too angry. You have maintained your younger siblings, but doing so will only cause her relationship with her mother to become more and more rigid. If there is a misunderstanding, then explain the misunderstanding clearly. Family, it is best not to have overnight hatred. M.O. Yesi was silent for a moment and nodded, I know. He knew that M.O. Shixiu did not favor anyone. His big brother is not a stupid person. Just know it. M.O. Shixiu also reached out and took a picture on his shoulder. I still have something to do. Let's go to the study room. Please talk to your mom. You can tell her well. She is not unreasonable. People. Asterisk. In a bedroom on the second floor. Mrs. M.O. was talking on the phone with Shen Ro with a snot and tears, Ro Ro, you're right, that woman is a scheming. The old lady likes her very much now, so she's spoiled like her granddaughter. I can't say anything. An old lady is guarding her, and she doesn't even look at my mother-in-law. I see that after a while, what status can I have in this family, the daughter-in-law must ride my head. I didn't know what was said there. Mrs. M.O. heard her face darker, and the tears in her eyes grew more. Now they don't believe me, I think it's unreasonable for me to make trouble. A.C.I. was even more fascinated by her. She only knew how to speak to her, and she didn't doubt her at all. Sure enough, the women from these small households are terrible and brainy. There are smart calculations and first-class methods. A.C.I. is a good hand at work and he is hard to find more powerful than him at the same age, but he is too emotionally disadvantaged and has no experience at all. The woman was cheated. How can I let such a woman abduct such a good son like me? Ro Ro, how nice it would be if you were my daughter-in-law. Aunt M.O. did not know what it would be like. Mrs. M.O. said as she wiped tears. A gentle voice came out of the phone, Aunt M.O., you should stop crying. What should you do if you break your body? Some things are not something I can only unilaterally, of course. 
I want to be Aunt Mo's daughter-in-law, but... Asta doesn't mean anything to me. What can I do except bless him? Actually, Xiaomianmian must also have some of her advantages, otherwise how can I make a sea like her so much? If Aunt Mo can try to accept her, she may find that she is not as bad as you think. I can't accept her. Shen Rose's words of consolation didn't do anything. Instead, she angered Mrs. M.O. more and more, and she sneered coldly, What advantage does she have, just relying on that face to confuse my son? Even if you don't have a good background, even what film and television college did you study, are you going to go out acting in the future? If she did a play, wouldn't it be the face of our M.O. family? How can my young lady, the M.O. family, be a play? But Aunt M.O. There was silence there, as if there was something inexplicable. What's wrong? Rura, what do you want to say? I don't know if I should say this, but Aunt M.O., you are so opposed to her acting, but what if she insists on mixing entertainment? As far as I know, she has also played several plays before, but they are all some roles in soy sauce. Now that she has a strong backstage for Asko, as long as she speaks, Asko can invest and let her appear in the female one, I am afraid, she can't refuse this temptation. Mrs. Mo's face sank, and she said coldly, I can't accept it. The entertainment industry is so dirty, she went to play, and others don't know how to laugh at our M.O. family. If the allows her to mess up, when the time comes, I you're welcome. Aunt M.O., don't be angry, I'm just guessing. She wants to come to marry as brother now and become the young lady of the M.O. family. She also disdained to be an entertainer. And she should also know that doing so will make there is no light on Mo's face, so don't consider your feelings at all. Ah, ro ro. Mrs. M.O. sighed with regret in her tone. If you are my daughter-in-law, that would be great. I don't have to worry about these at all. You are so good, so good, ah what the hell. Aunt Emmo, the emotional things are barely coming. You can like me so much, I am very happy, but... Shen Ro's voice slowly lowered, and his tone became lost. Mrs. Emmo listened to her as if she was dead, ready to quit, and suddenly panicked, Ro Ro, you... Don't you want to like Aspen anymore? Are you ready to give up? Shen Ro was silent for a while, and then said in a low tone, Aunt Emmo, I don't want to give up, I have to give up. I think a lot these days, as has been married, and he is also very happy now, I there should be no expectations of him. Let go, it's good for everyone. No, Ro Ro. Mrs. Emmo was a little flustered. You can't give up. Didn't Aunt M.O. say that it would help you find a way? You have liked us for so many years, are you really willing to quit like this? Are you willing? You heard Aunt M.O. said that this thing is not a little room for turning around. As long as you want, Aunt M.O. will definitely help you find a way to keep you with us. But Aunt M.O. You just need to answer Aunt M.O., do you still like us, do you want to be with him? This. Shen Ro said after a moment of silence. Of course I like him and I want to be with him. Aunt Emmo, I have loved him since I was a child and dreamed of marrying him one day and becoming his wife. Just. That's right. Mrs. Emmo interrupted her. You are Aunt Emmo looking at the grown-up child, and Aunt Emmo just wants you to be my daughter-in-law. You don't have to worry about anything, in short. Aunt Emma will find a way keep you with us. I can't make Xiao Mian me and my daughter-in-law. She doesn't deserve my son. Asterisk. Outside the door. Mo Yesi knocked on the door, and Mrs. Mo, who was still talking to Shen Ro, froze and moved the phone away a little, who? Mom, it's me, let's talk. Hearing his voice, Mrs. Mo's face changed slightly, and she said to the mobile phone, ACI is here, I'll hang up. Mrs. M.O. hung up the phone, walked to the door, and opened the door. Mom. M.O. Yesi looked at her and shouted faintly. Mrs. Mo's face was sullen, and she looked as if she was still upset, 
what are you doing? I have something to talk to you about. Moyesi paused for a few seconds, and said, It's about Mian Mian. Mrs. Mo was angry when she heard Chiao Mian Mian's name, and her face was two points deeper, Is there anything else to talk about, don't you all say it was a misunderstanding, did I wrong her? Want me to apologize to her? Mo Yesi pressed his lips silent for a few seconds and reached out to rub his brow, no. So what else do you want to say? Mom, can I go in first? We must stand at the door and talk like this. Mrs. Mo looked at him with a cold face for a while, but she turned away. After Mo Yesi walked in, he randomly found a place to sit down. If you want to help your daughter-in-law to say good things, then you don't have to. I don't want to listen. Mrs. Mo walked in, and found a place to sit down. I didn't plan to help her to say good things. Mo Yesi looked at her calmly. In my heart, she is already good enough. Others don't agree with me, I can't control it. Mom, I just want to tell you that you really misunderstood her. Mo Yesi wouldn't specifically explain it when it was changed to usual. But he listened to what Mo Shixiu had just said. He himself does not care about other people's views. But Jiao Mian Mian. He didn't want others to misunderstand her. She is so good, he really hopes everyone can like her. Especially his family. The news on the internet is not true. Someone deliberately discredited her. I have sent someone to investigate this matter. She and Su Zee met today, but only occasionally, Su Zee is entangled with her, she has been rejecting. Since you are paying attention to this matter, Gong Si's clarification Weibo, you must have read it. Of course, Mrs. Mo has seen that Weibo. But she didn't believe it. Gong Jia and Yan Jia are all playmates who grew up with Mo Yesi. Their clarification has no credibility at all. Mom, you are prejudiced against me and Mian. From the beginning, you were dissatisfied with her and did not like her. So, you refused to believe her at all. You think that the clarified Weibo was sent by Gongsi, right? Mrs. Mo's face changed for a moment. She did, think so. Her mind was exposed on the spot, and she couldn't help being embarrassed. She naturally would not admit, I didn't think about it that way. I didn't see the way Bo you said. What does this matter have to do with Gongsi? Mo Yesi licked her lips without piercing her, Gongsi was there at the time. Wei Bo was not the one I asked him to post, although I had such an idea, but he didn't like me and me and because of Shen Ro, even if I let him send it, and he may not send it. Mrs. Mo raised her head violently her eyes filled with consternation, what do you mean? Gongsi likes Shen Ro. Mo Yesi said directly, he feels that I have lived up to Shen Ro, and I broke up with him. I said so, can you believe in the lingering? Mrs. Mo was stunned for a while, her face was a little ugly. Suddenly she panicked in her heart. Shen Ro suddenly said today that she wanted to quit. Is it because of this reason? Is she going to be with Gongsi? Thinking of the only overlord of the Gong family, Mrs. Mo frowned, frowning. She naturally feels that her son is the best in the world. But it cannot be denied that the kid from the Gong family is also very good. The family of the Gong family and the family of the Shen family are absolutely matched. The appearances of the children of the Shen family and the family of the Shen family are also matched, and the two are also friends for many years. Presumably, if they really mean something, both of them will be happy. But if Shen Ro is going to be separated from Miyazawa, what about her son? Shen Ro is her favorite daughter-in-law. Mom, I didn't expect you to fall in love with her right away, but I hope you can let go of some stereotypes about her and try to accept her slowly. If you are willing to let go of your prejudices and spend some time with her, I believe I will like her. She is really a very good girl. Mom, she is my wife and the woman I love. Can you look on my face, love the house and love you once? In the end, Mo Yesi's posture was much lower. He also rarely lowered his posture in front of Mrs. Mo. So, 
after listening to his last sentence, Mrs. M.O. froze. She looked at her son in amazement and looked at him in a low profile. She has a better son than anyone else. Before changing to what he wanted to do and what he wanted to do, he did it directly. Rarely, will care about the views of others. Including her biological mother. As a child, because of his young age, there was no way to be too independent. She could still control him once or twice by virtue of his strength. But later, he gradually grew up. After he made a lot of money by himself when he was 13 years old, it was difficult for her to control him. The same is true in marriage. Whoever he wants to marry, he is directly married. They did not say hello to them. In addition to accepting, she could not take him as well. Today, he is fully capable of being alone, and is quite independent, both spiritually and materially. She is even more, unable to control what he does. This is the kind of person who now talks with her and has a request for her. How could Mrs. M.O. not be surprised? But this change did not make Mrs. M.O. happy. On the contrary, she felt as if she had been pierced by something in her heart. Because of this change, not because of her, but for the woman named Jiao Mian Mian. Mrs. M.O. has been silent for a long time. For the first time, her son begged her in such a low profile. If she refused, she could not bear it. But let her accept Jiao Mian Mian, she can't do it either. Mom. M.O. Yesi waited for a while, looking at Mrs. Mo's embarrassed look, thinking for a while, Shen Sheng said, Jiao Mian Mian is the woman I have identified for a lifetime, whether you like her or not, I don't like it may be separated from her. So, I hope you'd better still like her slowly. In this way, everyone will be much easier to get along with in the future. I don't want the conflicting things between mother-in-law and daughter-in-law to happen in our house. I believe you will know what happens if this kind of thing happens. If you have to let this happen, then I can only choose not to take her home. At that time, don't think we are not filial. What do you mean by that? What makes me want this to happen? These two sentences undoubtedly angered Mrs. M.O., and her face suddenly became ugly. M.O. Yesi felt tired and stretched out his hand, rubbing his brow and said, Mian Mian is willing to get along well with your mother-in-law, but you are not willing to accept her, how do you let her get along with you? If you take her home every time, make her unhappy, what am I taking her back for? Are you threatening me? Mrs. M.O. clenched the cushion on the sofa angrily, her face green. M.O. Yesi looked at her and said lightly, Mom, you are forcing me. The choice is actually in your hands. It is up to you to choose what kind of result you want. Speaking of which, he felt that there was no need to continue talking. He stood up slowly in Mrs. Mo's angry eyes. Mom, think about it. I won't talk to you about this matter anymore. After he finished speaking, he turned and walked outside. Mrs. M.O. was sitting on the sofa with a pale face watching him slowly go out, and then watching the door close slowly. She angrily grabbed the sofa cushion in her hand and dropped it to the ground. Let me accept that kind of woman as my daughter-in-law, dream. Asterisk. At this time, the Chiao family was not calm. Relax, what's going on? Is everything in the news true, that Chiao Mian Mian really took Su so Zi back? Did they really get together? You can hear Lin Huijin's shrill voice. She hurriedly reached out and pushed the door open. As soon as she entered the bedroom, she shouted anxiously again, Can't let the little succeed, if she and Su Zi get together, what will our mother and daughter do in the future? That little hates us, if she marries into the Su family and becomes the younger grandmother of the Su family, she doesn't want to toss us in the future. Also, if she becomes Zing Gui's boss, will you still why stay at Zingui? I didn't expect that the little would be so shameless. Taking the days you were hospitalized, so Zi was seduce away. Why is she so cheap? Even her sister's men must be robbed. When Lin Huijin said these words, she never thought that her daughter had robbed other men. She said for a while, 
seeing that Joan didn't respond at all, still sitting by the bed holding a mobile phone and watching, as if she hadn't heard her speak. She was anxious and angry, and grabbed the mobile phone in Chiao Angzen's hand a step forward and said a little hatefully, when is it all the time, you are still watching the mobile phone? Looking at the mobile phone again, your man will be the little took it away. Did you hear what I said just now? If Su Zi is robbed by that little bitch, not only will you not be able to marry the Su family, and you will not be the Su grandma's grandmother, even your career will be affected. If you leave Zingui, you can still develop like now is it so good? When the little rides on our head in the future, can we still have a good life? After Lin Huijin finished speaking, there was still no reaction to see Chiao Angzen. She was more angry and said angrily, I told you so much, how can you just... Halfway through the words, she was stunned when Zhou and slowly raised her head and looked at her expressionlessly. Chiao Angzen reached out his hand, Mom, give me your phone. Relax, those news. I said give me the phone. Chiao Angzen suddenly yelled and got up and took the phone back from Lin Huijin who was scared by her. She turned on her phone, lowered her eyes, and stared at the Weibo that she had just seen. After watching it for a few seconds, I suddenly yelled again and raised my hand heavily to the phone. With a snap, the glass screen of the phone shattered. Lin Huijin was frightened by the scene, and looked at her with wide eyes in horror. She dared not speak for a while. Why is she? Chiaoan clenched her teeth, her eyes glowed with jealousy, her expression was grim, her teeth grunted, how could Gong Xiao speak for her, how could she know Gong Xiao, how could it be? Bitch bitch bitch! What qualifications does she have to let Gong Xiao speak for her, what is she? She can't know Mr. Gong, absolutely impossible. People like Gong Xiao can't know her. Chiao Angzen seemed to be stimulated, and said the same thing repeatedly in his mouth. Lin Huijin was confused and worried that she was being stimulated abnormally. She walked over and grabbed her arm and worriedly said, Relax, what's wrong with you, don't scare your mother. The palace you just said who is it less? Why this is so lucky? God, she was so partial to her. Send one man after another in such excellent condition to her. And she... She couldn't even keep a Suzi. Strong hatred was born in her heart, and with this hatred, there was also strong unwillingness and jealousy. She is not worse than Zhou. Are these men blind? One by one, she actually likes a woman with unknown parents. No, Chiao Mianmian's biological parents may have died long ago. She is an orphan with no father or mother. I won't let her succeed. Chiao Angzen suddenly turned around, the eyes filled with hatred and jealousy looked at Lin Huijin, the expression on his face was so terrible that Lin Huijin felt a little scary, Mom, you said that Chiao Mianmian's biological parents would be what did you do, so you fled abroad. If, his biological parents are criminals. When he thought of this possibility, Chiao Angzen was excited, yes, her biological parents must be criminals and she committed serious crimes before she fled abroad. So, she is the criminal's daughter. If Gong Xiao and the man knew that she was the daughter of a criminal, they would definitely not help her again. Who would like the daughter of a criminal? Mom, we have to find out this matter right away. Chiao Angzen grabbed Lin Huijin's arm like he saw hope again, his eyes flashed, and he gritted his teeth with a sneer. If we find out Chiao Mianmian's biological parents if it's a criminal who is absent, I see what else she uses to seduce people. When the time comes, I want everyone to know that she is the criminal's daughter. I want everyone to force her like flies and mosquitoes. Lin Huijin froze for a while before she recovered. You, are you going to check her biological parents? Yes. Chiao and pinched his fingers, Mom, think about it. What kind of things have you committed before you let them not even have children, so they fled abroad? If it was not a serious crime, that is to offend those who should not offend. No matter what kind of situation, it can make Chiao Mian Mian feel uncomfortable. Lin Huijin listened to her and thought for a while, her eyes lit up, you are right, 
if her parents are really criminals who are absconding, who would want a criminal's daughter? In this way, she can be prevented from marrying in the Sua family. So Zi will not break up with you. Humph, mom, you are wrong. Chiao Angzen's face sank, and said coldly, I did this, not to prevent her from marrying into the Sua family. What is a Sua family? Chiao Angzen is now looking down on the Sua family. Before, she thought the Sua family was very good, and Su Zi's condition was also excellent. But there is no harm in comparison. How can Su Zi compare with Master Gong's family, a hundred Su Zi can't compare with one Gong Zi Li. Even Chiao Mian Mian can hook up with Shang Gong. She can do the same. Previously, she was able to Su Zi from Chiao Mian Mian, she did not believe it, she would not be able to grab it this time. Lin Huijin froze for a while, you are not trying to prevent her from marrying into the Su's family, what is it for? Relief, you must not let her marry into the Su's family, otherwise our mother and daughter will be finished. Su Zi is I'm sorry for you, but if you share with him, you won't find a man in such good condition in the future. Mom tells you, calm down. Don't make impulsive decisions for a moment. Mom, you think too much. Without me stopping, Chiao Mian Mian will not be with Su Zi. There are so few big trees near the palace, how could Su Zi even be seen? What she wants to do now is not to prevent Chiao Mian Mian and Su Zi from reuniting, but to prevent her and Miyazawa from being separated. If Chiao Mian Mian really succeeded, Miyazawa became Miyazawa's woman. Later, it will really ride on her head. Why? Lin Huijin looked puzzled. How could the little not agree, she was just afraid to marry Sua family immediately. You are too young to look at Chiao Mian Mian. Chiao Angzen sneered. She has hooked up with a more powerful man now, a Su Zi is a long time ago, and it has long been ignored. Mom, you know she is hooked up now. Who is the man? Who is it? Can it be better than the Su family? Oh, what is Su's family? Chiao and disdained, the man's family background is not comparable to the 100 Su's family. Su Zi doesn't even have the qualification to give others shoes. Lin Huijin was shocked, is it so powerful? Can the little actually know such a man? Are you sure? Mom, do you know the Gong family? Gongjia? Is it the second-ranked Gongjia among the four famous gates in Yunchinj? What does this have to do with that little bitch, please don't tell me. Lin Huijin said, her eyes widened and her face full. Incredible. Miyazaki Prince Miyazawa is the only heir to Miyazaki. The man the little is now hooking up with is this prince. You said, can she still be seen as Suzy? How could it be? Lin Huijin couldn't believe it. How could she know a man of this level? I don't think it's possible either. Chiaoan gritted his teeth, and the hatred and jealousy appeared in his eyes again. However, Gong Xiao personally helped her clarify on Weibo, if it was not a good relationship with her, how could it be done that's it? He has never posted on other people's Weibo, let alone a woman's Weibo. Although Chiao Mian Mian has nothing to do with him, she climbed Gong Xiao. It must be true. Mom, I have to stop her from being with Gong Xiao. If she follows Gong Xiao in the future, we will really be out of luck. Lin Huijin thought of the power of the palace, and then thought of the not-so-famous palace prince, and she began to be afraid. Just as a family, they cannot afford to offend. If the little really climbed the palace, wouldn't it be? Thinking of the possibilities, Lin Huijin was so scared that she turned pale. But how do you stop that little bitch? Mom, can this matter succeed, mainly because of you? Rely on me. Only dad knows who the biological parent of that little is. If you can get some useful news from dad, it will be much more convenient for us to check. But your dad won't tell me. His mouth is tight. I asked him several times before, and he didn't say it. Then ask him another way. If, you tell him, do you want to help Chiao Mian Mian find her biological parents? 
Lin Huijin opened her eyes wide and then came over, you mean. Xiaowen nodded his heart and smiled, but his eyes were gloomy, this matter must be investigated as soon as possible. Asterisk. Three days passed quickly. In the blink of an eye, it was almost time for Xiaomian Mian to go to the crew. The night before he left, Mo Yesi pushed away all his entertainment and went home early. After dinner, the young couple returned to the bedroom. Xiaomian Mian pulled out his suitcase and prepared to start packing. She is going to the field for almost three months this time, so she needs to pack a lot of luggage. When she took out her clothes and folded them into the suitcase, Mo Yesi stood aside and looked for a while. He asked dumbly, when will I go to the airport tomorrow morning? Sister Xie just sent me the travel time. It's a flight ticket at 9 o'clock. You have to go to the airport after 7 o'clock. Xiaomian Mian put a folded skirt in the suitcase and took a few from the closet. Pieces of clothes came out and folded. So early. Mo Yesi seemed dissatisfied. It's not too early, you usually go to work, don't you have all this time? Mo Yesi. How can this be the same? She had to go to the airport so early, and he would not spend much time with him. Going for three months. Mo Yesi paused for a few seconds, and asked in a muffled voice. Well. Xiaomian Mian folded his clothes on the ground for a while, and when he heard that he was not right, he looked up at him and slowly stood up. With her hands behind her back, she bent down and leaned over her head to look at him again. The corner of her mouth gently raised, Are you upset? Mo Yesi sternly said, We are still newlywed. My newlywed is going to stay in the field for three months. Do you think I can be happy? Okay, okay, I'm not coming back. Xiaomian Mian couldn't help laughing when facing the man's gruesome gaze, stepped forward and hugged his toes around his neck, and, you are empty you can also watch me in the past. Or if I have a holiday, I can come back to see you. She has a soft voice, as if coaxing a child, we are only temporarily separated. You don't think it is good to keep a proper distance between husband and wife sometimes. Not good. Mo Yesi narrowed his eyes, and his deep eyes were filled with dissatisfaction, I don't want to stay away from you, I just want to be with you every day. Xiaomian Mian. Then what do you want? She sighed a little helplessly, but her heart was full of sweetness. Otherwise, you can get the business over there and do the calculation. In this way, you can go to live, we you can be together every day. She was joking. Who knows, Mo Yesi even thought about it very seriously, and then nodded, your proposal is good, I will call Wei Zhang now. As he said, he was struggling to get his mobile phone. Xiaomian Wang froze for a few seconds, and was amused by him, reaching for the hand that he pulled out his phone, Okay, Mo Yesi, don't make trouble. I was just kidding. I think this method is good. Then you don't care about the business here. Business. The man raised his eyebrows, his lips ticked, and the handsome and deep facial features in the close range of sight were handsome and heartwarming. He leaned closer to her holding her jaw in one hand, and his voice was low and sultry, saying, Why is my wife important in business, the world is big, and my wife is the biggest? Asterisk. Waking up the next day, Xiaomian Mian was still sore. Good morning, wife. As soon as I opened my eyes, I saw a beautiful face not like a real person. As soon as she opened her eyes, she saw an enlarged and beautiful face. The man's facial features are deep and three-dimensional, as if carved by a knife and axe, and his pale lips slightly raised, and his head is supported by one hand, and he smiles at her with a smile. The open chest reveals distinct muscles, and the smooth and lines make people want to touch them. Early in the morning, as soon as he opened his eyes, he was faced with such a beautiful temptation. Xiaomian Mian said that he could not bear it. I just had a thought in my heart and the thought of someone's cruelty last night that scared her from the bottom of her heart disappeared immediately. She moved her body, 
and immediately an uncomfortable pain came from the base of her thigh. She frowned slightly because of the pain. She looked angrily at a culprit and didn't even want to greet him. This abominable man. She is always compliant with her. Only at that time, how could she beg him, he was unimpressed. When he was bullied, Xiao Mianmian was so angry that he wanted to divorce him. Baby, still angry with me. Mo Yeji reached out and pinched her jaw, bowed her head to kiss her, and his voice was low and hoarse. Sorry, forgive me for being incapable. I admit that it was a bit too much last night, if you are still mad at me, will I let you bite me and be angry? He lifted the cuffs of his nightgown and stretched his arms to her mouth, letting her fall off, sincerely saying, Bite it, you can bite for as long as you want. Chiao Mian Mian. She is still angry. When he was angry, he didn't care about her feelings at all, and only knew to bully her. Domineering and powerful. But the man had a good attitude of admitting the mistake and took the initiative to ask for punishment, so she could not be angry with him at once. Alas, forget it. Thinking of the months to be separated, the anger in my heart has been replaced by unwilling emotion. Whoever wants to bite you, bite if you don't move, that's what the puppy will do. Chiao Mian Mian bit his lower lip, glaring at him with a delicate expression, and patted him gently on his arm. Baby loves me so much that I can't bear to bite my husband. Mo Yesi chuckled softly, and was about to kiss her again. My wife is so nice. Do not. Seeing that his kiss was about to fall, Chiao Mian Mian quickly reached out to block it, and the other hand pushed away the face he came over, I haven't brushed my teeth yet. Mo Yesi's lips fell on the back of her hand. The warm, wet lips kissed the back of her hand the throat rolled, and a low smile, it doesn't matter, I don't mind. Chiao Mian Mian, I mind. Okay. He sighed softly, moved his lips away, stretched his hand to brush away the hair on her forehead, and printed a kiss on her forehead. Then wash first. Asterisk. The two got up together, Mo Yesi took Chiao Mian Mian to the bathroom, washing his face, brushing his teeth including skincare products, almost all he did for her. After washing, she took her to the dressing room and changed her clothes. After changing clothes, she took her downstairs again. Go downstairs. The maids who were cleaning were seeing their young master holding down the young lady, and all their faces showed envious expressions, only hating why they did not have such good luck. There is a husband like a master who is spoiled and hurt and he will surely die happily. The young master also spoiled the young lady too much. The next floor is all hugged. I really didn't expect that a man like a young master would usually look at a clear-hearted man, but he could be spoiled for such a woman she likes. Finding such a husband is much better than those men with rich history. M.O. Yesi, you let me down. Chiao Mian Mian watched a few maids cover their mouths and snickered, and his face was a little hot. He wanted to jump from M.O. Yesi, I can go by myself, you let me go. M.O. Yesi ignored her, and took her directly into the restaurant. After arriving at the restaurant, he didn't let go of his hand and took her to sit down together. On the table was a rich breakfast. He picked up warm milk and fed it to Jiao Mian Mian's mouth. Several maids also stood in the dining room. Although it was not the first time they saw their young master feeding his young lady, they still felt envious. The young master really hurts people. When I really like someone, I can spoil that person. If it were not for seeing it with one's own eyes, who would have believed that a young master who had always respected women far away would have such a good time for a woman? Come on my own. Chiao Mian Mian felt very embarrassed and reached for the cup. M.O. Yesi licked his lips and said slowly, Baby, did you drink it yourself, or should I feed you another way? If you like mouth to mouth, I will be happy. Chiao Mian Mian, I drink it myself. Asterisk. This morning, Chiao Mian Mian hadn't done much about it himself. Basically, M.O. Yesi fed her. In his words, she fed him last night. Today, feed him for him. 
After breakfast, Linda called over and told her that her assistant had been found. When the time comes, she will meet her at the airport. Linda gave her the photos and contact information of her assistant, a pretty-looking girl named Nana, two years older than Zhou. Chiao Mian Mian called Nana first. Nana's voice was the same as hers. It sounded like a lovely lowly tone. The two chatted for a few minutes, and Chiao Mian Mian hung up the phone. Sister Xia found me an assistant. As a small actor who has been running around for a long time, Chiao Mian Mian never had the expectation of an assistant. She pays enough to support herself. Where there is money to raise an assistant. Suddenly there was an assistant. She was a little excited and a little excited. She immediately shared her joy with M.O. Yesi, I never thought about it, I will still have an assistant. Just now I called my assistant, she was super cute, her voice was sweet and sweet, and she looked good very sweet. As she said, she turned on her phone and turned Nana's picture out to show M.O. Yesi, look, this is my assistant. Her name is Nana. Isn't it super cute, with round eyes? The nose is small and the mouth is small. She is two years older than me, but I think she looks younger than me and has a baby face. This face value can be mixed in the entertainment circle, it's a pity to be an assistant. She spoke with great interest. After talking, the man next to him didn't react at all. Chiao Mian Mian. She frowned, reaching for the arm of the man next to her, dissatisfied, why didn't you speak? I just told you so much, didn't you hear? When sharing joy, the other party did not respond. This will make her feel very boring. M.O. Yesi looked down at her, I heard it all. Congratulations, you have an assistant. Chiao Mian Mian. Is this his reaction? Have you seen it just now? Look. My assistant. Chiao Mian Mian took the phone in front of him and shook it then pointed at the, the screen and said, This girl is my assistant Nana. How is it, is it cute? Chiao Mian Mian really thinks that Nana looks very cute. Nana looks like a little lowly, with a slightly round face, and a small dimple when she smiles. Very cute. If she were a boy, she would love girls like Nana. When you look at it, you will have a desire to protect. M.O. Yesi was not interested in any woman except Chiao Mian Mian, nor did he want to pay attention to it in the past. In order not to disappoint her, he glanced in coordination. How is it, is it cute? Chiao Mian Mian asked him immediately. M.O. Yesi. He pondered secretly, would this be a test for his wife? Want to test whether he is interested in other women? After thinking about it, he immediately replied, very average, not as cute as my wife. In his heart, he really thought so. In his eyes, his wife is the cutest in the world. No one can match. Other women are sexy, cute, pure, and have nothing to do with him. Chiao Mian Mian. What kind of eyes do you have? She looked at him with a little contempt. Obviously very cute, shouldn't this girl be your favorite guy's favorite? Do you really think it is normal? You look good again down. Straight man. M.O. Yesi was a little stranger to this ranking. Chiao Mian Mian, it means normal boys. M.O. Yesi nodded and expressed his understanding, then I may not be normal. Chiao Mian Mian. M.O. Yesi looked at her with deep black eyes and said seriously, it's the same as many times. It's not as good as my wife. I don't know what type of straight man likes. I only know that you are the type I like. When he said this, his expression was serious. Chiao Mian Mian's heartbeat was chaotic for a few beats as those eyes with black eyes stared at her intently. Accidentally, she was teased again. I don't want to see other women, I just want to see you. The man continued to tease her. My wife is the most beautiful woman in the world. M.O. Yesi, can you? Chiao Mian Mian's face was a little bit hot, and his pale face was stained with a pale crimson color. Okay. Don't praise me so exaggeratedly. Where is it exaggerated? That's what you just... 
she pursed her lips and wanted to repeat her words again. She felt embarrassed. Say what is the best thing in the world? It's no exaggeration. M.O. Yesi looked right. In my eyes, you are the most beautiful woman in the world. Chiao Mian Mian. Mom, the speed of my heartbeat is skyrocketing again. Isn't he intentional? Cough, okay. Chiao Mian Mian stretched her hand and touched a little hot cheek, biting the corner of her lips and said quietly, You can say this in private, but you should never say that in front of outsiders. Why? Mo Yesi raised an eyebrow. What can't you say? Chiao Mian Mian, Loki, do you understand? But... The man approached suddenly, the handsome and deep face magnified several times in front of her eyes. Her slender fingers pinched her jaw, and her pale lips rubbed gently against the corners of her lips, her voice was low, My wife is so good, why do I low-key? In my eyes, my wife is the most beautiful woman in the world. I wish I could let people all over the world know this. Why should I be low-key? Baby, I don't want to be low-key at all. If it weren't for her not to disclose their relationship now. He has long declared to the world that they are married. Chiao Mian Mian's face was steaming hotly, M.O. Yesi. She was praised by this man, so shy. Ah, why did she have such a husband? What kind of feeling is the abnormal heartbeat caused by my husband every day? Asterisk. When he arrived at the airport, the blush on Chiao Mian Mian's face had not faded. She was pressed by M.O. Yesi on the seat of the rear compartment and kissed for almost half an hour. Almost suffocated her kiss. The kiss was really long and lingering, a deep and deep kiss. M.O. Yesi, rarely kiss her like that. The tip of her tongue and lips were kissed and numb. But somebody still has an unexplained look. If Chiao Mian Mian stopped him, he would definitely come again for a second time. The black Rolls Royce stopped outside the airport gate. Uncle Lee first got out of the car, walked to the rear compartment and opened the door, and then went to the trunk to lift the two suitcases out. M.O. Yesi and Chiao Mian Mian also got out of the car, and M.O. Yesi reached out and hugged Chiao Mian Mian's waist, and the slender and slender arms wrapped around her waist full of possessiveness. As soon as the two appeared, they gained a lot of attention. The high-value combinations of handsome men and beautiful women are striking wherever they go. M.O. Yesi walked into the hall with arms around Chiao Mian Mian, thinking of the imminent separation. He felt unhappy and worried. As he walked, he told her, I checked the weather there in advance. It is raining today and the temperature is a little bit low. Before you get off the plane, wear a coat and go on. If you don't get used to it, you must tell me not to hold on. If you are not accustomed to the accommodation and food of the crew, you must also tell me that I will arrange it for you early. Also, you are a newcomer, there will inevitably be one or two new people in the crew. If you meet, just tell me who I am and I will help you deal with it. If you have any urgent matters that I have no time to rush to deal with, you should go to Bai Yusheng. Chiao Mian Mian heard this and looked at him in surprise. You, no bye-bye. M.O. Yesi didn't want her to think more, so she lied, My friend Yan E.R., I don't know him well. If, let her know that he and Bai Yusheng know, but also because her role opened up with Bai Yusheng, she will definitely be unhappy. In fact, that role was her own. Bai Yusheng is very satisfied with her. Even if he had not greeted him in advance, Bai Yusheng would use her. He has a good relationship with Yan Er. I will let Yan Er greet him and let him take care of you a little more. Then the last audition, did you? No. M.O. Yesi lied and did not change his face. I believe in your ability. Your role is earned by yourself, it has nothing to do with me. Chiao Mian Mian was slightly relieved, okay. It's not her hypocrisy. It is certainly a good thing to have resources available. She can save a lot of heart and take a lot of detours. However, she still hopes more, this time the role is earned by herself. In this way, she will be more confident. Did you remember what I said just now? 
Mo Yesi was not at all reliable. This is not the first time he has separated from Xiao Mian Mian. She used to go to school and lived on weekends, and the two were usually separated. But at that time, he was not so worried. At that time, even if they were separated, the two were still in the same city. Not far away. I want to see her every day. She has something to do, he can rush to her to help her solve it. If she went to another city, even if it was not far away, the plane could arrive in three hours. However, he wanted to see her, it was not so easy. She has nothing to do, and he can't rush to her immediately. This inability to meet every day and the inability to feel the anxiety around her for the first time made him very worried. She can go to the field by herself, can she get used to the weather there? Her crew didn't know anyone, and she was a little rookie who didn't know much. She looked so eye-catching. Maybe she was jealous. When the time comes, will anyone bully her? The more he thought about it, the more uneasy he felt, and he wished he would pack up with her immediately. But his reason still exists. If he had not just taken over Mo Shi, he still had to deal with many things in person. If he could not walk away, he might have really passed her by. She is really, making people feel uneasy at all. From this moment on, he had to worry until she finished the TV series. Xiao Mian Mian was looking at the phone, and the answer was absent, well, I see. Mo Yesi was very dissatisfied with this. She just reached out and took her phone away. Xiao Mian Mian, what are you doing, give me your phone back. She is about to call Nana. Mo Yeji stopped and locked her cell phone, then looked down at her with half-eyed eyes. Baby, what did I just say to you, did you hear clearly? The cell phone is so fun. We will immediately it's about to separate, shouldn't you look at me more? He said something a little sour, like he was jealous. But, he has to eat even the vinegar of his mobile phone? I'm not playing on my cell phone. Chiao Mian Mian explained very seriously. I was sending WeChat to Nana just now and asked her where? But she didn't reply to WeChat, so I was going to call her and just wanted to call, your phone is taken away by you. What anxiety! Mo Yesi still had a bit of dissatisfaction on her face. She can't run again. It's okay to contact you later. Do you really remember what I just said to you? Remember, remember, I listen. Chiao Mian and Mian and never thought that Mo Yesi had such a long time. In a word, I repeated the question several times. She couldn't help but whispered, Oh, so long-winded. Hear Mo Yisai's words into his ear without hesitating. He actually, was abandoned by his wife. For the first time in his life, someone said he was wordy. This man is still his wife. For a time, his mood was a little indescribable. But what if they are rejected? This man is his own wife. Can he still grab her and beat him up? Baby, I don't worry about you. Mo Yesi sighed lowly, reaching for her in his arms, and his big hand fell on her head to caress, with undisguised worry in his words, Don't you think of you my husband is wordy? This is the first time after we get married, you will be away for the first time, and you will have to leave me for several months. I don't worry about you at all. I'm afraid that without me by your side, you will take care of yourself. I'm also afraid that when I'm not around you, you will be wronged and bullied. I have too many things to worry about. So, I want you to assure me. If someone dares to bully you and give you wrongs, you must not be bored in your heart. Or something happened, don't hide me. I want you to assure me that you must not hide anything from me. Chiao Mian Mian was lying on his chest, listening to his heartbeat again and again, shaking his chest steadily and forcefully. He is still chattering. This is really different from the usual Mo Yesi. He has never been so verbose. He was abnormal because he was worried about her and not worried about her. Chiao Mian Mian couldn't tell how she felt in her heart. She reached out a little bit and wrapped the man's thin, narrow waist, and her eyes suddenly became a little wet. 
she didn't feel much when she went to film in the field before. The only one who couldn't bear it was Jiao Chen. As for her Suzi, she doesn't seem to be reluctant to feel like she is now. Even if I meet again after a period of time, my heart is not very happy and looking forward to it. Suddenly she realized. Perhaps, she did not like Suzi very much before. Of course, there is one thing to like, but it is not very deep. So, after Suzi cheated on her and betrayed her, she quickly came out of that injury. If she loves Suzi, how can she like another man so quickly? She and Mo Yesi didn't know each other for a long time. But unconsciously, this man has occupied a place in her heart and has become a part of her life. She was already reluctant to part with him. Well, Mo Yesi, I promise you. Chiao Mi and Mian listened to his heartbeat, his arms tightened, and he hugged him even tighter. He replied obediently, I will take care of myself, not let myself suffer. Grievances will not let others bully me. I assure you, I will be fine in the past few months. Don't worry, I've also filmed outside in the past. I'm not a kid anymore, and I won't let myself live badly. Besides, don't you say you will say hello to Baideo? What can I do if there is a Baideo covering me? After I pass, I will report the situation with you video every day, so you can rest assured. With Bai Yusheng taking care of you, I can really feel relieved. Mo Yesi also tightened his arms and wanted to embed the delicate man in his arms into his blood, so that he could take her with him wherever he went. They don't need to separate anymore. In short, you don't have to be afraid to trouble him. He still owes his love. You have to go directly to him if you have something. He dare not solve it for you. Okay. Of course. If there is anything, you still have to find your husband in the first place. I can't rush over to help you solve it immediately, you can find him again. Thinking that Jiao Mian Mian praised Bai Yusheng's talents last time, he seemed to appreciate his appearance. Mo Yesi didn't want the two to have too much contact. Okay. Jiao Mian Mian laughed softly, knowing that a certain vinegar jar was eating vinegar again. I will go over to see you on the weekend, when the time comes, I will take you out to eat delicious, play fun. It is good. Whatever he said, she nodded cleverly and agreed. Looking at her obedient and ingenious appearance, Mo Yesi was even reluctant to let her go. His baby is so obedient, and his character is soft, he really worried that he was not in, she would be bullied by others. He even had an impulsive thought. I want Bai Yusheng to change the shooting base to Yunchenj. But this is obviously unrealistic. Bai Yusheng's guy is very demanding about every piece of his work. If he wants to change the shooting base, he is definitely not willing. By all means, the guy had no handle in his hands. He can't help him. I'll try to spend as much time as I can to see you. Mo Yesi reached out and touched her head, her deep eyes sighed softly. I don't want to let you go. Want to lock her next to him, you can see it at any time. In fact, he really wanted to say, could she not go filming? What's the pay for her filming a movie, he can give her double, triple, quadruple. She can do whatever she wants. But he knew that she was not only making money for filming, but also really liked the actor line. None of these can be solved by his money. He could not deprive her of hobbies because of his own selfishness. Chiao Mian Mian couldn't bear him either. She hugged him and rubbed her head gently on his chest, actually I don't want to go either, but I don't want to be a person who is idle at home, and I want to go out to work. Mo Yesi, you mind my work. This may often be the case because of her future life. Once her work is busy, she will fly around the world in the future. There will be very little time at home. Naturally, the time spent with him will be very rare. She may not be able to give him a normal family. Mo Yesi was silent, rubbing her hair gently with her big hand, and honestly said, If you don't mind at all, that's impossible. If you're shooting a drama, we'll be separated for a few months, how can I not mind? 
Chiao Mian Mian groaned, raised his head, and looked at him a little nervously, then you. She was afraid that he would say something that would make her quit the entertainment industry. She knew that the more prominent and prominent people were, the more they looked down upon them. Even if the current artists are very profitable and can become first line or beyond, the income is more than 100 million a year, which is no worse than some ordinary rich people's income. However, in the eyes of this group of upper class people, it is impossible for artists to make money again. The opera on the countertop. It is for fun. Even ordinary giants are not very willing to marry entertainers. After all, it's common for uncles and nephews to sleep with a female artist, and marrying home will inevitably make people laugh. Not to mention the top giants. The top giants like the Mahists can't care less about her profession. I will mind, but I will choose to respect you. Moyesi's deep eyes looked at her and said seriously, If filming can make you feel happy, I will not stop you. I will try my best to treat you protected and clear all the obstacles in front of you. But you have to promise me one thing. What? You can't regard filming as more important than me. The man said, I can't be behind your career. Ah, yes. Reminded by Mo Yesi, Chiao Mian Mian looked at the time, and then remembered that her boarding pass had not been changed. She took out the document and was thinking of changing it in the past, and heard Mo Yesi said, Give me the certificate, I will help you to change it. Oh. Chiao Mian Mian gave him his ID. Mo Yesi took it, reached out and touched her head, and whispered, Wait here for me, don't run around. Hey. Chiao Mian Mian nodded. After Mo Yesi left, Nana pressed the soul of gossip in her body and immediately grabbed Chiao Mian Mian's hand. She asked excitedly and excitedly, Sister Mian Mian, is he your boyfriend? Chiao Mian Mian didn't hide this from Linda, and naturally he didn't hide Nana. Nana is her assistant, and they will spend a lot of time together in the future. She did not say that Nana could see it herself. Well. She nodded. He is my boyfriend. Wow. Nana's excited little face turned red. She turned to look at Mo Yesi, who had gone away, staring at the slender back, excited. Sister Mian Mian, your boyfriend is so handsome, super handsome. Handsome. Oh my god, I swear, he is definitely the most handsome of all the handsome guys I have ever seen. Sister Mian Mian, is he also a signed artist of the company? Chiao Mian Mian, no. No. Nana froze for a while, then asked gossip again, is he a contracted artist of another company? Neither. Chiao Mian Mian saw that she still wanted to gossip and rubbed her for it a little funny, he is not an artist. He is not in a circle with us. What? Nana's face was unbelievable. He's not an artist? He grows like this, isn't he going to be in the entertainment industry? Chiao Mian Mian shook his head, he had no such intention. That's a pity. I dare to pack tickets. If he wants to mix in the entertainment industry, he can definitely be a big fire with that face. Mian Mian, I know why you would rather miss a signing opportunity than be willing to. Broke up with your boyfriend. Chiao Mian Mian, why? Nana's eyes are bright, the boyfriend is so handsome, who will score? You lose a signing opportunity, and there will be more in the future. If such a handsome boyfriend is divided, he will never find it again. Chiao Mian Mian. She suddenly discovered that Nana and Zhang Luli were the same as Yan Yan. Asterisk. It's not long before I change the boarding pass, and I'm going to check the tickets. Mo Yesi accompanied Chiao Mian Mian to the ticket gate. When he looked down at her, his eyes grew thicker. He reached out and straightened the hair on her forehead, gently hugged her into his arms, lowered his head and kissed her gently, baby. Take care of yourself, don't make me worry about you. Okay. As the difference approached, the unwillingness in Chiao Mian Mian's heart grew stronger and stronger. She stretched her hands around his waist, her face close to his chest, you have to take care of yourself too. Okay. 
Call me right after landing. Okay. Where more before getting off the plane? It's cold over there. Don't catch a cold. Okay. I think I can call me at any time, my cell phone is on for 24 hours. Okay. Remember, you are a husband. Don't mess with small fresh meat everywhere. Okay. Baby, I will miss you every day, and you will miss me every day. Okay. Okay, go check the tickets. This imagination is too rich. ER, look at it when you are bored. Nana scratched her hair embarrassedly. However, Mian Mian, I really think your boyfriend is not like the boss of a small company. How to say, anyway, see his first at a glance, I feel that he has a different aura from ordinary people. For this, Chiao Mian Mian was silent and did not deny it. Mo Yesi really has a different temperament from ordinary people. It was grown up in a very favorable environment from a young age and slowly cultivated. Ordinary families cannot cultivate such a temperament. No wonder Nana thinks he is a wealthy young man hiding his identity. Wow, Sister Mian Mian, your boyfriend hasn't left yet. Nana looked at Mo Yesi who was still standing, and couldn't help but sigh. He has been watching you. His eyes are so focused. Except for you, I haven't seen you he has seen others. Your boyfriend must have loved you badly. Chiao Mian Mian turned around and saw Mo Yesi standing there straight, his eyes all the way towards her, looking at her. It is about to enter the security checkpoint. She tried to hold back the tears that were about to slip out of her eyes, and waved hard at him. Asterisk. It took three hours to fly from Yunjinj to F. As Mo Yesi reminded, Chiao Mian Mian put on a thin sweater before getting off the plane. When I got off the plane, I saw that it was raining outside. The climate of City F is much lower than that of Yunjinj, plus it rains again, the wind blows, and it is chilly. Fortunately, Chiao Mian Mian put on a coat, so I didn't feel how cold. But Nana, wearing short sleeved tee, couldn't bear it anymore, and the whole person curled up with her arms, wow, it's so cold. Why is it raining so much colder than Yunchinj? She looked at Chiao Mian Mian in her jacket and wondered, Sister Mian Mian, how do you know it's cold outside? After Chiao Mian Mian got off the plane, he took out his mobile phone and dialed Mo Yesi's phone. My boyfriend checked the weather here and he asked me to wear more coats before getting off the plane. Nana froze for a few seconds, and then she was about to cry enviously, Sister Mian Mian, your boyfriend is really so considerate. What a fairy boyfriend this is, so enviable. With such a good boyfriend, you have to put your career aside. If it is her, she will choose her boyfriend first, and her career will come to the back. Chiao Mian Mian called Mo Yesi's phone, and after several rings, he was connected. Baby. Are you here? A familiar voice came from the handset of the phone, and it was deep and sultry, and the baby shouted very spoiled. Okay. When a gust of wind blew, Chiao Mian Mian tightened his jacket and followed the crowd into the airport shuttle bus. When I arrived, it was really cold here. Fortunately, you reminded me that I was wearing a plane under my jacket and it was not that cold. It's not too early. Remember to have lunch after you have passed. The man is not at ease in and out of the conversation. Do not allow you to do things without eating. I heard you not. Chiao Mian Mian was warm in his heart, and his lips couldn't help rising, well, I know. Mr. Mo, the meeting is about to start. Wei Zheng's voice came from the mobile phone. Chiao Mian Mian froze for a moment, realizing that Mo Yesi was busy. He immediately said, go to the meeting. I will call you after I report to the crew in a while. Baby, I miss you. However, she then thought of the fact that Tuyili I was forcibly pulled by many female artists during this time. For example, only a few days ago, she saw an entertainment news. She was a female artist who had a variety show with Tuyili I. In the variety show, the two had some exchanges. But overall, there is not much communication. However, 
her fans forcibly buckled up various love filters and deliberately edited many so-called sweet interactions. Although Tuyuliai did not become popular on the Adur route, he is one of the best fresh meat in the entertainment circle today, and his wife and girlfriend fans are also very much. Naturally, the fan of that female artist could not bear to forcefully hype their elder brother CP. So, a large number of graffiti rushed to the female artist Weibo to scold her. Scolded her a dog. He also scolded people for hot searches. In this way, the female entertainer turned black and red. It has been in the top 10 in the hot search list for three consecutive days. Before this, other female artists also used this trick. I deliberately fired the CP and rubbed Yi Lei's popularity in an attempt to become popular in this way. Even if it is black and red, it is red. Better than obscurity. It is estimated that Tu Yili's agent was scared by these female artists. So as soon as I saw a female artist approaching Tu Yili, I felt instinctively reacting again to rub the heat of his family's artists. Thinking of this, Chiao Mian Mian was not so depressed. Since the other party has such worries, then she should have less contact with Tu Yili. Originally, male artists like Tu Yili are not at the same level as her. She never thought of approaching him deliberately. Mr. Tu, since you are busy, then you will not be delayed. I will also go back to pack my luggage, then we will go first, bye. Chiao Mian Mian feared that Tu Yili's agent felt that she wanted to rub the heat. After talking, before waiting for Tu Yili's response, she pulled Nana and walked past him. Sister Mian Mian, you, wait a minute. Nana was dragged into the elevator by her, and both eyes looked at Tu Yili outside the elevator, a little anxiously said, Sister Mian Mian, I want to get a signature. You, don't hurry to go, wait for me a while. Seeing that the elevator will close. Nana immediately pressed the door open button, and as soon as the elevator door opened, she rushed out with wind speed. Chiao Mian Mian saw her rushing to and from Tu Yili, took off her backpack and drew a pen and a notebook from the bag, and then blushed and asked if Tu Yili could sign her. Tu Yili froze for a few seconds, then smiled and took over the pen and notebook in her hand, and quickly signed his name. After signing, he returned the notebook to Nana. Nana took it, looked at it again, holding his signature, her eyes narrowed into a slit with a smile. You can see how happy you are. Holding the notebook, she ran back happily. Sister Mian Mian, look, Tu Yili signed me, and also sent me a blessing. Nana handed the notebook to Jiao Mian Mian like a treasure, wow, he really has affinity, a little shelf. No. And the words are written beautifully, as well as his people. I finally know why he is so red. He looks so handsome, has a good temper, and doesn't have any big name celebrities. If such a person is not hot, it is absolutely natural. I need someone to frame this signature and keep it. I will take it out and watch it before going to bed every day. I can definitely sleep very well. Chiao Mian Mian. Sister Mian Mian, you don't understand the psychology of our little fans. You don't know how excited I was when I saw him, and my heart almost popped out. I really like Tu Yili, you don't you think he looks handsome? Oh, by the way, I have forgotten that your boyfriend is super handsome too. No wonder you see Tu Yili not responding. You must be looking at your boyfriend's best every day and see that immunity is coming. Seriously, although I am a fan of Tu Yili, I think your boyfriend is still more masculine. Tu Yili looks, too young boy. Well, how to say? Tu Yili's type is suitable for falling in love, your boyfriend's kind is suitable for falling in love and suitable for marriage. However, although Tu Yili is very good, his agent is not very pleased. When I was just looking for Tu Yili to sign, his agent wanted to block me. The elevator doors closed slowly. Listening to Nana chattering in her ear, Chiao Mian Mian couldn't help but remind her, Nana, it's okay in the future. You don't have to find Tu Yili. He should not mind, but his agent certainly doesn't like us going to him. Why? 
Nana blinked. Is it normal to communicate? Xiao Mian Mian thought about it again, and said softly, I am still a celebrity, but he is already very popular. If you go to him often, you will be gossiped by others. Moreover, his fans are not easy to mess with, I don't want to, get in trouble. Nana soon understood. I know, Sister Mian Mian. She nodded. No wonder his agent wants to stop me. Does he think we want to rub Yi Lei's heat? Sister Mian Mian, you're not such a person. You can't blame him either. There are indeed many female artists who rubbed Yi Lei's popularity. He is also afraid. Anyway, there will be nothing in the future, just contact less. Asterisk. The room arranged by the crew is at the hotel where you register. It is a five-star hotel. I have to say that the crew is very generous. Arranged for Chiao Mian Mian is a business suite, two sets of one, she and Nana a room. The N suite environment is also very good. Moreover, the hotel is close to the sea. Chiao Mian Mian's room is on the 28th floor, with a large floor-to-ceiling window. Standing by the window, you can see the sea view not far away. Wow, the room is awesome. The moment she pushed open the door and walked in, Nana exclaimed in surprise. It's a suite. Is this room really only for two of us? This is too extravagant. In general, such a business suite must be at least the specifications of the second female. For a female number three like Chiao Mian Mian, the room where she lives should not be so good. Chiao Mian Mian also knew this. She can live in a business suite. It must be that Yan Shaoqing has greeted Bai Yusheng. This is Bai Yusheng's special care for her. On this piece, Chiao Mian Mian was not hypocritical, nor did she ask to change rooms because she was afraid that someone would say she walked through the back door. The business suite is definitely more comfortable than the average room. She has to film a three-month scene here. Filming has always been a very hard thing. If the accommodation is not good enough, God knows how hard it is. She wants to live comfortably. Anyway, she didn't live in the presidential suite. Not many people should notice this. Wow, here you can also see the sea view, which is also great. Nana went into the room and put the suitcase, and then visited the furnishings in the room. She slammed into the soft bed, hugged the pillow and said with a smile, This bed is so big and soft. It's great. You can sleep well in the past few months. The crew is so conscientious. I thought we lived in an ordinary standard room. Chiao Mian Mian pursed her lips and said nothing. Without Bai Yusheng's special care, she would live in a standard room. At this time, she feels that it is still good to be a related household. Sister Mian Mian, shall we pack things first, or shall we eat first? Nana rolled the bed a few times with her pillow in her arms and slowly sat up. Chiao Mian Mian just wanted to answer her, and WeChat Ding rang. When she opened it, it was WeChat Mo Yesi sent to her, Have you lived there, have you eaten? Be sure to remember to eat and don't be hungry. She stared at WeChat for a while, her lips could not help rising, her heart was as sweet as honey. It feels good to be remembered. After thinking for a while, she quickly returned a message, she just arrived at the hotel room and put her luggage away, ready to go out for dinner. How about you? M.O. Yesi seconds back, I am also going to dinner. How is the environment where you live, are you satisfied? Chiao Mian Mian, very satisfied. The business suite arranged for us by the crew is still by the sea, and you can see the sea view at any time. Did you let Yan Shaoqing arrange it? M.O. Yesi, well, you have to live a little better when going out. If you are not afraid that the arrangement is too good and it will not affect you badly, we will arrange a presidential suite for you. Chiao Mian Mian, no, it's fine now. M.O. Yesi, it's almost faster. Let's go to eat. Chiao Mian Mian, okay, then I'm going to eat. By the way, what do you eat at noon? M.O. Yesi, I don't know yet, what do you eat? Chiao Mian Mian thought about it and replied, 
I don't know. I'll take a look downstairs later. M.O.S.E., well, before you eat, you will take a picture for me and let me see what you eat. Chiao Mian Mian, okay, then you also take a photo for me, and I want to see what you eat. M.O.S.E., good. Asterisk. Go downstairs. Chiao Mian Mian and Nana searched around and found a snail powder shop. Both of them liked to eat snail powder, and soon they hit it off and decided to eat snail powder. As soon as I walked into the store, a little bad smell floated over. Nana took a deep breath and said intoxicatedly, I haven't eaten snail powder in a long time. I smelled this smell and got greedy. After a while, I must ask the boss to add more sour shoots to me. I like to eat snail powder. The sour bamboo shoots here. The two found a place to sit down. One person ordered a family portrait set in the store. There are many side dishes in the family portrait. All of them love to eat. After waiting for a while, the clerk came out with two oversized bowls. Immediately after being placed on the table, Nana could not wait to pick up the chopsticks and pinched the chopstick powder, and then gave a satisfied sigh, that's the taste, delicious. Chiao Mian Mian thought of what he had promised Mo Yesi before, and took up his phone and took a photo and sent it to him. After waiting a few seconds, Mo Yesi replied, What is this? Chiao Mian Mian took a braised egg and took a bite, replied, Snail powder, super delicious. Asterisk. The other side. Mo Yesi, who was still waiting for Wei Zhang to take back the delivery, saw the message from Chiao Mian Mian and the next second, he called Wei Zheng's phone. Hey, President Mo. The previous takeaway was cancelled. You are going to buy a copy of snail powder now. I will eat snail powder at noon today. The wife said that it was super delicious, and it must be delicious. In the mobile phone, I don't know if Wei Zheng didn't hear what he said, but he was surprised, and he didn't say anything for a while. Just when Mo Yesi was about to run out of patience, Wei Zheng's trembling voice rang again, Mo, President, you just said that you want to eat snail powder. Problem? Don't tell me, you can't buy it. Mo Yesi's voice was deep and he was obviously unhappy. Of course not. Wei Zheng replied immediately. But, President Mo, are you sure you want to eat snail powder? Do you know what that is? How? Just that thing might taste a little strange. If you haven't eaten it, President Mo, I'm worried, you won't get used to it. Moreover, it will make your office smell a very strange smell for a long time. President Mo, are you sure you want to eat? After half an hour, Wei Zheng came back with a bag of snail powder. He knocked on the office door, and after getting permission, he opened the door and walked in. As soon as I walked in, I saw his family Mo holding the phone and staring at the screen. At a glance, is talking to people. As for who the chat partner is, you can guess with your toes. Moreover, he guessed that President Mo suddenly became so abnormal today, and proposed what snail powder to eat, most probably also related to the person he was talking to. He has followed President Mo for several years. I haven't seen any snail powder that President Mo has eaten. President Mo of his family, I don't even know what snail powder is. In order to keep up with his daughter-in-law's footsteps, it is quite hard. He felt that if Mr. Mo called him to buy stinky tofu fried skewers or something, he shouldn't be too surprised. Mr. Mo, this is the snail powder you want. Wei Zheng took the box out and put it on the desk. Before going out, he glanced at the box of snail powder on the table, and his expression stopped. Does he want, to remind President Mo again? As a qualified and competent assistant, he felt he should remind again. Mo Yesi raised his eyes and looked at him, say whatever you want. That, President Mo. Wei Zhang pointed to the box on the table and said in a more euphemistic way. The moment you open the box, you may smell a strange smell. I think. No you are still. Get out. 
Before he had finished speaking, Mo Yesi gave a cold order. Wei Zheng. Okay, President Mo, then I'll go out first. You'll tell me if you have something. Before Wei Zheng left, he silently glanced at the closed box of snail powder on the table. He imagined what Mo Zhou would look like when he opened the box. He has eaten the snail powder. The taste is good and delicious. It's that great smell. He cooked a bag at home last time, and then the neighbor next door knocked on his door and asked if his toilet was fried. What's more terrible is that the smell remains very long, and it hasn't been eliminated until the next day. Wei Zheng originally thought that his family's ink was always unacceptable. I certainly don't get used to it. After he went out of the office, he stood outside and did not go. He felt that it wouldn't be long before President Mo decided to let him in, and then let him take out the bowl of snail powder. He is ready for this. But waited for more than ten minutes, did not wait for the call of his home President Mo. Just when Wei Zheng had begun to doubt his life a bit, his mobile phone finally rang. He took it out and saw it. Mo Yesi sent him a message asking him to go back to the mall to buy a set of clothes. Asterisk. Half an hour later, Wei Zheng returned to buy clothes and knocked on the office door. As soon as he walked in, he smelled a familiar smell of honey juice. At the same time, the door of the lounge opened, and Mo Yesi walked out around the towel and stretched out a hand towards him. Wei Zheng immediately passed the clothes bag. He glanced at the lunch box on the desk with Yu Guang, and when he found that there was only a little left in the snail powder, the whole person doubted his life again. Did President Mo really eat the snail powder? Moreover, I ate so much. He couldn't restrain the curiosity in his heart, and he couldn't help asking, Mo President, do you think the snail powder is delicious? Well, the taste is not bad. Mo Yesi unbuttoned the bath towel, took out the black shirt from the bag and put on it, slender fingers pinched the buttons and tied them one by one. It's a little spicy. Next time you let the boss less put some peppers. Wei Zheng? He did not give up, don't you think it tastes strange? Of course weird. Mo Yesi put on his shirt, raised his head, and his cold eyes fell on him, his eyes narrowed, so your next task is to give me the smell in the office. Off. Wei Zheng? The corner of his mouth twitched, Mo Zone. Is this not easy to operate? He wanted to eliminate the unpleasant smell at home last time. A lot of methods were used, but none worked. Mo Yeji narrowed his eyes again, oh, is it? Wei Zheng, no, no, I just thought about it, but it's actually quite easy to operate. President Mo, rest assured that I will definitely complete the task and guarantee a fresh and pleasant environment in your office. Mo Yesi changed clothes, picked up the mobile phone on the table, turned and walked out, move all my files and computer to the next room. Walking to the door of the office, the phone ding rang. He clicked on the screen and it showed. My baby, how is it, is it delicious? The man's thin lips slowly rose, evoking a spoiled smile. His finger tapped on the screen and knocked down three words, um, delicious. My baby, do you also feel delicious? Really, did you lie to me? Mo Yesi, I didn't lie to you, I ate everything. My baby, there is a snail powder in Yunchinch with super authentic taste, just over the back door of our school. When I come back, I will take you to eat. Mo Yesi, good. My baby, then we have agreed. Mo Yesi, good. Asterisk. On the first night in F City, Xiao Mian Mian and Mo Yesi stayed with Mai all night. When she opened her eyes the next morning, it showed that the two had been talking for up to nine hours. Because there was Mo Yesi coaxing to sleep, she did not suffer from insomnia because she moved to a strange place. She slept soundly all night. When I woke up, I was full of energy. After getting up, she sent Mo Yesi a good morning message and went to the bathroom to wash. The hotel is prepared for breakfast. Xiaomi and Mian quickly packed it up, 
and after Nana went downstairs for breakfast, she followed the crew of the crew to the filming base. First line entertainers like Tuyuli I have their own nanny cars. There is no need to go with them. The second and third line artists are basically nanny cars. Only newcomers like Xiaomi and Mian will ride in the same car as the crew. Most of the staff are men. Suddenly I saw such a beautiful little girl sitting in the car. I couldn't help but glanced at it twice. Some young guys also blushed. When they do this, they naturally see more handsome men and beautiful women. However, there were few girls who looked so watery. And the little girl looked pure at first glance, without moving her face. Anything that moves on your face will always look a bit unnatural. For example, this time the female number one Huang Yilin. Huang Yilin looks beautiful because she has a knife on her face, so even if she looks good on the camera, in reality it will look a bit unnatural. On Yan Yan, the little girl in front of her is definitely more beautiful than Huang Yilin. It's just that the choice of angle is not based on the choice of face. The face will occupy a certain factor, but the most important factor is definitely not because of the face. Huang Yilin's face is a little stiff, but she has good acting skills and a great reputation. An hour later, arrived at the shooting base. The shooting base was on a beach. When Xiaomi and Mian got out of the car, he saw a nanny car stop in front of them. First came a person holding an umbrella, and then a person holding a water glass and carrying a bag. Sister Mian Mian, that's Huang Yulin Yi. Nana looked at the last woman who came down from the car, her eyes lit up, and she lowered her voice and said, Huang Yilin is the most popular little flower now, at a young age, she has received a post-film award, in the same batch of entertainers. It can be said that it is very good. She looks pretty, but how do I think her face looks less natural than before? You whisper. Xiaomi and Mian was also watching Huang Yilin. She also said in her throat, don't be heard by them. Huang Yilin looked less beautiful than the photos. But it also looks pretty. Her appearance is a standard beauty appearance, tall, fair skin, wearing a red tight skirt, especially showing her figure. Probably afraid of being exposed to the sun, she also put a silver grey sunscreen outside her red dress. He also wore a big sunscreen fisherman hat on his head. An assistant held the umbrella and lifted it over her head, blocking the dazzling sunlight. Another assistant opened the cup in his hand and handed it to her. Bai Gongbai respectfully said, Sister Yilin, you drink some water. Huang Yilin took it and took a lazy sip. I don't know if she didn't sleep well. She didn't seem to be in good spirits, and she felt a lazy breath all over her body. Suddenly, her eyes lighted up and there was a flash of light in her eyes that hadn't been so glorious, and she looked a little excitedly in a certain direction. Xiaomi and Mian and Nana followed her gaze, and when they saw the man coming down from another black Maybach parked not far away, he immediately understood why Huang Yilin was so excited. The man who came down from Maybach was Bai Yusheng. Bai Yusheng still shaved. Xiaomi and Mian almost didn't recognize anyone. On the day of her interview, Bai Yusheng didn't shave, exactly the same as he shaved now. Without a beard, he looks at least six or seven years younger. With a beard, it looks much more mature. Now he looks like a little fresh meat. If you don't know his identity, Xiaomi and Mian will think this is a male artist found by the crew. After all, Bai Yusheng's face value is definitely the top one among the directors in the entertainment circle. It's okay to debut. Bai Yusheng got off the train, not only did Huang Yilin's eyes brighten, but Xiaomi and Mian saw all the actresses in the crew, including other female crew members' eyes brightened. Huang Yilin was so careless that he would be exposed to the sun, and walked out directly under the umbrella, stepping on a pair of red high-heeled shoes with a height of 10 centimeters, and quickly walked towards Bai Yusheng. Several female entertainers who were close to Bai Yusheng wanted to greet Bai Yusheng in the past. But when she saw Huang Yilin coming, all the female artists took a step back. It's like I'm afraid of something. Seeing this scene, Nana opened her eyes wide and whispered with emotion, 
Sister Mian Mian, do you see them? They seem to be very afraid of Huang Yilin. Huang Yilin has a bad temper, don't you all say that she has a good personality and is very grounded? Isn't there a little bit of it? Chiao Mian Mian also saw it. After a few seconds of silence, she thought thoughtfully, it is estimated that Huang Yilin's coffee is relatively large. Is this a behavior, respecting seniors? Is it? Nana looked at Huang Yilin who had walked to Bai Yusheng, thought about it, and nodded, maybe. But, Mian Mian, is that Bai Gui? Is he so young and so handsome? Well, that's Bai Gui. It's too young, it looks like Xiao Zian Ro. He looks like he can be the male lead of the crew. Nana stared at Huang Yilin for a few seconds, her eyes rolled, and suddenly lowered her voice, no wonder Huang Yilin was so excited. When she saw Bai Dao coming, she passed by immediately. I heard that Bai Dao is a rich second generation, and she has a very good family. Qian, the filming is purely for hobbies. He is the kind of person who has to be forced to go home and inherit hundreds of billions of properties if he fails to film, and he looks so handsome. Hey, it's really tempting. It is estimated that the female entertainers in the entertainment industry want to take him down. Chiao Mian Mian. She found that Nana and Zhang Luli really looked alike. Not only is Yan Go the same, but also the same gossip. However, Huang Yilin had just reacted and it looked a little too obvious. Chiao Mian Mian watched as Huang Yilin walked over, smiling and Bai Yusheng greeted each other, Bai Yusheng nodded, the two said a few more words, Bai Yusheng suddenly looked up, and looked directly at Chiao Mian Mian. Chiao Mian Mian was watching him and Huang Yilin. As Bai Yusheng raised his eyes, Chiao Mian's eyes met him. Chiao Mian froze for a few seconds at the moment when his eyes were opposite. When she saw Bai Yusheng seeing her, she was hesitant to go to say hello, but Bai Yusheng came towards her. He watched with surprise and surprise, walked directly to Jiao Mian Mian, and then greeted her voluntarily, Is it good to rest last night? Did you come by the cruise car today? Joe's eyes widened in a sudden. Nana beside her also widened her eyes in surprise. People around him heard these two words he asked and even more surprised that their jaws were about to land. Lying trough. What is the situation? What is the relationship between this young couple and Bai Dao? Not only did Bai Dao come over and greet her, but although the two sentences just sounded normal, there was nothing special about it, but it seemed like a mode of dialogue between acquaintances. Still a good acquaintance. Bai Dao Gang and Huang Yilin did not speak so casually. Chiao Mian Mian was originally a newcomer, so few people paid too much attention to her. Bai Yusheng greeted a dozen, and everyone present began to secretly guess what the relationship between the two was. There were also many people who secretly followed Chiao Mian Lei Ai. Not far behind. Huang Yilin first had a stunned expression on her face. After a few seconds, her face sank, and she looked at Chiao Mian Mian with a chill in her eyes. When she saw Chiao Mian Mian's appearance clearly, she froze for a few more seconds, and her face became more difficult to look at. She clenched her lips, pinched her palms with her fingernails, turned her head, and asked her assistant who gave her an umbrella ugly, who is that woman? Is she a friend of Baideo? She didn't even notice. The assistant also glanced at Chiao Mian Mian, then shook his head and whispered, No. She seems to have a good relationship with Bai Dao. Let Bai Dao take the initiative to say hello, it should be a relatively familiar person. Huang Yilin suddenly felt an inexplicable sense of crisis. She bit her lip, frowned, and turned her head again to look at Chiao Mian Mian. His eyes fell on that delicate and beautiful white tender face that couldn't pick up any traces of flaws, his brows could not help but wrinkle and tighten and the sense of crisis became stronger and stronger. She asked a little irritably, How do you think that woman looks? The assistant has followed Huang Yilin for several years. Naturally know her thoughts about Bai Yusheng. Listening to her asking this question, the assistant froze and turned to look at her face. 
After hesitating for a few seconds, he thought back and said, It's okay, it looks pretty good. But it's still worse than Sister Lin Far. After listening to this sentence, Huang Yilin's slightly gloomy face eased a little. But his face is still not pretty. She looked at Chiao Mianmian's shiny white skin, and she couldn't help producing a trace of jealousy, really? But I think she looks pretty, and Bai Dao seems to like her. How is it possible, looking like an underage, not at all feminine? How could Bai Dao like that kind of yellow-haired girl? The assistant thought that the little girl was indeed pretty, so dazzlingly beautiful. Although it looked young, it wasn't the yellow-haired girl he didn't have any feminine. He just glanced at it, and his heartbeat hasn't calmed down yet. At that glance, he felt he saw his first love. When he was in high school, he fell in love with a girl. This little girl is much more beautiful and pure than his secret crush. Absolutely straight men like the model. But he dare not say these words. He wanted to say that the girl was very beautiful, and Huang Yilin absolutely let him go. That's right. Huang Yilin finally had a little smile on his face, and said with a cold sneer, it's just a yellow-haired girl, still very tender. It is simply not enough to be her opponent. She didn't know what happened just now, but she felt a threat. Men like Bai Yusheng like mature and women. That kind of childish little girl, even if she looks a little handsome, is not his dish. She, no need to worry at all. However, she still had to figure out what the little girl had to do with Bai Yusheng. Otherwise, my heart is always unreliable. Chiao Mian Mian didn't know at all. In just one minute, she was listed as a potential rival by Huang Yilin. Then in another minute, he was removed from the list of potential rivals. Thank you Bai Gui for your concern. I slept very well last night. Today I came from the crew of the crew. After a few seconds, Chiao Mian Mian reacted, took a deep breath, and tried to ignore the deep meanings around him. Looking back, a proper way. Bai Yusheng nodded, that's good. But you can come by my car in the future, give me a call before you leave, and I will take you to the crew together. Oh, I forgot, you don't have my contact information yet. Bai Yusheng took out his mobile phone and said to Jiao Mian Mian in the eyes of people around him with more consternation, give me your mobile phone number and I will call you. Chiao Mian Mian heard a puff of breath. Even herself, her eyes widened in amazement. Huang Yilin, who had already relaxed her guard and didn't take her seriously, instantly became somber when she heard Bai Yusheng ask her to contact her. How ugly it is, how ugly it is. Others looked at Chiao Mian Mian with a meaningful look. They pushed down some of the speculations just now and reassessed their relationship. It turned out that this young rookie had no contact information for Baideo. Well, they must not be friends who are more familiar. If it's a friend, how can there be no contact information? If you are not a friend, Bai Tao's series of operations seems to be like this little newcomer. Take the initiative to say hello, take the initiative to contact. This is what you want to see. Oops. This little rookie is really lucky. It was actually taken by Bai Gui. A top quality male like Bai Dao, but one of the thighs most wanted by female entertainers in the entertainment industry, but Bai Dao is a man with emotional cleanliness, and his vision is very high. There is no female artist who wants to hug his thighs. Successful. The female artists who actively knocked on the door of the white guide room and actively sought the unspoken rules did not know how many. All were rejected. I heard that even the international actress Miss Chang took the initiative to hook him up and only asked him to spring once, but he was rejected. That's a pretty glamorous stunner. It turned out that Bai Dao likes this kind of pure actress. No wonder he will refuse the Miss process. Miss Chen Mei is beautiful, but it is a beauty of the type, and does not take the pure path. What it means to be liked by Bai Yusheng the female entertainers in the entertainment industry are very clear. This is simply embracing a golden thigh leading to Yangguan Avenue. The female artists present, envious envy, jealous envy. 
What's more, it is with a good attitude towards the show. After all, who doesn't know Huang Yilin's thoughts? Although she did not explicitly pursue Bai Yusheng, she did not hide her thoughts on Bai Yusheng. I'm afraid. This newcomer has been stared at by Huang Yilin. Not necessarily, the future will be better. For an identity like Bai Yusheng, even if I really like this little rookie, how long can I like it? Maybe it's a momentary interest. I like it today, but I don't like it tomorrow. When he doesn't like it anymore, this little newcomer will be unlucky. Offended Huang Yilin, can you still eat good fruit? Bai, Bai guide, don't use it. Here, this is too troublesome for you. Xiaomian Mian knew that Bai Yusheng was only looking at Yan Shaoqing's face, and she would take special care of her. However, others do not know. Seeing the people around her seeing her eyes became more and more meaningful, her scalp was numb and she felt uncomfortable. I just took the bus from the crew and came over. Bai Yusheng raised his eyebrows, are you sure? I'm sure. Xiaomian Mian nodded. Thank Bai Dao for his kindness, but I really don't want to trouble you. She deliberately aggravated the term you. I want people around me to know that she has no special relationship with Bai Yusheng. But the effect does not seem to be great. The people present have already made up her relationship with Bai Yusheng by various brains. Looking at her eyes, they are very meaningful. Bai Yusheng didn't insist, and his long fingers tapped on the screen of his mobile phone, and he said, that line, the crew of the crew is actually quite good. Just remember your contact information. What can I call in the future? Xiaomian Mian. How does she think Bai Yusheng said that it seems more likely to make people misunderstand their relationship? However, she could refuse him to send her to the crew. If you refuse to give him contact information again, you will be too ignorant. And still refused in public. Isn't this making Bai Yusheng lose face? Thinking that someone had misunderstood anyway, and could not explain clearly, Xiaomian Mian held the broken jar and broke the mentality, and reported the phone number to Bai Yusheng. Bai Yusheng dialed the number she reported, looked at her phone number, and turned away. As soon as he left, the scene that was still quiet just now became lively. Three or five people gathered together, whispering while watching Chiao Mian Mian. Sister Mian Mian, do you know Bai Dao? Nana asked with curiosity after she recovered from a series of surprises. Chiao Mian Mian stored the number, locked the phone's screen, and after thinking about it, he replied, I don't know you. She also met Bai Yusheng once on the day of the audition. Just seen it once. In total, they met twice. However, Bai Dao just... Nana, like everyone else, wondered whether Bai Yusheng meant that to Jiao Mian Mian. After all, what he did seemed really obvious. Although she didn't know Bai Yusheng, she had heard of some things related to Bai Yusheng. The rich and powerful brother-in-law is not interested in inheriting his 100 billion industry, likes to be a director and filming, and the university is also a major related to performance. Because of his outstanding family background, he is also very talented. Many directors have to film, they have to hold investors. He is different. He is an investor holding him. He himself is also one of the investors in each drama. So, this is a very proud man. It's easy, don't take anyone's eyes. His contact information will naturally not be easily given to others. In fact, not many people have obtained Bai Yusheng's contact information. He took the initiative to give someone his mobile phone number, even more so. Moreover, Chiao Mian Mian is still a newcomer who is too new to be new. Under normal circumstances, Bai Yusheng would not come to talk to her. Combining the above situations, the greatest possibility is that Bai Yusheng fell in love with her at first sight and fell in love with her. Think about it, it seems not surprising. Chiao Mian 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 was so amazing that she was a woman. In the eyes of men, her beauty has to increase by two degrees. Mian Mian, did you say that Bai Dao was in love with you? 
Nana was straight-minded and didn't think so much. She asked directly what she thought. You look so beautiful, I think Bai Dao must have loved you at first sight. Bai Dao's conditions are very good. It is the famous Diamond King in the circle. Many female artists want to sleep with him. However, you already have a boyfriend, and your boyfriend is also excellent. Alas, it seems Bai Gui is destined to be sad. Chiao Mian Mian. What the hell? Bai Yusheng has a crush on her? She twitched the corner of her mouth and reached out to stroke her forehead. She laughed and said, Don't think about it, this is nothing. I didn't think about it. Nana said seriously, I think this is very likely. Otherwise, why did he give you the contact information so actively? I think it's not just me thinking, other people must think so. Of. Sister Mian Mian, what are you going to do, if he really confessed to you, would you directly reject him? Will this make him feel very faceless, kicking you out of the crew with anger and shame? Okay, stop and stop. Chiao Mian Mian couldn't listen anymore, reached out and pulled Nana aside, lowering his voice and said, Me and Bai Dao are not what you think. My boyfriend has a friend who has a very good relationship with him, and then came over with him this time say hello and let him take care of me a little bit. Don't think about it anymore. Nana froze for a moment, then raised her head in surprise, Sister Mian Mian, did you really doubt your boyfriend's true identity? He is a small company and can meet such a good friend. I will say that your boyfriend is an overbearing president, you don't believe it yet. Maybe, the friend your boyfriend said is himself. What kind of identity is Bai Yusheng, if he can let Bai Yusheng take care of you like this, then their relationship must be very good, but if the status is different, it's too big, how can it be a good friend? Chiao Mian Mian she is clearly explaining her relationship with Bai Yusheng. How to pay attention to the overbearing president again. This girl, as expected, is the most popular novel. Chiao Mian Mian was trying to persuade Nana to read less of these novels in the future, and a voice suddenly sounded behind him. Miss Jo. It's a woman's voice, charming and feminine, sounding feminine. Chiao Mian Mian froze, turned around and when he saw that it was Huang Yilin, he couldn't help but froze again. She froze for a few seconds before reacting, nodded toward Huang Yilin, and said hello, Senior Huang, hello. Huang Yilin is older than her. The time to enter the circle is earlier than her. In addition, he has made several TV series with good reputation ratings, and has won a post-film award. As a newcomer, Chiao Mian Mian shouted her senior should be. Huang Yilin also accepted frankly, slightly red lips softly said, Miss Chiao, can I ask you a few questions? Chiao Mian Mian was startled again, and then said, Senior Huang, please say that. Bai Dao is also the man you can think of? I warn you, this circle is not as good as you think. If you want to continue mixing, give me a point. After talking, Huang Yilin turned to leave. At the moment of turning around, when she saw the person standing behind her, she was stunned, her face slightly changed, her eyes flickered unnaturally, Yi Lei, when did you come? There was nothing to say, startled me. Tu Yili I looked at her with a light smile on his lips, I just arrived and saw you and Miss Jiao talking here, so I came over to say hello to you. He said that those dark and bright eyes crossed Huang Yilin, and a friendly smile with a little smile fell on Chiao Mian Mian's face, smiling and saying hello to her, Miss Chiao, good morning. Chiao Mian Mian stunned, and then smiled at him, Mr. Tu, good morning. When Huang Yilin saw Tu Yili I even greet Chiao Mian Mian, his expression stiffened. Yile, you and Miss Chiao, do you know? Huang Yilin did not know when Tu Yili I stood behind her or how many words he had heard with Chiao Mian Mian. If they know, the relationship is not bad. She couldn't help but think about her face. This little newcomer has much deeper ideas and means than she imagined. Obviously is a small actor who can't count on the 18th line. However, 
she not only attracted Bai Yusheng's attention, even Tu Yuliai, now the most popular male artist, seems to be somewhat different from her. Tu Yuliai's character is very good, there is no shelf in front of anyone. But this does not mean that he is very passionate about everyone. It does not mean that he is willing to take the initiative to approach someone. Just now, Tu Yuliai first greeted Jiao Mian Mian. Being a woman, Huang Yilin can feel that Tu Yuliai's eyes on Jiao Mian Mian are a bit different from those of other actresses. Although the surface looks no different. But if you look closely, you can see the difference. One Bai Yusheng, one Tu Yuliai and now the two hottest single men in the circle are all interested in this little newcomer. Huang Yilin's heart could not restrain the birth of a trace of jealousy. She should be the central figure in the whole crew. The eyes of these men should be around her. But now, her limelight was taken away by a small newcomer. Huang Yilin bit her lip tightly, and Chiao Mian Lian gave her a knife-like look. At this glance, Nana was a little scared and couldn't help but shrink back to Jiao Mian Mian. Tu Yiliai naturally also saw Huang Yilin's glance at Jiao Mian Mian just now. He was silent for a while, and he said with a smile, Well, I know, Miss Jiao is my friend. Originally, I would also like to introduce you to know and let you take care she didn't expect you to know each other. It seems that I don't need to introduce you again. Tu Yiliai's words gave Jiao Mian Mian a surprised and unexpected look on his face. She looked at him in surprise. However, Tu Yiliai blinked at her, as if to tell her not to pierce him. Huang Yilin saw this scene in her eyes, only to think that the two were looking in front of her brow. She squeezed her fingers tightly in her heart, biting her lips and secretly scolding the vixen in her heart. She smiled and said, Miss Jiao and I are also seeing this for the first time. It's not a real acquaintance. The star takes care of her, do you still need me? She smiled angrily, very good, Miss Jiao, I hope Bai Dao's interest in it will continue to increase. Otherwise, hum. Probably because of the presence of Tu Yiliai and the maintenance of her own image, half of what she said was turned into a cold hum, and she turned and left. Sorry. Mian Mian. When Huang Yilin went away, Nana said with a worried face, I blame me, I'm causing you trouble. What to do, Huang Yilin seems very angry. In the future, will she intentionally trouble you? Sister Mian Mian, I'm really sorry, I actually caused you so much trouble. Nana blamed herself for crying, and her eyes were red. Chiao Mian Mian reached out and patted her shoulder, comforting. It has nothing to do with you, you don't have to blame yourself. Even if you didn't say that, she would still trouble me. The fuse is by Yusheng. So, did Nana say that sentence, the result is the same. From the moment Bai Yusheng gave her mobile number in public, Huang Yilin couldn't let her go. But, Nana still felt very blamed. She had just caused Jiao Mian Mian to be an assistant for less than a day causing such a big trouble. On the first day of the crew, the heroine of the crew was offended. The next three months must have been tough. Even if Huang Yilin was afraid of Bai Dao and her own image, she did not dare to know how. But who knows whether she will secretly use any means. With Huang Yilin's current status, it is too simple to secretly pick up a newcomer. Nana, this matter really has nothing to do with you. Chiao Mian Mian sighed. Did you not see it yet? She is because of Bai Yusheng. Halfway through the talk, she suddenly realized that Tu Yiliai had not left. Still standing on the spot, looking at her with a smile. Chiao Mian Mian. Mr. Tu, you, why are you still here? Tu Yiliai looked at her with a frightened expression on his face, and said, I am here, scaring you? If you need me to avoid it, then I will. No no. Chiao Mian Mian shook his head, I don't mean that. I thought you just left with Senior Huang. Tu Yiliai raised an eyebrow and wondered, why should I go with her? Er. Chiao Mian Mian also raised an eyebrow. Aren't you good friends? Tu Yiliai was startled, frowning, who told you that I am a good friend with her? 
is not it. She had just heard Huang Yilin call him Yulei, very close. Listen to the title, the relationship seems to be very good. But Tu Yulei's reaction seemed to be different from what she thought. No. Tu Yulei replied without hesitation, I have collaborated with her before on a play, which can only be regarded as an acquaintance, just an ordinary friend. Oh. She felt that Tu Yulei actually didn't need to explain to him. No matter what his relationship with Huang Yilin, it has nothing to do with her. Don't worry about what she said just now. She does have thoughts about Bai Dao in that respect, so she will doubt that other actresses will grab Bai Bai with her. The words I said to her just now are not all deceptions. Her. Chiao Myanma was startled, and blinked. Tu Yili's dark and clear eyes looked at her, and her eyes seemed to be filled with a sea of stars, if she troubles you in the future, you can tell me and I will help you. I will take care of you. Mike said angrily, OK, let's talk aside. This time, I see how you want to tell me. After he finished speaking, he turned his head and turned to the side. Before leaving, he glared at Chiao Mian Mian angrily. Chiao Mian Mian. She is estimated to be incompatible with Mike. She decided to see Tu Yiliai next time, she must hide far away. Otherwise, he must be avoided. Of course, Tu Yiliai is no problem. However, his agent is really. Chiao Mian Mian really didn't want to get any messy hat anymore. God knows, a little boy like Tu Yiliai is really not her dish. After Mike left, Tu Yiliai apologized. Sorry, Miss Chiao, my agent he. I understand. Before he finished, Chiao Mian Mian said with understanding, he is also for your good. It is also good to be more guarded. After all, there are indeed many female artists who rub your heat. Then don't you mind? You won't be angry because of it. Will not. Chiao Mian Mian smiled, he is not malicious, nor is he just like me. I guess, if he sees other female artists around you, is he the same? Tu Yilei stared at her for a few seconds, seeing that she was indeed lifeless, relieved, and nodded with a smile, yes. As long as there is a woman next to me, he would be so nervous. But he also started this way. When he knows the other party and knows that the other party doesn't mean that, he won't be like that. After explaining a few more words, Tu Yilei went to his agent. After someone walked away for a while, Nana thoughtfully looked at Tu Yilei's back as she drifted away, and crossed her guess. She pressed this guess to her heart. Not easy to ask. Asterisk. The other side. Mike walked to a place with few people and stood under a big tree waiting for Tu Yilei. After a while, when Tu Yilei came to see him, he snorted with his arms folded and turned his head to the side. Tu Yilei approached and laughed, Mike, are you still angry? You should know that I was joking with you just now. Mike sneered, well, who knows if it's a joke or your truth. Tu Yilei. Okay, I apologize to you. He knew Mike's temper, and it would be good to coax, even if it's a joke, I shouldn't have said that in front of others just now, and I lost your face. Yes. My fault. Mike didn't look at him with his head tilted, he let out a cold grunt from his nose. But his face was better than before. Don't always be suspicious. I've said it all. I don't plan to fall in love now, so you can't trust me more? You just said that in front of others. It's not a gentleman. Are you blaming me? Mike just felt a little more angry and he turned his head again when he heard the words. He asked with his hands on his hips, since you are not interested in the little girl, how can you go to find someone old? Why didn't I see you looking for other female artists in the crew? Dare you say that you are not interesting to her? Xiao Tutu, you are the cub I brought with me for several years. What kind of girl do you like? You think I don't know? That little girl is the type you like. The first time you see someone, your eyes will be straight. Tu Yilei. How about it, I've hit it, have nothing to say. 
Tuyuliai pursed his lips for a moment and said, In short, I will not fall in love now, you can rest assured about this. Mike froze, raising his head, frowning tightly. He did not deny. Based on his knowledge of his family, he admitted without denying it. This little boy really likes the little girl named Jo. He knew that if the little girl had grown like that, how could Xiao Tutu be indifferent? Small, I don't allow you to fall in love. But it's inappropriate for you to talk at this time. Besides, even if you want to fall in love, that little girl is not for you. Mike also said after a moment of silence. Why? Tu Yiliai's eyes flashed. When I first came over, I heard people say that Bai Yusheng fell in love with the little girl. Do you want to rob someone with Bai Yusheng? That's not a good mess, we can't afford it. Tu Yiliai frowned, I also heard about this, and I think it was a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding, what misunderstanding? Mike sneered and sneered when he saw that he was not willing to give up. She's a young rookie, if Bai Yusheng had a crush on her, could she be like her? Why didn't she see Bai Yusheng on other women? What about artists? Tu Yiliai squeezed his lips tightly, his hands hanging tightly. Those good-looking, bright eyes dimmed for a moment, and there was a glimmer of gloom under the eyes. After all, it's an artist who came out with one hand, and it is no different from his own children. Seeing him upset, Mike was a little bit disheartened, sighed and stepped forward to pat his shoulder and comforted, Small Tutu, listen to me. Now the career is the most important to you, everything else is put first one side. You and she are still young. If you have a fate, you may have a chance in the future. Tu Yiliai looked away. Nearly noon, the sun was dazzling and his eyes hurt a little. He narrowed his eyes, and there was a slight red glow around his dark eyes. I just loved it, is it over? This is, the first time he was a girl of heart. Really, don't want to give up like this. Asterisk. The other side. Huang Yilin returned to the nanny's car to make up her makeup. After finishing her makeup. She pinched the lipstick and looked sharply at the logo on the lipstick. Sister Yilin, the crew is urging over there, saying that the actors are ready to change their costumes. The assistant beside him answered the phone and reported carefully. Even following Huang Yilin for several years. Looking at her present look, the assistant still felt a little dazed. Huang Yilin is in a bad mood now. Those of them who are next to her and who have the closest relationship with her are the most easily angered. Huang Yilin bit her lip and didn't speak. After a while, she raised her bright red lips and sneered and said, Go and say hello to the crew and let them take good care of the new man named Jiao. That's right don't let Bai Yusheng and Tu Yilia I know. Asterisk. Jiao Mian Mian is still a little rookie, so she doesn't have a professional makeup artist. She shares a makeup artist with other notorious female artists. Also share a dressing room. When she was told to change her makeup and dress, it was less than half an hour before the shooting started. At least two hours before makeup and hairstyle. When she walked to the dressing room, she saw that everyone had put on makeup and changed costumes. At least two hours before makeup and hairstyle. When she walked to the dressing room, she saw that everyone had put on makeup and changed costumes. She is the only one who has not done anything. The other actresses in the dressing room knew what was going on, some people looked at her with sympathetic eyes, and some people had a deserved expression of gloating. Now, everyone in the crew knows that Bai Yusheng has a crush on the crew. As the female entertainment artist in the entertainment circle, Bai Yusheng wants to sleep the most and wants to hold the thigh the Diamond King, the fifth, like him, and naturally want to be close to him. Chiao Mian Mian, who was fancied by him, naturally became a public enemy of female artists. Seeing her unlucky, most people are gloating. How could this be the case? Nana's face flushed with rage, we only received the notice. Now it's suddenly said that we have to start shooting in half an hour, how can we have time? Sister Mian Mian hasn't made up or made hairstyle, the clothes have not changed. 
half an hour is simply not enough. It's more than half an hour just to do hairstyle. Xiaomi and Mian looked blankly at a group of female entertainers who were ready in the dressing room, and soon understood what was going on. She's, got rid of it. And who is the whole person can guess with her toes. After a moment of surprise, she quickly returned to normal. From the moment she offended Huang Yilin, she knew that she might not be able to settle down in the past few months. However, she didn't expect this to be the first day, and Huang Yilin couldn't help it. Oh, everyone received the notice two hours in advance. You said you only received the notice now. A female artist looked at Xiao Mi and Mian happily, and the corner of her mouth provoked a ridiculous arc, meaning, someone intentionally adjusted you guys. Nana was stunned and her face was blue with an angry expression, I haven't said that. We did receive the notification just now. Otherwise, can we come so late? As for why we have received the notification now. Then only the notified person will know. Nana soon guessed it was Huang Yilin's method. All the female artists in the crew are notified two hours in advance. Only they are half an hour in advance. The pertinence is too strong and too obvious. Think about it, you know what's going on. Did you say that, did you think someone deliberately wanted to rectify you? The female artist sneered again and rolled her eyes directly at Nana, with a yin and yang strange airway, who knows how you come now, deliberately playing big names? Not sure. After all, some people are now embracing gold thighs. Even if they are late, it's okay to talk to someone coquettishly. It's not like us. We dare not be late one minute and one second. After all, we but there is no golden thigh hug. If one is not done, the rice bowl will be gone. As soon as she finished speaking, several other female artists around her also said eccentrically, yeah, we don't have anyone's life. So ah, uh, don't dare to be as capricious as others. You. Nana was anxious and angry, her eyes were all red. Seeing the time running out, she choked with anxiety, Sister Mian Mian, what to do? Time is too late. Xiao Mian Mian didn't pay attention to the yin and yang female artists, she quickly glanced around in the dressing room, and then walked to an empty dressing table, you are all finished, aren't anyone using it here? Standing next to a woman whose face value is not very high. Seen dressed, obviously a makeup artist. She glanced down at Xiao Mian Mian, her eyes not very friendly, what are you doing? Xiao Mian Mian also looked up at her, are you a makeup artist? I am. Someone from Huang Yilin said hello first. Naturally, the makeup artist would not give Xiao Mian Mian a good complexion. Before Xiao Mian Mian said anything, she asked in a cold voice, are you Xiao Mian Mian? What's going on, why are you here now? It's only been less than half an hour, I can't put your makeup on. She thought that Xiao Mian Mian wanted her to help with makeup. Huang Yilin had greeted over there, and wanted to give this girl a color to see. She certainly won't help. Although the crew is talking about this young rookie being watched by Bai Yusheng, who knows if Bai Yusheng is on the rise. Does anyone know that Bai Yusheng's interest can last for a few days? If you think about it, Bai Yusheng even if she really likes her, it is just for fun. Not to mention that she is still a little known newcomer. With Bai Yusheng's status, she is not worthy. Just saying that a family like the Bai family might let an actor enter the door. Therefore, in order to offend Huang Yilin for such a newcomer who may fall out of favor at any time, it is a mentally ill practice. Of course he would choose to stand on the same line with Huang Yilin. Xiao Mian Mian looked at her calmly, her eyes drooped, and then she looked up at her again, and smiled lightly, you have no time to put on makeup for me. Can I always use the cosmetics on the table? The makeup artist was taken aback. She stared at Xiao Mian Mian for a few seconds and frowned slightly. What does this little girl want to do? There are so many people watching, and no one else is using cosmetics on the table. The makeup artist is not easy to refuse. If she refuses, it will be too obvious. Although, 
it is already obvious. But if she refuses, she will inevitably be caught. Bai Yusheng is still new to this little girl, in case she goes to complain. Huang Yulin is the number one girl in the play and a popular little flower. It is estimated that it will be fine. But she is just a little makeup artist. After weighing it, the makeup artist nodded and said, Of course it works. After Chiao Mian Mian asked, he sat in front of the makeup mirror and opened a bottle of milk on the table. The makeup artist looked at her behavior and fell silent, couldn't help but ask, Do you want to make up yourself? Other female artists in the dressing room also looked at her curiously. Women generally wear makeup. But the difference between ordinary technology and professional makeup artists' technology is still very big. The makeup of the show is very different from the usual makeup. Otherwise, the crew will not find a special makeup artist to put makeup on the actors. Chiao Mian Mian poured out the milk, rubbed it in the palm of his hand, and then patted it gently on the face. She has a very good skin foundation. Before she wiped the milk, she looked like it was moisturized. A thin layer of water was applied to her face and she was ready to make a foundation. Okay. She looked at her cell phone in front of the dressing table, and time was running out. She speeded up the movements on her hands, quickly applied a liquid foundation to her face, and then took out makeup to make a very simple makeup. The entire makeup time took only 10 minutes. The makeup artist looked at her when she wiped something on her face. But when Xiao Mian Mian finished her makeup, her face suddenly became less beautiful. Because even if it is just a simple makeup, the effect is no different from fine makeup. Moreover, I do not know if it was a coincidence, or that Xiao Mian Mian had better luck. The makeup she put out fits the makeup of No. 3 in the play. Chiao Mian Mian didn't care about the makeup artist's reaction. After finishing her makeup, she seized the rest of the time, picked up the comb on the table and combed her hair, and then thought about the appearance of Shai Rami No. 3, and started to do it herself. Hair Style Fortunately, the original description of the female No. 3 is relatively simple. Because the character set of No. 3 is originally a beautiful girl with a beautiful appearance. I usually wear a white tee, jeans, white sneakers, and a pill. Chiao Mian Mian is the most experienced in tying the and the like. She usually dresses like the female number three in the original. Including the one she wore to the crew today, is white tee, jeans, and white canvas shoes. She only took a minute to tie her hair. As for changing clothes, she looked at the clothes she was wearing and felt that there was no need to change them. It only took 15 minutes for her to get everything done. There are 10 minutes left before shooting. A group of female artists who had been waiting to see her joke, including the makeup artist, froze the expression on their faces for a few seconds when they saw Chiao Mian Mian standing up. Especially makeup artists. His face is unsightly. Without her help and lack of time, the little newcomer finished her makeup and hairstyle calmly. They specifically waited for half an hour before the shooting began before they notified her. It was expected that she would definitely be unable to do these things. Who knows? This made her explain to Huang Yilin. Chiao Mian Mian looked at the makeup artist's stiff face, tickled his lips, and smiled and said, Thank you for your makeup. Makeup artist. Is she intentional? Nana, let's go. Beside, Nana who watched Chiao Mian Mian's operation, hadn't recovered. Until Chiao Mian Mian walked to her and reached out and patted her shoulder, she didn't feel like she was back to the soul, and was pulled by Chiao Mian Mian. Walked out of the dressing room. Asterisk. After going out. Nana couldn't restrain the excitement in her heart and excitedly said, Wow, Sister Mian Mian, you were so handsome just now. Seeing that makeup artist was so angry that his face turned blue, it was really enough to relieve hatred. And those female entertainers who fell into the rocks and gloat over, looked at them dumbfounded, and they were so happy. Sister Mian Mian, you are beautiful by nature, and you can look beautiful when you put it on. You haven't seen how ugly the makeup artist's face is after you put on your makeup just now. 
she certainly didn't expect that Ms. Mian Mian can make up your own makeup. So good. Judging from Chiao Mian Mian's proficiency in makeup just now, even if it is not as good as a professional makeup artist, it will not be much worse. Although it's just a simple makeup look, it can still be seen. Well, I have been a beauty makeup blogger for a while, so I still know a little bit about makeup. Not too complicated makeup, it's okay. Chiao Mian Mian said lightly, but Nana widened her eyes and was surprised, Sister Mian Mian, have you ever been a beauty blogger? Chiao Mian Mian thought about it and nodded, well, but that beauty account hasn't been updated in a long time. I can't even remember my password now. No wonder all of them indicate that the stars are not credible. Nine out of ten are packaged. I never thought that Huang Yilin would be such a person. God, I actually powdered her for a while, now I want to poke my eyes, what eyes do I have? Nana didn't want to trouble Chiao Mian Mian anymore. Don't dare to face Huang Yilin again. You have said that she is the person who came out of the package. You have not been in contact with her before, how can you know what kind of person she is in real life? So I can't blame you. Alas, Sister Mian Mian, what do you do in the future? Nana worries. She is starting to trip you up now, and there are still months to come. Do you want to give this matter to nothing? Tell me something. Anyway, Bai Dao said, you can go to him if you have anything. If Bai Dao helps you, she wouldn't dare to go too far. Talk later. Chiao Mian Mian had his own plans and was not prepared to go to Bai Yusheng because of such a thing. What she can solve by herself is still resolved first. Can't solve it, think of other ways. Huang Yilin certainly won't forget it. If she went to Bai Yusheng for everything, Bai Yusheng might think she was in trouble. Asterisk. Go to the shooting scene. Artists with nanny cars are sitting in their nanny cars and blowing air conditioners. At noon, it was the hottest time. The ground seemed to be steaming. Chiao Mian Mian didn't have a babysitter's car and couldn't blow the air conditioner. He could only ask for a small stool and walked under a big tree to take a cool ride under the tree. The first scene is naturally the male and female host. It has nothing to do with her female number three. So Chiao Mian Mian is not in a hurry. She asked Nana to give her the printed script. Before it was her turn, she could look at the script and get familiar with her lines and plot. Although there are big trees blocking the sunlight, Chiao Mian Mian still feels too hot in the open air. She watched the script for a while, and a thin layer of sweat was exposed on her forehead. My mouth also felt very dry. Just want Nana to give her a bottle of water, and a bottle of chilled mineral water was delivered to her. She was taken aback, took it, unscrewed the cap and took a sip, then turned around and smiled and said, Nana, are we psychic, I just... She hadn't finished talking yet, and she was shocked again when she saw the person standing beside her. Why is Tuyilii? She thought that Nana handed her the water just now. Tuyilii lowered his head to meet her eyes and smiled, Does it feel hot? Do you want me to find a fan for you? Having finished speaking, he didn't wait for Chiao Mian Mian to speak, he turned out a small electric fan like magic, and then handed it to Chiao Mian Mian, Take it, although this electric fan is quite small, but it can also be a bit effect. Chiao Mian Mian looked at the little electric fan delivered to her, and hesitated in his eyes. Before she made up her mind, she would be farther away from Tuyilii. Lest his worried that she would treat Tuyilii's conspiracy with the anti-thief attitude to her anytime, anywhere. She was a little, fed up. However, people were kind and Tuyilii didn't provoke her. Chiao Mian Mian felt that she refused like this, it seemed not good. Tuyilii is a senior. Moreover, it is now the most popular male artist. Wow, Bai Dao came over, as if to see them. I have a hunch that there will definitely be a good show later. Bai Dao came over. The debating person turned his head and saw Bai Yusheng walking towards this side. Walking, he looked up at Chiao Mian Mian. Then, the pace stopped. 
Everyone around seeing this scene is holding a good play mentality, excited and looking forward to seeing what Bai Yusheng will do next. Will there be a quarrel in the past if there is a burst of jealousy? Or, just replace the actor directly? Not far away. Bai Yusheng narrowed his eyes, stared at the handsome men and women under the big tree for a while, and flashed a ribbon with a malicious smile under his eyes, took out his mobile phone, opened WeChat and returned to a WeChat Mo Yesi just sent him. Just now, Mo Yesi asked him what Jiao Mian Mian was doing, but he didn't return. Now, he felt he could go back. Bai Yusheng, President Mo, I saw your baby. Are you sure you want to know what she is doing? A few seconds later, Mo Yesi returned, what do you mean? Bai Yusheng's lips, nothing, just think your baby is very popular. Mo Yesi, if you have something to say, what is she doing? Bai Yusheng raised his eyes again and looked under the big tree. The wickedness in his eyes grew stronger, let's take a picture of you. Without waiting for Mo Yesi to return to him this time, he secretly took a photo at an accurate angle and sent it directly to Mo Yesi. And then sent a passage, our male crew won, how is it, is it handsome? He has won the award of the film emperor at a young age. He is a very hard-working and very capable young actor. Among his peers, he can be described as very good. He is about the same age as your baby, and there will be a lot of talk between young people and young people. Asterisk. Mo Building. In the office of the President. Mo Yesi received the photo sent to him by Bai Yusheng and clicked to see it. His original expressionless face instantly cast a haze. The dark and deep eyes stared at the man standing next to Jiao Mian Mian for a full minute, and his face grew darker and uglier. At this time, Wei Zheng knocked on the office door and walked in. Mr. Mo, everything is ready. Ten minutes later, the meeting can be officially started. Wei Zheng just sorted out the documents needed for the meeting and came over from the meeting room. As soon as I walked into the office, I felt the atmosphere was a bit wrong. Looking up, he was startled by Mo Yesi's somber face. President Mo. What's wrong with this? Wasn't it okay just now? How suddenly his face became so ugly, who was so angry? Wei Zheng. Mo Yeji squeezed his phone tightly, then looked down at the photo that made him angry, and endured the impulse to throw the phone out, and looked up at Wei Zheng, check the latest flight to City F. F City. Wei Zheng hadn't responded for a while, and he was stunned for a while, saying, Mo Zhu, there is no itinerary to F City during this period. As soon as he finished speaking, Mo Yesi suffered a cold eye, can't go without a schedule. What? Suddenly Wei Zhang remembered, wasn't Mrs. Young filming in F City? Look at his pig head. Forget it all. He said, okay, why did President Mo suddenly go to City F? The young lady left yesterday. This is only one day, the young master can't bear the feeling of missing, do you want to catch up? The result was several hours in advance, and it was her turn in the afternoon. She has only one play today. It was her and Huang Yilin's rival play. There is not much drama, it is just a shot. The mistress she and Huang Yilin played would have a quarrel because of misunderstanding. This quarrel has three lines each and can be finished in a few minutes. How about it, are you ready? The first day progressed so well. Bai Yusheng was in a good mood today. When it was Chiao Mianmian's turn, he walked beside her, ignoring the various eyes cast by the people around him, laughing asked Chiao Mian Mian. Chiao Mian Mian got up and nodded, well, ready. Come on. Bai Yusheng gave her a breath, you can fight for it in one go. Thanks Bai Gui, I will do my best. Chiao Mian Mian took a deep breath, clenched his fists, and cheered himself silently in his heart. After seeing the performance of Huang Yilin and Tu Yiliai, she was still under pressure. She now only hopes that she will not drag the back of the crew. Don't NG too many times even if you can't pass it once. Now, everyone knows that she is the female number three that Bai Yusheng personally set at the audition. 
if she behaved so badly, she would not only lose face, but also buy Yu Sheng's face. I believe you, after all, my vision can't go wrong. Bai Yu Sheng looked at the time and turned around, get ready to play, and officially start shooting in five minutes. Asterisk. The scene that could have been finished in a few minutes was filmed for more than ten minutes, but it has not passed smoothly. After another NG, after the camera, Bai Yu Sheng's face faintly said, Yi Lin, what are you doing? It wasn't told you that you accidentally pushed it on her, not intentionally. Why did you make it the same as you intended every time? Sorry, Bai Dao. Huang Yilin turned around hurriedly, her face full of apologies, a very sad look, and an apology with excellent attitude, I don't know what happened just now, it seems that it's not in a good state. I will pay attention next time of. Bai Yusheng narrowed his eyes, a dark color flashed at the bottom of his eyes. He said nothing more, but turned to look at Chiao Mian Wang, who was slowly climbing from the beach. In this scene, due to the quarrel between the two, the hostess played by Huang Yilin will accidentally push Chiao Mian Mian to the ground. Then, turn around and run away. Such a play is not difficult for Huang Yilin. Chiao Mian Mian's performance is no problem at all. It stands to reason that this should be a one-time pass. But because Huang Yilin's last shot went wrong, it has been connected to NG three times. She finally pushed Chiao Mian Mian for a while, and the scene of the performance should have been accidentally pushed down by her. But she played very deliberately every time, so she had to shoot again. It would be normal if it was replaced by a newcomer. After all, there is no performance experience. But for a strong actor, such a performance is too unsatisfactory. It doesn't look like normal play at all. Many people at the scene saw it, Huang Yilin intentionally. How can she, a person who has won the post-film award, not even perform such a simple performance? They can all see what the director can see. For a time, everyone looked at Bai Yusheng and Chiao Mian Mian with a good play mentality. All are wondering whether Bai Yusheng will help Jiao Mian Mian make this head. It can also be tested by this matter that he has little interest in this young rookie. Directly criticized Huang Yilin in public. This waste stretches. Gee, it seems that Bai Yusheng is really interested in this little rookie. For this little newcomer, Huang Yilin was not given face at all. It seems that they have to learn a lesson. Before Bai Yusheng had lost interest in this little newcomer, they could not offend her. Huang Yilin, a popular flower who won the post-film award, was criticized by Bai Yusheng for her acting problem. For a time, she felt that she had lost her face, her face was green for a while, and her face was quite ugly. Bai Yusheng criticized her, she did not dare to say anything, only to suffer. Yes, Bai Dao. This time I will definitely get back to the state and play hard to fight for one time. She knew that Bai Yusheng was helping Chiao to exhale, and he was so angry that he had to be respectful. She is no less popular, in front of directors like Bai Yusheng, she has to be polite and respectful. Bai Yusheng trained her, she had to be humble and accept criticism. It's not about fighting for it, it's a must. Bai Yusheng returned to the camera and sat down, the tone was still fluttering. If I can't pass, I will give you a holiday. You can go back to take a long holiday and slowly adjust your status. There was a sudden inhalation around. Huang Yilin's face stiffened, and his face suddenly turned green. Bai Yusheng, do you want to change her meaning? Just because she asked Chiao Mian Mian a few times just now, he even said that. He actually, helped Joe so high profile. Is he really like Joe Mian Mian? Asterisk. By the fourth shooting, it was smooth. Passed once. Huang Yilin's condition was retrieved at once, and it performed much better than any previous one. No matter what kind of feelings Bai Yusheng feels about Jiao Mian Mian, Huang Yilin dare not take his own future to take risks. Because she knows Bai Yusheng's character very well. Rich and capricious. There is nothing that other directors dare not offend artists. 
No matter how big the coffee arrived in front of him, it was nothing. Behind him, there is a Bai family as the backstage, who wants to be arrogant and arrogant, and how he wants to act arrogantly. Even if he broke the film, it wouldn't affect him. Big deal, go home and inherit the Bai's enterprise. Therefore, no one has offended such a top-rich second-generation director. Switching to other directors, caring about Huang Yilin's identity and the high liquidated damages, is absolutely not daring to change her. But Bai Yusheng dare. Therefore, in the fourth shooting, Huang Yilin dared not use small means. After shooting successfully, Xiao Mian Mian returned to the rest area, and Nana immediately approached her and helped her pat the sand. Then handed her a bottle of water, Sister Mian Mian, drink some water. Xiao Mian Mian took two sips, touched the sweat on his forehead, and took a small electric fan and blew his face. The scene just now was shot in the sun. She was covered with oil all over the sun. She now wants to plunge into the sea. Miss Jiao, Miss Nana, this is mung bean soup that Brother Tu asked the crew to eat, so please drink it too. Tu Yili's assistant brought a bag and took out two closed bowls of very good mung bean soup. Gave them. Nana glanced at it, her eyes lit up at once, and immediately reached out to take over, Suji's mung bean soup, I was just greedy for this. Brother Tu actually bought it back. Thank you. A hand stretched out from the inside. Xiao Mian Mian stepped back subconsciously. But the outstretched hand still grabbed her firmly. She screamed ah and was pulled into the room by a force. At the same time, with a bang, the door closed, and she was caught and reached the door. The figure in front of him was tall and tall, and the eyes were black. Before Xiao Mian Mian could see who caught her, his jaw was pinched and the man's overbearing hot kiss also fell, deep and hard. Kissed her. She opened her eyes in horror, well. Just about to struggle, a familiar breath rushed into his nose. In the dark and moist eyes, panic turned into surprise. This breath. It is M.O. Yesi. How could he come here? Her doubts only lasted for a few seconds, and she was distracted by the men's increasingly hot kisses. The oxygen in the brain and chest was less and less, and her eyes became more and more confused. She was about to slide down uncontrollably, and was lifted gently by the man with her arms around her, pressing her heart against his chest. This is a punitive kiss. Extremely lingering. Xiao Mian Mian was pressed against the door and kissed for more than ten minutes. When Mo's body was about to soften into a pool of water, and the lack of oxygen was about to faint, M.O. Yesi released her quickly. His deep black eyes were filled with strong, and his burning eyes fell on the swollen and attractive pink lips kissed by the girl in his arms, his eyes darkened again, and the desire in his eyes deepened by two points. I really want to, eat her in one bite. God knew that it was only a day apart. He missed her so much. Xiao Mian Mian gasped for a long time on his chest before slowly slowing down. She looked like she had a layer of mist in her eyes, lifted her dark eyes with watery eyes and looked at him, and she had a dreamlike feeling, M.O., M.O. Yesi, why are you here? You are not. Are you working? Today is not a weekend. How could he come to find her? Moreover, he didn't say anything to her in advance. Just now, when she was pulled into the room by him, she was almost scared to death. Baby. I miss you. M.O. Yesi hugged her tightly and couldn't help but bowed her head to kiss her again, whispering softly with her lips, I don't think I have, eh. Chiao Mian Mian kissed his lips a little bit numb, and his voice was soft and hoarse, but, aren't you at work? What happened to the company when you left? He didn't take over Mo's soon. She knew that he had been busy for at least a year. He usually goes to the study to work overtime at home. Came on a non-weekend time, did he care about the company? Why, seeing me, are you unhappy? M.O. Yesi looked down at the little woman in her arms, and didn't find any surprise or a very happy expression on her face. Suddenly, she frowned with dissatisfaction. He remembered the photo Bai Yusheng sent him. 
In the photo, she and the actor seem to have a very happy chat, and the smile on her face is sweet and sweet. But she had never smiled so much when she saw him. Under this contrast, the little vinegar in my heart gradually fermented and began to become stronger and stronger. Bai Yusheng said that the actor is about the same age as her. They are of the same age, and they are in a circle. It will definitely be a topic. Therefore, she would be so happy to chat with him. And he. He is five years older than her. The age of twenty-five is a very young age for men. He should not have a sense of crisis. But at this moment, he suddenly felt a sense of crisis in his age. He and she are not about the same age. They are not in a circle. He has not had any love experience yet. Would she feel bored with him? Although, she never said so, but she didn't seem to have said anything, and she was very happy with him. The heart sank more and more, and the squinting desire dispersed a little. He narrowed his eyes and his eyes became sharp. Xiaomian Mian was originally a sensitive person. She immediately noticed the change in Mo Yesi's mood. To his sharp eyes, she was stunned, and she was a little stunned, Mo Yesi, what's wrong with you? You haven't answered what I just said. Mo Yesi tried his best to suppress the sourness in his heart, took a deep breath, and repeated the question just now, are you not happy to see me? Chiao Mian Mian, of course not. Although she didn't know how the man in front of her suddenly became unhappy, she was still very happy to see him at this time. She reached out and hooked his neck, raised her face, and raised her lips, I'm very happy. Just seeing you, I thought I was dreaming. The sweet smile on the girl's lips made him stunned. Mo Yesi was cured in an instant. All the unhappiness in her heart disappeared when she took the initiative to approach him. Did you miss me? The man who was still radiating coldness in the first second, the next layer, the ice on his body dissolved, thin lips smiled, and asked softly. Chiao Mian Mian pursed her lips, with a shy expression on her face, and nodded gently under his tender and affectionate gaze. The two are in love. I wish I could stick together at all times. Suddenly separated, they are not used to each other. Although it was only one day apart, she, still missed him. Hearing her answer, the smile on the man's lips deepened, and his eyes grew softer. He reached out and touched her hair, then gently plucked the ball head she was piercing, hugged her still soft, hugged her, walked to the sofa and sat down. The man's strong and powerful arms encircled her, circled her petitely in her arms a little, her jaw pressed against her hair, and rubbed gently, is the shooting still going well today? Is there anything wrong with here? The place. Chiao Mian Mian leaned on him obediently and cleverly, grabbed one of his hands, and squeezed his slender white fingers to play, it's smooth and adapts to the environment and climate here. At present, there is nothing uncomfortable local. F City and Yunjinch have similar climates. The only difference is that it will be cooler sooner or later, and the humidity will be heavier at night. As for eating, the taste is similar. That's good. Mo Yesi lowered her head to see her grabbing his fingers and squeezing it, as if pinching a toy, pampering her lips, reaching for a strand of hair from her ear to her ear, tell me if you are not used to it. Okay. How are you getting along with the rest of the crew? Has anyone bullied you? Chiao Mian Mian fell silent, shaking his head, no. The moment when she was silent made Mo Yesi suspicious. He narrowed his eyes, looked down, and looked at the little woman in his arms with inquiry, really? Well, really not. So something, she did not want to tell him. Anyway, almost solved. Don't say it anymore, let him worry about her. Mo Yesi stared at her thoughtfully for a while, and did not continue to ask any more. He nodded and said, it would be better if there wasn't. If someone bullied you and made you unhappy, you would tell me. I help you out. The air conditioning in the lounge was full. Chiao Mian Mian was lying in Mo Yesi's arms, and there was a bunch of them talking to him, not knowing whether the air conditioning was too comfortable to blow, 
or whether his chest was too comfortable to rest, and she was talking, her eyelids it becomes heavy. Asterisk. Xiaomian Mian woke up and was moved to Mo Yesi's car. But she was still held by him. Her head was resting on the man's thigh next to her, her face facing his lower abdomen, her arms around his waist tightly. Covered with a thin black blanket. There was only one light in the car, and the light was dim. Outside the car window, the street lights were on, and the sky was dark. Xiaomian Mian opened his eyes and froze for a moment before slowly recovering. Baby, you're awake. There was a low, gentle voice on the top of the head. The man reached out and brushed the hair against her cheek, and touched her eyes again, Are you hungry? Will I take you to dinner? Xiaomian Mian blinked and sat up slowly, holding his legs. She stroked her forehead with one hand, turned her head to look at the night view outside the car window, and opened her eyes wide, it's getting dark? How long have I slept? Mo Yesi raised his wrist and looked at the time, three hours. Three hours. Chiao Mian Mian's eyes opened wider, I actually slept for so long? That crew over there. Relax, I have greeted you. Mo Yesi reached out and pulled him back into his arms, your director said that you have finished shooting today's scene. You can leave early. Is this the case? Chiao Mian Mian looked at him with some doubt. You really greeted the director, he said I can leave early. Mo Yesi laughed and said, what am I doing to you? Is the director upset? Leave early on the first day. She was very embarrassed. No. Mo Yesi thought about Bai Yusheng's reaction at the time. Seems happy. Also, can he be upset? The heroine and investment of the next drama are all successfully handled. Replaced with him, he was also happy. Chiao Mian Mian was relieved. She reached out and touched her belly, and she was in a mood to eat. Mo Yesi, I'm hungry. She said softly, let's go to dinner. Mo Yesi squeezed her face, well, what do you want to eat? Husband takes you right away. Chiao Mian Mian is really hungry at this moment. It's past nine o'clock at night. At noon, she ate a box lunch. Anything is okay. She touched her stomach, which was already hungry, and her voice was a little weak. Asterisk. Mo Yesi found a hotel nearby. Chiao Mian Mian was hungry, and as soon as the dishes were served, she opened her stomach and ate. In front of Mo Yesi, she did not care about the image, and she was not a lady at all. Mo Yesi had no appetite at all. Seeing her eating so delicious, she ate a lot of it unconsciously. After eating a meal and closing the bill, the two came out of the hotel hand in hand. Don't you go back today. Chiao Mian Mian looked at the time, then looked at the heavy night outside and asked softly. Mo Yesi stopped. He turned his head, his thin lips evoked a slight curvature, and looked down at her with a smile like a smile, Baby, do you want me to go back? I. Chiao Mian Mian raised his head and met his deep and charming eyes. His heart beat suddenly. He was silent for a while before biting his lips and whispering, Of course I hope you can stay. But your company is not are you busy with many things. Won't it be great if you don't go back? A man's deep, laugh fell over his head. Chiao Mian Mian blinked and glared at him, What are you laughing at? Mo Yesi reached out and rubbed her head, Baby, you just need to tell me, do you want me to stay? If you want, I will stay. If you want me to go back, then I will go back. I listen to you. As for other things, you don't care. Chiao Mian Mian struggled for a moment, and decided to obey his heart, then, you stay. Anyway, he said so, he didn't worry about his company anymore, she was so worried about what to do. It's not that she forced him to stay. As soon as she finished talking, she heard Mo Yesi chuckling again and his big hand clasping her fingers squeezed into her fingers one after another, and clasped her fingers tightly, Okay, listen baby, I stay calm down. Chiao Mian Mian couldn't help but raised his lips, moved his fingers, 
and fastened him, this is what you said, I didn't force you. If you stay in me and delay your company's affairs, I will not be responsible. Don't blame me at that time. Well, don't blame you. Moyesi said softly, I have to rely on you, you can't help me. Well, you know it. Xiaomian Mian grinned, yes, that's right, you have to pester me. The night is dark. The night in City F is a bit cold. Xiaomian Mian didn't want to go back to the hotel like this. She took Mo Yesi down the stairs, and when he took out the car key and unlocked it, when he was about to get on the car, he gently pulled his arm off. Mo Yesi turned his head and raised his eyebrows lightly, Hey! Xiaomian Mian pursed her lips, and then said, I just ate, and my stomach was strong. Let's take a walk. To be honest, she didn't want to go back to Mo Yesi now. On the one hand, she felt it was boring to go back to the hotel after eating. He deliberately came to F City. She still wanted to go around with him. On the other hand, she was a little scared. Fear of going back, Mo Yesi caught her to do that kind of thing. The night before he left Yunchinch, he took her for almost two hours with little rest. When she remembered, her legs became a little soft. If I go back too early, I'm afraid this man will. She didn't want to be shaking her legs when she was filming tomorrow. Do you want to take a walk? Mo Yeji stopped. Xiaomian Mian nodded, well, just after eating, let's go. Don't you think the moonlight is beautiful tonight? Mo Yesi. There is no moon at all tonight. Forget it, still don't take it through. Since she wants to take a walk, then accompany her for a walk. Okay, I'll take a walk with you. You wait. Mo Yesi released his hand, walked to the rear compartment, opened the door, and took a black coat from inside. He put his coat on Xiaomian Mian, it's a little cold at night, you wear it. His coat was particularly large on her. Xiaomian Mian put it on, just like a child stealing adult clothes. However, as soon as she put on her coat, she felt a lot warmer. In her breath, it was all the familiar and overbearing breath of Mo Yesi, which made her feel particularly at ease. What about you? She looked up at him. But Mo Yesi was looking at her with a very strange look. Under his eyes, there seemed to be a flash of fire, his eyes dark, dark, A and D. Xiaomian Mian felt his heart beating faster, uncomfortable. She reached out and pulled the sleeve of the blazer a little too long, exposing the white and tender little hands, blinking, what's wrong, is there something wrong? Mo Yesi looked at her eyes, a little scary. Xiaomian Mian had a fear of being targeted by the beast. She suddenly remembered that the night before she came to City F, when Mo Yesi pressed her to the bed and asked for her, it was this look. But that night, his eyes were not so deep, nor was the fire in his eyes so hot. Xiaomian Mian suddenly became a little soft. Cough, there seems to be a lake in front. Let's go to the lake. After she had finished speaking, she turned around and walked forward quickly, her pace anxious and panicked as if there were some behemoth behind her chasing her. Oh oh oh. She was scared. She decided to walk at least two hours and go back. Mo Yesi, this man is really terrible. As soon as she saw him, her legs were soft. Behind him. The man who was still standing looked at the petite figure in front of him, his thin lips gently raised, and a flash of light in his eyes was bound to be. His baby is really cute. Do you think you can escape? Just when she watched her put on his coat, he suddenly had a thought. He decided to go back tonight to implement it. Thinking about it, he couldn't wait. Asterisk. Xiaomian Mian walked along the lake for more than an hour under the cold wind of the night. It was so painful to walk that she stopped. Mo Yesi stopped following her, and looked down at her with a smile on her eyes. Baby, are you still going? You have to report to the crew tomorrow morning. It's not too early now. Can we go back? All right. Xiaomian Mian wanted to die. 
but she thought that she had to get up early tomorrow morning and go on like this, it is estimated that she must not sleep well tonight. Moreover, her feet are sore and soft now, and she doesn't want to go on at all. She took out her mobile phone and looked at the time, feeling that this time point should be safer. Mo Yesi knew she had to get up early in the morning, so she must not have the heart to toss her. Thinking about it, she rested her mind and nodded, well, let's go back. Has your feet hurt for so long? Mo Yesi looked at her with weakness, reaching for her head and rubbing her head. Chiao Mian Mian raised his head and looked at him pitifully, well, it hurts a little. Then you have to walk for so long. Mo Yesi sighed helplessly and ridiculously, and rubbed it on top of her head again, said in a spoiled tone that she could not do, baby, you just so afraid of me? In order not to let me touch you, took me to the lake to accompany you for so long, and still tired myself like this. Is it necessary? What, you? Chiao Mian Mian opened his eyes wide and was surprised. How do I know? Mo Yesi raised his eyebrows slightly, helping her to say what she hadn't finished. Chiao Mian Mian, um. Is she too obvious? Because I am your husband, the person who knows you best in this world. Mo Yesi turned around and slowly squatted down in front of her, then said to the surprised Jiao Mian Mian who was still standing in the same place. Still dumbfounded, come up quickly, I will carry you back. Jiao Mian Mian froze for a while, you carrying me? Aren't you a sore foot? Mo Yesi glanced at her, come up. Jiao Mian Mian's feet hurt a little. But it didn't hurt to walk. She looked down at the man squatting in front of her, and sweetly rushed into her heart, walked over, and put her hands gently on his shoulders. Mo Yesi asked her to get up slowly. Chiao Mian Mian leaned on his back, hands clasped his neck, and his sense of happiness exploded, Mo Yesi, ask you a question. Well, you ask. Mo Yesi carried her slowly back. There are no more people on the street at night. Quietly around. The calm footsteps of the man's footsteps echoed in the night, like a knock on Chiao Mian Mian's heart. At this moment, Chiao Mian Mian was soft and confused. She pursed her lips and asked casually, Have you ever carried someone else before? After asking, he waited for his answer. No. Mo Yesi didn't hesitate anymore and quickly replied, You are the first. Oh. She smiled and climbed to the corner of Jiao Mian's lips. She pursed her lips and asked casually, If someone asks you to carry it in the future, will you give it? Hey? Baby, who are you talking about? Like your friends? You mean the opposite sex? Er. Jiao Mian Mian didn't mean to admit. Mo Yesi licked his lips, Relax, except for you, I won't let other women touch my body. Baby, only you can touch my body, and only you can enjoy it. Speaking of the word enjoy, the man's voice went low. Also a lot of husky. Chiao Mian Mian blushed suddenly, and no longer said anything. Mo Yesi this rogue rogue. Asterisk. Half an hour later, Mo Yesi returned to the hotel with Chiao Mian Mian on his back. After getting in the car, Chiao Mian Mian closed his eyes and pretended to sleep. At first, she wanted to avoid Mo Yesi's pleasure by pretending to sleep, but pretending to be really asleep. After arriving at the hotel, Mo Yesi parked the car and turned her head to see her sleeping soundly. He yelled softly, Baby. Chiao Mian Mian closed his eyes, nothing happened. Mo Yesi couldn't bear to wake her up again, thought about it, untied her seat belt, and hugged her out of the car. Before he came, he opened the presidential suite in the hotel where Chiao Mian Mian lived. The elevator went directly to the 38th floor of the presidential suite floor. After reaching the 38th floor, Mo Yesi walked out of the elevator holding Chiao Mian Mian. The elevator on the other side also stopped. The elevator doors opened, and Tu Yiliai and his agent Mike, who had just finished the supper, came out from inside. Mo Yesi who came out holding Chiao Mian Mian, bumped into the face. 
Chiao Mian Mian was still wearing Mo Yesi's big blazer. Her face was buried in his chest, her long hair fell down, and her exposed half of her face was also blocked. At the beginning, Tu Yili I didn't notice Mo Yesi. But Mo Yesi quickly noticed him. When he could see clearly, the man walking head to head was the man in the photo who had a great chat with Chiao Mian Mian. His eyes were sullen. When he passed his shoulder, he said, Mr. Tu. Tu Yili I stunned obviously, stopped and turned to look at him. This gentleman, are you, calling me? Mo Yesi's cold and deep eyes stared at him for a moment, squinting, and there was a hint of hostility in his eyes, are there any other people's surnames here besides you? Tu Yili I is also looking at him. Even if he doesn't know Mo Yesi's identity, he is after all in the entertainment industry. He can mix from a newcomer who has nothing to his current status, and his ability to observe and observe is naturally not bad. Tu Yili I saw Mo Yesi's extraordinary status. The man in front of him had a very good face, but he looked strange but it was not the person in their circle. Moreover, his aura is extremely powerful, and this aura is not possible for entertainers in the entertainment industry. Tu Yili I was stared at by his cold eyes and felt a lot of pressure. What are you talking about? There is no politeness at all. Mike glared at Mo Yesi with dissatisfaction. Do you know who our little Tutu is? Talk to him like this. Mike. Tu Yili I made a wink to stop him and told him to stop talking. Mike snorted from his nose, a reluctant look from the boss, but said nothing more. This gentleman, do you have anything to do with me? Tu Yili I asked Mo Yesi politely. Mo Yesi's expression was cold, it's okay, just want to say thank you to Mr. Tuesday. Tell me thank you. Tu Yili I stunned for a moment, puzzled in his eyes, why? We don't seem to know. We don't know, thank you, I told you instead of my girlfriend. Sir, I didn't understand. Tu Yili I frowned. Chiao Mian Mian is my girlfriend. Listening to her, you take care of her so I say thank you for her. It's not too early, and I will take her back to rest. Mr. Tu, I will talk later when I have time. After dropping this sentence, Mo Yesi turned to Jiao Mian Mian and left. Tu Yili I froze in place. After Mo Yesi had walked away for a while, he seemed to recover, only to remember what he had just said. He also remembered that Mo Yesi had just held a woman. He didn't pay attention to the woman. But looking back now, I gradually got a sense of familiarity. Even if the woman's face was covered by her hair, it could be clearly seen from the other parts exposed that it was Chiao Mian Mian. At this moment, Tu Yili I's heart seemed to be severely scratched by something. An unspeakable pain slowly spread from his apex. Chiao Mian Mian, have a boyfriend? He never thought about it. He thought she was still single. Xiao Tutu, did you just hear it with your own ears? Did you see it with your own eyes? Can you die now? Mike looked at his lost soul, shook his head, and sighed, that girl already has a boyfriend. And I think that the man was no ordinary person just now, he just said those words to you, all with purpose. He is sure I know what it is, so I remind you in that way. Don't be stupid again. Don't worry about her while your feelings are not deep. In the process of undressing, the girl's crystal clear skin was covered with a layer of white light on the big bed. Mo Yesi's eyes slowly descended from the girl's delicate and bright face, and the burning eyes fell on her clean and fair neck. And then that piece of creamy and delicate chest. The further down, the more intense the flames of the ink eyes. More terrible. The tantalizing fragrance of her still kept drilling into his nose. The thoughts that had been suppressed by him were hooked up a little bit. After the fingers that helped her fasten the shirt buttons, Mo Yesi glanced at the girl who had put on his shirt dimly, and her breathing became a little short of breath. As soon as he was outside, when he watched her put on his suit jacket, he had thought that if she was lying on his bed wearing the same clothes, he would definitely not be able to control her and press her the bed. He now has such an idea. Just. 
Looking at the sleeping girl, he could only take a deep breath and press down the restless emotion in his body. He thought again, and could not wake her up when she was asleep. She has to get up early tomorrow morning. Alas! M.O. Yesi sighed helplessly, quickly tied the last few buttons, and the thin cover pulled over the side covered her. She slept soundly. But he was uncomfortable. After helping her get dressed, he sweated and turned to the bathroom to take a cold shower for more than half an hour until he completely extinguished the fire in his body before coming out of the bathroom. Back to the big bed. He stretched out his hand and pulled the quilt-wrapped girl into his arms. One arm was overbearing and possessively wrapped around her waist, holding her firmly in his arms. The sweet fragrance is tangy, and the faint fragrance on the girl makes him very comfortable. He didn't tell her that he was insomnia the night she was away. He was lying alone on the big empty bed, holding the pillow she had slept in, desperately breathing the breath she had left on it. That night, he missed her very much. During the two hours when she fell asleep near dawn, she was all in her dream. And this moment is no longer a dream. The woman he held in his arms really existed. Tonight, he thinks he will not lose sleep. Good night, darling. M.O. Yesi bowed his head, kissed gently on the forehead of the girl in her arms, and buried her head in her hair, knowing she could not hear it, or whispering next to her ear, Baby, I love you, forever and ever love you all. Asterisk. Early next morning. M.O. Yesi and Chiao Mian Mian, who had to take the earliest flight back to Yunchenj, both got up early. After washing, the two went downstairs to eat breakfast, and M.O. Yesi sent Chiao Mian Mian to the crew. In the car. M.O. Yesi turned on the computer and used half an hour in the process of processing documents that had not been processed yesterday. Chiao Mian Mian took out his mobile phone and raced on some entertainment apps. M.O. Yesi finished processing the two documents, reached out and rubbed his eyebrows, turned his head to look at her and when she saw her staring at the mobile phone intently, she looked down. He glanced at random and saw a video on her phone. It seems to be a video related to jewelry. Chiao Mian Mian looked at it and said in a very envious tone, Wow, it's so romantic. Mo Yesi's gaze had just taken back, and it fell on her mobile phone screen again. After watching it with her, she thought about it and grabbed her with a soft little hand and gently squeezed it in her palm. You also want to make one give me. It was a pink rubber band with a bow. At a glance, it's what women use. Chiao Mian Mian raised his wrist and looked at it. He nodded his head and said, Wearing this symbolizes that you are the owner. There will be no other women hitting you, you can't take it. Come down. M.O. Yesi looked down at the small pink rubber band on his wrist, and was pleased by the phrase you are the owner, and her thin, lips aroused a little, well, I will always wear it. She put this rubber band on him, afraid she would seduce him when she was away. So, this means she already cares about him? He is no longer an indispensable position in her heart? This kind of cognition made his mood happy at once. Driving position. Wei Zheng was greatly relieved. Fortunately, Mrs. Young gave her a lot of strength. She didn't have to let President M.O. accompany her as if she were a woman in heaven and earth. Otherwise, if she really did, President M.O. would definitely agree to her. On the company side, it's terrible. Wei Zheng saw the little pink leather rope on M.O. Yesi's wrist from the rearview mirror, and the corner of his mouth twitched, but he felt a little ruined. President M.O. actually put it on willingly. Moreover, looking at his cheerful expression, he was not only willing, but obviously also very happy. That's a small pink rubber band. A man so cold in Mozambique, wearing a woman's leather cord on his wrist, does he really feel okay? Is he still the M.O.Z. he knew? He is now more and more suspicious that the real ink has not always traveled to another world. Now this soul in the body of President M.O. comes from another world. Otherwise, the difference is so big. The President M.O. that he met was obviously not like that. Asterisk. After arriving at the filming location of the crew, 
Chiao Mian Mian was pressed by Mo Yesi and kissed in the car for almost 10 minutes before he let her out of the car. When getting off, Chiao Mian Mian's legs were a little soft. Her blushing is not plausible, her lips are red and ridiculous. At first glance, it looks like it has just been loved. She stood on the side of the road, waiting for Mo Yesi's car to drive away before turning around and heading for another road. Just a few steps away, a black Ferrari came from behind, and then stopped slowly beside her. The door opened. Come down from a familiar person. Chiao Mian Mian looked at it and said hello, Mr. Tu, good morning. The person who got out of the car was Tu Yiliai. When he saw Chiao Mian Mian, he froze, and when his eyes fell on her delicate red lips, he froze again, and then a glimmer of sadness flashed under his eyes. Yesterday, he was still thinking about whether to go crazy about love once and for all. But today, he has no chance to go crazy once. He looked at the girl in front of him and still felt emotional. However, he must restrain this heartbeat and tell himself again and again in her heart that she is already the owner. No matter how much he liked her, he had to restrain his feelings and not show it in front of her. Don't let her know. He didn't want to trouble her. However, this is really difficult. Like someone, but you have to show no heart at all, it is really much harder than acting. Good morning. Tu Yiliai endured the sourness in his heart, hesitated and asked casually like a gossip, Miss Chiao, was that man last night, was your boyfriend? Chiao Mian Mian looked at him in surprise, how do you? Tu Yiliai remembered what happened last night, a bit of bitterness came out of his heart and his voice was hoarse and obscure, I saw it when you returned to the hotel last night. You should have fallen asleep at that time, so I don't know. Your boyfriend, looks pretty and matches you well. Chiao Mian froze for a few seconds, remembering that she fell asleep shortly after the car last night. Wake up, it is already the next day. She didn't know what happened after falling asleep last night. It turned out that Tu Yiliai actually encountered Mo Yesi. ER, thank you. That person was indeed my boyfriend last night. He came to visit my class. Although Jiao Mian Mian wouldn't take the initiative to take her boyfriend out and promote it everywhere, if she was seen, she I don't want to hide. Oh, that's how it is. Tu Yiliai did not know why he even asked Jiao Mian Mian again. Obviously. We already know the answer. I saw it with my own eyes last night. But still not giving up. But with a hint of hope ridiculous, thinking that the man may be lying. Perhaps it was a misunderstanding. It wasn't until she personally confirmed it again that she felt the pain of heartache again before finally accepting the facts. Miss Chiao's boyfriend doesn't seem to be in the circle. He didn't know why he kept asking, but he couldn't help it. He wanted to know what kind of man the man who had the honor to own her. It must be excellent. That kind of appearance is extraordinary. Well, he is not in the circle. That's a businessman. That's right. I don't know what industry Miss Chiao's boyfriend is in. Chiao Mian Mian gave him a surprised look as he asked more and more carefully, Mr. Tu seems to be very interested in my boyfriend. Tu Yiliai. How does he think this sounds strange? No, Miss Chiao, I just... Mr. Tu, I'm sorry. It's not convenient for me to disclose too much about my boyfriend. He is an outsider. I don't want too many people to know him, otherwise it will cause him trouble. Although Tu Yiliai felt a little weird, Chiao Mian Mian didn't think much, but politely rejected his deeper questions. A trace of embarrassment appeared on Tu Yiliai's face, but soon returned to normal, and smiled at her, It's okay, it's my abruptness. It's just that last night I saw Miss Chiao's boyfriend's extraordinary temperament, presumably his status was very unusual, I was curious and asked a few more words. Cough, Xiao Tudu. Mike walked quietly, looked at Tu Yiliai with a hateful look, then reached out and pushed the glasses on the bridge of his nose. Come on, be careful of reporters taking photos. You are not I don't know them. 
If you find a female artist with whom you are staying alone, you will have to write again. After he finished talking, he stared at Chiao Mian Mian with a dissatisfied look, Miss Chiao, if you don't want to be scolded by fans of Xiao Tudu, I advise you to stay away from our family. Otherwise, let his wives and girlfriends find you, and they will bite you like crazy dogs. I'm telling you this, but for your own good. You don't have any foundation now. Offending those fans, it won't do you any good. Mike, you. Listening to Mike's words, Tu Yilei frowned, and endured angrily, What are you talking about, you will scare her like this. I'm talking nonsense. Mike sneered and turned his head angrily, staring at him, Where am I talking nonsense? What are your fans, are you countless? Fuck crazy, even your 18th generation of ancestors give human flesh out. I told her to stay away from you for her sake. If you think I said too much, you shouldn't talk to her about it. Well, I won't say it again. After that, Mike turned his head to the side with a straight face, and he looked angry. Tu Yili I frowned, Mike, I didn't blame you. That, Mr. Tuesday. Chiao Mian Mian witnessed the two of them feel uncomfortable because of their unhappiness, and inevitably felt a little self-blame, and decided to leave as soon as possible. In fact, I think your agent is right, he is indeed for my good, and for you. I don't want your fans to be deliberately rubbing your hot little newcomers, and I'm also afraid that they will misunderstand me after they misunderstand. So, that. I'll go first. After Chiao Mian Mian finished speaking, he turned and trod away. I ran very fast, and I could hardly see the figure in the blink of an eye. It's like, I'm afraid to be related to him. Looking at her disappearing quickly, Tu Yili I pursed his lips tightly, and his face was a bit ugly. Other female artists are trying their best to rub his heat. But she was like he could not avoid him. Was she so afraid to be related to him because of her boyfriend? She doesn't want her boyfriend to get angry at the scandal. She, love her boyfriend very much, right? He had to admit that he was envious and jealous. Xiao Tudu, see, people don't have that thought about you. Mike didn't seem to see Tu Yili's gloomy face, and he continued to pour fuel on the fire. They have a good relationship with her boyfriend. You shut up. I'm not partial. I just want you to recognize the reality. Mike sneered, I told you so much last night, I don't think you have listened much. Hey, you continue to wishful thinking, people also won't look at you more. You suffer from single loves every day, but people and her boyfriend are sweet. Mike, let me shut up. Okay, if you have a sturdy point and can afford to put it down, I won't say it in the future. But, can you? I thought that I had said so much to him last night, and he agreed well, today when he saw someone and couldn't help looking for someone else, Mike was furious. Bony. It's so boneless. How could he teach such a boneless entertainer under his hands? After being in the entertainment industry for so many years, they are all old fritters, and they actually fell in love with a little girl at first sight. Also sad for others. What a shame. If it weren't for the little boy that he brought up in one hand, and he had brought feelings out after so many years, he really didn't want to control him anymore. Tu Yili I squeezed his fist again, squeezed his lips tightly, and said nothing. Can afford to put down. He used to be such a person. But now, he can really afford to put it down and say that he doesn't like her, doesn't he like her? He seemed, unable to do it. Last night, he thought he could do it. Moyesi was quite satisfied with this answer, and her lips curled up with a pleasant arc, I guess so. But she actually thinks too much, she has nothing to worry about, I will never be different except for her in my life. Woman. Even without this little rubber band, she doesn't have to worry about anything. Yes, apart from Mrs. Shao, President Mo will never look at other women. There is only Mrs. M.O. in mind's heart, and she doesn't need to worry about anything at all. Wei Zheng slapped skillfully. 
But if she is worried, then I will put this on. This way, she can feel at ease. Mo Yesi looked down at the little pink leather her wrist, the more she looked, the more pleasing, the more she liked it. He decided that he would wear it all the time. Wei Zheng maintains a fake smile on his face. His facial expressions are a bit stiff, yeah, so the young lady should be more secure. Wei Zheng, how old are you this year? Mo Yesi suddenly changed the subject. This topic changed Wei Zheng a little, and it took a while for it to react, and he replied with a puzzled face, Inspector Mo, I am 26 this year. President Mo suddenly asked him what his age is. 26. Mo Yeji stepped a little, turned his head to look at him, his eyes a little meaningful. Yes, President Mo, are there any problems? Mo Yesi squinted for a few seconds, and then said to him with a long-spoken tone, this age is not too young, it is time to consider finding a girlfriend. If you encounter a suitable one, you can try it. Mo Yesi was completely in the tone of the person coming, and didn't know what he thought of, he slightly licked his lips and said, there is a woman by her side, which is actually quite good. Wei Zheng. God, he heard it right. If his family is not related to himself, even if the sky is about to fall, President Mo, who will not care about it, is persuading him to find a girlfriend. Isn't this what his mothers like to do? His wise and talented President Mo has become the same as the aunt of the neighborhood committee. Worried about his emotional affairs. Such ink is so strange and terrible. Mr. Mo, you, seriously? Wei Zheng swallowed. Mo Yesi narrowed his eyes and looked at him, when did I make jokes with you? What type of woman do you like to tell me that you are my assistant and I will not treat you badly? When that happens, I will let people find more several high-quality women are available for your selection. Wei Zheng President Mo, I don't want to fall in love for the time being. I just want to do a good job at work now. As for emotional things, consider it in a few years. If, falling in love makes a person completely different from himself. Then he, don't talk about it for now. He thinks this kind of love is terrible. Seeing all the changes in his Mozu's family, he has no interest in falling in love. It's up to you. Mo Yesi didn't say anything, nodded, when did you want to talk to me, I'll find someone to introduce you. Thank you President Mo. The shooting of the day was still very smooth. I don't know if it was because Bai Yusheng defended Jiao Mian Mian in public yesterday. In short, when she played Huang Yulin's opponent again, Huang Yulin did not deliberately make a mistake. Although Jiao Mian Mian is a newcomer, he has a certain talent in acting. Even if the acting skills are still a bit jerky, but when acting, the whole person is full of aura. This aura is not available to many actors with strength. Even if her acting skills are jerky, it is not as easy as Huang Yilin's, but the aura during the performance is already very attractive. While watching her acting, Bai Yusheng looked a little excited. On the day of the audition, he immediately saw Chiao Mian Mian's appearance and the rare aura in her body. I think her looks are very consistent with the setting of number three in the play. Therefore, he hadn't seen her acting ability, he decided her. He believed his vision. Some people are born to act, and are born to eat the bowl of actors. When he saw Chiao Mian Mian's first glance, he felt this way. It turned out that he didn't look away. Chiao Mian Mian's number three drama can't be said to be small, but it's definitely not much. After the filming of her play was finished, Bai Yusheng went to the screenwriter and asked the screenwriter to add more play to Chiao Mian Mian. This matter was soon known by Huang Yilin. Inside the nanny car. Huang Yilin shoved away the fruit from the assistant and smashed the phone to the ground with a snap. Her crimson nails pinched her palm hard, clenched her lips tightly, and gritted her teeth, that vixen, white director has never done such a thing for any female artist, actually let the screenwriter for her. Why is she? She's just a female number three. Is Bai Dao wanting to lift her into female number one, and force her alone? In fact, 
when playing the opponent's play with Jiao Mian Mian yesterday, Huang Yilin had already felt the threat. It was just a few minutes of play. Speaking of which, the performance of that drama is not that difficult. But Jiao Mian Mian, a newcomer, could have passed it all at once, which already explained a lot of problems. Bai Yusheng is a very demanding person. Even if it is a simple scene, it will not be very easy to reach him. Under normal circumstances, Chiao Mian Mian needs at least three times. Today's opponent drama will test the acting skills a bit more, and the time will be longer. When Huang Yilin and Chiao Mian Mian played opponents, she could feel her acting skills more clearly. For her, of course, Chiao Mian Mian's acting is not particularly good, and there are still several mistakes today, and they have not been one off as yesterday. But Huang Yilin still felt the crisis. Chiao Mian Mian is still a newcomer. There are mistakes and the performance is not mature enough. But she saw the aura of performance in a newcomer, which was not normal. She knew too much what Chiao Mian Mian's aura represented. Sister Yilin, you calm down. No matter how Bai Dao gives her a play, it is impossible for her to pass you. Most of the time she used the means of Hu Miizi, she had to wear Bai Dao to add play to her, Bai Dao. It's too much for her to grind. For a woman like this, Bai Dao must be tired of her in a few days. By then, Sister Yilin will clean her up as you want. Huang Yilin looked up to the assistant, in a few days, Bai Dao will get tired of her. Absolutely. The assistant said good things with a smile, you think about it, how many men would like this kind of woman who asks for something? She has a pretty good face before she can be Bai Dao glanced at it. However, just relying on the face, how long can make a man fresh? Especially a discerning man like Bai Dao, after a few days of contact, it is estimated that he is not interested. The assistant's words made Huang Yilin feel comfortable. Yes, Bai Yusheng is a very picky man. Otherwise, there are so many female celebrities in the entertainment industry who want to hook him up. It is said that he is the most difficult man in the circle. So far, no woman has been able to take him down. Even if he wanted to have a spring breeze with him, he gave no chance at all. That Jiao Mian Mian, but with a long face of Humi Izi, that face really does seduce a man. But besides that face, what is left of her? Even if she looks like Bai Yusheng, Bai Yusheng can't have long-term interest in this kind of woman who has no other flashpoints except her face. He will definitely be bored soon. Thinking this way, Huang Yilin felt more and more comfortable in her heart, and the sulking gas that had been stuck in her chest was immediately expressed. She is now making the coquette proud for a few more days. When Bai Yusheng has a delicate taste for the little fox, she will take care of her. Let her know what it's like to grab a man with Huang Yilin. And the other side. Chiao Mian Mian, who does not have a nanny car, can only hide under a big tree to cool off. She has almost finished shooting today, but Huang Yilin and Tu Yiliai still have a few scenes. Sister Mian Mian, you performed very well just now. Although Huang Yilin is an old man in the circle and has also received a post-film award, you didn't lose to her when you played against her just now. After you've taken it, I think she looks pretty ugly. It's estimated that she can perform your acting on you, but you perform so well. So, she feels uncomfortable. Nana handed Jiao Mian and Mian and a bottle of water and handed a tissue to let her wipe the sweat on her face. Jiao Mian and Mian took the water, unscrewed the cap and took a big sip. Take a paper towel to wipe off the sweat on the face one by one. When she wiped the sweat, Nana was sitting next to her, holding her head in both hands, staring at her intently. Chiao Mian Mian was uncomfortable, she turned her head to look at Nana, reached out to touch her face, and blinked, Is the makeup on my face spent? No. Nana shook her head. Then what are you looking at? Chiao Mian Mian touched his face again took out his phone and took a picture, and didn't see anything on his face. Nana stared straight at her, full of envy and stunning, sighed and said, Sister Mian Mian, seeing you, 
I finally know what is the so-called natural beauty. Mian Mian, you look so beautiful, I am a woman who is about to move your heart. Chiao Mian Mian. Sister Mian Mian, why is your skin so good? Nana was terribly envious. Most of the female stars in the entertainment industry have good skin. Originally eating this bowl of rice, the appearance will not be bad, regardless of body, appearance, or skin, will be a lot better than ordinary people. But Chiao Mian Mian is definitely the best skinned female artist she has ever seen. It is also one of the most refined and beautiful facial features. Looking closely, her skin was fair and delicate, like a shelled egg, and she couldn't see any pores. It's like wearing a layer of skin all over my body. And she has very fair skin. The white and delicate skin is what she dreamed of. Looking at this fat white skin, even she has the urge to feel a touch, let alone those men. Nana thought of this and couldn't help but said, Sister Mian Mian, your boyfriend must be dead. Chiao Mian Mian hadn't reacted for a while, and asked curiously, Why? Nana's eyes fell directly on her white and tender chest, You are so thin, still C cup, and the body is still soft to touch, if you are a man, I definitely want to catch you every day. Chiao Mian Mian's face immediately became hot, and he was ashamed and annoyed, Nana, you're a woman. What I said is true. Nana's innocent expression, Sister Mian Mian, you look so beautiful, I want a woman to sleep with you, not to mention your man. I dare to guarantee that your boyfriend must think every day tired of you in bed, won't let you get out of bed. It's a pity that she has the skill of picking up girls, but she has a daughter. Listening to Nana's more and more explicit, Chiao Mian Mian is going to beat her, dead Nana, what are you thinking about all day long? Sister Mian Mian, I am telling the truth. Nana smiled away, dare you say that your boyfriend didn't think so? If he didn't think so, he wouldn't be a normal man. However, he is not normal. You must be the clearest, Mian Mian, he he he. Dead Nana, don't hide. Chiao Mian Mian stood up angrily to chase Nana. Nana smiled away. The two ran one by one, the other chased, and the running ran, and Chiao Mian Mian suddenly hit a person. She bumped into the other person's arms, her nose bumping into the other person's hard chest, and her eyes suddenly turned red with pain. Well. She took a step back while holding her red nose, and just raised her head to apologize, she heard a familiar voice falling from the top of her head, Miss Chiao, are you okay? It's too yili -i. Chiao Mian Mian frowned, raised his head while covering his nose. Isn't the person standing in front of her just Tu Yili I? Looking at her with an uncomfortable look covering her nose, Tu Yili I said nervously in the eyes of her face, Miss Chiao, is it painful? Did you get bruised? Chiao Mian Mian deliberately avoided Tu Yili I today. On the one hand, she is really afraid of his agent. On the other hand, she is also really afraid of his wife Powder and girlfriend Powder. Tu Yili I's wife Powder and girlfriend Powder tear up people, it is really terrible. She is a little rookie who has no reputation at all, and she will definitely be torn to doubt her life. Although his agent's speech was not very pleasant, but a few words, Chiao Mian Mian listened. She really, should be far from Tu Yili I. So apart from the inevitable contact with his opponents, Chiao Mian Mian had no communication with him today. Whether it's eyes or language. She didn't expect that she had avoided it, and she collided with Tu Yili I again. I'm fine. Chiao Mian Mian made up his mind to keep away from him, and didn't want to communicate with him too much. She reached out and rubbed her nose, and took a step back. Sorry, Mr. Tu, just hit you just now. She deliberately alienated. Tu Yili I naturally felt it. The man's eyes flashed lost, his heart seemed to be pierced by something, but his face smiled as usual, it's okay. Where did you get hurt? Chiao Mian Mian shook his head, I'm fine too. She looked over him and pretended to be looking for someone. After seeing the Nana in front, it was like seeing a savior, and immediately took a step towards Nana. 
it might be that I walked a little too quickly, didn't see a stone under my feet, I stepped on it, and my feet suddenly slipped. Seeing that she was about to fall to the ground, too ily I hurried forward to support her. Under the circumstances of inertia, Chiao Mian Mian bumped into his arms again. Tu Yili I also habitually supported her waist. Under normal circumstances, after Chiao Mian Mian stood firm, he should let go. But at the moment when he let go, he was a bit reluctant. The girl's soft and fragrant body leaned into his arms, and the tantalizing sweet fragrance kept drilling into his nose. Her waist is very thin and soft. He didn't dare to use too much force when he hugged it. He was afraid that he might break her waist a little more. She looks so petite. The little one leaned back in his arms until his chest rose a little. He can completely enclose her in his arms with one arm. Tu Yili's ideal girlfriend is such a petite, little girl who looks very small and easy to follow. Will make him very protective. Chiao Mian Mian not only looks like his favorite type, but also his type and height. Even the sweet fragrance from her body is the one he likes. His fingers touched the soft and slender waist of the girl in his arms, trembling uncontrollably, and his heartbeat was fast. How could there be such a girl? In all respects, he has become what he likes. He had never believed in love at first sight. But now, he believed. It turns out that there really will be such a person in this world. You just look at him and you will be excited for her. Then, I like her more and more. Like it, day and night, always thinking about it. Every minute and second, I can't help thinking about her. But why did God assign such a person to him, and let her belong to another person? Mr. Tu, let me go. Chiao Mian Mian slammed into Tu Yili's arms again, his head hitting his firm, stone-like chest and he was hit by a dizziness. It took a while for her to slow down. When she discovered that Tu Yili's hand was still on her waist, she felt a strange emotion in her heart and reached out and pushed him. This time, Tu Yili recovered, and also recovered his reason. Sorry, Miss Jiao, are you okay? Tu Yili immediately released his hand and took a step back. The hand that embraced Jiao Mian waist clenched a little, squeezed his lips, took a deep breath and desperately suppressed some emotions that were about to come out of his eyes. He knew that he had just lost his mind. He did something very gentlemanly. He would actually do things that take advantage of others. Chiao Mian Mian suppressed the strange emotion in his heart and shook his head. That's good. Tu Yili I found that he was increasingly unable to control his emotions, which made him feel panic a sense of fear and panic that he was beyond the control of many things and could no longer control. This feeling made him suddenly want to escape. Since Miss Jiao is okay, then I will take a step first. After hurriedly dropping this sentence, Tu Yili I hurriedly turned and left. Sister Mian Mian, are you okay? Nana returned, turned to look at Tu Yili I, who had left, frowned, and some speculations that had been forgotten by her emerged from the bottom of her heart. It was a bit dark, and in the deep night, his handsome face was covered with a cool color, his five fingers tightened, and a clear fingerprint on the phone screen was pressed. You finished. Mike looked at the expression on his face, his anger seemed to have subsided, and asked quietly. Tu Yili I pursed his lips, looked up, and looked at him angrily. When did this happen? Half an hour ago. Did you find out who made the video? Well, where can I find out so quickly? Mike said irresponsibly, I don't blame people for taking these. Those words I told you, you are always in the ears, you don't even have this self-control ability, being photographed is also normal. The previous actresses rubbed your heat, they all made something out of nothing. Your fans are also smart, knowing that they are self-directed and directed, and they don't take care of them. But this time is different, your fans seem to be very angry, it is estimated that they also see what they see. Xiao Tutu, your fans love you, so I won't treat you. But then, Xiao Mian Mian will be miserable. Mike said quietly the fact, she has no fan base at all, and is your fan. 
No tears, no fans will defend her and speak for her. Originally, with this drama, her career just happened to be a bit better. She might have better luck, maybe she could be a little red. But with such a thing, do you think she still has a chance? Tuyeli's face became more and more ugly, I know what you say, don't say it again. Mike said coldly, that little girl doesn't even know about this matter yet. After she knows it for a while, how did your fans scold her on Weibo? Guess what she would think in her heart. Tuyeli clenched his fists. Mike. He was silent for a moment, turned his head, and said in a cold voice, This thing is caused by me, she was implicated by me. You will find someone to search for the relevant hotspot immediately, and I will post a little while. Bo clarifies. Are you crazy? Mike opened his eyes wide, as if he couldn't believe he would say something like this, You still have to post on Weibo for clarification? Believe it or not on Weibo, your fans have killed her heart. You've sent it before has any female artist maintained by Weibo? No. You think she will become the first female artist you maintain, what will happen to her? What should I do? Tuyeli I hit the door with a punch, you also know that she is still a newcomer, and her signing company will not necessarily help her settle this matter. If we don't help her, who else can help her? Mike, I must help her. At this moment, Tuyeli I blamed himself to no avail. If it were not for him that he could not control himself, he could not help but approach him again and again. If it were not for him that he did not stand the temptation today and coveted with her for a while, even if someone wanted to create his scandal, there was no chance. This scandal was caused by him. If she was attacked and abused by his fans because of him, and even affected her future career, he would be uneasy in his life. Since things started because of him. That should also be solved by him. This matter, of course, the company will come forward to clarify the scandal for you. I have said that this matter has no effect on you, but it certainly has an impact on her. Even if the company comes forward to clarify, in the video, you really compare with her. Intimate behavior. It's normal for you female fans to not accept it. In the eyes of your fans, it's definitely not you who took the initiative. That can only be because she deliberately pretended to fall to seduce you. Tuyeli's face grew colder, his lips moved, and he wanted to say something, but he couldn't say a word. Because he knew that Mike was talking about facts. This matter has little effect on him. Everyone would think that Jiaomian Mian deliberately rubbed his heat. Even her fall was considered intentional by others. She would be identified as a scheming girl who wanted to rely on him to make scandals popular. I will pay attention later. After Tuyeli I was silent for a long time, he looked at Mike with a request in his eyes, Mike, we must help her this time. She is still young, her career has just started, and it cannot be destroyed because of me. I beg you, you must help her, will you? In the future, I will not take the initiative to find her. I will keep her distance. Mike waited for this sentence. In fact, how could Xiao Mian Mian really be unbalanced? If he can't even settle such a small thing, his agent has long been fired. The reason why he said so seriously is to force Tu Yiliai to say what he just said. In order to let him voluntarily keep a distance from Xiao Mian Mian. It doesn't matter how much he talks about it. Only let Tu Yiliai know what effect Jiao Mian Mian will have if he engages in gossip with him, so he can completely calm down his heart. You will really stay away from her in the future, no longer take the initiative to find her. Yes. Tu Yiliai lowered his eyes, obscured his eyes, and smiled bitterly, where would I dare to find her later? I don't want to, harm her. If his likes would only cause trouble to her. What else would he do besides giving up? He was reluctant to let others hurt her, would he still hurt her? Okay, remember. Mike looked directly at him, saying one by one, this is what you said. I will solve the trouble this time. But if there is another time, you don't need to. Find me again. 
Xiaomian Mian knew that she and Tuyili I had a scandal, and Linda called to tell her. When she received a phone call from Linda, she was surprised for a while when she learned that the scandal between her and Tuyili I was already on Weibo. Sister Siet, you said that I and Tuyili I had a scandal. After receiving affirmative answers from Linda, she still didn't respond, but, what kind of scandal can I have with him? We, have no scandals. She has tried to stay away from Tuyiliai as much as possible. When there was no drama, the two had no communication. Moreover, even when the two are communicating, it is not when they are alone, there are other people around. Of course I know that you and Tuyiliai can't really have any scandals. But this matter is getting more and more serious now, and his fans are saying that you deliberately tried to rub him up, and he has not responded. In short, the current situation is very unfavorable to you. The company will send public relations to help you clarify, but the effect is not known. You also know that his girlfriend's wife and his wife's powder are not easy to provoke, they are now I believe you are deliberately seduced to Yilei, even if we clarify here, I am afraid they will not believe it. Now you don't make any response for the time being, waiting to see how to Yilei responded. Mian Mian stay away from this person in the future, you can't afford his fans. You better communicate with him. Those of his fans listen to him very much. If he will come forward to help you, this matter is not difficult to solve. If he refuses to speak for you, it will definitely affect you. Chiao Mian Mian. She suddenly wanted to cry. She thinks she is a troublemaker. Since the day Linda signed her, she has caused two troubles in a row. It was a scandal with Suzi. Now there is a scandal with Tuyiliai again. Although Linda didn't say anything to blame her, she blamed herself so much that she didn't know what to say. If she signed such an entertainer who was in trouble for three days, she would definitely regret it. It is estimated that Linda has regretted signing her now. It hasn't brought any benefits to the company, but the trouble has caused a lot. Which company would want such an artist? I'm sorry, Sister Siet. Chiao Mian Mian hadn't gone to see what happened before, and she blamed herself. I'm causing you trouble again. I know that sorry is useless, but I really feel sorry. It's not something you can control. Linda's tone is still very calm. Tu Yiliai is very hot now, but any female artist who comes closer to him will be said to rub his heat. Unless, the other party is more popular than him. You're not the first female artist to be said to rub his heat. As long as I knew that this time the actor was him, I guessed that there might be such a day. I just didn't expect that this day would come so fast. Chiao Mian Mian. She would rather Linda fire at her. In this way, she will feel better. In short, you should not make any response now. See how Tuyiliai's public relations department will handle this matter. I will also stare at them here. What should I do then, I will call you again. Also, are you still in the crew? Be careful when you go out, I'm afraid his fans will surround you. Chiao Mian Mian was taken aback, his fans, will come over and surround me. She thought that at most she was scolding her online. Linda said solemnly, of course. There was a female artist who forcibly with him to rub him up, annoyed his fans, and surrounded by his fans smashed a lot of rotten eggs. The female artist was scared. Silly. Later, because of the psychological shadow of this matter, she directly withdrew from the circle. Chiao Mian Mian stunned. So, is it terrible? Anyway, you need to be more careful, if you are not afraid of 10,000, you will be afraid of it. I know. In summer, Chiao Mian Mian was scared out of cold sweat on his forehead. She reached out and wiped the sweat on her forehead and was about to hang up the phone. Linda asked again, there is one more thing, you and Bai Yusheng, what's going on? I heard the crew telling him that he likes you. This is nothing. Chiao Mian Mian explained quickly, he is a friend of my boyfriend and a friend. Before I came over. They greeted Bai Yusheng, so they took special care of me. That's good. 
Since you have a boyfriend, you are also serious. You have to be careful when dealing with other opposite sex. Otherwise, when your love is exposed in the future, these things will become your black spots. I know, Sister Syed. I will pay attention. Linda said another sentence and hung up the phone. Xiaomi and Mian heard Nana's surprised voice just after the phone hung up, Sister Mian Mian, I just went to Weibo and saw you. I already know. Before she could finish talking, Xiaomi and Mian frowned and said, Sister Xie called me just now and told me. What should I do? Nana glanced at Xiaomi and Mian's face and said carefully, Two Yili Eyes fans are crazy like you, attacking you in the comment area. Mian Mian, they are terrible. I saw someone saying that they would form a team to the side of the crew to teach you. Xiaomi and Mian. Team up to teach her? Mother, Linda just told her that two Yili Eyes fans came to encircle her here, and she still thought it was unrealistic. Does anyone really want to come over and contain her? This is too scary. What horrible existence is the group of female fans of two Yili Eyes? Sister Mian Mian, this group of female fans seems to be very young, and their legal consciousness is relatively weak. Maybe they will really come over to make trouble. We have to leave quickly. Nana was also a little scared. Young female fans are really scary. Anything can be done. Doing things is also easy to go to extremes. Xiaomi and Mian couldn't help but took out her mobile phone and opened Weibo to read it, and then saw that she had sent more than 10,000 comments on a Weibo some time ago. There are also thousands of her comments. Knowing that there wouldn't be any good words in the comment area, she hesitated and clicked to read. Going in a little, I saw that the hot comments were all scolding her. It's all very unsightly words. Those who scolded her were all wearing the sign of two Yili Eye fans, occupying her comment area. To Jiazia Jiao's wife, you are shameless in lying trance, you want to rub the heat of our brother, do you deserve it? It's disgusting to pretend to fall and let my brother help you. Why are you so shameless? Two Yili Eye's little princess, bitch. It's disgusting. Want to rub the heat and want to be crazy, don't look at who you are rubbing the heat. Believe it or not, Artagia army tore up your face lift. Xiaomi and Mian to die, Xiao Mi and Mian's scheming is too disgusting. The thought of my brother actually holding this scheming bitch, I disgusted my brother a thousand and ten thousand times. The elder brother had a good heart. She was afraid that she would fall to the ground to help her. She actually took the opportunity to take advantage of her brother. How could there be such a shameless slut, die to die? Chiao must not die, stinky Biozi, can you rely on your brother's arms? If you fall on purpose, you will die tonight. Chiao Chiao's bitch, ah, that video made me mad, I was really mad. Has anyone taught me that stinky Biozi with me? I especially want to tear her disgusting facelift now. The comment area shouted and shouted, and the anger was extremely heavy. Xiaomi and Mian only looked at it for less than a minute, and then paled out of the comment area. She couldn't believe it. Those shouting and killing, extremely aggressive comments, will be sent out by a group of girls who are not yet young. She just clicked on their Weibo account and looked at it. They were all girls aged 15 or 16. The comments that were sent out really made her adult feel creepy. No wonder everyone said that two Yili Eyes female fans are not easy to mess with. It's not easy to provoke this, but I dare not provoke it. If at the beginning, she knew that his fans were so scary, she would also stay away from two Yili Eye. Even if it would offend him for this. Offending him alone is better than offending his group of female fans. Sister Mian Mian, did you go to see the comments just now? Nana looked at Chiao Mian Mian's complexion and guessed that she must have read those comments. Those comments are really terrible. She was scared just now. Well. Chiao Mian Mian stepped back from Weibo and never wanted to see those comments again. Are fans of male artists so crazy and scary now? Neither. Nana thought for a while and said, Girlfriend fans and wife fans are always scary, 
but Tu Yili's girl fans are much more scary than fans of other male artists. Although he did not take the idol route, he did Zhang Zhang makes the little girl crazy. When Xiao Mian Mian thought of those terrible comments, he felt trembling. She now felt that the throwing stinky eggs that Linda had just told her was light. She watched the fans go crazy, not just throwing stinky eggs. Killing and setting fire is estimated to be done. Xiao Mian Mian was a little scared when she heard Linda talking about the crazy fandom. After seeing those extremely stern comments, she was scared and wanted to cry. What kind of trouble is she getting into? But it was much worse than Susie. The fans of Jiao Angzen are not as scary as Tu Yili's female fans. Miss Jiao, Brother Tu asked me to come over and say to you, you must not leave the crew now. A person came by head on, Hwe Hwe, the little assistant beside Tu Yili. Jiao Mian Mian was scared by Tu Yili's fans. So much so that she was a little scared when she saw the people related to Tu Yili. When she saw Huiwai, she immediately looked behind Huiwai, and only a little relieved when she didn't see others. She probably guessed what was going on. Scared and panicked in my heart, he still has to pretend to be calm, why? Is anyone outside waiting for me? Huiwai nodded, yes. Presumably Miss Jiao has seen the scandal between you and Brother Tu. Those who are waiting for you outside are Brother Tu's fans. The group of fans is very emotional now, and you may not make it. What is coming? For your safety, don't go out for now. Really afraid of what comes. Xiao Mian Mian turned pale, are many people coming? Huiwai nodded again, there are ten or so. Now there are staff members stopping them, they can't get in. And just now Bai Bai has made people call the police, the police will come and take them away soon. But don't go out until then. Okay, I get it. Where does Jiao Mian Mian dare to go out now? Nana was angry with Huiwai, your brother Tu's fans are too terrifying. Ming Ming Mian Mian has nothing to do with him, he just helped Mian Mian, and was said to be deliberately seduce Mian Mian he, rubbing his heat. Now fans are here to find Mian Mian. Huiwai stretched his hand to touch his nose, and said innocently, This is not to blame Brother Tu, nor was the scandal made by him. He is still blaming himself for this matter, and feels that he has hurt Miss Jiao. Right, Miss Jiao. Huiwai turned to Jiao Mian Mian, Brother Tu asked me to bring you a sentence. He said that it happened because of him, so he was sorry. She had never thought about it, it would be directed at her. But Bai Yusheng means. It seems that this scandal is directed at her. Bai Yusheng looked at her and hooked her lower lip, otherwise, do you think this is a common scandal? Xiao Mian Mian. She really thinks so. Is not it? Bai Dao, did you find anything? Xiao Mian Mian hesitated and asked in a low voice. It's just a trivial matter. Bai Yusheng said lightly. It's easy to find out who made the video. It's easy to engage in these intriguing things in my sight, do you think I will not know? Then, by guide, can you tell me, who made the video? Xiao Mian Mian probably guessed someone. It is the only person who has the most discrepancy between this crew and her. Even if other people have opinions about her, they have not reached the point where they want to put her to death. You are so smart, I believe you have guessed it. Bai Yusheng glanced at the window that was still open on her side, and reminded before starting the car, put up the window, don't let people see you. Xiao Mian Mian remembered the horror girls who were guarding her outside, and immediately raised all the windows. No gaps were left. She also reached out and tapped the window lightly, then turned her head and asked seriously, Bai Dao, your car is so good the window should be very strong? If someone smashes something over, you should not put it broke in the car window. She was not afraid of the group of female fans hitting her with rotten eggs. She was afraid that they would take bricks or something. Bai Yusheng. He couldn't help laughing out loud, you little girl, everyone is in my car, and you are worried that someone will bully you. My Bai Yusheng is such a useless person, can't even protect a little girl. 
Bai Yusheng laughed, and the whole person looked very warm. The indifferent aura on his body faded away. When filming, he is very serious, no matter who the other party is, as long as he does not meet his requirements, he can scold you a dog. No matter how big the coffee is, he will not give face. During the work, Bai Yusheng and Chiao Mian Mian were a little scared. But at this moment, she froze at the warm and clean man in front of her, and suddenly felt that the distance between them was much less, and a sense of intimacy was born for no reason. She didn't know where this closeness came from. I just think that Bai Yusheng is not the same as the person she knew before. Looking at it, I felt a bit like the big brother next door. What's wrong, stare at me like this? Bai Yusheng's beautiful face suddenly approached her and joke with her lips. Did you suddenly find that I am looking good, and my heart is moving? Cough cough. Chiao Mian Mian was startled when he leaned over, his head tilted back. Although he knew that Bai Yusheng was joking, he was shocked by what he said just now. Because she never thought about it, people like Bai Yusheng would even make such a joke on her. He usually looks serious. It's not like a man who can make such ambiguous jokes at all. Cough. Bai Dao, I have a boyfriend. Chiao Mian Mian was not worried that Bai Yusheng would look at her. She thought this was impossible. Bai Yusheng didn't mean that in her eyes. Women's instincts in some respects are accurate. She could feel that Bai Yusheng had absolutely no feelings for her. Therefore, she boldly said, In my eyes, my boyfriend is the best person. Except for him, other men are the same in my eyes. And, I will only treat my boyfriend heartbeat. If Bai Dao has any thoughts on me, I think you still want to get rid of it as soon as possible. Because my boyfriend and I have a good relationship, I will not separate him from other men. After talking, Chiao Mian Mian regretted it. Ah, what did she say just now? She must have been confused by Bai Yusheng's smile, so she would have the illusion that he has a good temper and can make jokes with him casually. Then she dared to joke. But as soon as he finished speaking, his mind was clear. She regretted it now. What if Bai Yusheng gets angry? What if he wants to reselect a female number three? He can do this kind of thing. That, Bai Gui. Just when she was full of annoyance and wanted to apologize and confess, she suddenly heard a low smile from the man beside her. Laughter sounded, quite pleasant. Chiao Mian Mian looked up suspiciously, and met Bai Yusheng's eyes with a beaming smile. He didn't look angry. Not only was he not angry, but he was in a good mood. Chiao Mian Mian froze for a moment, and asked carefully, Bai Dao, aren't you angry? Bai Yusheng raised her eyebrows and looked at her, why should I be angry? Er, because I just, said that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I just made a joke with you. If you don't like it, I will never again. Before she finished speaking, she was startled by the big hand that fell on her head, and her eyes widened in amazement. Bai Yusheng rubbed her head naturally, and when Chiao Mian Mian had not recovered from this consternation, he withdrew his hand and said, Since it's a joke, I'm so angry. I was just kidding with you just now, a little girl like you is not my food. In my eyes, you are no different from your little sister. Chiao Mian Mian slowly recovered and looked at the man who had returned to his face with a straight face. A strange feeling crossed his heart. Bai Yusheng's move just now clearly exceeded the normal range. It stands to reason that she should be angry. Even if you are not angry, you should immediately open his hand to show her attitude. Because of that move, too close. Except for Mo Yesi and Su Zi's scum predecessor, no other man has done that to her. She should be very exclusive. However, her first reaction was just surprised. After being surprised, she never thought of pushing him away. There was no rejection. Instead, there is an indescribable sense of intimacy. God! Chiao Mian Mian's complexion changed, thinking of a certain possibility. The whole person was not calm at once. Shouldn't she, have any feelings for Bai Yusheng? 
therefore, it will not exclude him just now. Moreover, I still feel a sense of intimacy. In addition to being sympathetic to a person, she could not think of other reasons. After thinking about this possibility, Chiao Mian Mai panicked his gaze back, and never dared to see Bai Yusheng again. She was flustered, confused, and at a loss. There was also a sense of guilt that betrayed the other party, and she felt sorry for Mo Yesi. How can she like other men? Mo Yesi is so good to her, if she still likes other men, then she is too much. However, she is not such a scumbag woman. She didn't think she liked Bai Yusheng. She looked at Bai Yusheng, she didn't feel any emotion. If you don't feel excited, how could you like it? However, if you don't have a good opinion, how can you explain the psychology just now? For a time, Chiao Mian Mian fell into various tangled heart plugs. She thought for a while that she might have a little affection for Bai Yusheng, but then she didn't. For a while, she felt sorry for Mo Yesi. For a while, she felt that she only liked Mo Yesi. She could not betray her. It was so tangled until the car was taken out of the shooting location that she suddenly recovered when she saw the crazy fans who followed her. Through the car window, she saw more than a dozen young girls standing by the roadside. The oldest one is about 17 or 80 years old. Others, looking at younger age. The girls carried a bag in their hands, and what Jiao Mian Mian contained in the bag was invisible, but she guessed that it must have been used to smash her. This group of people looked very excited, as if they were arguing with the crew's security guards and shoving various security guards. The security guard stopped them from entering the shooting base. There are more people in this group than Zhou Mian thought. She dare not imagine what would happen if she went out like this without prior notice. Black Maybach drove past this group of crazy female fans. You can see people outside from inside the car, but people outside can't see inside. The group of female fans didn't even know that the people they were waiting for were in the car. Chiao Mian Mian let go of his hand on his chest and let out a long breath until Maybok had already drove far away, making sure that there would be no more threats. Very scary. Although there will be no more threats for a while, she still has a lingering fear, I don't know what is in their bags, you said, will there be things like hammers and bricks inside? This group of fans is not very young so how crazy to do things. What if they keep watching me? There was a red light at an intersection ahead. Bai Yusheng stopped the car, picked up the vibrating mobile phone, glanced at his lips, and said something with a meaning, I think that what you should worry about most is not these problems. Little girl, have you ever thought about you? What does your boyfriend think about your scandal with other men? You should worry most now, shouldn't this be the case? Someone should be angry at this time. From the message he sent, it can be felt. It was originally a person with strong possessiveness. Now that I see my woman and other men having a scandal, I'm afraid. Chiao Mian Mong stunned. She turned her head to look at Bai Yusheng, slowly widening her eyes. She actually, forgot Mo Yesi. She hadn't thought about it, and Mo Yesi would also see those scandals. She doesn't know how strong that man is possessive and jealous. He can even eat Zhang Luli's vinegar, if you let him see the scandal. Whether it is true or not, he will definitely mind. Bai Yusheng also turned to look at her, have your boyfriend ever found you? Chiao Mian Mian, no. She felt that Mo Yesi had not yet seen the scandal. Otherwise, with his character it's impossible to be so suffocated, don't call, or send messages to ask her. Bai Yusheng looked at her with a slightly sympathetic eye, the gossip is so big, he cannot be unaware of it. If he knows but hasn't contacted you, what kind of situation would you think? Chiao Mian Mian. If you know it, but haven't contacted her, then, it's scary. Probably out of anger. With such a thought, Chiao Mian Mian felt uncomfortable and suddenly became uneasy. She immediately took out her mobile phone and unplugged Mo Yesi. Soon, it got through. In the past, she called Mo Yesi, but it was connected with a half-beep. 
But this time, for a long time, Mo Yesi did not answer the phone. This is the first time Chiao Mian Mian called him, but he didn't answer. Chiao Mian Mian was a little flustered the first time he encountered such a situation. Also a bit at a loss. Bai Yusheng glanced at her, called your boyfriend? Why didn't he answer? Chiao Mian Mian bit her lip and panicked, well. You called him before. Has he ever missed it? Chiao Mian Mian was asked more and more flustered and shook his head, no. I called him and he would answer it quickly. Is there something wrong, the mobile phone is not with me. In fact, Bai Yusheng knew that Mo Yesi had not received it intentionally. He just received a message from Mo Yesi. So there is no such thing as a mobile phone not being carried around. It was estimated that the guy was angry and arrogant, so he ignored his woman. However, the more angry you are, the more you care. It is estimated that the guy will not be arrogant for long. No, he has always brought his mobile phone with me. I called him before, and he quickly answered it. He said that his mobile phone was always with him 24 hours a day, and would turn on 24 hours. As long as I find he can be found at any time. Chiao Mian Mian hung up the phone and dialed out immediately. This time it was the same as before, it rang for a long time, and there was no connection there. When she heard the voice of user is busy, please redial later on her mobile phone, her face collapsed a little bit, and her eyes suddenly became sore. Mo Yesi refused to answer her phone. He must be angry. He saw the scandal between her and Tuyilii and was jealous. Moreover, this time I must be very angry, so I would not even answer the phone. Chiao Mian Mian felt very wronged at once. Mo Yesi has always been loyal to her, and he is reluctant to say a heavy word to her, let alone neglect her. He spoiled her like a baby. She called him and he answered in seconds. She sent him a message and he returned in seconds. But now, she called him twice in succession, he refused to answer. She had never suffered such grievances from him. All of a sudden, I felt very sad and aggrieved. I especially want to cry. Can this be her fault? She didn't even think about having a scandal with Tuyilii. Moreover, in the video, Tuyilii only helped her out of a gentlemanly manner, and the two did not do anything to transcend the relationship. Even if he is angry and jealous, he should be reasonable. Still missed. Bai Yusheng looked at the girl with red eyes next to her, as if she would cry out in the next second. This kind of distress has nothing to do with love. It has nothing to do with friendship. He and Chiao Mian Mian still have little friendship. But he could feel that he liked this girl. When you stay with her, you will feel relaxed and happy. Can't help it, I want to make some more intimate moves towards her. For example, now, he wanted to reach out and touch her head, comforting her a few words. Bai Yusheng has always been an activist. When he had such an idea in his heart, he had already dropped his hand on Chiao Mian Mian's hair and gently rubbed it, what's so sad about this? If your boyfriend is he didn't answer your phone because he was angry, which means he cares about you very much. So he is jealous. He's just reacting normally. If he doesn't get angry at all, and doesn't mind, you really have to be sad. When he is angry, he will naturally come to you. They are all such big people, stop crying, don't you? If he doesn't answer your call, you should stop calling him. When he wants to find you, he will naturally find you. Bai Yusheng's inexplicable Mo Yesi is a bit unhappy. A big man is also frustrated with his own woman for the little things of ordering little things. What a man! When he neglected his woman, did he never think that it would be sad to do so? Bai Yusheng immediately decided to give Mo Yesi a lesson. Let him be arrogant again. He didn't want women to shed tears the most. Especially when the little girl with red eyes next to him suddenly felt very uncomfortable. Chiao Mian Mian originally wanted to continue to dial the phone, and when Bai Yusheng said this, she blinked her tearful eyes, half-trusted and doubtful, is that right? He must be angry with me now, 
waiting for me go and coax him. Would he be more angry if I ignored him? Will not. Bai Yusheng affirmed, I am a man, what a man is thinking, I know better than you. You listen to me, from now on do not control him, do not call him again, do not send him messages. If he finds you are gone, you don't care about him. You chilled him for a while and promised that he won't do this to you again next time. He looked for me, and I ignored him. Wouldn't that be good? It's nothing bad. Bai Yusheng has an experienced look. A man is guilty, and the less he takes him seriously, the more he will take you seriously. The more you care about him, the more he will get Thursday. You listen to me, at least cold him for one night. Wait for tomorrow. If he looks for you again, you care about him. If he cares enough about you, he won't ignore him because of you all night, he won't look for you anymore. You just think this is a test for him. Chiao Mian Mian. She felt that Bai Yusheng said something reasonable. Moreover, he did not need to lie to her. Men do understand men better. But is she really going to do this? She was a little worried that Mo Yesi would be more angry. Why, don't believe me? Bai Yusheng saw her hesitation and raised an eyebrow. No. Chiao Mian Mian shook his head hurriedly. It's just that I think my boyfriend is different from ordinary men. I'm afraid he will be more angry if I do this. But Bai Yusheng's few touching the head to kill made her a little uncertain. Generally speaking, men will only kill their heads to the women they like. If Bai Yusheng doesn't like her, how can he explain what he just did? If he liked her, she had to make it clear early. She is a husband. She will not play ambiguous with other men, nor will she pretend to be single to make the other person feel a chance. Although there is no shortage of such people in the circle, the other half pretends to be single for the sake of career, but such a person will not be her. Moreover, if she dared to do this, Mo Yesi didn't know how to clean her up. Besides, my husband is also a very small-minded person. If he knows other men, he will be very angry. Bai Dao should know that my husband and Yanji a little master are good friends, and you and Yanji a little master is a good friend, you do this, not good. Bai Yusheng felt inexplicable at first. After listening for a while, it gradually reacted. When the little girl next to him actually thought he wanted to unspokenly rule her, he first felt incredible, and then he burst into laughter. Probably, Chiao Mian Mian was the first female artist to worry about being hidden by him. Most of the other female entertainers are actively trying to be hidden. The first time he encountered such a situation, he was quite funny when he was funny. Ah, very good. Finally, a female artist is worried about being hidden by him. Instead of worrying about being dived by those female artists. Chiao Mian Mian. Bai Yusheng grinned and smiled, then put away the smile on his face. You think I have bad thoughts about you and want to unspoken you. Chiao Mian Mian bit her lip and nodded with courage, the actions of Bai Dao just now, I don't think it's normal. Besides this possibility, I... I can't think of anything else. Well, you would suspect it is normal. Bai Yusheng didn't mean to be angry at all, I'm actually quite weird. You just asked me if I would do the same with other actresses. I answer you, no. As for why you are treated, I think it should be my brother who wants to be my brother controls me. This answer made Jiao Mian Mian look dazed. What does want to be brothers mean? Bai Yusheng seemed to see her doubts and explained, I have wanted a sister since I was a child, but my mother has refused to have a baby. She said I had a sister, but because of some special circumstances, that sister lost contact with us. My mother said that she already has a daughter in her life, and she doesn't plan to have another one. So, it's always a pity that I haven't been able to have a younger sister to grow up with me. It may be that you made me feel like being an older brother, so I will unconsciously make some actions like the previous ones. That's a show that my brother loves my sister. You don't have to worry that I will treat you, unspoken rules. I am not such a sloppy person, 
and I don't want to unspoken rules for a woman who already has a master. Xiaomian Mian believed him immediately after listening to his explanation. Because she could feel it, Bai Yusheng didn't lie. Because, she has a similar feeling. She now finally understood why she would not resent Bai Yusheng's touch. Because when Bai Yusheng touched her head, she felt like her brother was touching the head of her sister. Did not feel excluded and disgusted. Instead, there is a very warm feeling. Although she didn't have an older brother, that was how it felt at that moment. After listening to Bai Yusheng's explanation, she felt relieved. Anyway, Bai Yusheng is a director she admires. She didn't want to alienate him because of some things. White guide. If you don't mind, you can call me brother Bai in private in the future. Bai Yusheng looked at the girl beside her eyes and said warmly, I will be happier if you call me like this. Xiaomian Mian met his gaze, his heart was warm again, hesitated, and whispered quietly, Bai. Brother. Bai Yusheng had a happy smile in his eyes, I hear you call me that, I really have the feeling of being a brother. If my sister is not separated from us, it is about the same age as you. Bai Yusheng said, with a little regret in her eyes, I don't know how she is now, and she is not happy. The family treats her well, is she happy and happy to grow up? Alas, if she is happy, fortunately, I feel a lot of comfort in my heart. If she has a bad life. Brother Bai, don't worry, I think she must be very happy. Xiaomian Mian felt Bai Yusheng's mood a little low and comforted her, maybe one day, you will see you again. Hope. Bai Yusheng sighed softly. In fact, we have been looking for her all these years. It's just that the family who adopted her seemed to be incognito, and she hasn't lived in the place where she used to be. We have been searching for many years and have not been able to find her. But no matter how long we look, we will not give up. I have a hunch that one day my sister will go home. Our family will definitely have a day of reunion. Well, definitely. Xiaomian Mian was actually curious how the sister separated from them. But thinking about it, if it is not a special case, how can a family be forced to separate? So, that must be a reason that cannot be said. At least, it can't be said to her outsider. Even if she was curious, she couldn't ask. I have a picture of my sister when she was a child. Bai Yusheng narrowed his eyes, as if remembering something. It was not long after she was born that my mother took pictures of her. By the way, you and my sister look a little bit like. Xiaomian Mian froze, I am like your sister. Bai Yusheng glanced at her and nodded, well, your eyes are similar, and your nose is similar. My sister has been a beautiful embryo since childhood, and my mother said she looks very beautiful. You are two different from each other, so even if it looks like, there are many differences. But I think she must be very similar to you when she grows up. Brother Bai, I believe your family can definitely be reunited. Hope so. Bai Yusheng turned his head to look out of the car window, if I can't meet again, then I hope that she can live happily in her life. No matter whether you live a rich or rich life, as long as you can live happily. As soon as Bai Yusheng finished speaking, he felt the phone shake again. He looked down, thought about it, and finally picked up his phone to reply to a message. After receiving over there, seconds back, how is she now? Did you send her back to the hotel safely? Bai Yusheng wanted to roll his eyes at the person opposite. Worried about her woman, do not know to ask in person? What do you keep sending him messages? Obviously very concerned, but also arrogantly refused to answer the phone. How did this man find his girlfriend? It is estimated that I cheated on that face. He sneered and replied, Your woman, you always ask me why? You don't have her contact information? Don't send me any more messages, don't want to return, annoying. After this message was sent, there was a pause there, and after a few minutes, another message was sent to him, don't forget our cooperation and take care of her. If she gets hurt somewhere, 
don't blame me for turning her face. This message made Bai Yusheng so angry that he wanted to throw the phone. This guy. He couldn't help but scolded. Xiaomian Mian was startled, Brother Bai, what's wrong with you? Bai Yusheng sneered suddenly, turned his head, and looked at her with a smile, Little girl, did your boyfriend contact you? Xiaomian Mian stunned for a while, then his small face collapsed, No. Remember me, you don't want to contact him. You should be cold for two or three days for this kind of man with a small belly, and it will be cheaper for him for four or five hours. Under the of Bai Yusheng, Xiaomian Mian returned to the hotel safely. She received WeChat from Zhang Luo and asked her what happened to the scandal between Tu Yiliai and Tu Yiliai. Xiaomian Mian replied a few words, opened WeChat and looked at Mo Yesi's headshot, and it took a lot of effort to suppress it and wanted to send him by Yusheng said that if she had such a little time she couldn't bear it, and any contradictions in the future would require her to bow her head first. Therefore, she must hold back. She also felt that Mo Yesi was too stingy. It's too unreasonable. Is there something like him? Knowing that she couldn't do something that apologized to him, knowing that it was just written by the media, adding vinegar, but still wanted to be angry with her. Refused to ignore her. How could there be such a stingy man? Bai Yusheng said that he had nothing wrong with his small belly. When something like that happened, she was hacked all over the internet now, didn't he see it? Shouldn't he call her first and comfort her? At this time when she needed his care and comfort most, he even had a temper tantrum with her. Bai Yusheng is right. She just had to chill him. Since he ignored her, she ignored him. He has the ability to ignore her. Xiaomian Mian was more and more angry, and wanted to shut down directly, but thought that Linda might have to call her there, and she could only give up the idea. She threw the phone into bed angrily, took the pajamas and went to the bathroom to take a shower. She didn't expect that in the ten minutes that she went to take a shower, something happened on Weibo that caused the netizens to boil over, and still related to her. This caused her to be pushed to the top of the storm again, and also caused her and Tu Yiliai's scandal to once again top the hot search list. Xiaomian Mian came out after taking a shower, and walked towards the bed while wiping her hair. Seeing that the phone dropped on the bed kept flashing, she quickly walked over and picked it up. As soon as I opened, I saw that Zhang Luo had ejected more than ten of her there was also a caller ID showing that Linda had called her twice. Xiaomian Mian quickly looked at WeChat from Zhang Luo's spring. After reading it, he was shocked and immediately logged on to Weibo. Let other fans stop doing such things that would affect Tu Yiliai's reputation. In short, Tu Yiliai's posting of this Weibo has advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is that some fans can listen in and prevent more fans from doing crazy things. The disadvantage is that he posted this Weibo, their scandal is really true. Many people are wondering whether he likes her. After all, there are so many female artists who rub him, why is he only talking to her? Xiaomian Mian looked at Weibo for a while, frowning thinking that if Mo Yesi saw this, that Vinegar Jar might be more angry. Tu Yiliai made a clarification. Next, it's Jiao Mianmian's turn to speak. Just when she was thinking about how to post on Weibo, Linda's call came back. Jiao Mianmian picked it up immediately. Why didn't you answer my phone just now? What did you do? Tu Yiliai responded over there. Have you seen it? Did you go talk to him? Once connected, Linda asked several questions. Xiaomian Mian threw the wet towel on the bedside table, got up to find a hair dryer, and walked and said, Sister Xia, I just went to the shower. I saw Tu Yiliai's response there, and I was thinking about how to post on Weibo what. Linda asked again, Did you talk to him, so he helped you? No. Have you not talked to him? Linda seemed a little surprised. He volunteered to help you. Xiaomian Mian was silent for a while, and he hummed gently. Linda also remained silent for a few seconds before speaking out, other female artists had with him before. 
he had never seen him come out and said anything. He wouldn't, really like you. Sister Xia, I. Whether he really likes you or not, don't touch this man. Stay away from him. Linda's tone suddenly became serious. His fans are not something you can afford. This time is just a little gossip. I want to kill you. If you let them know that Tuyili I likes you, you don't have to be in the entertainment world anymore. After experiencing this incident, Xiaomian Mian already knows how horrible Tuyili I's female fans are. Not to mention that she already has a husband. Even if she was single, she did not dare to think of Tuyili I. It's really, not upsetting his group of female fans. Sisters yet, don't worry, I don't have any idea about him. In the future, I will try to stay away from him as much as possible. Little life matters. She had also thought about becoming an ordinary friend with Tuyilii. Now it seems that ordinary friends can't do it. Now that he has responded there, you should send a thank you note. Be casual in your tone, and make this matter simple and ordinary. After posting on Weibo, don't worry about it, this it's just a day or two of heat, and it's nothing in the past. Okay. Speaking of it, although you have no intention of rubbing his heat, this wave really rubbed his heat. Have you seen your Weibo fans? Xiaomi and Mian froze for a while, I didn't read it. You can check it out now. I know why many female entertainers risked being torn apart by his female fans, but they also rubbed his heat. Okay. I'll watch it later. Xiaomi and Mian hung up the phone and logged into Weibo again. After she entered her account and saw Weibo fans who were rubbing up, she was a little dumbfounded. Previously, because of the scandal between her and Suzi, she gained a lot of face powder. Altogether, there are almost 300,000 fans. But now, she sees her Weibo fans have actually increased to 1 million. She and Tuyili's scandal broke out, less than three hours. She actually gained more than 700,000 fans. This increase is also amazing. She now understands why the female artists like to rub Tuyili's popularity. Rubbing his popularity, the rate of fan rising is much faster than that of his own works. But this wave of heat is really not what Xiaomi and Mian wanted to rub. How dare she want such a heat? She saw that her number of fans continued to rise at an alarming rate. Probably because Tuyili I just posted that Weibo, and for a time, her heat went up again. During Jiao's stunned time, her fan count increased by another 10,000. She was. Looking at the rising fan base, she was in a mixed mood. These fans, it is estimated that most of them are black powder. If it has gone up, it is better not to go up. She didn't want to post every Weibo in the future, the comment area was full of people who scolded her. Her mental capacity is not very good. She didn't want to be a black red entertainer at all. After standing for several minutes holding the mobile phone by the floor to ceiling window, she thought about the content to be sent. After rigorously editing it word by word, she sent it. Xiaomi and Mian V, regarding the scandal, since Senior 2 has already explained the causes and consequences, I will not repeat them. I only have one sentence, everything is out of nothing. Senior 2 is just a senior worthy of my respect and study in my eyes. In addition, thanks to Senior 2's righteousness, he is really a very good senior, and he is not very grateful as a descendant. After Weibo was posted, Xiaomi and Mian directly quit Weibo no matter how the netizens would respond. The other side. Tuyili I brushed Jiao Mian Mian's Weibo, after reading it word by word, he lowered his eyes and stayed for a while. After thinking about it, he picked up the phone and replied in her comment area. Tuyili IV, you're welcome. His reply was sent out, and he immediately drowned in the comment area. But soon, they were picked up by netizens. When someone found out that the returned account turned out to be a deity, not a high imitation number, it boiled, lying trough, it was too yili I deity. I now believe that he might really be interested in Xiaomi and Mian. 
Just when Tu Yili's reply was topped with criticism within a minute, Mike pushed open the door and walked toward him angrily. What's the matter with you? Mike was so angry that he didn't even call Xiao Tutu, and said his name directly, Tu Yili, do you have a problem with your brain? How did I tell you that I said this about the company will help you deal with it, you don't want to respond first. Why did you post Weibo privately, ah? Who did you learn from the set behind your face to face, ah? Are you faulty, ah? You tell me, what the do you want to do? You want the world to know that you are interested in Xiaomi and Mian. Tu Yiliai knew that he would react like this, and when he looked at him, his eyes were calm. I will not speak any more, and there will be fans to find her. Mike, she is someone I like, I can't let her suffer any harm. If it is hurt by my fans, then I am the culprit. But have you thought about? I've thought about it. I did this by putting her at the cusp of the storm, and it also made many people guess my relationship with her. But it's nothing. There will be hot news, and it will fade in a few days. At least, if I do this, no fans will hurt her. For me, this is enough. But. You can rest assured that I promised you something, and I will do it. In the future, I will keep her away. Mike, I want to protect her and let her continue to stay in this circle well, you can't leave her too. Close, right. Two Yili's lips evoked a bitter smile, I know that. You don't need to remind me any more. Mike frowned, looked at him deeply for a while, and sighed, Okay. As long as you don't say another set and make one set. I'll arrange some sailors to control and comment, you don't want to go again what's the response? To Yilii, she just tweeted. Mike stared at him, so. I commented on her. Regardless comments, don't worry too much. By the way, what did I ask you to check? How did you check it? Did you find out who secretly took the video? Well. Mike nodded. It's here. Who is it? The person who candidly filmed was a member of the crew, but this worker has a good relationship with Huang Yilin. Someone witnessed him get in Huang Yilin's car. Tu Yilii frowned, his face sinking heavily, so, is the video aimed at Xiaomi and Mian? It should be. Huang Yilin likes Bai Yusheng, and Bai Yusheng has a crush on Chiao Mianmian's girl again. Gee, the woman's jealousy is terrible. Tu Yilii pinched his fingers tightly. Xiao Tutu, what do you want to do? Mike looked at him alertly and immediately warned, don't mess up. This thing was originally aimed at that girl, and it has no effect on you anyway. It's almost the same now. It's about to subside, you don't know what to do. I heard that the gold master behind Huang Yilin is not simple. We don't need to offend her. Tu Yilii sneered, the gold master behind her is not simple, can it make us afraid of her failure? Of course we don't have to be afraid of her, just, why don't you offend people? Why do you offend Mike? Mike frowned. It's not a good thing to have one more enemy. What's no need to offend? She has done this kind of thing to the woman I like, and I have to tolerate her? You still let me know nothing. Tu Yilii stood up sharply, with a sharp look to Mike, any man can't watch a woman she likes being bullied and indifferent. Unless, this man is a waste. Hey, Tu Yilii, what do you want to do? Her Huang Yilin has a lot of black materials, and dare to move the woman I like. Tu Yilii raised her lips a little, but her eyes were cold, you go to sort out all of her black materials immediately, and then pack them. Give her. Little Tutu, you. Tell her that if she dares to play Chiao Mianmian's idea in the future, her black material will be searched every now and then. I want to see if she thinks her future is more important, or it is more important to break down her rivals. Mazai. Mrs. M.O. blackened her face and looked at the scandal on her mobile phone, knocking over the bird's nest porridge handed over by her maid. The porcelain bowl fell on the carpet, the bowl was fine, and all the porridge inside was spilled out. Sorry, ma'am. 
the maid immediately apologized and knelt down to the ground, hurriedly collecting the dirty carpet, and immediately replaced it with a new one. Aunt Emmo, don't be mad at yourself. Shen Ro sat next to Mrs. Emmo, rubbed her hand gently against her heart, and persuaded softly, for these things, mad it's not worth it when you're done. I'll give you another bowl of porridge. What kind of porridge do you drink? Mrs. Mo's complexion said, I'm full of gas now. How long has it been since then that I had with other men? It was a former fiancé for a while and a film crew for a while. Actor. Shi Chiaomian Mian is something, already married to my M.O. family, but still so restless. I still can't get involved with so many men. A woman like this also fits into my Mo's door. Shen Ro's eyes flashed a quick smile, but on the face was a gentle and generous look, Aunt Emmo, is there any misunderstanding in this? I think, Mian Mian should not be such a person. As is so fond of her, you and Grandma Emmo are also very good to her, what else is she dissatisfied with? If I were to switch to such a family, I would be happy to die. I'm sure this I've spent my whole life for this family, how can I still be unclear to the men outside? I think there should be some misunderstanding. Mian Mian will not be such a casual woman. She's not a casual woman. Mrs. M.O. sneered, what's so good about a woman in the entertainment industry? If she's a good woman, can she coax us to secretly tear her marriage certificate with her? I knew her long ago. It's not a piece, but she didn't expect it to be like that. This woman can no longer stay at the M.O. family. Otherwise, sooner or later, we will lose our Mo's face. Shen Ro's eyes flickered, lowered his eyes, and concealed the excitement that appeared under his eyes. But, no matter what, as still likes her very much. She said softly, otherwise, as will not get the marriage certificate with her so quickly. Even, Aunt Emmo, you don't agree with them. Useless. As is a very opinionated person, he, will not listen to others casually. So, Ro Ro, Aunt Mo needs your help. Mrs. Mo turned around and grabbed Shen Ro's hand. I can never tolerate this woman staying at the Mo family. Ro Ro, you are Aunt Mo's daughter-in-law. Good or not? Shen Ro frowned, embarrassed, however, Aunt Mo, a C can't divorce her. I, I like a C no longer, and I can't destroy his family. Isn't it a minor three? Of course, Aunt Emmo will not let you suffer such grievances. Mrs. Emmo silenced, gritting her teeth and hatefully, whether or not as is willing, he must divorce that woman. Aunt Emmo, what do you want me to do? Shen Ro was silent, pretending to be embarrassed. Although I like brother as very much, I also feel that the twisted melon is not sweet. Brother as is not like me, my blind entanglement will only make him hate me more. Aunt Emmo, I think it's okay. Brother A.C. is already married, and he also likes me and Mian. I'm going to pester him again. It's really bad. Mrs. Emmo listened to her saying, her face changed, and she said nervously, Ro Ro, you, are you going to give up? Are you reluctant to fight with us? Mrs. Emmo thought of Miyazawa and became more and more nervous. Shen Ro is her favorite daughter-in-law. Only Shen Ro deserves her son. If Shen Ro liked other men, where would she go to find a daughter-in-law who was so good and suitable? Shen Ro sighed and lowered her eyes, her eyes sadly said, Aunt Emmo, it's not that I want to give up. But brother as is already married, what can you do for me? I, I can't always be the first to destroy his family. Three of them. I am the daughter of the Shen family, and I also have my pride and self-esteem. If I do this, I will not only lose my own face, but also the Shen family's face. Aunt Emmo, I also recognize now, I and as my elder brother has no chance. Actually, Mian Mian is also good. Although I haven't seen her a few times, but I don't think she has a bad heart, it looks like a very simple girl. As for the scandals, I think there may be some misunderstandings. Right. 
don't the male number one of their crew come out to clarify? Aunt Emmo, if you try to get to know her and accept her, maybe you will. Impossible, never possible. Before Shen Ro finished, Mrs. Emmo interrupted her emotionally, I can't accept her as my daughter-in-law. But she is already your daughter-in-law. She is not. Mrs. Mo's eyes were full of disgust, and she gritted her teeth, I will let us and divorce her. The second young lady of the M.O. family can't be a drama, nor a behavior so improper, women who provoke men everywhere. Shen Ro sighed, I'm afraid that brother as will not agree to divorce her. He must leave without agreeing. Mrs. M.O. was afraid that Shen Ro really just gave up. She grasped Shen Ro's hand and slowed her tone, Ro Ro you are the most suitable for as. He is now ignorant and confused by the shameless woman for a time. Now. When he wakes up, he will know who is really suitable for him. He is confusing now, but I can't watch him continue to be confused. Will you give him a chance? You have liked us for so many years, are you really willing to give up on him like this? You really, don't want to fight again. Of course, Aunt Mo did not mean to force you. I just felt that it was not easy to meet someone I liked in my life, so I gave up in this way, which is really a pity. Shen Ro lowered her eyes and said nothing. Mrs. Mo looked at her like this, her face showed a happy look, and her voice was more kind, Rura, give us a chance, and give yourself a chance. After a long silence, Shen Ro raised his eyes with confusion, but Aunt Mo. Even if I am willing to give him another chance, he will not accept me. The person he likes is. So, Aunt Emma will ask if you are willing to fight. Mrs. Emma reached out her hand and moved her gentle hair softly, lowering her voice. Ro Ro, Aunt Emma thought of a way to make you stay with us. Is it possible to watch the beauty fall on the ground without being indifferent? That's too personal. However, it took a long time for the male star to put his hand on the young lady's waist. President M.O. is estimated to be angry about this. Cough, President M.O. Wei Zheng knew that M.O. Yesi was in a bad mood at the moment, and he was cautious when he said, The thing you asked me to investigate just now has been investigated clearly. This time the matter should have been made by an actress in the same crew as Mrs. Xiao. Yes. The actress is Huang Yilin the female lead of the crew, I heard that she likes Bai Yusheng. She misunderstood that Bai Yusheng likes Madame Young and regards Madame as a rival. So, she wants to use this gossip to make fans of Tu Yiliai attack Mrs. Madame. By the way, there is also news about the matter that President Mo has asked me to investigate. Mo Yesi slowly raised his head. Wei Zheng only stared at him for a second, and then he moved away in fear. Mom. President Mo's eyes are too scary. Cold, no temperature. At first glance, he was almost frozen. However, in the face of a man with a green light looming above his head, he still understood the mood of President Mo. Cough, President Mo, last time I released the young lady and Su. Su Zi scandal, and invited the Navy to attack the young lady behind the scene, and found out. Wei Zheng was silent and glanced at Mo Ye secretly. After C's complexion, he continued cautiously, We have investigated that thing, may be related to Miss Shen. Shen Ro. Mo Ye finally responded. Yes. Wei Zheng told him all the things he investigated, although it is not completely certain, it must be related to Miss Shen. We caught several of the company's main responsible people. They said that a female customer hired them, and they were contacted by a group of virtual numbers. After we cracked the virtual number, we found that the dial-up location was at Shen's home. Other people in the Shen family don't know Mrs. Xiao, only Miss Shen. Mo Yesi's eyes flashed a cold color, go and investigate the female artist Huang Yilin and dig out all the black materials she used to. Then let the PR department do a good job to increase her heat. Yes, President Mo. But. Wei Zheng suddenly thought of a question, she is now Bai Yusheng's female number one, if she broke her black material, would Bai Yusheng be good to explain over there? 
once the black material bursts out, the impact on the artists must be great. In particular, Moyesi is also preparing Mo's public relations department to manipulate the black material. That is preparing to blacken Huang Yilin to death. Thinking of this Huang Yilin is also quite unlucky. If she is replaced by a normal young rookie, she is bullied and bullied. Such things are not uncommon in the entertainment industry. As a newcomer, if there is no background and background, who can develop smoothly? Huang Yilin thinks that Mrs. Xiao is a little rookie with no background and can let her bully. She felt that the young lady had robbed her man and wanted to teach the young lady a lesson. But who knows? She glanced away this time. She bullied not only a newcomer with a background, but also a newcomer with a background so big that she could never imagine it. Then, she killed herself. Looking at the posture of the President Mo, he will not give Huang Yilin a way of life. Whatever line of flowers she has, on the Mozambican side, whoever wants to kill is just a matter of words. Bai Yusheng. Mo Yesi raised an eyebrow. I helped him replace an unqualified heroine. He should thank me. Moreover, even if I don't do this, he will also replace him. Friends for many years have a certain understanding of each other. When something like this happens, the actors in the same crew are intriguing, and Bai Yusheng cannot ignore everything. He was originally a man who couldn't rub the sand in his eyes. On the waywardness, Bai Yusheng has never been wayward. Wei Zheng. Okay, it's because he thinks too much. The President Mo, Miss Shen's side. I will take care of this matter myself. Mo Yesi narrowed his eyes, and the coldness in his eyes was two more points, and even a voice showed a chill. You arrange a few people to stare at her, what's the matter? Report to me if you behave abnormally. Yes, President Mo, then I will deal with what you have ordered. Wei Zheng turned around and walked out of the office. Mo Yesi glanced down at the mobile phone, which still had no movement, frowned, and couldn't help but open it. He gave Jiao Mian Mian a sticky chat. So click WeChat and find Jiao Mian Mian's head at the top position, click inside, hesitate for a moment, edit a message and send it to me. Before, Jiao Mian Mian called him twice. He was getting angry and missed. He had thought that if she called him again, by the third time, he must have taken it. However, he waited for a long time and failed to wait for the third call. After she fought twice, she never called him again. No message has been sent to him. He waited and waited for more than an hour, but still didn't wait for anything. He was a little angry. He knew that the scandal was deliberately speculated by reporters who added oil and vinegar. He also knew that she couldn't do anything that was sorry for him. Just. He still hoped that she could coax him. Even if he knew everything, even if he had never doubted her, but he would still feel very uncomfortable after reading the scandal between her and other men. He believed that she definitely had no idea about Tuyilii. But Tuyilii. Being a man, even if it was only a short video with only one minute, he could also see from the video that the surname too was interesting to Jiao Mian Mian. When a man likes a woman, his eyes will be different. This is where he really minded. It's funny to say that after seeing the gossip, he will start to feel insecure. She is going to the crew for three months. In these three months, she will get along with two Yilii day and night. They are of the same age and the same occupation. The handsome men and beautiful women are beautiful. Moreover, he has seen the script, and then they will have some emotional scenes. He dare not imagine. After three months of getting along like this, what will happen? Will they, generate sparks of love during the filming process? Such a thing is not uncommon in the entertainment world. It's the most common thing in the entertainment industry because of drama. And he, wants to be separated from her for three full months during the wedding. A little emotion that the two finally cultivated, after this separation, may become weaker and weaker. His advantage seems to be less and less. More and more worries and less and less security made him unable to remain calm, 
and more than an hour of patience was the limit for him. I can't help it beyond the limit. After we chat sent, he thought Xiao Mian Mian would give him back soon. But after a few minutes, the dialogue box has not changed. The latest we chat, or they. He just sent. He became more and more calm, and after thinking about it, he posted another a few minutes of waiting, and there was still no response. Moyesi was not calm at all. He frowned, his eyes fixed on the screen of the phone, as if he wished to stare the phone out of a hole. Did she not see it? Or did she not bring her mobile phone with her? It may also be that the signal where she is now is not very good, so I did not see him send it. Otherwise, he has sent two WeChat to her in succession, why did she not respond at all? Moyesi waited for a while, and was upset by a sense of anxiety and panic that was out of control. At this moment, he could not care about any face. He was about to call Chiao Mian Mian, the screen of the mobile phone turned on, and Mrs. Mo called him. After hesitating for a few seconds, he answered the phone first. Mom. You come back soon. Mrs. Mo's tone was not very good. Mo Yesi froze and frowned, Mom, what's the matter? He was still thinking about Jiao Mian Mian not replying to him. Of course it is. Do you know that your wife is having again? As, how long has it been for you to tell yourself, she had with her former fiancé before, and now has with other actors, what the are you doing? What kind of wife did you find? Hearing the anger in Mrs. Mo's words, Mo Yesi quickly explained, Mom, this matter is not what you think it is, there is a misunderstanding. I don't care what he misunderstood, you go home immediately. Your grandma is already so angry that if you have anything, you go home and tell her personally. After Mrs. Mo finished speaking, she hung up the phone. When Mo Yesi fought again, he refused. He frowned tightly. After hesitating for a few seconds, he closed the computer on his desk and got up and walked out of the office. Before entering the elevator, he called Jiao Mian Mian's cell phone and waited a long time, but he didn't connect. Mo Yesi gradually got a bad hunch in his heart, and he became afraid all of a sudden. This is the first time he has contacted her, but he has never been able to. It was not late at night now, she could not have slept so early. I just dialed the phone, and I dialed it. There is no power outage or shutdown. So why didn't she answer his phone? Is it because she encountered something bad, so she can't take it? Once this idea came up, many terrible thoughts also appeared at the same time. He remembered the news of seeing her being squatted by two Yilei fans on Weibo. Although Bai Yusheng said that she had been safely taken out of the crew, who knows if those crazy fans will still be watching her elsewhere. Once the fans of the Star Chase go crazy, to what extent can he go crazy, he knows. Some fans can even commit suicide for their idols. Mo Yesi was more and more frightened. As soon as the elevator arrived, he went in and pressed the negative layer. When he called Bai Yusheng, he pressed his finger on the screen of the mobile phone and he was trembling. When the other side was connected, he immediately asked, Did you send her back to the hotel? Bai Yusheng's voice came lazily, Isn't it told you that it was delivered safely? But, I can't reach her. Mo Yesi took a deep anxious breath, I sent her a WeChat, she didn't reply to me. Just called her, she didn't answer it. I was worried if she came out. What happened? Did you leave her after she was delivered to the hotel? Didn't you send her up? You didn't tell me to send her up. Bai Yusheng said casually. You have nothing to worry about. I looked at the elevator she entered. The hotel security work is still very good. You just rest assured. I am at ease. Mo Yesi was already terribly worried. When he heard this, he almost exploded. I can't reach her now. Do you still give me peace of mind? Do you know how worried I am? Do not know. Bai Yusheng. Mo Yesi gritted his teeth. Bai Yusheng's tone is very innocent, I really don't know. 
I haven't talked about falling in love. Where do you know what you and your men and women in love are thinking about? If you are worried about her, come over and see if you come in person. It's safe. I am preparing to pass. M.O. Yesi looked at the descending figures one by one, and only thought how the elevators of today descended so slowly. Why haven't you reached the negative level yet? He endured that growing anxiety and tried to keep himself calm and calm, I will go to the airport immediately and take the latest flight. But it will take three hours to get to the city soon. At this time, he deeply felt the powerlessness of other places. No matter how powerful he is, he will not be able to reach her immediately. At that moment, what happened to his anxiety? Nothing can change. I can't contact her right now. I don't know what's going on with her. I'm a little scared. Bai Yusheng, go and help me to see it immediately. I have to make sure she is safe as soon as possible. There was silence there. Mo Yesi didn't wait patiently, anxiously said, Bai Yusheng, did you hear what I said? I want you right away. All right, I heard it all. Bai Yusheng yawned lazily, I'll show you right away, okay? Let me tell you, maybe she's taking a bath, maybe after going back too tired, and fell asleep. How long have you not been in contact with her, you are anxious? At first, people call you, you are arrogant and refuse to answer, now people ignore you, you are anxious again. M.O. Yesi, what do you think? Don't be awkward. M.O. Yesi calmed his face and said coldly, this is something between me and her. It has nothing to do with you. Well, don't talk nonsense, go to her immediately. The sound of ding finally reached the negative level. M.O. Yesi hung up the phone and walked directly to his parking space after exiting the elevator. After getting on the car, drive the car out of the garage and go straight to the airport with the fastest speed. An hour later, on the plane to the city. Mrs. Mo's call came again. M.O. Yesi picked it up and had not waited for Mrs. M.O. to speak, he said voluntarily, Mom, I can't go back today, I'm on the plane now. What, are you on the plane? Mrs. M.O. seemed to be startled. After a while, she said, Where are you going? Didn't you let you go home? M.O. Yesi was silent, turned his head and looked out the window, City. Me and Mian had a little trouble, I was not at ease, I went to see her. Are you going to City F to find Chiao Mian Mian? This sentence seemed to irritate Mrs. Mo, and her voice was raised suddenly, angrily, What are you going to do with her? She has with other men. Are you still worried about her? ACI, are you obsessed with ghosts? Such a restless woman, you still miss her. You give me back immediately, I will not allow you to find her. Mo Yesi's face sank in a sudden, Mom, what nonsense you are. She is not a restless woman, I have said those are just misunderstandings. When I come back, I will explain to you. What is my wife like? People, I know best. Mrs. M.O. seemed to be mad at him, misunderstanding? There is no wind or waves, how can others not have so many misunderstandings, so much for her? It is not because she is not restless before she will provoke men after men. You, her husband, are not angry when you see these news? Also, since she has already married the M.O. family, she should automatically quit the entertainment circle. How can our Mo's daughter-in-law, a lowly-ranked daughter actor, you're fine, even support her to continue to make a drama? M.O. Yesi, are you really a fan of the mind? and actually lost your mind by a third-rate drama, don't you know what you are doing? When he heard the word Zizi, M.O. Yesi's anger instantly rose, I will say it again last time, Mom, because you gave birth to me in October, because of your hard labor and pregnancy, you have not only fertility but also parenting grace, so I love you, respect you, and treat you as a very important family member. But this does not mean that you can insult my wife casually. M.O. Yesi's face was completely gloomy, clenching his fists and holding back his anger. Because you are my mother, 
I will endure you once. If you will later still, then don't blame me for doing something unfilial. Mrs. M.O. is almost snarling, you, are you threatening me? M.O. Yesi, you are threatening your mother. Everything I have said is for your own good, you are now stunned and do not know what are you doing. Mom, if you have to talk like this, then we may not be able to communicate anymore. The plane is about to take off, so be it. After speaking, M.O. Yesi hung up the phone in the angry growl of Mrs. M.O. Soon, Mrs. M.O. called again. M.O. Yesi glanced down and hung up the phone directly. Within three seconds, Mrs. M.O. called again. This time, M.O. Yesi not only hung up, but also blacked out his mobile phone number. Hello everybody, welcome you to ride. The sweet voice of the flight attendant rang. A flight attendant walked to M.O. Yesi and looked down at him with a red face, Sir, the plane is about to take off. Please close electronic communications. M.O. Yesi looked down at the WeChat message sent to him by Bai Yusheng 40 minutes ago. After reading it word by word, he turned off his mobile phone. Bai Yusheng said that Jiao Mian Mian stayed safely in her room. Nothing at all. As for why he did not reply to his message or answer his phone, let him ask. The moment that Jiao Mian Mian was safe, the string that was tied in M.O. Yesi's head was finally released. All anxiety, panic, and fear are gone. But who knows, once such a man really likes a woman, he can be so passionate and crazy. It turned out that no matter how cold the iceberg was, there was a blazing fire. This fire will only burn vigorously when it meets the person they want to burn. She is so envious and jealous. If the woman that M.O. Yesi loves is her, how happy she should be. She would be the happiest woman in the world. However, he loved so much, but he refused to give her a point. He gave all his love to the woman named Jiao Mian Mian. She was really, not reconciled. Mrs. Mo, who was crying beside her, made her irritable. She remembered to leave and walked away, but she thought of many things that Mrs. Mo would like to help. Mrs. Mo must be coaxed. So even though she was impatient, she still coaxed with patience, Aunt Mo, you also said that brother as was not the case before. I think he may have been really confused for a while, which is actually not to blame he. Shen Ro took out her handkerchief and wiped tears at Mrs. Mo, while sighing, otherwise, why has there been a saying that heroes are sad for beauty since ancient times? I think, astronaut must still value you very much, just. I blame the coquette. Mrs. M.O. is now extremely dissatisfied with Jiao Mian Mian. Of course, my own son is, I am very clear. A.C.I. will only become like this with her. I hate that coquette. My son was bewitched like this. What did the M.O. family owe her in the last life would only let us encounter her in this life. It didn't take long for the marriage to happen, and it became like this. After spending time together for a long time, would she still want the to turn against me? Shen Ro frowned, say what should not be said, as we'll do this to Aunt today. Maybe she usually. I'm usually provoking the relationship between our mother and son. Madame Mo's eyes were even more angry, and she gritted her teeth. It must be so. I don't know how she arranges me at as. I can't. I can't let this vixen continue to stay. At the Magia. Mrs. M.O. said, suddenly stood up. Shen Ro froze for a moment, and then stood up, Aunt M.O., you. Mrs. M.O. hated, Ro Ro, I'm afraid I'll let you wait a few more days. When As comes back, I will arrange another opportunity. You can rest assured that the fox spirit will not leave the M.O. family, that is, I will leave. The future wife will only be you. I'm going to find the old lady. I don't believe her old man knows these things. I don't mind at all, and I can continue to face the coquette. Shen Ro also knew that there was no chance today. However, this trip today is not without gains. The phone call just made Mrs. M.O. more dissatisfied with Jiao Mian Mian. It now appears that Mrs. M.O. is determined to divorce Jiao Mian Mian and M.O. Yesi. 
with a big assist like Mrs. Yumo on her side, her chances of success are more than half. Coupled with Xiao Mianmian's own death, two scandals were made one after another. Even if she and the men had no substantive and ambiguous actions, such behavior was enough to corrupt her image in the hearts of Mrs. Mo and the old lady. The moment she hugged him, she felt Mo Yesi's body stiffen, and then the man's arms around her waist tightened a little, holding her harder. Cough cough. He was too strong, and Chiao Mian Mian felt a little uneasy breathing. She reached out and pushed him, Mo Yesi, don't try so hard. I'm almost out of breath. It's not that I haven't seen each other for a long time. It's not life and death. This morning, they just separated. It was less than a day, and he behaved as if they hadn't seen him in a long time. Nana saw the two embracing each other, her face flushed, and she consciously sneaked past them and returned to her room. Mo Yesi relaxed a little bit, but still holding her, her eyes fell on her face greedily, as if he wished to portray her figure into his mind, staring at her closely, you haven't yet answer me, why ignore me? You came here deliberately, just ask me this. Chiao Mian Mian knew what he had called Bai Yusheng before. She knew he was anxious. Unexpectedly, he would be so anxious to fly directly. I just flew back from here in the morning, and then flew over again. He flew twice a day, wasn't he tired? However, when she saw him, she was still very happy. I also deeply felt that when Mo Yesi cared about a person, he really loved and loved that person wholeheartedly. Change to the average man, where can this be done? He clearly knew from Bai Yusheng that she was fine, but he came over. Su Ziyi was good to her when she was with Su Ziyi before. But she dared to say that if she and Su Ziyi had not broken up, Su Ziyi could not do this. She discovered that after meeting Mo Yesi, she knew what the word like really meant. He used practical actions to show her little by little, what he really likes about someone. Of course not. Mo Yesi was reluctant to let go of her, hugged her up in a row, took her a few steps forward, and then pointed his jaw to the room with the door open, baby, that's U.S. room. After Chiao Mian Mian nodded, he took her and walked in. He took Chiao Mian Mian to the bed and placed the person directly on the bed. Mo Yesi, you. Chiao Mian Mian touched the bed, holding his hand just to get up, and the man's tall and strong body pressed down. She was pressed firmly under him, unable to move. White and slender fingers pinched her jaw, and her fingertips gently rubbed along the curve of her jaw. After a moment of rubbing, he spoke with a low voice, Baby, I won't come again, I'm afraid you will be abducted by someone. I finally married my wife who came home. If someone was abducted, where would you ask me to find another one that suits my heart? Chiao Mian Mian. Your wife is here, who can abduct you? Thinking that he had actually refused to answer her call, and even sent a comforting message to her, she reached out and pushed him a bit, even if it's going, it's also your anger. Hey, vinegar jars. There is no more jealous man than him. Mo Yesi certainly knew she was angry with him. He came here to coax his wife. By the way, warn someone again, if he dares to covet his wife again, he does not mind letting him disappear in the entertainment circle. Anyway, this is just a very simple thing for him. Baby, I admit that I am wrong. Mo Yesi lowered his head and kissed the soft pink lips of the girl under him, and the voice became deeper, with a flattering tone, It's me wrong, I shouldn't answer the baby's call, after you call me, will I answer in seconds? Humph! Chiao Mian Mian was actually upset. When Bai Yusheng came over to her and told her that Mo Yesi thought that something had happened to her, and she was worried that she would soon become neurotic, she was already angry. The moment I saw him walk in from the outside, nothing was going away. She knows how busy he is at work. He didn't call her or send a message to comfort her the first time the scandal happened. However, he came directly. This works better than any comfort. I confess, I'm jealous. Mo Yesi consciously reviewed the error. 
I was very uncomfortable when I saw the scandal between you and the sissy man. So, I want to cool you down. Chiao Mian Mian. A girl a girl. He is talking about Tu Yiliai. Where did Tu Yiliai get mad at her? Because he was jealous, he just attacked people's appearance like that. Is it really okay? But, you know that, I insisted for an hour. The man said with a bit of a grudge. Don't I find you later? I knew it would turn out to be cold. I wouldn't. He really is not suitable for the Cold War or something. Cold her, he will only feel more uncomfortable than her. Rather than punish her, it is better to punish himself. He doesn't want to do such a stupid thing in the future. M.O. Yesi, those scandals are fueled by vinegar. The situation at the time was. Chiao Mian Mian felt she still needed to explain. You don't need to say. M.O. Yesi reached out and covered her mouth, staring at her deeply. I haven't doubted you, I know there is nothing between you and him. Then you are jealous. Well, it's still jealous. The man nodded, admitting it directly. Even if I know that you are nothing to him, I will still be jealous. She has no idea about others. But people didn't think the same about her. Chiao Mian Mian. Baby, don't you see it? M.O. Yesi felt he had to remind his little wife. Defenses cannot do without. Lest she know nothing of being silly. Chiao Mian Mian blinked, what do you see? M.O. Yesi first frowned, and then said in a cold voice, the girlish little bunny is not simple to you. Later, you should stay away from him. You mean senior too? Chiao Mian Mian opened his eyes in surprise, how is it possible, how could he treat me? It's impossible. M.O. Yesi sneered. The little rabbit is not well-intentioned and took the opportunity to take advantage of you. I want to cut off his hand to feed the dog. In short, I am a man, I don't you will be wrong, he has a hard time thinking about you. Chiao Mian Mian wanted to refute. But she remembered the situation at that time. At that time, Tu Yiliai was a bit abnormal. She pursed her lips and stopped talking. Baby, you listen to me, stay away from him later, eh? Mo Ye paused, and then spoke, his tone a little sour, if I told you not to film this movie, are you unwilling? However, he was extremely uncomfortable at the thought that she would stay with the little surname too for three months. Especially uncomfortable. It was a little rabbit who coveted his wife. How can he be assured? But, I like this drama very much. Chiao Mian Mian reached out and touched the man's deep handsome face with a soft voice, and said softly, M.O. Yesi, I really like this role now, I want to put the play is done well. I promise you that apart from work, I will not have any contact with him privately. Okay? Besides, after I saw how horrible his fans were, I dared not have any contact with him. She knew that M.O. Yesi was the vinegar, and she didn't want her and Tuyilii to be a crew. But this time, Chiao Mian Mian really likes it. Moreover, it is a good opportunity to be in Bai Yusheng's play. I thought someone was jealous and asked her to give up, she couldn't do it. M.O. Yesi knew she would not agree. But after she really refused, he was still a little unhappy. He deliberately dropped his face, for you, I don't have your job important yet. E.R., this is not the same. Chiao Mian Mian said with a headache. M.O. Yesi, don't make trouble, okay? Me and Tu Yiliai are really nothing. In the future, we will only have work contacts. In fact, you know me it's easy to get a scandal in one line. Reporters like to write indiscriminately, which is not something we can control. But as long as you know that I haven't done anything that is sorry to you, that's all. I know my identity. When we are still a husband and wife relationship, I will not do anything that should not be done. Chiao Mian Mian felt that Yi Moi's jealous temperament would be jealous. She is not well known right now. If Huang Yilin was not deliberately consolidating her this time, her scandal would not come out. Yes, after she slowly develops, 
her popularity will increase and her scandals will increase. M.O. Yesi listened, his face changed a little bit. He suddenly turned over and lay to her side. Chiao Mian Mian quickly felt the change in his mood. She moved and turned to look at him, are you upset? Why? Is it because of what she said just now? However, she felt that she was right. M.O. Yesi's eyes were heavy, and the deep black eyes looked down at her. The softness in his eyes was no longer the same as before, and his eyes looked a little cold, you still think about divorce now. Chiao Mian Mian froze, divorce? I, I don't have. The man pulled the corner of his lower lip, but there was no smile in his eyes, no? Did I just hear it wrong? I. Chiao Mian Mian was all insane, and he just wanted to ask him what he meant, and suddenly thought of what he was angry. After thinking for a while, she hesitated and said, because, my last sentence? So you think I am still thinking about divorce? Thinking about it, it seems that only the last sentence has this meaning. He seemed to change his face suddenly after listening to her last sentence. M.O. Yesi pressed his lips tightly, his deep and handsome face remained calm, and he didn't speak. This is what the default means. Chiao Mian Mian. He really misunderstood the meaning of her last sentence? She felt that it was not she who had been thinking about divorce, it was him. Otherwise, why is it so sensitive? After finding the reason, she just felt funny and couldn't help reaching out to squeeze his face, M.O. Yesi, can you trust me more? Why do you think about divorce? I'm just showing my attitude is only. The man let her squeeze it on his face, his face was still stiff, but his eyes were not so cold. Are you sure you don't mean that? What do you mean? When you are in a relationship with me or a couple, you don't will do something sorry for me. Then when we get divorced, will you be fine? You also said that you never thought of divorcing me. Chiao Mian Mian. God, how could this man's brain circuit be like this? Not me. You just thought about this, right? M.O. Yesi's black eyes locked tightly a little aggressively, you have no confidence in our marriage, you think we can't last long. You think we will divorce someday. Even if our relationship is not bad now, we get along well with each other. But this kind of harmony is only short-lived. Over time, everything will change, right? Not me. Because we are husband and wife, you will stick to the moral bottom line and don't do things that are unethical. Just for this reason, right? No, M.O. Yesi, can you listen to me two words first? Chiao Mian Mian didn't want to be interrupted by him, he covered his mouth directly, and said first, you listen to me, I was the first to marry you for some time, I have thought about divorcing you. We are because of what we are together, you know very well. At that time, no one would think that this marriage will last long. But then, Slowly, I started to understand you, and you are so kind to me okay, so good to Chen Chen. Then I gradually began to look forward to this marriage. I started to feel that it was good to marry you. I also began to have the idea of wanting to live with you for a long time. The divorce was thought about at first, but then I didn't think about it again. Also, I can correct that sentence just now. She looked at the man's dark eyes seriously and said slowly, M.O. Yesi, you are my husband, and I want to go with me. For the rest of my life, my heart is actually not that big, and not many people can put it in. Once some places are occupied, there will be no place for others. So, can you rest assured me? Can you have more confidence in yourself? Do you think I have such a good and perfect husband? Can I see other men in my eyes? Which other man will be better than you and more attractive to me? The frost in the man's eyes melted a little. Chiao Mian Mian felt his indifference a little less, and he could not help feeling slightly relieved. It seems that it is about to coax. M.O. Yesi. She made her voice softer and sweeter and more charming, knowing that he was eating coquettishly, she kissed him actively while holding his face, don't be angry. Okay? You have dinner aren't you hungry? 
I haven't eaten yet. I'll order takeout. Will we eat the meal first? She guessed he must not have eaten. He flew over directly after get off work. She knows how picky this man is. Even if there is an organic meal on the plane, and he can certainly get a first class meal, he will not eat it. He has high requirements for ingredients. Not the freshest ingredients, he didn't take a look. Where is M.O. Yes he's still angry. The girl's soft and sweet voice is sweet, her lips just kissed are soft, wet and sweet with a sweet atmosphere. He was kissed in one heart. Somewhere in my heart has long been soft and messy. Especially she just called his husband. Although not called directly, but the soft and soft husband can make him surrender with a white flag in an instant. Baby, you just called my husband. M.O. Yesi reached out and put the her side into her arms, lowered her head into her hair and took a deep breath. Her voice was mute, if you call it again, I won't be angry. Not only is he not angry. You can even give her life. Chiao Mi and me unusually shyly called. She has always felt awkward. Not used yet, so call him. Although, this man has long been her nominal and substantial husband. But think about it as if she hasn't formally called him her husband. M.O. Yesi asked several times. She was not embarrassed and refused. At this moment, she was eager to coax this man, but she didn't think much about it. As long as he can coax him well as soon as possible, he will let her do anything. Didn't you just call him husband? Not at all difficult. I called, are you angry? Her black, soft eyes blinked, looking at him softly, and after asking, Pitts gently bit her lower lip corner. It is estimated that she did not know how attractive she was. M.O. Yesi's throat rolled down, and the dark eyes fell on her delicate and delicious pink lips. The eyes darkened, only to feel a sudden hotness in his body. There was an urge to hold her down and bully. But he still desperately suppressed this impulse. The arm around her waist was tight, and his voice was hoarse, Well, my husband, I won't be angry. M.O. Yesi also knew that he missed this opportunity, and next time he wanted to let her call him husband, I don't know when it was. His little wife is thin-skinned. He had asked so many times before, but she could not make her speak. This is a great opportunity. She wants to coax him, as long as his request is not excessive, she will definitely agree. Such a good opportunity, of course, he will not miss it. Well, then, all right. Xiaomian Mian raised his head and looked at his beautiful and deep face with red cheeks, and then looked at his dark and deep narrow eyes. After looking at it for a moment, he whispered in a voice of uncomfortable feeling, My husband. Damn. Really shy. After she called, her face became hotter and hotter, and every pore on her face was heating up. The arm around her waist tightened her hoops more tightly, and the man's scorching breath and slight panting fell over her head. Her head was pressed against his chest, and his heartbeat could be heard at that instant. A lot. Baby, cry again. M.O. Yesi hugged her tightly, and his voice was two points lower than before, with a restrained husky, good boy, cry again. The man beside him is still energetic. It's like a fox spirit who has just sucked up his blood. And Chiao Mian Mian is the woman who has been drained of blood. It is said that husband and wife fight at the head and end of the bed. Nothing can't be solved after a sleep. If not, then go to sleep a second time, a third time. Chiao Mian Mian turned over helplessly, looking at the man next to him with a bit of resentment in his eyes, and said with a hoarse voice, M.O. Yesi, I'm hungry. Well, what does baby want to eat? Can I eat anything? Well, of course. The man who was satisfied in one way was in a good mood, with a light smile on the corners of his eyebrows, and reached out and stroked her face gently, his voice very soft. To say how satisfied M.O. Yesi is, it is not. He felt that he would never be enough for Chiao Mian Mian. His satisfaction comes more from a gratification in the heart than in the body. Every time he asked her, he enjoyed the feeling of being able to fully occupy her. 
At that moment, he could feel that she belonged to him completely. Xiao Mian Mian remembered that he had bullied her so badly, and he glared at him with resentment, without a good air, I don't want to eat takeaway. Mo Yesi hooked his lips and nodded, okay, don't eat takeaway. I don't want to eat out. Okay, then don't go out to eat. You make it for me. She knew he wouldn't cook, and deliberately made him difficult, I want sweet and sour pork ribs. Mo Yesi was silent for a moment. Xiao Mian Mian immediately opened his hands and pretended to be angry, forget it, I knew it would be like this. I just said casually that you are a young master who has not touched the spring water since he was a child. What a meal. I still order takeaway. She reached out and took the phone on the bedside table and turned over the takeaway app. As soon as I opened it, I heard the man behind him say in a somewhat tangled and hesitant voice, Do you really, want to eat my cooking? I haven't made sweet and sour pork, but you really want to eat, I can learn now. Xiao Mian Mian then turned to look at him, Are you really willing to do? Mo Yesi nodded, a little helpless, but with a deep indulgence in his eyes, If you want to eat, I will do it. Baby, as long as you are happy, I have nothing to do. But you don't think that it tastes bad. He has little confidence in his cooking. Except for boiling brown sugar water for her that time, the kitchen was done once. At other times, he never entered the kitchen. However, she really wants to eat his cooking, he can learn for her. Xiao Mian Mian had never thought that Mo Yesi would really agree. She just had a little resentment in her heart, so she deliberately made him difficult. What will he do? It is estimated that even a tomato scrambled egg can't be done well, let alone sweet and sour pork ribs. But when he really nodded, she suddenly became interested again. She stared at him for a while, blinked and frowned, but, there is no kitchen or food here. These are just minor problems. Mo Yesi turned around after a few seconds of silence, picked up the phone and dialed a call out. Xiao Mian Mian heard him whispering in his throat, I need a house, and I am ready to prepare ingredients for sweet and sour pork ribs. Well, I buy some others, so girls like to eat. Don't be too far, I am now, it is better to be closer to here. Okay, get ready now. A minute later, he hung up the phone, threw the phone aside, turned over and reached out to grab Xiao Mian Mian into his arms. Baby, you're done. Let's clear it up and go. Xiao Mian Mian. What did you call someone to do? Finding a house and buying ingredients are all minor issues. It's already done. Are you really asking someone to find a house? Otherwise. The man raised his eyebrows squeezed her jaw, lowered her head and pecked on her lips, spoiled. Don't you say there is no place to cook or no ingredients? Let me cook for you eat, the basic facilities must be prepared. Xiao Mian Mian didn't expect that he was so efficient. Just a phone call, I immediately found the house. This is also, too easy. Sure enough, the world of the rich and the world of ordinary people are two different worlds. It's really good to have money and power. Anything can be done particularly easily. Xiao Mian Mian hesitated instead when Mo Yeji had really done everything, and was really ready to cook for her. Otherwise, let's change the day. Let's call takeaway. She is quite hungry now. She estimated that after Mo Yesi tossed the sweet and sour pork ribs she wanted, she might be hungry enough to faint. Don't you want to eat the sweet and sour pork ribs I made? Mo Yesi picked her up and hugged her to the bathroom. I promise to make it for you, and I will definitely make it for you. I've got someone to prepare it, when we sort out the past, we are definitely ready. I have people buy other foods. If you are hungry, you can eat other things to pad your stomach. Chiao Mian Mian. Is he so determined to cook? She suddenly regretted it. She should not make such a request at this time. Don't you pit yourself? Isn't she okay to order a takeout and get full before tossing him? Mo Yesi, do you have to do it today? 
Xiaomi and Mian also wanted to discuss, it's not too early, I think. Baby, don't you want to eat now? I want to eat now, but... Then do it today. Moyesi kicked open the bathroom door, hugged her and walked in, freeing up a hand to unscrew the shower head, baby, for you, I don't feel trouble. You feed it's time for me to feed you. Chiao Mian Mian's lips twitched. Wasn't she letting him do it another day because she was afraid that it would trouble him? She was just, hungry. So hungry. Oh oh oh, she wanted to eat hot and delicious food right away. Finally, I ordered takeaway. When Chiao was stretched out of the bathroom wrapped in a towel wrapped in a beast, she was so tired that she didn't even want to move her fingers. Mo Yesi carried her to the bed, took a towel and wiped her hair for a while, and then found a hair dryer to dry her a little. Throughout the process, Chiao Mian Mian lay motionless on the bed, letting the man beside him carefully and tenderly wait for him. Mo Yesi blows her hair dry, reaches out and hugs her into her arms, smelling the sweet fragrance from her body, and bowing her head uncontrollably, she pecked on her lips and said softly, I point when you take out, it's all you like to eat. You can wait and you'll be able to eat it soon. Chiao Mian Mian closed his eyes and leaned back in his arms, too lazy to respond to him. She now, had no strength to respond to him. Mo Yesi, a man, is a beast in human skin. Absolute beast. He is not human. Say a good bath, wash and wash, and kick her up. Chiao Mian Mian was pressed twice on the wall of the bathroom by him. Although these two times were not very long, the man was full of tricks and did not know where to learn some new moves. She cried when she was tossed. However, the more she cried, the more excited a certain animal was. She used more shameful moves to toss her. Oh oh oh, she wants to get a divorce now, too late. She ignored him, Mo Yesi consciously said nothing more, he kissed her for it again, and stroked her cheek, I will ask you to leave, you don't have to go to the cruise so early tomorrow. You have a good night's sleep, when do you sleep well, and then go. Chiao Mian, who had not taken care of him, opened his eyes violently and saw that he had taken out his mobile phone. She hurriedly reached out to block, no, Mo Yesi, don't ask me to leave. Mo Yesi is preparing to send WeChat to Bai Yusheng, Wen Yan raised his eyebrows and said, Hey? You don't want a good night's sleep. Chiao Mian Mian bit her lip corner, I didn't enter the crew for a few days and asked for leave. This is not good. I can get up tomorrow morning. In short, you don't want to take leave for me. I don't want to give brother by a bad impression. What's wrong with this? Mo Yesi disagreed, I'll ask you for leave, he dare not say anything about you. Don't. Chiao Mian Mian refused firmly. Although Yan Shaoqing and brother Bai have a good relationship, I have greeted brother Bai to take care of me, but I can't rely on this relationship. I have to make a good impression on brother Bai. Mo Yesi listened to her with her lips closed. Listen, listen, the smile on the man's lips freezes. After Chiao Mian Mian finished speaking, he flicked the corner of his lip with a smile, Brother Bai. When was the relationship between his wife and Bai surnamed so good? The name is Big Brother? The problem of the little cub named Tu has not been solved yet, and now there is another Bai Yusheng? If you say that Tu Yiliai brings him a sense of threat is 5 points. Bai Yusheng is 7 points. Chiao Mian Mian said personally that she admires Bai Yusheng. And women are often the easiest to feel good about the men they adore. Thinking of this, his face was completely dark. Chiao Mian Mian hasn't found that the man next to him has been overturned again. She is still seriously saying to him, Yes, brother Bai. I used to think that he was very cold and not very close. Such. Speaking of Bai Yusheng, there was a sweet smile on her lips, when he was working, he was very serious, much like my former class teacher. But in private, his personality is still very gentle, like a big brother next door. She didn't realize that the man next to him was getting darker and darker. 
Mo Yesi squeezed his lips tightly, his deep eyes narrowed a little, his body cold and compelling. Bai Yusheng is gentle? Like the big brother next door? She was sure that the person she said was Bai Yusheng? He had been friends with Bai Yusheng for so many years, why didn't he see that he was gentle? I'm afraid so, just be gentle with her. Fire prevention, anti-theft and anti-brother, M.O. Yesi never imagined that there were even his brothers among the people who coveted his wife. M.O. Yesi, can you stop being jealous? Chiao Mian Mian stretched his hands and rubbed his forehead, feeling a headache, Big Brother Bai's favorite woman is not like me, he has no affection for me. He really treats me like a sister, I also think he looks like a big brother, we have a very pure relationship between men and women. Don't keep thinking about other men who are mischievous to me. Chiao Mian Mian still believed in his intuition. She could feel that Bai Yusheng really had no male or female thoughts about her. Only the vinegar jar next to her will find her charming and attractive. However, she is not RMB, how could everyone like her? Sister, elder brother. Mo Yesehun sneered with a sneer, ridiculed his lips, you have no thoughts about him but he treats you? Baby, I said I am a man, only men know men mind thinking. Well, he is Bai Yusheng, so dare to covet my woman. Mo Yesi's anger reached the zenith, and he couldn't bear to pick up his phone and made a call to Bai Yusheng. After a few sounds, there was a connection there, and a lazy, careless voice came over, What's the matter with President Mo? What's the matter at night? Call me at night. Is it that you won't let you in? Can't find a place to stay late, would you like me to keep you for one night? M.O. Yesi heard the sound of Mian Mian, and his anger could not be suppressed at once. He narrowed his eyes, and his deep eyes were filled with terrible anger, but his lips were slightly hooked, teeth clenched, and he said, Bai Yusheng, do you want to die? When Chiao Mian Mian knew that he was calling Bai Yusheng, he flipped out of the bed with a moment. She was so angry that he grabbed his mobile phone, M.O. Yesi, what are you doing, are you crazy? Watching her come over to grab the phone, M.O. Yesi's face was even more ugly. He avoided her and slammed it by Yusheng at the other end of the phone, my mother gave you to you, thinking of our friendship, with you, at least won't make her feel wronged. I don't worry about you until I give my woman to you. But as a result, you gave birth to her inconceivable thoughts? Believe it or not, I won't let you get involved in the entertainment industry now. Chiao Mian Mian was almost stunned by his operation. She knew Mo Yesi was a vinegar jar. She knew that he had very small eyes in his feelings, so small that he would eat some inexplicable vinegar anytime, anywhere. But he had been jealous in the past and had never done such an irrational thing. She didn't expect that because she called Bai Yusheng Big Brother Bai, he even decided that Bai Yusheng was not kind to her, and he called to curse people. When he did this, did she stand in her position and help her think about it? His temper came up, regardless of whether he was comfortable or not. He doesn't care, what effect he has on others when he does these things. Suddenly she felt very wronged and wanted to cry. This man is really too much. His possessive desire for her has reached a perverted state. She can't establish a slightly better relationship with any opposite sex, once established, it is not good intentions to become others in his eyes. In this way, he wanted all the opposite in the circle to be afraid of her and to respect her. He didn't allow any opposite to be a little closer to her, but he himself. Doesn't he also have heterosexual friends? I have known the green bamboo and horse for more than 20 years. Does this mean that only Zuzhou officials set fire to allow people to light up? Chiao Mian Mian felt aggrieved more and more, and she burst into tears. Bai Yusheng is such an arrogant person. Somehow, he was scolded by his head and face, again because she scolded, and tomorrow, she probably doesn't need to go to the crew anymore. She withdrew disheartenedly from the hand that was about to grab his phone, reached out to touch the tears in the corner of her eyes turned around, and didn't want to care about him anymore. Just like what he loves. Anyway, she couldn't stop him. 
it's just that when she thought of a character she got lucky, she was so lost, or because he was inexplicably jealous of it, she felt aggrieved and saddened. At this moment, she really, hated dead Mo Yesi. Mo Yesi was threatening Bai Yusheng, and suddenly he heard a sob from behind, and turned to see Chiao Mian Mian sitting on the bed wiping tears. When he cried and his eyes were swollen, he was stunned and panicked. 2. I didn't care about any more cruel words, lost my phone, and immediately turned and walked over. Baby. As soon as he opened his mouth, he heard Chiao Mian Mian choking with a voice, Mo Yesi, do you want a man beside me not to appear? Will you rest assured me? Do you want me to stay at home, where? Don't go, so you're satisfied. I. The girl's voice is not as soft and sweet as before, nor is it intimate. Mo Yesi heard a bit of indifference and alienation. He clenched his fists, his heart flustered more and more, I don't mean that. Why did she cry? When did she cry? I asked her in the bathroom before, and she cried when she couldn't bear it. But at that time he saw her tears, only to feel excited, excited, just want to bully her too much. And her tears made him very worried. Large tears slipped out of her eyes and hid her small white and pink face. Mo Yesi reached out and wanted to help her wipe her tears. She tilted her head, avoided his hand, and looked down at him without looking down. The meaning of alienation is very obvious. Baby. Mo Yeji's hand froze in the air. After a while, he slowly withdrew his voice. I apologize, I did something wrong. Don't cry anymore. I'll call him now. Tell him everything was misunderstood, okay? Actually, you don't have to worry. Bai Yusheng and I have known each other for many years, and he won't be really angry with me just because of those words just now. And he won't anger you because of this. You like this drama, I promise you you can shoot the ending smoothly, okay? I was stunned by jealousy. I confessed that I was not rational enough. I was impulsive just now. But, just because I understand what kind of person Bai Yusheng is, I think he treats you. Speaking of this, he stopped the sound. She is getting angry. He was afraid that he would say those words, she would be more angry. In short, it's my fault to make you cry. Mo Yesi turned around, picked up the phone that was dropped on the table again, and then walked back to her slowly. What if you don't want to be angry? I'll call him again, will I apologize to him? As long as she doesn't cry, let him do anything. Her tears pierced his heart like glass slag, and it hurt him so much. Chiao Mian Mian raised his crying eyes and finally looked at him, but his eyes were still cold and alienated, Mo Yesi, do you think I am angry with you? Mo Yesi froze, isn't it because of this thing? Is that? Chiao Mian Mian took a deep breath and wiped her tears again. She looked at him for a while and said, it's related to this matter but it's not all because of it. Mo Yesi, you know if one people live too ego and don't care what other people feel. Will it be tiring to be with such a person? Mo Yesi pressed his lips tightly. So, you feel with me, are you tired? He said hoarsely after a moment of silence. Chiao Mian Mian shook his head, actually not. During this time with you, I feel very happy. There was a hint of surprise in the man's deep eyes, and he stared at her for a few seconds, but, you said you were tired just now. Well, I said that just now. Chiao Mian Mian nodded. I mean, after a long time together, I will be tired. You. Too much control, too possessive. I can't be without me the other opposite appears. Moreover, the circle I am in now, my profession, is destined to be in contact with many opposite sexes in the future. Mo Yesi, I can't possibly throw away all the opposite friends after marrying you. This is not realistic. It's you, can you do it? Of course. Mo Yesi opened his mouth and stopped halfway through his words. In fact, he wanted to say that he certainly could. As long as she says a word, 
he can do anything for her. With her, what other friends does he need? Her world is enough for her. However, he knew that she did not want to hear such an answer. This will only make her feel more abnormal. And what do women think when facing an abnormal man? You want to run away. You can't do it, right? Xiaomian Mian misunderstood what he meant. You can't do it yourself, why do you ask me to do it? Mo Yesi stared at her closely, and could not help but blurt it out, so if, can I do it? Xiaomian Mian stunned, and then shook his head, then I can't do it. As long as it is a normal person, there are normal communication circles. I can only guarantee that I will not think of them beyond friendship, but there is no I can't deal with friends of the opposite sex. Regardless of any occupation, there are opposite sexes. It's impossible not to deal with it all. Mo Yesi looked at her as if her mood gradually calmed down, and hesitantly stretched her hand over again. After feeling that she had not dodged, her slender and cool fingers fell on the corner of her eye, moving her tears gently and carefully. Wipe off. I don't mean to keep you from touching the opposite sex. He wiped her tears while approaching her. I never thought of asking you like this. Chiao Mian Mian, in your heart, I'm like this paranoid and unreasonable. Chiao Mian Mian looked at him and said nothing. He never asked that. The result is to fly jealously. Eat the vinegar of the male crew of the crew, and the vinegar of the director of the crew. He asked not. Is there any difference? Mo Yesi probably thought of these two things too. There was a moment of unnaturalness on his face. He coughed his lips and coughed a little, that surname is painted, it is indeed bad intentions. You are far away from him, yes. Okay, I think I understand what you mean. In the future, I will slowly change it, okay? Chiao Mian Mian. I know there are a lot of things that are not so flattering on me. If you don't like it, I will change it. Only, you give me a little time. I will change it. I will change the place you don't like. Mo Yesi is essentially a man with strong possessiveness and control. In front of Jiao Mian Mian, he was very restrained. If he exposes his truest face to her, I'm afraid that it will scare her away. Just what she has shown now has made her feel stressed and made her feel tired. How dare he let her know that now he has actually converged a lot. The man almost begged her in a low voice. Chiao Mian Mian raised his head and looked at his cautious expression again, and he was touched in a sudden. This is Mo Yesi. He grew up with a golden spoon in his childhood, and he has only been asked by others. He can't ask for anyone nor does he need to ask for Mo Yesi. But now. He put his posture so low, begging her. When did he ask whom? She didn't like him to be overbearing, or her possessiveness. However, if he doesn't care about her so much, he won't look at her more when he gets cold. Is it wrong to care about someone? Like someone, can you control yourself? Faced with such Mo Yesi, Xiao Mian Mian softened at once. Yes, when she knew him, she knew what kind of person he was. His character was developed from an early age. For more than twenty years, he had such a personality. If he was changed at once, how could he change it? She has to give him time. You have to give yourself time. Okay, I promise you. She looked at him. Her indifference and alienation faded away, and she reached out and motioned for him to lower her head a little. Mo Yesi immediately followed suit. Chiao Mian Mian stretched out his hand again, and his soft little hand fell on his handsome deep face, stroking his sharp eyebrows and tall nose bridge, and finally fell on his warm and soft lips. She looked up at her face and looked at him. After a few seconds of silence, her voice was soft, Mo Yesi. Do you promise me something? The man's eyes were very deep, and he stared at her intently, nodding gently, Okay, you say. No matter what she asks for. He agreed to her. But whenever she spoke, did he ever reject her? Even if she wanted the stars in the sky, he would find a way to pluck her off. 
You don't have to be so impulsive again in the future. Chiao Mian Mian frowned slightly, thinking of his move just now, frowning again, could not help but sigh, M.O. Yesi, since I have married you, it's your wife. In the future, the only person I like will be you. I can't guarantee others' ideas, but I can guarantee my own. When he heard her say like, the man's black eyes brightened. So, don't worry about who I will be robbed. Do you have no confidence in yourself? Do you think you are such an unattractive man? Any man can compare you. No. M.O. Yesi gradually smiled in his eyes. Of course not. She would not know that he was not such a self-confident person. In fact, only when he encounters things related to her will he feel a loss of control and feel unconfident. Because he thought she was too good. All of them are advantages. She is so good, of course everyone will like her. Too many people like her, he will have a sense of crisis. In my eyes, my husband is the best and the best in the world. No one can match it. Chiao Mian Mian decided to give someone a reassuring pill to say something nice and stable. He, give him more confidence. Lest he always doubt this, always doubt that. She rolled her eyes and searched all kinds of sweet words in her mind. After searching, all of them said to him, Other men, not even your hair, how can I see it? It's up to them. She said, feeling that the eyes condensed on her face became hot and when she lifted her eyes, she met a pair of dark eyes that were blazing with fire. She is too familiar with this look. She unconsciously tightened the bath towel on her body. The soreness at the base of her thigh made her feel terrified, M.O. Yesi, I will get up early tomorrow, I am very tired now. I know. The man's throat rolled and opened his mouth in a low voice, Baby, I didn't think about what to do. You can rest assured that I won't touch you again today. Chiao Mian Mian looked at him suspiciously. He said this every time, and the result was. M.O. Yesi sat down next to her, stretched her hands into her arms emotionally, her big hand fell on her hair and caressed, and whispered in her ear, What you said just now is your sincere words. The man's body is also hot. But the arms around her waist were very regular and undisturbed. Chiao Mian Mian felt a little relieved, leaning back in his arms, resting his head on his chest, and listening to his heartbeat, he replied, Well, honestly. You just said that you will only like me in the future. Okay. So. M.O. Yesi took a deep breath and slowly moved the hand holding her hair to her lower jaw, holding her lower jaw slightly, holding deep black eyes into her eyes, I can't understand Cheng, you already like me now. Chiao Mian Mian looked at him without evasive eyes, and with a nervous expectation, he nodded gently, well, you can understand that. In fact, she has long liked him. When did it start? She couldn't remember it either, probably from the moment he stood in front of her and Chiao Chen, earnestly promised that they would take good care of their sisters in the future, and be the moment their sisters depend on. That warmth warmed her heart. Then next. Many of his actions have made him occupy more and more positions in her heart. She is just an ordinary girl. I met such a good man and treated her so well. Unless her heart was made of stone, how could she be unimpressed? In the moment she nodded, the man's handsome face enlarged in front of her eyes, her warm and wet lips fell, and gently kissed her gently. This kiss is neither intense nor lasting. He just sucked in gently with her lips and backed away. How much do you like it? He touched her forehead, breathing out all over her cheeks, rubbing intimately, with unabashed joy in her low voice, Hey? Tell me, how much do you like me? Even if she likes him only half of him, it is enough. The other half, he can slowly go to her in exchange for the rest of his life. Chiao Mian Mian couldn't help laughing, a lot of likes, okay. Well, okay. M.O. Yesi raised her lips slightly and raised her eyebrows. But I'm greedy. I want more likes. Baby, can you try to like me more? More likes? Well, you treat me as greedy. 
Before she had shown his heart to him, even if she liked it a little, he felt enough. But now, he felt it was not enough. He wants more. He wanted her to be his only. He wanted to be the one she was firmly selected by. However, I may be slower and hotter, and I won't like someone very quickly. It's okay. M.O. Yesi tickled his lips, I can wait. How long can I wait? Well, wait as long as possible. But, I still hope I won't wait too long. The man's eyes were affectionate, and he couldn't help but kissed the corner of her lips again, whispering softly, Baby, I will I will work hard to make you like me more. Chiao Mian Mian couldn't help but asked, What about you? Okay. You make me like you a little more, then you treat me. Before she had finished speaking, M.O. Yesi took her hand and pressed it to his heart, Baby, this position has been occupied by you for a long time. Inside, it's all you. In a flash, Chiao Mian Mian's heart beat suddenly. His ears were tossing and turning are all the words he just said. He said that this position has long been occupied by you. He said, inside, it's all you. M.O. Yesi. Chiao Mian Mian, I like you. The man's deep voice is full of affection, and her dark eyes only contain her figure, word by word, whispering affectionately, I like you very much. In my heart, full of you. My mind is full of you. The whole world is all you. Like crazy. Chiao Mian Mian couldn't help but hooked his neck, his eyelashes closed, his eyes fluttering lightly. This time, the kiss was lingering and lasting. Chiao Mian Mian was pushed down on the bed by the man and pressed a deep kiss. The surrounding temperature quickly rose and kissed, and both were a little emotional. M.O. Yesi recovered his sanity at the moment when he almost shot the gun. He gasped and rolled over her, pulled a thin cover over her, and then got up and walked toward the bathroom. His voice was low, Baby, I'll take a bath. If the takeaway arrives, you eat first. After a while, Chiao Mian Mian heard the sound of whirling water in the bathroom. The two just came out of the shower. Why he went to the bathroom to take a shower so quickly, Chiao Mian Mian is not difficult to guess the reason. I'm afraid, this time he took a cold shower. Just now, she has felt that he is ready to go, she did not expect that he could hold back. It really didn't touch her. Not long after M.O. Yesi went to the bathroom, his phone rang. Chiao Mian Mian walked over and looked at it, and the caller ID turned out to be Shen Ro. She frowned when she didn't feel it. After hesitating for a few seconds, she picked up and pressed the call button. As, did I disturb you to rest? Shen Ro's voice came over, and it sounded very gentle, especially the as, also called out some lingering feelings. Chiao Mian Mian pinched the phone and didn't speak. Shen Ro didn't know that she was the one answering the phone. Chiao Mian Mian didn't speak in silence. She didn't mind it either. She smiled and said softly, You are in F City now, I heard Aunt Mo say that Mian Mian came out something happened, you didn't worry about her, so I went to her in the past. How is it now, her emotions are still stable. What happened to the scandals, did she explain it to you? In fact, I have watched that video. I think it must have been maliciously hyped by the unscrupulous media, and there is nothing ambiguous in the video. Besides, Mian Mian is married to you, do you still need to rub the heat of a male drama? As, you spoil her so much, as long as she talks to you, the heroine in which drama she wants to play is not something you say. But as, do you know that Aunt Mo does not agree with Mian Mian to act? She told me about this matter today. She feels that with the current status of the Mahists, it is not good if the Mahist second young lady is an actress. I also know that this is your family affair. An outsider should not talk too much. However, I also think that the profession of actor is not very good. It will inevitably be gossip. Do you, have you ever thought of letting me and me and quit entertainment? Circled. Chiao Mian and Mian and kept listening silently, and she wanted to know what Shen Ro wanted to say. Hearing this, 
I almost understood. Dare to help Mrs. M.O. serve as a lobbyist, was M.O. Yesi persuaded her to withdraw from the entertainment industry? As, are you, are you listening to me? I know you are very petty, so everything depends on her, but do you think she is really good now? The entertainment circle is a big die tank, you are really at ease keep her going. Chiao Mian Mian finally couldn't help but sneer out loud, Miss Shen used to care about other people's things so much. I have heard and said the words you just said. First of all, I would like to thank Miss Shen for worrying about me, but, I, I want to say that since Miss Shen also knows that these things are our family's affairs, it is better for you as an outsider not to do much business. The entertainment industry is good or not, whether it suits me or not, it has nothing to do with you. I am an actor and even my husband nothing was said. Miss Shen, an outsider, left a bad sentence, and another sentence would be gossip, but it was even more worrying than my husband. Chiao Mian Mian Shen Ro seemed shocked when she heard her voice, Why is ACI's cell phone in your hands, others? You said my husband. Chiao Mian Mian glanced in the direction of the bathroom, hooked his lips, turned and walked towards the bathroom, walked outside the door, and reached for a knock. The man's low and voice came from the bathroom, Baby, what's wrong? Chiao Mian Mian glanced down at the phone and replied in a whispering voice, Her husband, how long do you have to wash? Before exercising so many times, people are so tired and sleepy. Come out and sleep with others. People can't sleep alone. Chiao Mian Mian was deliberately calm, and then deliberately scorned. As soon as she finished speaking, she couldn't help but goosebumps. Feel nauseous. In the bathroom, it was quiet for a while. Quiet enough, Chiao Mian Mian was a little bit doubtful that Mo Yesi hadn't heard it. Or if I heard it, she was so numb that she didn't want to talk. Just as she was about to knock on the door and ask him again, the sound of water stopped and the man's low-pitched voice rang again, OK, my husband will come out and sleep with you. Chiao Mian Mian. Sleep. Mo Yesi even told her to sleep. It was the first time she heard such a childlike superposition word from his mouth, and the whole person was a little surprised. So much so that she forgot to talk to Shen Ro. She stood in front of the bathroom door for a while before thinking of it. She originally thought that Shen Ro was so angry that she hung up the phone directly. You can pick up your phone and see that it is still on the phone. At this time, she had to admire Shen Ro's inner strength. Shen Ro certainly heard the conversation with Mo Yesi just now. Especially for her, she originally intended to let Shen Ro hear it, and she deliberately increased the volume. Change to the average person and hear those ambiguous conversations just now. But Shen Ro really is not an ordinary person. The old lady of the Shen family is not the same as ordinary people. Chiao Mian Mian thought for a while and raised the phone to his ear, Miss Shen, you just heard it. My husband and I are going to sleep. If you have nothing else to do, then I will hang up. Chiao Mian Mian, you answered his phone without permission from As. Did he know you did this? Do you think that what you just said will stimulate me? Oh, ridiculous, you don't think your little tricks are too naive, is it funny? True affection does not need to be shown. The more you lack something, the more you want to show off. I tell you, I don't envy you at all. Your little tricks are useless to me. Listening to Shen Ro's almost clenched teeth, Chiao Mian Mian couldn't help laughing, oh, is it? Since Shen wasn't stimulated, why should she be so excited? Also, I picked up without my husband's permission got your phone, but I don't think he would mind. ACI hates the things that others don't do without his permission. Shen Ro gritted his teeth. Dare you tell him this? Are you sure? Chiao Mian Mian said with a smile, Miss Shen, let me remind you, I am his wife, but no one else. He will be angry when others move him, but he does everything I move him. It's impossible to be angry with me. I have known as for more than twenty years. What kind of character does he need? 
You don't need to remind me. Shen Ro seemed to be irritated by Chiao Mian Mian's words, and his tone was sharper. Chiao Mian Mian, even if you are him wife, you are not qualified to move his things casually. The meaning of Miss Shen, I want to prove it to you personally. Chiao Mian Mian really felt funny. A woman actually said in front of her how to understand her husband. In the words, it is full of provocation. One can imagine that she did not take her so-called Mrs. Mo's eyes at all. Chiao Mian Mian is not a character who likes to compete with others. So when she noticed at the beginning that Shen Ro liked Mo Yesi, she didn't take it too seriously. However, she doesn't think it's the same thing, it doesn't mean that others think so. This all provoked her directly, and if she didn't look back, she would be bullied. Especially, the person who provoked her was still soft. Chiao Mian Mian has been tolerating Shen Ro for a long time. Okay. On the other end of the phone, Shen Ro sneered. You prove it to me. Don't secretly delete the call log if you have the ability. Of course I won't delete it. Chiao Mian Mian glanced into the bathroom and smiled. My husband is coming out soon. I will ask him if I can answer his phone. As soon as she finished speaking, click, the bathroom door opened. Just after taking a cold shower, the man walked out of the bathroom with a towel around him with a body of moisture. The wet short hair was still dripping with water. Drops of water slipped from his forehead, followed the cold and deep lines of his face, and finally rolled down on his crimson thin lips. The bath towel only covers the lower body. The exposed upper body chest muscles are attractive and the abdominal muscles are more attractive. He also had water droplets that were not wiped dry. As he moved, the water droplets slipped from his chest and rolled along the abdominal muscles into the two mermaid lines. Further down, Chiao Mian Mian looked at the tempting beauty man bathing picture in front of him, swallowing and spitting, a little dry. Although she didn't particularly deeply feel how beautiful this seductive male body was recently, but every time she saw such a picture, she would still be tempted. M.O. Yesi. This figure is so good. Seen once, you are tempted once. Baby. Seeing her standing at the door, M.O. Yesi froze, and then quickly walked to her side, reached out and hugged her, and said softly, Why are you still standing here, isn't it sleepy? Oh. Chiao Mian Mian recovered, and shook his phone at him, and then said, when you went to take a shower, Miss Shen called you and I answered it for you. By the way, the phone hasn't hung up yet. I'll give it to you. Shen Ro called me. Mo Yesi looked down at the phone screen, showing that he was still on the phone. Well. Chiao Mian Mian nodded and plugged his mobile phone into him. I took Miss Shen's call without your permission. Would you mind? Mo Yesi took the phone looked at the phone that hadn't been hung up, and frowned, how come, what do I mind? Really? Don't you mind? Chiao Mian Mian raised her lips and raised the volume. But, Miss Shen said that you hate the things that others are unauthorized by you. She said you must be angry. So I just said waiting outside, I'm afraid you will be angry. Mo Yesi looked down at her, and soon realized that she was talking to Shen Ro and she raised the volume very cooperatively, and said softly, You are my wife, let alone mine. Something, my people are yours, what can't you move? Chiao Mian Mian was very satisfied with his cooperation and performance. So, don't mind rewarding him properly. She tipped her toes and kissed gently on his lips, blinking her smart eyes, glancing at the screen that was still showing the call, and then grinningly said, my husband, when did you have such a sweet mouth? Hearing her charming husband, Mo Yesi's throat rolled, and the arm around her shoulders tightened, Hey? Don't you like it? He said, it's more interesting for two people to eat together. Just now, what did Shen say to you? How do I think you look impatient? Mo Yesi swallowed the ribs she fed, and then said, it's not an important thing. Have you been chatting for a while before I came out? What did she tell you? It's nothing. 
Xiaomi and Mian didn't want to tell him those things. If she was told that Mrs. Mo opposed her continued filming, and wanted her to withdraw from the entertainment industry, she would become the one who provoked their mother-child relationship. It's nothing. Mo Yesi obviously didn't believe it, and her deep black eyes locked her with an inquiry in her eyes, really nothing? Baby, I hope you don't hide me, if she said something that upsets you, you tell I. Really nothing. Xiaomi and Mian fed another piece of ribs to her mouth, I am the kind of person who has been wronged and said nothing? Is it that you just treated her like that, would she be angry? Mo Yesi looked at her, I only care that my wife is not angry. Xiaomi and Mian. This answer is almost perfect. She wanted to give him a little red flower. Then she rewarded him with a spare rib. Asterisk. The other side. Shen Ro listened to the disconnection sound from the phone, and her long nails scratched a sharp and harsh sound on the phone screen. The tears in her eyes couldn't help but hit her face one by one. Xiaomi and Mian. She really hates this woman. Can't wait to let her disappear from this world immediately. Mo Yesi had never been so indifferent to her before. But everything changed after Xiaomi and Mian appeared. He was deeply infatuated with the woman. He was stunned, and there was no one in his eyes except the woman. In her ear, she recalled the sweet conversation between the two. The man she loved so much spoke to another woman in such a gentle and indulgent tone. The sweet words he spoke were something she had never thought of. Of. She never knew that he could even say so sweet and gentle words to women. She always thought that a man like his personality would never have that kind of side. How could Mo Yesi, whom she knew, speak sweet words to any woman? However, she heard it with her own ear. Hear every sentence so clearly. Each of those words seemed to be a sharp knife, stabbing her heart by mouth. She stabbed her with blood. But even if her heart was hurt and bleeding, it was already painful. He wouldn't pity her for it. His soul was taken away by the woman beside him. Shen Ro has always firmly believed that no matter who Mo Yesi is marrying now, no matter how good he is to Xiaomi and Mian now, in the future, the woman who accompanies Mo Yesi will eventually be her. Xiaomi and Mian is just a passerby. Therefore, she can endure or wait. As long as the end result is good. But now, she was not so firm, she suddenly panicked and afraid. An unprecedented sense of panic surged from her heart. She was not as confident as before. She was really real and regarded Xiaomi and Mian as a threat. She suddenly discovered that if she did not take any action, she was afraid that the matter would become more and more out of her control. No, as swife can only be me. I am the one who will eventually be with him. It is me, not Xiaomi and Mian. Asterisk. The next day. Xiaomi and Mian packed up and walked out of the room and met Nana who had just come out of another room. Nana blushed as soon as she saw her, and then greeted her unnaturally, cough, sister Mian Mian, good morning. Good morning. Xiao Mian Mian hadn't found Nana's unnatural, she yawned, covering her lips, lazily said, I'm going to have breakfast, are you with us? No, I'll just eat something casually for a while, and I won't bother you and your boyfriend with the light bulb. Nana looked at the newly added red seals on Chiao Mian Mian's neck, his expression froze. That, Sister Mian Mian. Hey. Chiao Mian Mian glanced at her. Er. Nana glanced at her neck again, and then quickly walked to her, leaned into her ear and lowered her voice and said, Kiss marks on your neck, find something to cover right. Otherwise, it's not good to be seen. After all, it is an actor. Going out with a kiss mark on his neck is too conspicuous and too shocking. Moreover, now the outside world simply does not know that Xiao Mian Mian has a boyfriend. The company's intention is to let her hide for the time being, not to make it public. These kiss marks, can't be seen. What? Xiao Mian stunned. Nana pointed her finger at her neck, Sister Mian Mian, you have a lot of small strawberries on your neck. These, 
should be small strawberries. Although as a single dog who still retains her first kiss, she has little experience in these matters. But I haven't eaten pork and watched the pig run. And, last night, last night she heard some strange sounds. So, the kiss marks haven't run away. Little strawberry. Chiao Mian Mian froze for a few more seconds, took out his phone and tapped the camera to take a picture. When she hit the dense kiss marks on her neck, her fair face instantly turned red. She didn't pay attention to it when she first washed. I didn't even know that there were so many kiss marks on her neck. M.O. Yesi that beast. She was overwhelmed by him last night and forgot to explain these things, but even if she forgot to say, he should be conscious. Knowing that she would still be filming today, she still made so many kiss marks on her neck. In winter, you can also use a scarf or something to cover it. But it is summer now. What should she do with him? Chiao Mian Mian looked at the obvious red mark on his neck, and looked more and more angry. Baby, I'm packed and we can go out. On the head, he saw the culprit walking slowly out of the room. The man was dressed in black and black trousers, with strong asceticism from head to toe. The legs wrapped in black trousers were straight and slender, and he was approaching him slowly and gracefully. He lowered his head and tied the button on the cuff of his shirt. I tied a few and walked to Jiao Mian Mian, stretched my hand to her, and said in a low and voice, Baby, help me tie it. Jiao Mian Mian thought about the kiss mark, glared at him with dissatisfaction, and didn't move. Hey! M.O. Yesi raised an eyebrow, seeming puzzled, what's wrong? Chiao Mian Mian didn't speak and continued to stare at him. M.O. Yesi is even more inexplicable, baby, what's wrong with this? Who made you angry? But he stayed. Moreover, there is still a lot left. He has his own selfishness. These traces were his brand on her. He picked the most visible place and planted these exclusive marks. He wanted to see all the men who coveted her. This woman already has a master. If they have any thoughts, they will be dismissed as soon as possible. Three days. Chiao Mian Mian's mentality was a little bit exploded. I haven't been to the crew for a few days. You asked me to take three days off. M.O. Yesi, are you intentional? She now seriously doubts that this man was intentional. Knowing that she was still filming, she still made so many marks on her neck. Moreover, they are still in a very conspicuous place. She wanted to cover it with her hair. Baby, don't be angry. M.O. Yesi certainly would not admit that he was deliberate. He stretched out his hands and glared his eyes, swollen his face, and looked at his young girl with an angry face in his arms, letting out a soft voice, Sorry, last night was I can't help myself. I will pay attention in the future. You don't want to ask for leave, then you say, what do you want to do? Chiao Mian Mian didn't really want to lose his temper with him. Who can blame this matter? He didn't pay attention. But last night, didn't she forget to remind him? Speaking of which, she did not withstand his temptation, and she did not refuse too thoroughly, otherwise it would not let him succeed. M.O. Yesi, why are you so annoying? Although not all is his fault, but most of it is his fault. Chiao Mian Mian was still angry, but he threw his hand and thumped him twice in the chest. His pink fist hit his strong muscle, you hate to die. Good, I hate it. M.O. Yesi was angry with her, still coaxing aloud, I'm wrong, I didn't think about it, baby, you can be as angry as you want. Call me and scold me all if you are happy, just don't let your body get mad. Otherwise, I will be distressed. The more he was so good and angry, the more Chiao Mian Mian wanted to make it, and his pink fists knocked on his chest several times, like a little cat with fried hair, and he said to his teeth, Why are your muscles so hard? Is there a stone in it? My hands hurt me. Baby's hand hurt. M.O. Yesi hooked her lips to catch her little hand, raised her lips, and gently exhaled, The husband blows for you. The warm breath was like a warm breeze blowing on Chiao Mian Mian's back. 
The man blew air on the back of her hand while gently rubbing the red area on the back of her hand. Blowed for a while, rubbed for a while, looked up at her, is it still hurting? Chiao Mian Mian. Who can withstand such tenderness offensive? Whatever anger in my heart disappeared. I have to say that Mo Yesi is really a man who coaxes women. Every time under his tender offensive, Chiao Mian Mian could only surrender his gun automatically. No matter how angry with him because of anything, he will soon be coaxed out of nothing. Hey, don't think you are so diligent, I will forgive you. She was still brave. Don't want him to think she's too coaxing. Baby, how can this be called Zion Kinkin? Mo Yesi gave a low, cheerful, light laughter between his throats, lowered his head, and printed a soft kiss on the back of her hand. This is heartache for you. Don't be upset about this thing anymore. He thought for a while and looked at the conspicuous red marks on her neck. This time it was really serious advice, is there any makeup to cover? No, you can't go directly to the studio and shoot the movie first, then let you handle it later. It should be dealt with. Chiao Mian Mian thought for a while, but nodded helplessly, I will try it. These traces will not disappear for a while. Thinking about it, there are only two ways. She intends to cover it with concealer, which is really not good, then only let the post-processing. In fact, these traces can be dealt with later. She was not angry because she was worried that it would affect her filming. She didn't want to go to the crew with these kiss marks. She thought it was embarrassing to let others see these kiss marks. In this way, wouldn't the whole crew know what she did last night? It's embarrassing to think about it, so embarrassing. Asterisk. After about half an hour of tossing, Chiao Mian Mian just left the door. She put a thick layer of concealer on her neck and put her hair down again. Almost, covering all the kiss marks. As long as you don't stare at her neck, you can't see it. After having breakfast, Mo Yesi sent her to the crew. When he passed a red light intersection, he had just stopped the car and the ringtone of the phone rang at the same time. His mobile phone was placed next to the car seat. When the screen lit up, Chiao Mian Mian glanced at random, and saw that it was a call from the old lady. Mo Yesi saw that the old lady was calling and immediately picked it up, laughing and shouting, Grandma. The old lady's voice with a smile also came over, as, Are you busy now? Not busy. Mo Yesi turned his head to look at Chiao Mian Mian, reached over and took her one hand, and gently squeezed her palm, I'm with Mian Mian now and send her to the crew to film. Over there, the old lady was silent for a few seconds before she smiled again and said, Oh, is that right? Are you still in City F? When are you going to go back? Is it okay to lose it over there? It's just a day or two away, what's the problem? I've already explained it. The grandma, you can rest assured, I know. I'll go back when I get settled here. Well, you know what you have in mind. Your child has been sensible since childhood, and there is nothing to worry about. Your grandma is at ease. Mo Yesi knew that the old lady had called and did not ask him. Yesterday, he and Mrs. Mo had a bad time. The old lady called me today. I'm afraid, the old lady called this for Mrs. Mo. After thinking for a while, he took the initiative and said, Grandma, you call me, don't you just want to ask me these things? Do you have other things? The old lady was also a direct person and she didn't turn around again, what's the matter with your mother? How did you blacken her phone? She told me about this matter yesterday and she cried a bit. Why is it so serious? Mo Yesi squeezed his lips tightly, and after a moment of silence, he said quietly, there is nothing serious about her. You know her character, even if she was spoiled by her dad. Did she find you? She told my grandma. What? Yes, your mother came to see me. The old lady sighed, crying with me wronged. Said you are now grown up, can't control you, and don't take her seriously. 
Moyesi couldn't help but sneer, I listen to her without any opinion, just take her seriously. If she wants such a puppet to be her son, then I really am not what she wants son. As, your mother said. You and her were arguing about the work at Mian Mian. She hopes Mian Mian can withdraw from the entertainment industry and stay at home with her husband to teach her son as a good helper. But you disagree with her. The old lady paused for a few seconds before asking again, what the do you think of the continuous work? M.O. Yesi frowned, squeezing his lips and not speaking. I'm afraid the main purpose of the old lady over the phone call is still for this matter. When he took Xiao Mian Mian back, he didn't specifically tell her about her job. But he believed that the old lady would definitely find someone to investigate. The old lady had never asked about it before, which meant she didn't mind. Or, even if she minded it, she was still willing to respect Xiao Mian Mian, so she did not intend to interfere with her work. But now I suddenly asked. I'm afraid that some ideas in the old lady's heart have changed. And why did he suddenly find the change, most likely related to the two scandals that Jiao Mian Mian has been making in recent times? The old lady was originally a very traditional woman. She can accept her granddaughter-in-law to film, but she absolutely cannot accept that the granddaughter-in-law frequently makes scandals with other men. Powerful families like the M.O. family value fame and face more than anything. If it affects the reputation of the family, the old lady will never sit idly by. Thinking of this, M.O. Yesi frowned more tightly. The old lady is an elder he respects very much. He can be strong against Mrs. M.O., but against the old lady. In contemplation, I heard the old lady's voice rang again, what's going on with her actor? As, I'm not an elder who likes to interfere with juniors. You are not children anymore. You have your own I think you should know what you should do and what you should not do. So as long as you are not doing anything extraordinary, as long as it does not affect the reputation of our Mahists, I am too lazy to intervene. You and your brother did give us the M.O. family very much, and I don't need me to worry about you. I didn't want to take care of your wife's affairs. She likes to take pictures. Although they all say that the entertainment industry is a big die tank, there are our M.O. family sheltered her, and no one dared to do anything to her. I didn't worry about the mess of the circle, but she wanted to film the movie, but what happened to the successive scandals? It's still scandals with some men. I believe that the girl must have done nothing outrageous, but the scandal was too frequent and not good, was it? The old lady's words did not mean any blame, it was more like telling the truth calmly. She did not mean to blame Jiao Mian Mian. Of course, Mo Yesi also heard it, so he also calmly listened to the old lady's words before he hurriedly said, Grandma, when I go back, I will make these things clear to your elderly. I'm not a fool, I know everything in my heart. Okay. The old lady was also reasonable and didn't continue to ask questions, then wait for you to come back and say. Your mother's cell phone number is still on your blacklist? If you don't let her out, she will have to come to me again and cry now. Well, I will release her in a moment. She is your mother after all, you are mother and son, the most intimate people in the world. No matter what she does, the original intention is for your own good, maybe the wrong way is used, but there is no bad heart. Grandma, I know. In short, everything will wait for you to come back. After hanging up the phone, M.O. Yesi looked down at the screen of the mobile phone. After a while, he locked the phone and threw it back. Beside. Chiao Mian Mian looked at his brow furrowed, hesitated and asked softly, Grandma called you, was it because of my scandal? Although she did not specifically hear what M.O. Yesi and the old lady said. But I can guess a little. It must be related to her. And she didn't make a scandal long before. Therefore, too much of the old lady called because of seeing her scandal. Grandma believes in you. M.O. Yesi was afraid of her thinking, and immediately said, she just wants to know what's going on with this matter. When I go back, I will make it clear to her slowly. Chiao Mian Mian knows how good the old lady is to her. 
she also knew that the old lady would not believe the scandals. But since I made this call, I was afraid that even if I believed her, I would have some ideas in my heart. Chiao Mianmian's heart sank slightly, and he felt a little sad in his heart. If Mrs. Mo's thoughts about her are not satisfied with her, she will not be too sad. Anyway, from the beginning, she knew that Mrs. Mo did not like her. But the old lady. The old lady treated her so well before, and loved her like her granddaughter. If one day the old lady did not like her, she would definitely be sad. Don't think about it. Mo Yesi reached out and rubbed her head when she realized that her mood was low. How much grandma likes you, you don't know. She won't treat you because of such a small thing. Opinion. She doesn't even suspect you because of some rumors on the internet. Grandma is a very smart person, she will have her own judgment. Is that right? Chiao Mian Mian looked at him uncertainly, Granny really has no opinion on me. Really not. Mo Yesi smoothed her hair and put a strand of hair behind her ear behind her. You think Grandma will fall in love with anyone casually, and she also depends on people. She since I like you, it means that you are a very nice person in her heart. She won't easily doubt her vision. Under his appeasement, Chiao Mian Mian felt a little better in his heart. I don't feel so sad anymore. There was a smile on her face, well, what you said makes sense, then I believe you. Mo Yesi couldn't help but chuckled, and her long fingers gently scraped off her nose, isn't it uncomfortable now? Well, it's better. Don't think about it. He was silent for a while, and then said, I'll go back after sending you to the crew in a while. I have arranged for you two bodyguards. I'm not here. I have them to protect you. I can rest assured. These two people have been with me for many years, and their skills are very good, which can fully guarantee your safety. Although the fans who followed her yesterday were taken away by the police. However, no one can guarantee that there will be other fans squatting her. He didn't worry about not arranging people beside her. Chiao Mian Mian also thought about the things he worried about. So he did not refuse his arrangement. Moreover, she did not want to worry him. She nodded and said, OK. But you gave me your bodyguard. On your side. Of course I won't be the only two bodyguards. Knowing that she was worried about herself, Mo Yesi warmed her heart, and her deep eyes overflowed with soft colors, don't worry about me. Even for you, I will protect myself. Facing his gaze, Chiao Mian Mian couldn't help but indulge in the tender water under his eyes. Asterisk. To the crew. Chiao Mian Mian was kissed by Mo Yesi in the car for a while before putting her off the car. She had just got out of the car and hadn't walked a few steps. He heard footsteps approaching behind her. She turned her head and was dragged into his arms by the person behind her. Smelling the familiar breath, she looked up in confusion, M.O. Yesi, how are you? Well. Before he could finish asking, he was clasped by the man's jaws and kissed him powerfully and arrogantly. Her lips are still red and swollen. The tip of his tongue was numb when he was kissed in the car just now. When the man kissed again aggressively, she grabbed the collar of his shirt a little unbearably, straightened her jaw, and let out a soft whine from her lips. M.O. Yesi kissed deeply and hard. Strongly opened her lips and teeth, entangled fiercely with her lilac tongue. This kiss is more intense than the one in the car. Chiao Mian Mian was forced to bear it while reaching out to his chest, trying to push him away. This place is the import and export of the crew. Someone will pass by at any time. She didn't want to be seen seeing her kissing a man here. But the more she wanted to push him away, the tighter the man's arms around her waist tightened. Well, M.O. Yesi. Chiao Mian Mian struggled. What's wrong with this man? How come suddenly? She could feel that M.O. Yesi was a bit wrong. This kiss is too strange. But the more she wanted to break free from his arms, the stronger the man held her. Even with a bit of punishment, she bit her lips. Chiao Mian Mian frowned in pain, 
and couldn't help but panic. With a creak, there was a sharp brake sound behind him. The wheels rub against the ground and make a sharp noise. Someone is coming? Chiao Mian Mian was even more flustered, opening his eyes and pushing the man as if he had lost control. She was a little angry, biting his lips in a hurry. Mo Yesi groaned in pain, and the hands around her waist finally let go a little. Chiao Mian Mian pushed him away immediately. She covered her hot kissed lips and stared angrily at the man with the same red lips in front of her eyes, angry and annoyed, Mo Yesi, what are you doing? What's wrong with you? The man said nothing. Just walked to her and reached out to hug her again. Chiao Mian Mian just struggled, and his ear was bitten by him. The man bit her pink earlobe and whispered, Don't move, let me hug again. Mo Yesi, you. Chiao Mian Mian just wanted to ask him what happened. When she looked over him and saw Tu Yilei standing not far behind, she was stunned. When she reached her mouth, she swallowed back. She said, how suddenly he became so strange. It turned out that because he should have seen Tu Yilei early in the morning. Therefore, this jar of vinegar is stimulated, and then there will be the unusual behavior just now. He just, was deliberately showing it to Tu Yilei. Chiao Mian Mian was amused by his similar declaration of sovereignty. Mo Yesi this childish man. Can he do something more naive? After knowing why he had those abnormal behaviors, Chiao Mian Mian quieted down and leaned back in his arms. Realizing that Tu Yilei had thoughts about her in that respect, she also felt that this time was a good opportunity. Although this approach is naive. But, if Tu Yilei really has any thoughts on her, seeing this scene should dispel the idea. When Chiao Mian Mian saw Tu Yilei behind him, Tu Yilei's eyes also fell on her. The eyes of the two collided in midair, and after a few seconds of eye contact, Tu Yilei's handsome and friendly face, which was usually very gentle and very friendly, was heavy, his lips tightened, and his eyes were covered with a cold color. He squeezed his lips and stood motionless. The brown eyes seemed to be violently surging, but after a while, the excitement in his eyes gradually calmed down. Then turned around and returned to the car. After a minute, the black Bentley, with its windows fully raised, drove slowly past Chiao Mian Mian and then moved further away until it disappeared at the corner. Mo Yesi slowly released his hand. He raised his head and looked in the direction that the black Bentley had just passed. His deep black eyes narrowed, and after a few seconds, his eyes slowly returned. The man's dark eyes drooped, looking at the girl who was kissed by his lips to the red and swollen lips. His long and white fingers slowly touched the girl's red and delicate lips, and there was a deep and strong possession in the eyes. This woman is his. This life and this world belong to him only. Others, Hugh wants to beat her half a point. Baby, I'm leaving. Remember my words and stay away from the man with the surname Tuesday. Asterisk. Chiao Mian Mian just walked into the crew and saw Nana running towards her with excitement. Walking to her, Nana grabbed her hand and excitedly said, Sister Mian Mian, do you already know? Chiao Mian Mian looked dazed and blinked, wondering, what do you know? It's Huang Yilin's business. Huang Yilin. Chiao Mian Mian froze again, what's the matter? Don't you know yet? Nana looked at her with a little surprise. After a few seconds of silence, the expression on her face became more and more excited, and she whispered to her in her throat. It was said that she had done a seat at a senior meeting before she debuted. And there are still pictures with the truth, posted a lot of photos of Huang Yilin while working in that club. Not only that, she also broke all kinds of things that depended on the unspoken rules to accompany producers and investors to sleep. Moreover, there are also pictures and truths, and the names of those investors and producers were clearly revealed. Did you know that most of the producers and investors who she sleeps are married? And there are still a few investors who still maintain that relationship with her. I heard that these news broke out, that the wives of several investors have gone to her and said that they should clean her up. Huang Yulin didn't dare to come to the crew today. 
now it's skyrocketing on Weibo. Huang Yilin's brokerage firm immediately dispatched public relations. Said it was defamation, it will file a lawsuit against the breaking Weibo, but the account of the breaking news is very new. After Huang Yilin's brokerage company issued a lawyer's letter a second before, she immediately broke out some of her black material. It feels like if I didn't kill Huang Yilin completely, I wouldn't give up. Moreover, Huang Yilin just withdrew the hot search from there, and the heat was immediately brushed up again. Even the Navy troops invited by the comment area were completely covered by another batch of Navy troops. Now, it seems that her brokerage company has also its gone, I can only watch her black material hot search. Sister Mian Mian, who is the person who broke her black material? I think that person is so good. After Chiao Mian Mian listened, he froze for a while before he figured out what was going on. Huang Yilin, was blasted black? Speaking of black materials, as long as someone wants to dig, they can definitely be dug. Which artist has no so-called black material? But it has reached the level of Huang Yilin, and what ordinary reporters can dig out is just some irrelevant dark material. It is hard for someone to dig out her real black material. Moreover, many years ago, the black material basically did not have enough evidence. Even if someone broke the news, they would be treated as rumors. However, according to what Nana said just now, it was revealed that Huang Yilin's account not only collected a lot of her real black material, but also had solid evidence. This is really amazing. This time, it also involved so many investors and producers. If you change to an ordinary person, even if you have the material in your hand, you will not dare to explode. Otherwise, if they are found later, they will have to peel off without dying. I am afraid that the person who broke the news is also aware of this consequence. However, he still broke the black material of Huang Yilin, which shows that he is not afraid at all. Generally, there are two kinds of such situations. One is that the people who broke the news have a deep hatred with Huang Yilin, so they hold the same attitude to the end. The other is that the reported human rights are extremely powerful, and there is no fear of those investors and producers. Chiao Mian Mian thought about it seriously, and felt that the latter was more likely. Moreover, she has almost guessed who the behind-the-scenes account of the broke news account is. What should I do today? Chiao Mian Mian clicked on his mobile phone, clicked on WeChat, found Mo Yesi's avatar, opened a dialogue box, and sent him a WeChat message. Mian Mian Meng, you made people search Huang Yilin's black material and burst out? Mo Weiss did not return immediately after WeChat was posted. She was not in a hurry. After sending it, she quit WeChat and logged into Weibo to see the excitement. Sure enough, as Nana said, when you enter Weibo a little, you will see Huang Yilin's black material being discussed everywhere. The major entertainment official Weibo posts have not been mentioned. A little bit of hot search is the rhythm of popular discussion. This is much hotter than the scandal that she and Tuyulei passed on. After all, the scandal between her and Tuyulei was not a real hammer at all. Speaking of, it is just a normal video. That is to say, Tuyulei's girlfriends and his wife Powder are more domineering. It is because he has little physical contact with other female artists, so he will explode and stir up the heat of the scandal. But there is no scandal of the real hammer, which is just a momentary heat. And it's because of the heat that Tuyulei spread with her. Today these black materials are too ruthless and can directly kill her. And the person who broke the news seemed to be very hard in the background, not afraid at all. I think your boyfriend's true identity must be particularly good. I heard that the gold master behind Huang Yilin is quite powerful. It is the young master Yan family who ranks among the three famous names in Yunchenj. I don't know how the young master Yan family treats her. Will she help her? The young master is willing to shoot, it is estimated that this matter can be settled. Cough cough. Hearing this, Jiao Mian coughed suddenly. The golden master behind Huang Yilin is Yan Shaoqing? Is this real? Sister Mian Mian, what's wrong with you? 
Are you okay? Seeing her cough so badly, Nana reached out and patted lightly on her back. I'm fine. Chiao Mian Mian gasped and waved at her, raising her coughing eyes to look at her, you just said that the gold master behind her is the young master Yan Jia. Is it called Yan Shaoqing? Of. Yup. Nana nodded, it's this young master Yan family. The powerful Yan family is great. If he wants to help Huang Yilin, he will definitely be able to settle this matter. However, I heard that this young master Yan family is very ambitious, and his lover it's not just Huang Yilin. So, it's really hard to say whether he will shoot. Unless, Huang Yilin is particularly favored by him. Chiao Mian Mian. If the news broke, M.O. Yesi let people do it. That said Xiao Qing will definitely not interfere. Just thinking about it in her heart, the phone shook and looked down. It was M.O. Yesi who sent her back to WeChat. He returned, Well, wife, are you happy? Chiao Mian Mian. It really was him. Of course, she was quite happy. When Huang Yilin made hype about her and Tu Yiliai, she just wanted to put her to death. Think of her as a young rookie with no backstage. If she had such a scandal with Tu Yiliai and Tu Yiliai didn't help her talk, what could her ending be? She can be autistic by Tu Yiliai's fans. Now that someone has avenged her, can she be unhappy? After reading Mo Yesi's reply, her lips raised and she picked up her phone and returned to him, well, happy. Mo Yesi seconds back, that is called a husband. Chiao Mian Mian. Mo Yesi, wife, I want to listen. I have shouted in person before, and across the screen, there is nothing embarrassing. He behaved so well, and Chiao Mian Mian didn't mind giving him a reward. She typed two words as he wished and sent him over, her husband. M.O. Yesi quickly replied to her, Baby, I want to speak. Would you please send me a voice? Okay, I want to hear my baby call my husband. Chiao Mian Mian. This man has to be measured. She looked at Nana who was still standing next to her, her lips were pursed, her cheeks were slightly hot, and she went back to the past, I was in the crew, there was someone next to me. M.O. Yesi, then when you go back to our video, would you call me in the video, okay? Baby, you must take care of yourself when I am not by your side. You remember, no matter what happens, her husband will always be your backing. If anyone dares to bully you, I will return ten times and one hundred times. Chiao Mian Mian looked at the message he returned, and his heart warmed slightly. Yet, she is no longer alone. She has a family and a husband, and has someone to rely on. What is the virtue of that guy, I know very well. I just thought he was farting last night. And it's fun to see him angered and ruined. After all, think about the expression on his face that didn't change a year before is also very boring. Now this is a bit human. I didn't expect him to have today, hey. Chiao Mian Mian froze for a moment, and she suddenly remembered what M.O. Yesi said to her last night. At that time, she was still angry, and did not go too far. He was rubbed a few times in the back and fell asleep on the bed after being tired. So much so, I forgot those words. Now listening to Bai Yusheng's words, it's all remembered. Brother Bai, did you and my boyfriend have known each other for a long time? Actually, you are friends. Well, it is. Bai Yusheng squinted for a while and thought, then said, I have known each other for five or six years. Chiao Mian Mian frowned slightly, then your relationship should be very good. It's okay. Bai Yusheng glanced at her sideways and smiled with raised eyebrows. Have he told you? Okay. Chiao Mian Mian nodded, last night. But he said at first that you don't know. Well, he didn't want to make you think that the reason why you can get the current role is because of his relationship. Then I can get the current role. It has something to do with him, but the final result has nothing to do with him. Bai Yusheng thought about it and said briefly, before you came to the audition, he said hello to me. 
I owe him a favor, which was originally thought as long as you are not too bad, I will arrange a role for you. But the moment I saw you, I knew I was taking advantage of him. Chiao Mian Mian. Bai Yusheng looked at her and directly said, You are the number three I want. So even if he didn't greet me in advance, this role would be yours. Okay. Hearing this, Chiao Mian Mian felt a little more comfortable. If her role was only obtained by Mo Yesi, she might have doubts about herself. So, the person who told you to take care of me was actually him, not Yan Shaoqing. Well, of course he is. I am not very familiar with the young master Yan family. Brother Bai, what are you doing with me? After knowing the relationship between Bai Yusheng and Mo Yesi, Chiao Mian Mian was not so worried. Since they have known each other for several years, they should know each other well. So last night, Bai Yusheng would not mind. Well, there is one thing. Bai Yusheng took out a pack of cigarettes from his pocket, took one, took a lighter to light it, and took a sip and asked her, Do you mind if I take two sips? Chiao Mian Mian shook his head. Mian Mian, do you want to play female number one? Bai Yusheng took another sip, turned his head, and squinted out the smoke from his mouth. He asked casually. Chiao Mian Mian was surprised, female one. Hey! The cigarette between the fingers burned, he flicked away and looked up at her, if there is an opportunity for you to play the female one, do you want to play? Tell me, what is the idea in your heart? Kind of. I. The question he suddenly thrown left Jiao Mian Mian a little confused. She felt that Bai Yusheng would not ask such questions for no reason. Especially when number one has selected Huang Yilin. And she has a kind of inexplicable self-confidence. She feels that even if she is telling the truth, Bai Yusheng will not have a bad influence on her. In front of him, she was quite relaxed. Perhaps it was because of the period of getting along in the car yesterday that made her impression of Bai Yusheng change a lot. In front of him, she was still a bit restrained and a little odd. Not so free. Now, she feels that Bai Yusheng is like a brother next door. So, in front of him, she can say anything. Women number one, anyone wants it. Chiao Mian Mian bit her lip and thought for a while, and said honestly, a little newcomer like us, who doesn't have a heroine's dream in my heart. However, I also know how much I weigh a few weights. So even if I wanted it very much, I refused it with temptation. Bai Yusheng extinguished half of the cigarette, looked up at her, and suddenly chuckled, if I said, I think you are quite suitable for the female one, I want to give you this role. Do you dare to take it? Ah! Chiao Mian Mian simply fooled. Mian Mian, is it right for me? Bai Yusheng picked his lips and smiled charmingly. My vision has never been wrong. I believe my choice will not be wrong this time. Do you want to challenge me? Brother Bai, you. Women's number one, I'll act for you. You only need to answer me, do you answer or not? I, I. Chiao Mian Mian was smashed by this sudden surprise, she, of course she wanted to pick it up. She dreams of playing number one. But brother Bai, do you really think I'm suitable? She refused because she felt she was unsuitable and she also worried that she would not perform well. She didn't have enough self-confidence, so she refused. But if the director thinks she is suitable, then why else would she refuse? Of course. Bai Yusheng twitched his lips. I see your performance in these two days. Your acting is no problem. Although it is a little strange in some professional performances, I can teach you. As long as you work hard to learn, there will be no students who I can't teach well. As for the appearance you just said does not match, I believe the problem can be dealt with by the makeup artist. Now that your concerns are resolved, do you have any questions? Chiao Mian Mian looked at her in a daze, shaking her head, nothing. So the result of your consideration. I'm acting. It seemed that he was afraid to promise to be late, and he would regret it in the next second. 
Chiao Mi and Mian excitedly pecked the rice like a chick, I will act. Brother Bai, I will definitely work hard. Live up to your expectations. Okay. Her eyes looked at him shining brightly, and her dark, soft eyes sparkled. When she smiled, her eyes were bent into two crescent moons. The whole person was like a candy with a sweet breath. Bai Yusheng looked at the smile on her face and shook his mind for two seconds, but couldn't help but reached out and touched her head, well, I believe you will not let me down. Well, many roles today have not yet I'm sure I can't start shooting. Go back first. Go back and study the script. Brother Bai, are you not filming today? Xiaomi and Mian also accepted his head-to-head -head killing naturally, and didn't feel anything wrong. I can't take a picture today. Bai Yusheng looked at her well-behaved look, and she couldn't help but feel soft for a while. The big hand that just dropped could not help but touched her head again, stroking her soft and smooth long hair, the voice is much softer and softer. The role of the female one is given to you, and now the position of the female one is vacant. I haven't thought of anyone who is more suitable for the female three. Moreover, you are not very familiar with the female one's play. Let's talk about it when you are familiar with it. Okay. Suddenly from female number three to female number one, the surprise came too quickly and suddenly, Chiao Mi and Mian had a feeling of dreaming. Wrong. Even if she dreamed, she had never dreamed of such a good thing. Not far away. The staff and actors behind him saw the picture of Bai Yusheng touching Chiao Mian's head, and looked at each other, their expressions on the face were very meaningful. Bai Dao and the little rookie. Is this already good? Still in such a place as the studio, you can't avoid all kinds of intimacy. It seems that Bai Dao is really interested in this little rookie. Before other actresses wanted to hook him up, he didn't take a look. Now to this little newcomer. He looks extremely spoiled. In the future, they must be more polite to this little newcomer. In case people have such luck, they will become the director's wife later. Others are speculating that they have already started dating. However, the two parties knew nothing. Big Brother Bai, it was because of me that Mo Yesi would let people blow up Huang Yilin's black material. Now it's time to change the heroine and the shooting a few days ago will also be invalidated. The economic loss will definitely be great. Chiao Mian Mian said, I know it's just a sorry sentence, but it's useless, but... You don't need to apologize to me. Bai Yusheng raised her eyebrows and looked at her. Do you think I'll let myself lose? Huang Yulin made such a thing that affected the filming of the entire crew. She has to pay me a penalty. Those penalty enough to offset other expenses. Liquidated damages? Chiao Mian Mian's eyes widened a little and was surprised, does she still have to pay liquidated damages? She thought Bai Yusheng compensated Huang Yilin. After all, he replaced Huang Yilin's female number one. It turned out that Huang Yilin was going to pay liquidated damages. Of course, this is what happened in the signing of the contract. If something bad happened during the filming that caused the artist to have a negative image and affected the entire show, the crew had the right to cancel the contract and demand damages. Chiao Mian Mian's eyes opened wider. She didn't notice this when she looked at the contract. It turned out that the bad scandal that broke out during the shooting was supposed to pay liquidated damages. The scandal that she and Tu Yiliai made. She didn't feel well all at once. She will not have to pay liquidated damages. She was anxious, brother Bai, then I. Frightened. Bai Yusheng looked at her like that and knew what she was thinking. She couldn't help laughing. Of course you don't have to pay damages. The scandal between you and Tu Yiliai is different from Huang Yilin. She broke out the black material, and her image plummeted. It was impossible for number one to use her anymore. Although I don't lack money, I don't do charity. I don't want to make a loss-making drama because of her. Chiao Mian Mian was relieved. She reached out and patted her chest, fortunately, it was okay, I was scared to death just now. 
Bai Yusheng laughed and said, What are you worried about? I'm worried that I'll make you pay the liquidated damages. Uh, yeah. If you really have Huang Yilin's material, what you should worry about then is not to compensate me for the liquidated damages. The vinegar jar at your house can eat you. Chiao Mian Mian. This is true. Mo Yesi's vinegar jar. She really couldn't say a word. But to be honest, Mo Yesi and I have known each other for so many years. For the first time, I knew he would be jealous. It was also because he cared about a woman who was in a mess. When he called me last night, I ate it all. Shock. Doubt that his phone was taken away by someone else. Really? Bai Yusheng raised his lips. You haven't seen him die before. Just like a monk who is a monk. Looking at the ruthless and desireless, let alone a woman who is jealous, it is a woman. Standing naked in front of him, he would not react. At that time, we all doubted whether he liked men. Poof! Chiao Mian Mian couldn't hold back and smiled. We all thought he would definitely be orphaned. After all, this guy didn't want to fall in love and get married, but was not interested in women directly. You should also know that he still has a problem, and women will be allergic to them. Hey! Chiao Mian Mian nodded. This matter, she heard Uncle Li said. I was also particularly surprised at the time. I never thought someone would get this kind of disease. Until now, she still felt quite incredible. She asked Bai Yusheng curiously, Brother Bai, before he touched other women, would he really be allergic? Well, it's really allergic. Bai Yusheng narrowed his eyes, as if remembering something. The smile on his lips deepened, we didn't believe it before, thinking it was just an excuse for rejecting those women. But once I saw it with my own eyes, I believed it. So what would he be allergic to? Chiao Mian Mian has not seen what Mo Yesi would be allergic to women. Anyway, she only knew that he was not allergic to her. She can touch any place on his body. And he, especially likes to touch her. I can vomit there will be a rash on my body, I heard that it will be more severe and faint. The time we saw, he had a rash. He touched another woman. Chiao Mian Mian frowned gently. Knowing that no matter if another woman touched him or if he touched another woman, it was a thing of the past. She shouldn't care. However, she still felt uncomfortable at the thought that he had touched other women. She now understands why Mo Yesi cares about Su Zee so much. If Mo Yesi also had a predecessor and had known each other for ten years, he would almost walk into the marriage hall. She certainly would mind too. No, she will definitely be particularly mindful. That was a special situation. At that time, we passed a place where someone fell into the water, and as was going to save that person. Don't look at him as cold as usual. It seems that he doesn't care about the life and death of others at all. Kind person. It turned out to be like this. Chiao Mian Mian was really surprised. She also thinks that Mo Yesi is the kind of person who doesn't care about others' life and death except for those who care about her. Unexpectedly, he once saved others. She felt she knew more about him. Like, it seems a little more. You don't need to be jealous. Mo Yesi's past can be said to be cleaner than any man, because of his strange problem, he hasn't even had a woman's shadow around him. You are the absolute first. Speaking of which, you are deeply connected with him. He had that strange problem, but he wouldn't be allergic to you alone. Tell me, are you destined to be together? But... Hearing this, Chiao Mian Mian should have been happy, but when she thought of something, she couldn't be happy. What? Bai Yusheng is a person who values time more than anything. His time will never be used to chat with others. But for Chiao Mian Mian, he is an exception. Rare, I think it's good to chat occasionally. The main thing is that he feels relaxed with Chiao Mian Mian. Even if I just talk casually, I find it very interesting. Not bored. He always wanted a younger sister and his family was not without younger sisters. 
The younger sisters had not yet been found, but there were not many cousins. But those younger sisters are not his favorite. A wealthy man, who grew up spoiled from childhood, will inevitably pamper his willfulness. What he likes is the kind of girl who looks obediently and cleverly. It's better to look weaker. In this way, he will have the protection he wants to protect. And Xiaomian Mian is the look of his ideal sister, even the character is the kind he likes, obedient and clever. The main point is that staying with her, he will have the thought of getting close to her. This desire to be close is not a hormonal attraction between men and women. He even had a thought in his head, if Xiaomian Mian was his sister, how good it would be. He will surely spoil her as the happiest and happiest princess in the world. He will do everything to treat her well, spoil her, and make up for the regret that he has not been with her in the past years. However, he also knew that this was impossible. Where can there be such a good thing? Where could it be just as he wished? Brother Bai, if he meets not me first, but another woman like me who won't cause him an allergic reaction. Will he also like that woman? This problem has been hidden in Chiao Mianmian's heart for a long time. Although she knew that there was no need to struggle with these things that hadn't happened, she just couldn't help thinking. I had been hiding in my heart before and didn't tell anyone, so I struggled with myself. But now she has something she wants to talk to Bai Yusheng. I always feel that he is talented, well-informed, and sees a lot of problems that can definitely be more thorough and mature than her. She wants to know his opinion and also wants to get his advice. You think so? Bai Yusheng gave her a surprised look. Well, isn't it? Xiao Mian Mian bit his lip to meet his gaze, with confusion in his eyes, when he was with me, he also said that I was the only one who would not cause him an allergic reaction. People. So, he hopes that I can stay with him for a long time, so that he can find out the specific reason. In the future, wait for that reason to find out. Her uniqueness and peculiarity to him no longer exist. As Shen Ro said, if she does not have these particularities, if she is no longer the only one with him, will he still like her? Will you treat her like this now? Some things she didn't dare to think about. At first, she didn't care, and she didn't think of staying with him for a long time. But now, after she discovered that she had fallen in love with him slowly, and had unknowingly made him occupy a position in her heart, she became afraid. She was afraid that her heart would turn into a joke. For her, the most painful thing is not to lose. Rather, it has already got the best of everything, and then lost it completely. It is like the gap of falling from heaven to hell. Bai Yusheng thought for a while and thought thoughtfully, Do you think he doesn't really like you? No. I can feel it. He likes me. It's just, I don't know how much of this love is from his heart, and how much is because. Because of your particularity. Bai Yusheng looked at this little girl who was apparently trapped in love, and then thought for a while before speaking, You worry. If there are other women like you, they also have this particularity, he may also like others. You are afraid, one day things will really become what you think. Chiao Mian Mian's eye tremor twitched, and he hummed gently. Brother Bai, do you think I think too much? Her voice was soft and soft. Actually, he is very good to me now. No one has been so kind to me. I know him by his side. There is no other woman. But I still can't help thinking. You said, am I in a blessing without knowing it? Bai Yusheng shook his head, it would be normal for you to think like this. However, if you are asking for my opinion, I think it is not. Moyesi is not as casual as you think, especially it is related to his life. The other half of the big thing, I don't think he chose you, just because you are special to him. If he doesn't like you originally, even if you are special to him, he can't marry you. He wants to study his illness, there are many ways to use it. Marriage is definitely not the only way. Only if he likes you and wants to be with you, he will make you his wife. Chiao Mian Mian's eyes lit up again. It felt like she was stuck in her heart before, 
and the things that made her uncomfortable disappeared all at once. Her breathing became smooth again. The whole person feels relieved. Her pair of bright eyes turned back to Bai Yusheng again, with absolute trust in her eyes, is this really the case? However, I met him only once, and he offered to marry me. Mian Mian, you have to believe that love at first sight still exists in reality. Chiao Mian Mian. So, Mo Yesi fell in love with her at first sight? Okay, don't think about it. Bai Yusheng reached out and rubbed her head, and said warmly, in fact, no matter what his original intention is, as long as you can be sure that he likes you now, right? Don't think so much, and don't think about things too complicated. This will do nothing but make yourself unhappy. Well, I know. Brother Bai, thank you for chatting so much with me. Chiao Mian Mian's eyes were full of gratitude, you helped me solve a problem that has plagued me for a long time. I now know what to do and I won't be entangled in this problem again in the future. Asterisk. The other side. Seeing the hot search of the black material getting higher and higher, but it couldn't be withdrawn, Huang Yilin was angry and anxious, smashing the phone on the table with a snap. Turning around and angrily questioning her agent, why can't the hot search go down? Why are those topics still on the hot search? Why are there more and more people forwarding comments? Didn't you say that you would find a way to remove the hot search? However, why has the hot search not only not decreased, but it is getting higher and higher? What's the matter with the person you are looking for, is it so unreliable? Or is it not enough money? I don't care how much you use, it must be this matter must be settled. I can't be destroyed by these hot searches. I finally came to this step today. I can't be destroyed by those black materials, never. When she talked about the back, the expressions on her face had become untidy. The agent was also upset, so anxious, she was so roared, and the fire came up, what are you fierce about me, do you think I am not in a hurry? You are my celebrity celebrity, you are cold to me what's the benefit? This hot search is not because I don't want to withdraw, it simply cannot be withdrawn. Why can't it be withdrawn? Huang Yilin's complexion said, Is there any black material in the past, not all can be settled by spending money to find someone? Do they have a big mouth this time, asking for a lot of money? The agent's face is not much better, coldly said, If you can spend money to smooth it out, then it will be fine, no matter how much money you spend. What do you mean? Huang Yilin froze, frowning. Could it be that this matter is not settled with money? Of course. The agent saw in his face and solemnly said, I spent money to get Weibo over the hot search, but soon your hot search of the black material was brushed up again. And, I just called to ask what happened there, the other party said that the people who broke your black material are very big, and they cannot afford to offend them. So, it is not possible to solve the problem now by spending money. Yilin, I'm afraid you have to ask for help less. Only he can help. Huang Yilin's eyes widened and she couldn't make a channel, our relationship is not working anymore? What is the origin of the other party? The agent shook his head, there's no specific saying there, it seems to be terrified. Yilin, who the did you offend? Me, I don't know. Huang Yilin's face was a little pale, and she frowned for a while. Her face changed, and then she gritted her teeth and said, I can think of only one person. However, it is impossible for her to do it. She has no such great skills. Who? Chiao Mian Mian. Speaking of the name, Huang Yilin's eyes were cold for two more points, but where can she have such a strong backer to help her, if she has, it is impossible to get only a female number three character. Now. That's not necessary. The agent narrowed his eyes. She didn't have it before, but now she doesn't. You mean? Huang Yilin thought of that man, his face was ugly, Bai Yusheng did this. Anyone other than him has such a skill? He must have found out that the scandal between Tu Yili and Chiao Mian Mian was made by you yesterday, 
so he wants to exhale Chiaomian Mian. He is the crown prince of the Bai family. It's a breeze to find out what you used to be. Besides him, I can't think of anyone else who has such a skill. He is now interested in Chiaomian Mian, and it is not surprising that he will do such a thing for her. Anyway, it is not a laborious thing for him. I told you a long time ago, don't act rashly, you just don't listen. Now it's all right, such a thing happened, how do you let me help you clean up the mess? If it is by Yusheng, unless he is willing to let you go ma, otherwise, he wants you to be cold, and you can only be cold. Huang Yilin was angry at first, and she heard a terrified expression on her face. Of course she knows this very well. The power of the Bai family is where they can fight. If Bai Yusheng really wants to cool her, she has no solution at all. Could it be that Bai Yusheng did this? Just because she broke the scandal of Jiao Mian Mian and Tu Yili Ai yesterday, so Bai Yusheng wants to exhale Jiao Mian Mian? He is so sweet to that little coquette. He even wanted to put her to death. How can he be so ruthless? At this moment, Huang Yilin hated it. That vixen can really seduce a man. Can't Bai Yusheng see it, is she a green tea bitch? I want to call him, I want to ask him why he did this, why he is so cruel to me, so ruthless. Huang Yilin's eyes were full of resentment. He picked up the phone with red eyes and unlocked the lock screen before calling Bai Yusheng. Are you crazy? The agent was taken aback by her, and quickly reached out to stop her, and said with a black face, You called and questioned this time, did you want to make things worse? Bai Yusheng is you can anyone question. What is your relationship with him, why should you ask him like this? Do you think you die fast enough? Huang Yilin gritted his teeth, so what can I do? Didn't you say he did this thing, wouldn't I call him? Are you ready to plead with him? I think you are going to quarrel with him. And if he is to help Joe to breathe out, your call will only make things worse. So what do you want me to do? Wait and die? Of course not. The agent took a deep breath, pressed down his stomach, condensed his eyebrows for a moment, and then said, you call Yan Xiao. Yun Jinch's big family are all good personal friends, Bai Yusheng, and Yan Yan Xiao certainly has some friendships. If he goes to speak, Bai Yusheng will sell him a face even though he is doing something. Although Xian Huan is important, it is impossible for him to offend his words for a new Huan. Call Xiao Yan. Huang Yilin froze for a moment, frowning, and a little hesitation flashed under her eyes. Everyone in the circle knows that she has a golden thigh close to her, and that's what the young master Yan Yan said. In fact, she did get close. It's just that Peng is not so stable. Because the woman beside Yan Xiaoqing is not only her, she is also not the one she likes the most. This is the only way. Okay, then I, call him. After a moment of hesitation, Huang Yilin finally nodded and agreed. She finally had her place today, and she didn't want to be so confused. She knows how badly the entertainer gets when she ends up. After enjoying the scenery of red and purple, and suddenly being beaten into the cold palace, that kind of feeling will make people feel better than death. She didn't want to experience it at all. So no matter what, she had to let Yan Xiaoqing help her. Yan Xiaoqing, will help her too. Even though she wasn't the favorite, Xiao Qing was usually very good to her. In any case, there is always a little emotion. It is also the most powerful family in Yunchenj. If the backing behind Jiao Mian Mian is from the Mo family, then it really is not something that Xiao Qing can help if he wants to help. Although the Yan family is also ranked in the four major families, it is still slightly inferior to the Mo family. But these are not the key issues. The point is, how could Jiao Mian Mian know the M.O. family? Everyone in the M.O. family knows that he is still single, and he is also a very self-disciplined person, even the shadow of a woman cannot be seen. The second master of the M.O. family is even more famous for misogyny. In short, the two young masters of the M.O. family are not close to women. 
therefore, it is impossible for Xiaomian Mian to have the opportunity to contact them, even if they are in contact, it is impossible to have any intersection with people like them. However, if it is not a Mo's person, how can Yan Shaoqing say that the person's method is more powerful than Bai Yusheng? In a short period of time, Huang Yilin's face changed and changed, but her inner anxiety and fear increased. But if, it's really the person she thinks about. She dare not think about the consequences. She did not dare to think about what would happen to those who offended the M.O. family. Because it was the result of a horrified, frightened battle even if she just thought about it. Huang Yilin, you are the one who shouldn't be irritated this time. You can't help me with your busyness. By the way, our relationship is over. You said that last time I will let someone take a picture of the villa. It's a breakup gift. After speaking, Yan Shaoqing hung up the phone. Listening to the disconnection sound from the phone, Huang Yilin's hand holding the phone was released. The phone hit the ground, and the screen was immediately cracked. What's the matter? The agent looked at her like this, frowned, and asked anxiously, What did Yan Shao say? Will he help you plead? Huang Yilin didn't seem to hear anything, no response. The agent became more and more anxious, and grabbed her hand, You are talking. Are you willing to help? Huang Yilin was trained by her. In order to praise her, she spent a lot of effort on Huang Yilin. Naturally, it also cost a lot of money. Huang Yilin is now the company's cash cow. If she really cools down, it will definitely have a great impact on the company. The impact on her agent is even greater. So no matter what, she won't let Huang Yilin cool down. Huang Yilin was scratched by her, and her face was wrinkled, and she finally recovered. She was pale. It's the kind of paleness that obviously has makeup on its face and can't hide it. She looked at the agent with a desperate look, her lips flickered a few times, and her voice was trembling, he said, he can't help me either. We all guessed wrong. The backer behind Jiao Mian Mian is not Bai Yusheng. But a better person than Bai Yusheng. Lisa, you said, who is that person? Who is better than Bai Yusheng? How could Jiao Mian Mian know such a powerful person? If she really knew, how could she only get a female number three character? Didn't Yan Shaoqing want to help, so lied to me. The agent is Lisa. After listening to Huang Yilin's words, Lisa's face was white. She was shocked, Yan Shaoqing told you that the man behind Jiao Mian Mian is more powerful than Bai Yusheng. I'm afraid most of them came for her scandal. When M.O. Yesi sent her to the crew this morning, the old lady called and asked about the scandal. It is impossible for Mrs. M.O. to know what the old lady knows. Judging from the various attitudes of Mrs. M.O. to her before, this time I was just afraid of coming to Zingxi to ask for guilt. Asterisk. To the hotel. Chiao Mian Mian got out of the car with Nana and entered the elevator. She pressed the floor where the hotel cafe is located. Hey, Sister Mian Mian, this is not us. Oh, I'm going to meet a friend. Chiao Mian Mian said lightly, you go back first. Today is a day off, do whatever you want, don't worry about me. Okay, I will go out to meet a friend in a moment. I may come back later in the evening. Sister Mian Mian, if you have anything, just call me and I will come back immediately. Okay. On the tenth floor, Chiao Mian Mian walked out of the elevator first. The cafe is on the tenth floor. Out of the elevator, she walked forward for a while, and saw Mrs. M.O. who was sitting by the floor-to-ceiling window waiting for her. Mrs. M.O. is worthy of being a noble lady from a famous family who grew up in childhood. The elegance and nobility that has been cultivated since childhood is clearly distinguished from ordinary people. Chiao Mian Mian saw her at a glance. She is very elegant in sitting posture and elegant in the posture of holding a coffee cup. Her well-maintained face can't see the actual age at all. At first glance, she is still a very attractive young woman. Many men in the cafe are looking at her secretly. None of them dared to go up and talk to her. 
Mrs. Mo's temperament is cold, and it looks like a cold beauty. It is a type that most men are interested in but dare not easily pursue. Besides, her temperament is not an ordinary rich girl at first glance. Just this point can make many men are discouraged. Miss, how are you? I have an appointment. Xiaomi and Mian looked at the warmly welcoming waiter and walked quickly towards Mrs. Mo's location. Just approaching, she was still looking out the window at the beginning. Mrs. Mo, who seemed to be enjoying the scenery outside, turned her head and looked straight at her. Mrs. Mo's eyes were a bit harsh and cold, and she had no goodwill at first glance. Xiaomi and Mian gazed at her and couldn't help her footsteps. She hesitated for a few seconds and then whispered, Mom. Hearing her name, Mrs. Mo's eyes flashed with disgust, and her lips twitched coldly, reaching for the opposite position and saying, Come on, let's sit down first. Xiaomi and Mian didn't ignore the trace of disgust in Mrs. Mo's eyes. She knew that Mrs. Mo did not like her. However, such unabashed disgust showed Xiaomi and Mian as if it had been stabbed in her heart, which was a bit uncomfortable. But she was still indifferent. She walked across from Mrs. Mo and sat down. After asking for a cup of coffee with the waiter, she turned to look at Mrs. Mo. After hesitating, she decided to ask, Mom, what are you doing with me? Mrs. Mo took a sip of the coffee in front of her and frowned at it. Presumably, the coffee here doesn't suit her appetite. She took a sip and let go. Although this is a five-star hotel, for ordinary people, the consumption and grade are not bad. But in the eyes of noble ladies like Mrs. Mo, the things here still cannot enter her eyes. She is still disgusted. It is conceivable that she should be disgusted by her daughter-in-law, who is of ordinary background. If she had not obtained the certificate with Mo Yesi first, and he would take her home again, Mrs. Mo would definitely not agree with Mo Yesi to marry her. Mrs. Mo's daughter-in-law is Shen Ro. Speaking of which, the Shen family and the Mo family are indeed right. The conditions of Shen Rongmo and Mo Yesi are also very suitable. And they grew up together. This is very rare. It is estimated that the people around them thought they would eventually be together. Madam Mo thought so too. But who had thought that Mo Yesi suddenly hid the marriage from them and found her a daughter-in-law who was very dissatisfied with her in every way? Naturally, Mrs. Mo deeply disliked her. Maybe, she still thought she encouraged Mo Yesi to take the testimony first, and thought she was a very scheming woman. Xiaomi and Mian, I'm not a person who likes to turn around, so I opened the skylight to speak brightly and talk to you directly. Mrs. Mo's eyes were full of indifference and impatience, as if to say one more word to her and let her it's uncomfortable. Her voice was also very indifferent, look, what on earth are you going to leave my son? How much does it cost? You can count. As long as you are not a lion with a big mouth, I can satisfy you. She was full of charity in her tone. Chiaomai and Mi stunned, sinking suddenly. Originally, she thought Mrs. Mo came over for her scandal. Unexpectedly, she came to persuade her to leave Mo Yesi. This kind of martial arts stick to Mandarin ducks happened to happen to her in the end. Xiaomi and Mian was surprised and surprised for a moment, but soon she calmed down. She was silent for a while, and looked at Mrs. Mo with a calm voice, Mom, you are laughing at me. I and Mo Yesi are married, and we have no emotional problems. How could I leave him? Mrs. Mo's face suddenly became very ugly. She stared sharply at Xiaomi and Mian for a few seconds, and sullenly said, Don't pretend to be silly with me, pretend that you don't understand what I'm talking about. Your marriage with us has never passed us in advance. With the consent of the elders, you think you coaxed him to get the certificate, so we can only recognize this matter. I tell you plainly that it is impossible for me to accept you. The other half of us is also impossible to be a woman like you. If you still have self-knowledge, you can get a sum of money, enough for you this life has led a glorious life. If you still want to continue to pester as, delusional things that should not belong to you. 
then the final result may be that the bamboo basket is empty, you can get nothing. So I advise you to be smarter. Looking at Mrs. Mo's puffy and high-toed look, Xiaomian Mian pursed her lips, her voice was still calm, and the expression on her face was also calm, Mom, I didn't coax Mo Yesi to get the certificate. From. I didn't even think about stalking him. I was with him because I liked him and wanted to be with him. Even if the original intention was not like this at the beginning, now she wants to be with him because she likes him. She and he expressed their hearts to each other. Only then did I know that there was each other in my heart. Their feelings have just risen by a stage. She just wanted to be with him now. So, are you reluctant to divorce him? Mrs. Mo's tone suddenly froze a few points, her face also became a lot colder, and her eyes were even harsher. The hostility in the eyes came. Xiao Mian Mian was not afraid, and looked directly at her, Mom, sorry, I will not divorce him. Unless he betrayed me, don't want me, I will leave him. Otherwise, I will always be with him. Xiao Mian Mian Mrs. Mo snapped her hands on the table, Do you think I'm here to discuss with you? There's no discussion on this matter. Do you want to divorce him? Mrs. Mo's attitude is very strong. Xiao Mian Mian did not give in. He looked at her humbly and wordlessly, repeating what he had said just now, Mom, I still said what I said just now, and I cannot divorce him. Mo Yesi and I did not there are no emotional issues, no other issues. We get along well and care about each other. I like to be with him and I want to stay with him for a long time. I really can't agree with your request. Do you like him? Mrs. Mo's eyes were full of anger and sneered. Do you like my son or his status? Don't think I don't know what a woman like you is thinking about. You don't just want to change your class by getting married, want to sparrow on the branches and change into a phoenix? If he has no money and no power, would you still like him? You have a bit of demeanor in battle, so my face is confused by my son, coaxing him to pull a marriage certificate with you. Don't you think you're so shameless? Mrs. M.O. said more and more angry, the disgust and contempt in her eyes revealed undisguisedly, sweeping the elegance and demeanor before, the expression on her face looked a little bit terrible. Not at all like the elegant and dignified lady. Chiao Mian Mian's face changed slightly, and he grasped the edge of the table. She took a deep breath. After a few seconds of silence, there was still a slight smile on her lips, and she looked up at Mrs. Mo's almost violent thunder, and whispered softly, Mom, I said, I didn't lie he told me something. Mo Yesi is an adult, he is not a child who knows nothing. What kind of personality your son is? you must know better than anyone. You think that if he is not voluntary, I can coax him to marry me. Yes, the reason why he and I will quickly get married is not because of feelings. Mrs. M.O. can't help but sneer, oh, the fox's tail is exposed? Did you admit it? Xiao Mian Mian ignored her bitter sarcasm, paused, and continued, you should know that he has a problem and can't touch any woman. This is also an important reason why he has remained single for so many years. Mrs. M.O. frowned, what the do you want to say? Xiao Mian Mian looked at her with calm eyes, after he found out that he would not have an allergic reaction to me, he proposed to marry me. At first, I didn't want to. Yes, he was very excellent and very good conditions. It can be said that if I reject him, it is estimated that I will never see a man with better conditions in his life. However, I have no feelings for him. Even though his condition is excellent, I am not willing to marry a strange man. It was he who exchanged the conditions for my younger brother's operation with me, and I promised to get a license with him. Xiao Mian Mian didn't want to say these things. However, she did not want Mrs. Mo to think that she coaxed Mo Yesi to get a marriage certificate. The matter of getting a marriage certificate was originally proposed by Mo Yesi. At that time, she was not willing. Why should she endure this grievance and bear the charge of coaxing? She wants to make Mrs. Mo aware of this matter. 
It was not that she coaxed Mo Yesi to get married, but that Mo Yesi had given Chiao Chen an operation as a condition in exchange for forcing her to agree to marry him. You, what are you talking about? Madame Mo's brow furrowed, her eyes showing surprise, apparently surprised by what she just said. In her heart, her son is the best in the world. Only a woman is haunting his son, seducing her son's share. How could his son pester other women? She has long believed that the marriage was a certificate that Jiao Mian Mian coaxed his son to get. So what Jiao Mian Mian had just surprised her? Mom, I just want to tell you that Mo Yesi brought this up first. I didn't lie to him, I didn't force him, and I didn't play with him because I was afraid that you would disagree. I wouldn't have any intersection with him if it wasn't necessary for him to perform surgery on my younger brother. It is even less likely to marry him. I know that no matter what I say, I can't change my impression in your heart. However, I still want to explain clearly. As for whether you believe it or not, that's not something I can control. Mrs. Mo looked at her in amazement. After a long silence, she sneered, So, is it that the as is pestering you, do you want to marry you? Chiao Mian Mian hesitated and nodded honestly, Well, this was indeed the case. If it was not for Chen Chen's surgery. It is impossible for her to marry Mo Yesi. Even if he is in good condition, excellent, and exciting, to her at the time, she was a stranger who didn't understand at all. No woman would want to marry a stranger. After all, it is such a big thing as marriage. You. Mrs. Mo did not expect that she would answer that, and she was so speechless for a moment. How could there be such a shameless woman? Nodded. What is she doing, how is it so thick? What kind of person is her son who will haunt her as a little girl? Mom, when I married him, we all had different needs. I needed him to help Jiao Chen to perform surgery, but he was fancy with me for his particularity, so we would hit it off immediately. If you let I divorced him, and I will definitely promise you without hesitation. But now I think I still like him quite a bit. It seems that Mrs. Mo's face is getting darker and darker, Chiao Mian Mian said, and he raised his lips and smiled, so, now you let I leave him, I can't promise you. You. Mrs. Mo thought she had never seen such a shameless woman. She was so angry that when she reached for the coffee cup on the table, her fingers were shaking, I'm so persuading you, you don't listen. You have to force me to do it to you? Chiao Mian Mian, I ask you the last time, you will you divorce as? If you agree to a divorce, I will never treat you badly. You don't like filming? How about I take you as a top female artist? I can make you popular all over the entertainment industry, what kind of resources do you want, I can give you. Not only that, I will also give you the proper money for the house car and jewelry. I can guarantee that you can live a good life in your life without worrying about clothing, food and wealth. As you just said that your brother is doing surgery, I you can also ask the best experts in the world to do it for him. Or if you still want to get married, I can help you pick a young talent in the upper class. Even if the man is not as good as is, it is definitely the dragon of man. Speaking of which, Mrs. Mo felt that the conditions she had offered were good enough. If Chiao Mian Mian refused to agree, it would be ignorant. Then she didn't mind using her means to teach her a lesson. These conditions are good enough, I only look at you for being with my son for a while, and I will treat you better. Chiao Mian Mian, you have to be more interesting. If you refuse, you will really annoy me. Now. In Mrs. Mo's words, there was already a threat, just tidying up a little girl like you. Do you think it is a difficult thing for me? I want to tidy you up, even the AST can't stop you. I don't know why, Chiao Mian Mian wanted to laugh. At first she felt very angry. But now, she just feels funny. She also really laughed, Mom, these conditions you made are really not enough, there is no way to make me tempted. I will not divorce Mo Yesi, he will give me everything you promised and even give I am more and better. 
I can't think of any reason why I should divorce him. MRS. M.O. stunned and said with a black face, So what do you want before you can leave us? Xiaomian Mian, are you going to toast without eating fine? Xiaomian Mian smiled again, If you can meet a condition for me, can I still consider divorcing him? What? Give me ten billion. I believe this money should be nothing for the M.O. family. So, if you can give me ten billion, I will consider divorce. What are you talking about? Mrs. M.O. opened her eyes wide, with an incredible expression on her face, only to feel that she had misheard. Xiao Mian Wang pursed her lips, smiling and repeating what she had just said. This time, Mrs. M.O. heard clearly. Her face was extremely ugly, ten billion? You are too greedy as a woman. Why do you think you deserve ten billion? Of course, the ten billion Mahists can be obtained. It's just that Mrs. Mo has met a girl like Xiao Mian Mian for the first time. Dare to ask for ten billion in one mouth. Why didn't she grab it? Her original plan was to give Zhou a few hundred million yuan, which was very good. This money is enough for her to live a good life. Unexpectedly, her appetite was so big. What's more, although she never lacks money, she can't just take out ten billion yuan casually. Mom. It's not that I think I'm worth ten billion, your son is worth ten billion. Don't you really want me to divorce him, and now I've made the conditions, as long as you can do it, I'll be with him leave. Isn't it worth ten billion in exchange for a free marriage for your son? After returning to this WeChat, a sweet reminder of the stewardess sounded on the radio, reminding passengers that the plane was about to take off and shut down all electronic equipment. Xiaomian Mian turned off her phone, lowered her position, and prepared to sleep. As soon as I closed my eyes, I heard a surprised voice beside me, Xiaomian Mian. Xiaomian Mian. As soon as she opened her eyes, she saw me as Awalijan Mia's face stunned, looking down at her while standing next to her seat. There was also a look of surprise on her face. I never expected to meet Miyazawa here. Today, she temporarily decided to fly back to Yunchinch. It's really you. Miyazawa met her black, soft, bright, star-like eyes. I didn't know why, and my heartbeat suddenly missed two beats. He looked a little unnaturally, looked at the position next to Chiao Mian Mian, and walked past her. Chiao Mian Mian. Isn't it? Miyazawa sits next to her? Isn't this a coincidence? Then she saw Miyazawa really walk to the position next to her and sat down. Chiao Mian Mian. After Miyazawa sat down, she turned to look at her, hesitated, and said, Aren't you filming? Why are you on this flight? The film is not filming. Chiao Mian Mian. Although her impression of Miyazawa is not so bad now, she feels less annoying. But Miyazawa feels like a stranger to her. The unpleasantness of the first meeting always made her unforgettable. And several times after him. She didn't feel good about this man. Therefore, when Miyazawa talked to her, she did not really want to take care of him. However, thinking of the things he helped her clarify on Weibo last time, she hesitated and responded to him, No play today, holiday. Such. Miyazawa nodded and turned his head back. Chiao Mian Mian couldn't help being relieved to see that he didn't want to talk to her again. She really didn't want to continue chatting with him. The relationship between the two seems to be too young to chat. She also turned her head, took out the blindfold in the bag, just about to put it on her eyes, and heard the man next to him say, Your former fiancé. Are you still entangled with you? Just watched on the street last time the one that arrived. Chiao Mian Mian. She didn't want to bother. Miyazawa continued, a good horse doesn't eat back grass. The man looks unreliable. Don't be fooled by his rhetoric. I saw him eating with a woman yesterday. For intimacy. He's dating you while dating other women. Do you think he will be sincere about this kind of man? Chiao Mian Mian. So Zi is dating another woman? Well. 
although she already knows that So Zee is not a good thing, she feels nothing more than aversion to this man. However, this moment was still disgusted by this predecessor. That day, she was still begging in public on the street for a reunion. Going to date another woman so quickly? Every time she realizes how much So Zee is, she will seriously doubt her previous eyes. After all, she used to think So Zee was a very reliable and honest man. Chiao Mian Mian. Her memory is not very good. Many things ten years ago can't be remembered. She wanted to directly say that she couldn't remember. But she could feel that this matter might be very important to Miyazawa. So she thought about it seriously, and then answered him, I may not be able to answer you. Ten years ago, I had a car accident, and I forgot some things that year. I don't remember if I have ever attended. The banquet you said. Miyazawa was full of anticipation and was nervously waiting for her answer. But after hearing her answer, the expectation in his eyes instantly turned into disappointment. She, don't remember? How could it be so clever? She had a car accident that year, and she just forgot about that year. Just as he was disappointed and his mood fell suddenly, a glimmer of hope in his eyes suddenly ignited. What about your parents? You are definitely not going to the party alone. You don't remember what happened then, should they remember? Chiao Mian Mian froze for a few seconds, then nodded slowly, it should be remembered. Then can you ask them, did you take you to the palace banquet that year? He didn't know what was wrong with him. The person who was clearly that night was Shen Ro. Shen Ro didn't need to deceive him. However, he suddenly felt fascinated that the person that night may be someone else. Just because Jiao Mian Mian had a familiar taste, he would wonder if she was the girl who saved him that night. He even began to doubt Shen Ro. In the past, the person he trusted most was Shen Ro. When did he start to no longer trust Shen Ro? Perhaps it was from the moment he suddenly discovered that Shen Ro had changed. At that moment, she suddenly made him feel strange. Chiao Mian Mian was silent, and did not answer him immediately. Last time, because of Joan's desire to move to Chiao's bedroom, she had a quarrel with Chiao's father. So far, the father and daughter have not contacted. Seeing her silence, Miyazawa immediately asked again, What's wrong, isn't it? It's not impossible. Chiao Mian Mian hesitated and frowned, Mr. Gong. It's better to ask my dad about this matter. I haven't contacted him for a while. If you ask him directly, you can ask more clearly. Miyazawa is also a smart person. Immediately heard another meaning from what she just said. Okay, I know. He asked nothing more, but his eyes were still on Chiao Mian Mian, and he was silent for a while, then hesitantly asked, Then you can always tell me, can you swim? Chiao Mian Mian, yes. Hey. Miyazawa nodded again. Chiao Mian Mian couldn't help it. Mr. Gong, can I know what you really want to ask? Did I attend the banquet of the Gong family ten years ago? Will I swim? Is it related to something? Otherwise, why would he suddenly ask these things? Chiao Mian Mian felt that he was investigating something. But what the is going to do with her? and is it about her ten years ago? She is really curious. Well, it's about a thing. That thing is very important to me, so I want to find out the truth. But I can't tell you what the is until the truth is not cleared. On the other side, Miyazawa had no sleepiness at all. The bunny's blindfold was contaminated with the sweet smell of the girl's body, and from time to time he drilled into his nose. The sweet breath like the paw of a kitten scratching on his mouth. A bit of it tickled his heart. Only then did he know why they all say that girls are fragrant. There are many women around him, but he doesn't love the fragrance of those women. I always feel a little pungent. But the sweet fragrance on Chiao Mian Mian didn't make him feel pungent or greasy at all, but he liked the smell. Faint, if there is nothing. He remembered this sweet fragrance for ten years. Even after so many years, once he smelled it, 
he could remember it immediately. He suddenly remembered that he had asked Shen Ro before. Why not spray this perfume again? Shen Ro's answer to him was that she didn't like the taste anymore. Later, that perfume was discontinued. He also asked what brand of Shen Ro's perfume was, and he thought he could buy a bottle. Because he really likes that sweet fragrance. How did Shen Ro answer him at that time? She seemed to be saying that it was a perfume she picked abroad when she went abroad, and she forgot exactly what brand it was. Later, he never asked her again. Although it was a pity for him that he couldn't find the perfume again, he didn't think it was important. The person who owns the perfume is by his side. Everything else is not important. Until he smelled the sweet smell in his memory again. Until he suddenly discovered that Shen Ro may have lied to him. If that perfume has long been discontinued. How could he smell on Xiaomian Mian? If there is no production stop, why does Shen Ro lie to him? Many doubts were stuck in his heart, and he was eager to find an answer. He felt that he was getting closer to the truth step by step. Asterisk. Miyazawa had a very short dream. He dreamed of the night ten years ago. In the dream, he fell into the swimming pool. He couldn't swim. He choked into the water, and his body sank into the water little by little. The water also flooded into his mouth and nose. He was having difficulty breathing, as if being pinched by his neck, he was almost out of breath. He struggled continuously in the water, calling for help. It was quiet all around. Except for his cry for help, nothing could be heard. He cried for help over and over again like a rock sinking into the sea, and no one heard it. The air in his chest was getting less and less, and the boundless darkness flooded towards him, and he was gradually unable to make a sound. Even if he knew he was dreaming, at this moment, Miyazawa was still afraid. The fear of death made him irrepressible. He wanted to call for help, but he could no longer make a sound. Help, can anyone save him? He didn't want to die, he really didn't want to die at all. Tears flowed from his eyes, and he could feel that death was getting closer and closer to him. Just when he had fallen into despair and was about to die, suddenly, a white light illuminated in the darkness. He opened his eyes and saw a man swimming from that white light. He couldn't see what that person looked like. She can only be seen wearing a white skirt with very long hair, which looks like seaweed when the long hair flicks in the water. He did not believe in the so-called coincidence. In his view, the real coincidence is rare, if too many coincidences are found in a person, maybe everything is not a coincidence. The thing ten years ago. He must check. Asterisk. After or three hours. The plane landed at Yunchinch Airport on time. Xiaomian Mian also woke up on time. She took off her blindfold and reached out to rub her eyes, feeling that she felt much better after a refreshment. Upon booting, I received several WeChat messages from Mo Yesi and two missed calls. Xiaomian Mian opened WeChat and saw Mo Yesi sent her three WeChat messages. Mo Yesi, wife, I'm here. Mo Yesi, wife, I'm going to the meeting. Mo Yesi, wife, I just finished the meeting. Why don't you return to me, what are you doing? Zhang Luli called her two missed calls. Xiaomian Mian thought about it and sent Zhang Luo a WeChat message, Luo Luo, is there anything wrong? I just landed on the plane. After WeChat posted, she waited for a while, Zhang Luli did not reply. When she clicked on the chat interface with Mo Yesi and was about to reply to Mo Yesi's WeChat, she suddenly felt a glance at her beside her, a bit chilly. She raised her eyes and saw that Miyazawa's face was not standing very close to her, and her eyes seemed to have just moved away from her phone. Xiaomian Mian thought he thought she was blocking the road, so she was not happy. She immediately consciously stepped aside and let out the place she went out. Unexpectedly, her move made Miyazawa's face even more ugly, just like she did something that made him angry. The previous three-point gloomy face instantly became five points. Xiaomian Mian. She didn't know what she did wrong. 
Didn't she give up her position? Why is this man's face worse? But she didn't think much. In her view, Miyazawa Lee was originally a character of indecisiveness. It was fine before, and she looked good. It seems to have changed personality. In a blink of an eye, she returned to her familiar look. However, she didn't intend to have a deep relationship with him, and she didn't feel much about his cold and hot performance. Xiaomian Mian left him alone, picked up his bag and followed the other passengers off the plane. Miyazawa stood on the spot, his face somber. Seeing her petite figure squeezed into the crowd, he soon disappeared from his sight, and he couldn't help but gloomy again. Thinking of the chat message she just spotted on her mobile phone, he felt uncomfortable as if something was stuck in his heart. Although, that is a normal chat message. Asterisk. After Chiaomi and Mian got off the plane, he followed the crowd towards the shuttle bus. Just a few steps away, a cautious voice sounded behind him, and with a somewhat uncertain voice, Hello, may I ask, are you Chiaomi and Mian? The voice of a young girl. Chiaomi and Mian turned his head in surprise, and saw a young face full of youth. Behind her stood a little girl about 16 or 17 years old, with ponytails on her face, and a little fat baby face. When she smiled, she was full of collagen and looked very cute. Xiaomi and Mian stared at the girl for a few seconds, making sure she didn't know the girl. She wondered, are you? Are you Xiaomi and Mian? The girl ignored her question and asked the words just now. A pair of round eyes glanced back and forth on her as if looking at her. And it's still very careful. I am. Xiaomi and Mian was a little uncomfortable staring at the girl. She coughed her lips and asked again, Are you? Do we know? Wow, you are really Xiaomi and Mian. The girl took her hand and shouted happily, I am your fan, I like you so much. Wow, I didn't expect that I even met myself so happy. Sister Mian Mian, I really like you. Can I take a photo with you? I have many classmates who also like you very much. I will post a photo of you with me to make them envious. The joy on the girl's face overflowed with words. It seems to be really happy. Chiao Mian Mian was stunned. She stared blankly at the young girl in front of her. Is this her fan? She already has millions of followers on Weibo, so it is certainly not strange to have fans. But this is the first time she has met real fans in real life, live fans. This is the first time she clearly felt that she is also a fan. Isn't it possible? The girl saw that she hadn't said anything, her small face filled with joy collapsed, and there was a trace of loss in her eyes. But she let go of her hand very wisely biting her lips and whispering, Well, I'm bothered. If you can't take a photo, can you sign me? Xiaomi and Mian froze for a while, and finally recovered. Looking at the girl's loss, she immediately grabbed the girl's hand and raised a sweet smile to her in the girl's surprised eyes, Is it necessary to take a photo? Of course it is. Really, really? The girl looked at her in surprise and opened her eyes wide. Well. Xiaomi and Mian took the phone from her hand and turned it over to the beauty camera. After opening, she posed a pose for the two of them. I'll take the phone. You stand behind me, so that if you take a face appear smaller. Xiaomi and Mian met fans in reality for the first time. Still a very cute little girl. She is responsive to this little fan, not only took a lot of selfies very cooperatively, but also gave the girl a big hug. After being separated from the girl, Xiaomi and Mian felt a little excited, and could not help posting a Weibo. Xiaomi and Mian V, suddenly felt that I am also a fan, happy. She has a photo of the airport. I wanted to send a selfie of her and that fan, but I didn't know that the little girl wouldn't mind the exposure, so I finally dismissed it. After two scandals, Xiaomi and Mian's fans soared and now there are more than 1.2 million fans. And these 1.2 million fans are true fans. Just one minute after she posted on Weibo, there were more than 100 comments. She clicked in and looked at it. 
Then she found that almost all her fans commented in unison, saying there was no self-portrait. Many of Xiao Mianmian's fans are her face powder, who have been clamoring for her to take selfies in the comment area all day long. She is not a person who likes to take selfies, except for the fact that she is required to post photos at work. She rarely takes pictures of herself. She tweeted Weibo for a while, and suddenly a fan posted a picture. In the picture, it is like a photo of her and the little fan who took a selfie with her. Today is also beautiful, Sister Mian Mian told me quickly, is this photo of you? Some people say they met you at Yunchenj airport, is this true? Soon, this comment with pictures was pinned by fans and became the number one hot comment. Xiao Mian Mian looked at this hot comment for a few seconds, the phone suddenly rang, and the caller ID came from Linda. She picked it up immediately. You met a fan at the airport today and took a photo with her. Linda asked straight away. Xiao Mian Mian was startled again. She thought that Linda called her to tell her about work. Unexpectedly, she asked about it. Yes. Sister Siet, what's the problem? She had already had two gossips in a row, and she was very weak in her heart, and asked cautiously. Although she feels no problem with taking photos with fans. And still a female fan. However, she was frightened by the previous two scandals, for fear that she had done something wrong again. After asking, she waited anxiously. Just taking a photo with the fans, why is there a problem? I want to ask you if you saw your fan ate your Weibo? If you see it, just forward it, this will help you feel good. Although before saying the scandal has been resolved, but there are still many people hacking you online, and your passerby is still not very good. This matter can help you increase your popularity. Okay, I know. I'll forward it immediately. Xiao Mian Mian couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Fortunately, it wasn't that she had something wrong again. If anything happens to her, no matter whether Linda wants to cancel the contract with her, she will want to cancel the contract because of guilt. After hanging up the phone, Xiao Mian Mian searched on Weibo again and soon saw the Weibo sent by the little fan. The little fan told me to give me a cutie. Send me a lovely one, OMG, I met my idol sister Xiao Mian at the airport today. My sister is super invincible, and she doesn't even have any chance. When taking pictures, not only did I hide behind and shoot, so that my face was small, but also offered to take more pictures. By the way, my sister also gave me a hug of love. The fragrance on my sister's body was soft and soft. I couldn't bear to let go. Love my sister, I want to be my sister's life powder. The little fan posted four photos of the two. Xiao Mian Mian looked at the time. The time when the little fan posted Weibo was almost five minutes away from the time she posted Weibo. There are almost a thousand reposted Weibo posts by fans, and many in the comment area lamented that Xiao Mian Mianyan was invincible. Because the little fans told everyone in the comment area that Xiao Mian Mian was a plain face. The little fan also replied to netizens that Xiao Mian Mian's skin was particularly good. She leaned closer to see that she didn't even see a pore, and she envied her and cried. Of course, there are those who praise her and others who black her. Some netizens said that she pretends that even the incidents are said to be arranged in advance. What else to say that looking at makeup is not necessarily true makeup, and naked makeup is so good that most people simply can't see it. The little fan was angry and went to these people immediately. But after all, it's a teenage girl. Where can a single person survive a few black guys? These sunspots have dirty mouths, and the little fans who licked their dogs dared not to return to them. Xiao Mian Mian had just read the comments casually and saw that the black powder had attacked her little fan, and she was so angry that she personally went to the battlefield to tear people. She replied to one of the black spots with her honor number, she closed her mouth and licked the dog. Why did you do it? You licked the dog yourself and felt that your heart was unbalanced, thinking everyone was the same as you? Many artists Weibo has a dedicated team to take care of the business. 
Xiaomian Mian is not enough now, there is no professional team to help her operate, so her Weibo is managed by herself. It's not very good, but it also depends on the specific situation. If you do this today, it will not only have no negative impact on you, but also help you get a lot of favors. Because what you do is to make the fans warm and moved, it will make passers-by easy. Something that produces good feelings. Is that true? Xiaomi and Mian reached out and patted her chest, relieved. She didn't know the consequences before doing this. So it's actually quite impulsive. But listening to Linda saying this, she seems to have made the right mistakes? Well, at least the relevant comments and Weibo I see now are all about you, saying that you are really temperament, and maintaining the behavior of fans is very heartwarming. However, although you did it right this time, you still have to pay attention in the future. After Linda boasted, it was time to criticize and educate, what do you want to post next time, ask me first, do not make your own decision. You are lucky this time, if you are unlucky next time, just give a word, may all put you to death. Xiaomi and Mian also knew she was impulsive this time. Although it did not cause any consequences, it seems that there was a good response, but it does not mean that she did it right. You can continue to do so in the future. Therefore, she accepted the criticism humbly and obediently said, Well, I know. I will ask you first in the future. After Linda criticized the education, she wanted to hang up. Xiaomi and Mian suddenly remembered something and stopped her, Sister Siet. What else? Well, there is one thing. That, my female number three character is gone. What are you talking about? Linda turned up the volume at once, what's going on? Why is your character gone? Did you offend the director? Er, no, Baideo said that I am quite suitable for the female number one so let me challenge the female number one. Then, I agreed. Well, Linda is her agent. Such a big thing, she must talk to the agent. After Xiaomi and Mian finished speaking, there was no movement there. She waited for a while, but nothing happened. Sister Siet. She shouted softly. Are you still there? Did you hear what I just said? First, a breath of breath sounded, and then Linda's voice finally rang again, you said, Bai Yusheng asked you to play female number one. Um. Sorry, Xiat, I promised him without consulting you. Xiaomi and Mian felt that she did not respect the agent. Under normal circumstances, she needs to talk to the agent first. After discussing it, I decided whether to take the female one. But at that time, she didn't think so much at all. She is happy to die. Sister Siet, aren't you angry? Xiaomi and Mian finished and found that Linda was silent again and asked with some anxiety. No. After a few seconds, Linda said again, I'm not unhappy. You took the female number one, and I was too happy to be happy. Why did you get angry with you? It's just that you are sure that Bai Yusheng wants you to play female one. No. This matter has been settled. Huang Yilin made such a material, and everyone in the circle knew it. It is not surprising that Bai Yusheng would replace Huang Yilin's female number one. When such a thing happened, number one was definitely not allowed to be played by a female entertainer with a negative scandal. Only willing to send you. Now that you have called the car, when I said nothing. I go first. After finishing speaking, he climbed up the window and the next second, the black Maybach quickly drove away from Zhou Mian Mian. Xiao Mian Mian. She felt Miyazawa seemed angry. Is it because she rejected him? She couldn't understand the man more and more. However, if he is angry, get angry. Anyway, she didn't want to get any favor from him. Who loves who? Ten minutes later. Xiaomi and Mian got in the car and clicked on WeChat to see that Zhang Luli still didn't return to her WeChat. She frowned, and a little uncomfortably made a phone call. After three or four sounds, it was connected. After the call, 
she immediately asked, Lolo, where are you, what are you doing now? Wu, baby. Zhang Luli came with a crying voice. Chiao Mian Mian's complexion changed, and his heart suddenly raised, Lolo, what's wrong with you? Zhang Luli is a very strong girl. Chiao Mian Mian had never seen her cry. So after hearing Zhang Luli's crying, she was surprised and worried. Wu, baby, me, I. Zhang Luo said, I, I don't know what to say to you. I, I am, that. What's wrong with you? Chiao Mian Mian was about to die. Zhang Luli is not such a blunt person. For the first time, she watched her grumble and chatter so much that she couldn't finish a word for a long time. I don't know how to tell you. Zhang Luli was silent for a while, and sighed, I never thought this kind of thing would happen to me. Alas, I told you directly. I... I fell asleep with a man. Chiao Mian Mian. What are you talking about? Lolo, are you kidding me? This kind of thing, how can I make a joke with you? I also, hope it's just a joke. Zhang Luli said in frustration and sadness. It happened last night. I was bored and went to a banquet. Then. Chiao Mian Mian was shocked. Then I was drunk. Zhang Luli sighed again. It seemed that someone was moving his hands and feet in that glass of wine. I was so dizzy and scared that I wanted to leave. But I didn't know how to leave. To a dark place. Chiao Mian Mian, and then. Then I met a man there. Well, what then? And then, I was taken away by him. The next thing, I don't have much impression. Anyway, when I woke up, I was lying in a strange place sleeping on a strange bed. Then someone called Assistant Su took a check and gave it to me. He also said that his master was very sorry for sleeping me, but because of some special reasons, he could not be responsible for me, so only can make up for me in money. Speaking of which, Zhang Luli suddenly laughed. Don't say that the man is quite generous. Do you know how much he gave me? She didn't wait for Chiao Mian Mian to ask her and she replied, 50 million. Isn't this count really small? You can get 50 million for a night's sleep. It seems to be quite worthwhile to think about. I never thought about it. My first time was so valuable. And, although I was dazed at the time, I didn't see what the man looked like. But my instincts told me that he should be handsome, and his body seemed to be very good. I remember I touched him. There is muscle. Lolo. Chiao Mian Mian didn't know how to comfort Zhang Luo away. Encountered this kind of thing, any girl will feel uncomfortable. Although Zhang Luli said quite plainly, he didn't seem to care at all. But how could she really not care? Even if they are not the first person who sees their life as more important than their own lives, they always think of giving it to the person they like the first time. Instead, gave a stranger. Chiao Mian Mian suddenly felt that she and Zhang Luli really had the same life. Because they are almost the same experience. For the first time, a strange man was given. She couldn't remember what the man who occupied her that night looked like. And the funny thing is that she was dizzy after drinking that night and was taken away. Where did she think that her good sister would encounter the same thing as her? Actually, I don't mind if it is for the first time to give a handsome, nice, and rich man. Zhang Luli was silent for a while, then spoke again, with a joke, You know I'm a Yan Go, as long as the other looks handsome, I don't feel bad. But last night, the man's skills were too bad. Chiao Mian Mian. Zhang Luli gritted his teeth and said, It's really rotten to no avail. Nothing but brute force. Mom, I'm still in pain. Not to do that kind of thing with men. Is it a very happy thing, why do I not feel it at all? In addition to the pain, it still hurts. So, can he only be too bad? I wonder if this is the first time for him. If so, it seems that I really don't lose much. Lolo, don't do this. Where are you now, I'll go find you in the past. 
Are you coming to find me? Zhang Luli smiled. Aren't you filming? How did you come to find me? Forget it, in fact it's nothing, just a little suffocated in my heart. After all, I'm even that person I don't know what it looks like. You said, if I went to bed with an ugly monster, I should have suffered more. Xiao Mian Mian turned his head to look out of the car window, and after thinking about it, he decided to go to Zhang Luli first. Lolo, I'm in Yunchenj now. Tell me where you are, I'll go and find you right away. Are you in Yunchenj? Zhang Luli was taken aback, aren't you filming in F City? Well, but I couldn't shoot today, so I took a day off and I came back. Zhang Luli was silent for a while, and sighed softly, although I really want to see you now. But I guess you are going to find a male god. I don't have anything now, really. There is no impact at all. Don't care about me, go find the male god. Zio Bishan is newly married, you can make an appointment and cultivate feelings. Say nothing, he left from F City in the morning, and I am not in a hurry to see him. And he is in the company now, there are many things to be busy, I did not plan to go to him at this time. Well, fast tell me where are you? I haven't seen you for several days and I want to die. Well, this is what you have to come over. It's not that I deliberately dismantled you. It may be that you can see good girlfriends right away. Zhang Luo's affection seems to be better, and there is a smile in his voice. After hanging up the phone, Xiao Mian Mian told the driver the address, and after thinking about it, he returned to Mo Yesi to write a WeChat account. Asterisk. Mo Building. Shen Ro was told by the front desk that he could not go up to find Mo Yesi without an appointment. His face was ugly, do you know who I am? Do I need to make an appointment when I see ACI? She just wanted to go up directly to find Mo Yesi, but she was stopped. This was the first time Shen Ro came to Mo Shi to find Mo Yesi, but was stopped. She looked at the lady at the front desk with a few new faces, only when they were newcomers, they didn't know her yet, and they didn't know what relationship she had with Mo Yesi. So he endured his anger. Sorry, no matter who it is, you can't go directly to him without making an appointment with President Mo. The lady at the front desk looked at Shen Ro's outfit, guessing that her identity was not simple, and she spoke politely, This lady, if you and our friend Mo always know. Otherwise, you should call President Mo phone. These young ladies at the front desk did not know Shen Ro. But it can also be seen that Shen Ro's status is extraordinary, so she doesn't want to offend her. Although the lady at the front desk was already polite enough, Shen Ro was still black. The lady at the front desk didn't want to offend her, but she also had to go public, I'm sorry, this is the company's regulation. If we let you go like this, President Mo will know to fire us. Miss, I hope you can understand. Although Shen Ro was very uncomfortable, he could not get angry at the front desk in public. This affects her image. Taking a deep breath, she endured her anger, keeping her graceful and decent, and nodded, OK, I will call him. She took out her mobile phone, just about to dial Mo Yesi's mobile phone number, and saw Wei Zheng coming in from the outside. Following Wei Zheng, there are still a few people who should be the customers he received. Seeing Wei Zheng, Shen Ro showed a happy face, and put away her phone and walked towards Wei Zheng, White Zhu. Hey, Miss Shen. Seeing her, Wei Zheng stopped and seemed a little surprised, why is Miss Shen here? Are you? Shen Ro was still a little bit angry about what the front desk lady was blocking her, and the tone was not good, I came here to find the as. But I was stopped. Wei Tehu, now is it so difficult to see as, even I need to make an appointment in advance. I came before, but I never needed an appointment. Oh, that's what it is. Miss Shen, this is a new regulation recently. President Mo has indeed stipulated that anyone except Mrs. Xiao and his family who come to the company to see him must make an appointment with him first. So, don't blame the front desk. 
they are also acting in accordance with President Mo's rules. Wei Zheng had a smile on his face, but a sneer in his heart. Thinking that President Mo is now staring at you, do you think your relationship is the same as before? Shen Ro's complexion was not so good. After hearing Wei Zheng's words, his facial expression stiffened for a moment. A few seconds later, she tore off her stiff lips, like a voice coming out of her back alveolus, Yes, is it? It is so regulated now. Even if our friends want to see him, must I make an appointment with him? Wei Zheng. Is this a question of suitability? He would like to say one thing, Miss Shen, President Mo is already married. Want to drink soup? Some young lady stewed him to drink. You're a friend, it's not okay to get these. Anyway, he dare to guarantee that Mo is always impossible to drink. The last meal sent by Shen Ro, Mr. Mo did not even look at it. Oh, Miss Shen really has a heart. It should be. Shen Ro didn't seem to hear the sarcasm in Wei Zheng's discourse, and his lips ticked, it doesn't matter if I like as, I can cook every day. I feel very happy to be able to do something for him. Wei Zheng. You are okay. But is President Mo very close to Mrs. Xiao? What's the matter with you cooking every day for a married man? Don't you think it's inappropriate? Asterisk. To the door of the President's office. Wei Zheng reached out and knocked on the door. After getting the permission, he pulled the door open. He walked in first, then looked at Shen Ro who was behind him, and coughed before saying, Mr. Mo, Miss Shen is here. Mo Yesi sat at the black desk. He tapped his fingers on the keyboard quickly, without raising his head, and responded lightly, Well. That Miss Shen, you sit on your own. Wei Zhang pointed to the sofa next to him, and just turned around to leave, and heard Mo Yesi stop him, order a restaurant suitable for dating at night, yes, and order a bunch of pink roses for me. Don't need too much, 99 will do. Shen Rugong just sat down. After hearing Mo Yesi's words, his figure froze. If she heard correctly. Just now, she heard that Mo Yesi asked Wei Zhang to book a restaurant suitable for dating. Dating certainly cannot be a date with a male client. Therefore, the person he is going to see must be a woman. He also asked Wei Zhang to order flowers. Which woman can make him so valued? When the name came out of her heart, she couldn't help but sink. Wei Zheng Yu Guang glanced at her, thought for a while, then smiled and asked, Does Mo always have to date Mrs. Xiao? What do you say, Mo Yesi said lightly, You are not asking nonsense. Apart from your young lady, which woman can I date? Yes, yes, it was my brain that made a nonsense. Isn't it curious when Madame Young returns? I'll go to the restaurant and book flowers immediately. President Mo, rest assured, I'm sure things are done properly. Yes, let you have a romantic and sweet date with the young lady. After Wei Zhang finished speaking, he looked at Shen Ro again. Shen Ro's face was as dark as the bottom of the pot. At first glance, he was angry. Wei Zhang felt contented immediately. Originally, he said those words just to stimulate Shen Ro deliberately. Knowing that President Mo is married and has a wife. It's still like this. It's really too ugly. Even his assistant can't pass it. Originally, he had a good impression of Shen Ro. She felt that she was a great beauty with a good background, good looks, good cultivation, and good everywhere. However, no matter how good this beauty is, once he feels bad, he feels less beautiful. In particular, Shen Ro also wanted to destroy the feelings of his President Mo and his wife. This makes him intolerable even more. President Mo and the young lady are loving and affectionate, and the relationship is so good that she can easily destroy it. It is estimated that the reason why President Mo made her come up, certainly not want to tell her old. President Mo must have sensed her thoughts. Asterisk. Wei Zheng soon turned around and left. When only two people, Shen Rongmo and Mo Yesi, were left alone in the room, 
Shen Ro couldn't help but move a little. She sat and waited for a while. After waiting for more than ten minutes, Mo Yesi still stared at the computer screen without even looking at her. It seemed that she didn't even find her there. She couldn't bear it. As she called softly and looked at Zhao Mo Yesi who was aggrieved, Are you busy? Are you too busy to even talk to me? Why don't you ignore me, it's me did something wrong make you angry. Mo Yesi seemed to know that there was another person in the office. He finally looked away from the computer screen and looked up at Shen Ro. His eyes were cold and indifferent. Shen Ro was surprised, but she quickly calmed down and shouted softly again, ACI, are you tired now? I boiled the soup for you, would you like to drink it? I made this soup more than four hours, it's delicious. With that said, she got up and opened the thermos on the coffee table, and poured a small half of soup from the inside. She was holding the soup, and just about to walk towards Mo Yesi, she heard Mo Yesi coldly say, I only drink the soup my wife made for me. You should keep this soup for yourself. Shen Ro's footsteps stopped. She tightened her fingers and her expression stiffened. Mo Yesi glanced at her, then lowered his head and continued to deal with the things at hand, also, because of our relationship, you are not suitable for these things. Shen Ro, I have told you many times, I'm married. Even if we had a good relationship before, we should keep a certain distance now. I don't want my wife to be jealous of misunderstanding. So, don't do this kind of thing in the future. Shen Ro's fingers squeezed the edge of the porcelain bowl, and the knuckles showed a white layer. Is it okay for friends to care about you? She clenched her lips, a layer of mist gathered in her eyes and her voice was a little choked. You are married, don't you even need friends? Before, I also not without. I said, before was before, now is now. Before I was not married, you can do anything when you are single. But now I am married, have a wife, I also care about her. I don't want her to misunderstand us the relationship between them, I don't want her to be unhappy because of things between us. So, is her feeling more important than anything else from anyone else? Shen Ro couldn't help but growled, tears fell uncontrollably on her face, as, how many years have we known, you and her how long have you known each other? Obviously, we are the most important person in each other's hearts. But now, it has become her. Do you really like her and love her? Do you really know clearly what your feelings are for her isn't it based on her particularity for you? If, she doesn't have those particularities, do you still think you like her? I know that the reason why you will marry her is because she can cure your illness. Otherwise, how could you flash marriage with a woman? But you are not true at all. You said enough. Mo Yesi raised his head and looked at her without any temperature in his eyes. Shen Ro was stunned and he was shuddered by his cold eyes, only to feel a cool rush on her back. As, I. So, this is the reason why you are counting her behind you and framing her. Mo Yesi's voice became colder and colder. Shen Ro's eyes widened suddenly, and there was a trace of consternation and consternation in his eyes, his hands trembling, almost knocking over the porcelain bowl in his hand. As, you, what are you talking about? Her eyes flickered a few times, her guilty conscience moved away, and she dared not look at him again. Impossible. How could Mo Yesi know? He couldn't have known. What he said must not be that thing, is he testing her? Shen Ro panicked for a few seconds and forced herself to calm down. Mo Yesi sneered, what I'm talking about, you know very well. Do you know why I'm willing to see you today? Shen Ro you don't like her, I won't force you to like her, this is your freedom. But you I couldn't sit back and watch when I moved her mind. As, I, I don't have one. Shen Ro was also not sure if Mo Yesi was trying to test her, or she had already found out. She concealed the panic in her eyes, pretended to be very confused, and tried to keep calm, as, what are you talking about, I can't understand. 
I have nothing to do with injustice, I admit that I don't really like it she, but I don't hate her either. I have any reason to move her. Is it because of her scandal that you suspected me? I think it was all made by someone I found. ACI, you are not fair to me. Unfair to you. Moyesi seemed to have heard a funny joke, his deep eyes narrowed, and a slight flash of light flashed under his eyes, you think I've wronged you? You thought I hadn't checked anything, so I would just suspect you. On. You let the Shuahun company control the postings everywhere to discredit her, frame her as a third party who intervenes in other people's feelings. You know she is an artist, work in the entertainment industry, the quality of public opinion has a great influence on her, you still do this. Shen Ro, you want to destroy her. You do such an excessive thing to my wife, do you think I will be indifferent, not even investigating it? Do you think that if there is no solid evidence, I will meet you? The expression on Shen Ro's face cracked a little. She looked flustered, as, me, that's not what I did. The tracked IP address is at Shen's house. Who else will be besides you? Moyesi's eyes were extremely cold, and there was no temperature in his eyes. I warned you before, don't move her. Mindfulness. Otherwise, no matter who you are, I will treat you rudely. It seems that you didn't take my warning seriously. Instead, it got worse. Do you think that I really won't deal with you? Shen Ro's complexion changed suddenly, and she felt a trace of fear in her extremely dark eyes. Because she has known Mo Yesi for many years. So, she knows his means well. He is a very ruthless person, and treats people he doesn't care about, extremely cold and ruthless. She has been relying on their friendship for many years, believing that he will not really treat her. Even if he married another woman, she still felt that she still occupied a certain position in his heart. It was because she determined that she had certain particularities in his heart, so she dared to start with Xiaomi and Mian. Before she did anything, she had estimated the worst consequences. She determined that even if Mo Yesi knew the truth, she would not really treat her. They have more than two decades of affection. There is also a friendship between the Shen and Mo families. In any case, the consequences will not be serious. Big deal, he just got angry for a while. Because of these things, you should never have a relationship with her. But now, she was suddenly not so sure. She bit her lip and her voice quivered, as, I, I didn't mean it. I'm just too, too jealous of her. I just stunned my head with jealousy, so I did something irrational. I didn't really want to destroy her. I just can't get used to her, I don't want her to live so smoothly. Why, I have been with you for more than twenty years, and I have not been able to be with you. And she just appeared in your life, and I don't even know you more than one-tenth of me, I can become the wife who has been with you all your life can be with you forever. Can it also make you treat her so well and spoil her like that? Why? Shen Ro said, unable to control the grievances and resentments in his heart, and yelled out in silence, is it possible for her to cure your illness? For her so-called particularity? As, you are true do you like her? If she doesn't have these special characteristics for you, would you still marry her? You won't. You don't have any emotional experience, so treat this kind of emotion as love. You think you like her, so you treat her well and protect her from spoiling her, but you don't really like her at all. I just don't know how she can get your favor without effort. Why is she? If it weren't for her to cure your illness, you and her would never have any intersection in your life. And I'm different. We knew each other from an early age. We have been with each other since childhood. Everyone around us thinks that we should be together. If Xiaomi and Mian suddenly appeared, your wife should be mine. As, I'm not reconciled. I have loved you for so many years, and now I want to let you hand over to others, I am really not reconciled. At the end, Shen Ro was sobbing and she burst into tears. She covered her face and wept bitterly, you know, 
I like you for so many years. I have liked you since I first saw you. I have no one else in my heart except you in these years. They all advised me to give up on you, saying that you are already married, and I shouldn't be bothering you anymore. I think too, but I really can't do it. Because she really likes him. He is her whole world. Without him, her world would collapse. What's the point of her life? All she wanted for life was to marry him and become his wife. However, he married another woman and made another woman his wife. What about her? What should she do? Everyone was persuading her to let go, but how could she let go of the feelings for more than two decades? This is undoubtedly digging her heart. Can a person survive without a heart? So, unless she died, she could not let go of him in her life. Moyesi listened to her expressionlessly, without any fluctuation in his face. It seemed that he was just listening to something unrelated to him. Shen Ro looked at his indifferent look, and for a time he felt like a knife, and he was irritated and smiled, I originally thought that we have known each other for so many years, and you have always treated me differently from others, no matter how, I still have a certain place in your heart. Even if you have no love for me, but I am special to you. It seems that I was wrong. Tears continued to fall from her eyes, wet her face and stained the makeup on her face. She is usually a person who pays great attention to image, but at this moment, she let the makeup on her face be spent, I don't even consider a good friend to you, right? He has never been so indifferent to his friends. But to her, it was really cold. Is it because she moved Xiaomian Mian? Shen Ro couldn't help but sarcastically ticked his lips, Xiao Mian Mian's life is so good. You don't need to make any effort to get your heart. And my twenty years of company and waiting are like a funny joke. No, it should be a sad and funny joke. She said everything she should and should not have said, and now she has no worries. She lifted her eyes full of tears and looked at him with love and hate, yes, that thing was planned by me. I hired someone from the Marine Corps to discredit her. Ass, are you going to sever me with this matter? Or, do you want to exhale for Chiao Mian, how are you going to treat me? Mo Yesi looked at her expressionlessly, you did these things to my wife, we really can't continue to be friends. I will be sympathetic to my friends, but not to strangers. Go, this is the last time. Shen Ro we will be strangers in the future. If you do anything that will harm her, I will return it to you ten times and hundred times. This is also the last time I warn you, and I advise you not to act on your own, dragging down the entire Shen family. Shen Ro raised her head a little bit and looked at him incredulously, you are going to succumb to me? Just because I made people black Jiao me and me in once, you have to slap with me? Isn't she all right now? M.O. yet? Secretary, do you really want to be so unforgiving? What did you mean just now? What are you going to do with our family? M.O. yes he looked at her coldly, don't force me to be truly unsympathetic to you. I have nothing to say to you, you can go. Don't come to see me again. I won't see you again. After he finished speaking, he turned around and walked back to the desk pressed the internal telephone on the table, Wei Zheng, you sent Miss Shen away. Shen Ro stood stunned. There was also an unbelievable look on her face. She felt that her heart was torn open alive, and the severe pain from that place in her heart was so painful that her face suddenly became as paperless. He really wanted to sever her for the woman. He even talked about the Shen family. Suddenly, she felt that the man in front of her was strange to the extreme. He was not M.O. Yesi, whom she had known for more than twenty years. The M.O. Yesi she knew would not be so ruthless. Even if he didn't treat her particularly well, he never said such indifferent words to her. Just for the woman named Jiao Mian Mian. Yes. Feeling the anger of M.O. Yesi, Wei Zheng did not dare to delay, and immediately turned around and said to Shen Ro, Miss Shen, please. Shen Ro reached out and wiped the tears from the corners of his eyes, raised his head, and looked at Mo Yesi with a smile on his lips, Okay, 
I'll go, I'll go immediately. I know, you only have one Chiao Mian Mian in your heart now, I stay it will only obstruct your eyes here. As, although you have given up on me, your position in my heart will never change. I believe that time will prove everything. You will know in the future who is the one who is sincere to you. After Shen Ro finished speaking, he turned around and left the office. Wei Zheng stood at the spot for two seconds before he remembered and went out. Not long after the two left, the secretary outside heard a sudden sound of something falling on the ground in the president's office. Several people looked at each other, could not help but a little afraid. What did Miss Shen and their president M.O. talk about in the office? Why did Miss Shen's eyes swell when she walked out of the office? Do you know that President M.O. has a girlfriend? So sad? Asterisk. When Xiao Mi and Mian arrived at the hot pot restaurant, as soon as he walked into the hall, he saw Zhang Luli sitting alone at a table, picking up a hairy belly, and holding a bottle of beer in his hand. She drank her belly while drinking. It seems that one person also has a great time. Xiao Mi and Mian stood at the door for a few seconds and walked towards her quickly. Baby, are you here so soon? Boss, add a pair of chopsticks. Zhang Luli was very happy to see Xiao Mi and Mian, his eyes narrowed with a smile. She reached out and patted the position beside her, Baby, you sit here, we sit next to each other. Alas, obviously you haven't walked for a few days, why do I miss you like that? It feels like I haven't seen you in a few years. It's the same. The store is a bench. Xiao Mi and Mian walked over and sat on a stool with Zhang Luli. As soon as he sat firmly, Zhang Luli put down his chopsticks and turned to hug her hard. Baby, do you know? I really miss you today, and I especially want to see you. As a result, you actually went back to Yunchenj. Ha ha ha, can you overhear what I am thinking? Xiao Mi and Mian also hugged her hard and said with a smile, then we must have a good heart, and I especially want to see you today, so I will come back. Besides, how can something like hot pot less me? Zhang Luo didn't speak any more, just hugged her very hard, and after a few seconds, slowly let go. The boss took an empty bowl. Xiao Mi and Mian adjusted the materials according to his daily preferences. Zhang Luli sandwiched the freshly scalded hair belly into her bowl and said with a smile, you came directly to me when you arrived at Yunchenj. Your husband will not will there be opinions. Although I really want to see you, but if this matter causes your husband and wife to be incompatible, I will feel very guilty. The belly in this shop is a must. Every time Xiao Mi and Mian came, he had to order two copies first. Zhang Luli knew that she loved to eat this, so when it was hot, she directly sandwiched it in her bowl. Mao Duan was hot just now. Xiao Mi and Mian dipped it into his mouth and it was crispy and delicious. After she finished eating, she put a piece of it in the pot and burned it. While watching Zhang Luli picked up the beer bottle again, she frowned and reached out to stop. Lolo, didn't you say you drank too much last night, why are you drinking again now? Don't drink it. Last night was last night. Zhang Luli gently flicked her hand away and took a big sip with her head up, saying with a smile, Relax, it's just a little beer. It's okay to eat hot pot and not drink any wine. Isn't that boring? Would you like a drink? Chiao Mian Mian's wine volume is poor. Drink beer, you can pour two glasses. So she usually doesn't drink. But today. After thinking for a while, she nodded and said, Okay, then I'll drink with you. Are you sure? Zhang Luli raised an eyebrow at her, Are you afraid of getting drunk? With you, I have nothing to fear. Xiao Mi and Mian hooked his lips and took out an empty glass. You can pour a glass for me. I will accompany you for a glass, a glass of wine, I'm fine. It is good. Zhang Luli poured half a glass of beer into her glass, and then touched the next glass with her. It's okay to be drunk anyway, I called the male and let him pick you up. Just you can also make a beautiful drunk ex. A black line appeared on Chiao Mian Mian's forehead. 
she glared Zhang Luli angrily, no seriousness. The two ate while chatting. Xiao Mi and Mian talked about her life in City F in the past few days, and Zhang Luli talked about her job search in those days. Although Zhang Luli studied acting, she did not intend to enter the actor industry in the future. Her dream is to be like Bai Yusheng, to be a well-known director in the future, to film her own favorite dramas, and to support the people she wants. She had agreed with Xiao Mi and Mian, and later when she became a well-known director, Xiao Mi and Mian would be her female number one. The two were very tacit and did not mention Zhang Luli and the man last night. When Xiao Mi and Mian said that Bai Yusheng gave her the role of number one, Zhang Luli was surprised and happy, really. So, baby, are you the heroine now? Okay. Speaking of this, Xiao Mi and Mian was still very happy and couldn't help sipping, anyway, the pressure is still quite high. However, I will do my best to perform this drama well, and I can't disappoint brother Bai and sister Xie to me expectations. Especially brother Bai, he used me as a girl, it's quite risky. Anyway, I can't smash his sign. What? Zhang Luo rolled his eyes. What's wrong? Xiao Mi and Mian blinked. You seem to have a good relationship with brother Bai. Zhang Luli smiled and said, it's all called that. What's wrong, I'm right, brother Bai is a very nice person, and gets along well. Of. Moreover, he chose you to play number one, and he definitely thinks you are suitable. Therefore, you should also have more confidence in yourself. Brother Bai is very accurate in seeing people. He thinks you are suitable, and you must be suitable. In the past, there were many newcomers with no experience who had an important role in his hands, and he was popular. In short, baby, I think you will soon become popular. Alas, I didn't expect that we had agreed upon good things. You finished it so quickly. Anyway, you have to remember our agreement. No matter how red you are in the future, you owe me the heroine of a play. You can't ignore me because you become a big star in the future. Of course not. Xiao Mi and Mian reached out and patted his chest, we are good sisters for life. In the future, if you need it, don't say a drama, you can do as many dramas as you want. Good sisters. Zhang Luli sighed gently, and after putting down the chopsticks, the smile on his face faded a lot. She looked up and drank the rest of the beer in one breath. Baby, I ask you something. Well, you said. Zhang Luli reached out and rubbed his brows, frowning for a moment, then silenced for a while before saying, If I tell you, I accepted the check. Do you think? I am a very greedy person. If it's a bit sturdy, should I tear the check in front of the person? Then tell him not to trample my dignity with the check? Actually, I thought about doing that at the time, but I later I don't think I can accept it. He dare to send it, why don't I dare to accept it? Just to be proud of my performance, and have great self-esteem, I'm going to push away the 50 million sent to me? Isn't that a fool? Anyway, I and I should never see you again. Since he feels ashamed of me and is willing to make up, then I will take down the money. To be honest, there will be more money in the future, with the 5,000 10,000, can solve many problems. And, I'm investing in a script, and I'm short of money. The money he sent was timely. Xiao Mi and Mian listened to her, and thought for a while, I think if it was me. Well, what would you do? Zhang Luo looked at her fixedly. Xiao Mi and Mian thought about it again, and then said truthfully, I will also collect the money. Something like tearing off a check is only present in the domineering presidential novel. Who can stand the temptation of 50 million? Still actively sent to the front. Only a fool would push this huge sum of money away for so-called dignity. However, the man who had a love relationship with Zhang Luli last night, it is estimated that the identity is not simple. Not many people can give 50 million people a shot. Like last night's do, the average man is very willing to compensate, even if it is tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands. 50 million. 
it is indeed a huge sum of money. Although you can't see anything just by looking at money. However, the man was willing to give Zhang Luo so much money, it should be a bit like her. Otherwise, she is very satisfied with her. But he didn't even show his face, and asked the assistant to come over with money, obviously he didn't want Zhang Luli to know his identity. In other words, once he met him, Zhang Luli knew who he was. So Jiao Mi and Mian guessed that maybe the man knew her too. It may be a famous person. Do you really think so? Zhang Luli seemed to put down some psychological burden, and his face looked better than before. Well. Xiao Mi and Mian nodded, 50 million, not 5,000. I don't think anyone can refuse this temptation. Anyway, I can't refuse it. Like you said, he gave it voluntarily. Why not? Well, I think so too. Zhang Luli smiled again on his face, so I took it without hesitation. Ha ha ha, do you know what expression was on the face of Assistant Su at that time? Presumably, he might think I will be angry and will refuse. The result but I accepted the money happily. Anyway, I saw his face suddenly black. Xiao Mi and Mian imagined the picture and couldn't help laughing. I think that Assistant Su is overbearing presidential novels? Otherwise, why would he think you would refuse that money? Did you take medicine? No. Xiao Mi and Mian immediately called the boss to check out. After checking out, he pulled Zhang Luli and quickly left the hot pot restaurant, now go buy the contraceptive pills now. Asterisk. A private residence. The man standing by the floor-to-ceiling window, wrapped in a black bathrobe, was slender and tall, standing like a slack, and just with a touch of his back, he could draw his attention to him. Outside the floor-to-ceiling window is a large green lawn. There are also two platanus trees blocking most of the sun. He had a cup of coffee in his hand, and the freshly brewed coffee was curled with white mist, and water vapor was attached to the lens on the bridge of his nose, making his vision a little blurred. He reached out and took off his glasses and handed them to the maid on the side. Footsteps sounded behind him. After approaching him, he stopped slowly. Master Minister. A respectful voice rang behind him. Mo Shixiu slowly turned around, put away the confusion of his eyes, looked at the person in front of him, and said in a cold voice, How is the matter going? Assistant Su lowered his lip, and the expression on his face was a bit hard to say, according to the minister's explanation, I gave her the check. Hey! Mo Shixiu nodded, hesitated for a few seconds, and then asked, How does she? How? Did you say anything? Is your condition okay? Su Zhu ideally picked up the picture of the woman quickly picking up the check, and could not help but let out a cold grunt from his nose. Mo Shixi raised his eyebrows gently, what's wrong with this? Admiral Minister, you know that woman she. Assistant Su frowned, and looked disgusted. I thought she would not easily accept the check. But unexpectedly, she actually received it so quickly. I have never seen a woman who loves money that much. You don't even know, at first I gave her a check, she looked at me and confiscated it. Then I told her that there was 50 million in the check, and she immediately reached out and took it away. The speed of the hand was so fast that I would regret it. Same. I have seen some women who love money. But this is the first time I have seen such a woman who loves money and loves this straightforward. You are still worried that she will be sad and upset, you are fully worried. I think she is in a good mood after receiving the 50 million yuan. Just by sleeping with you and getting rich overnight, she must be happy and broken. When Assistant Su talked about these, her eyes were disdainful, I think she might have been deliberately pretending to be drunk last night. The medicine is close to you. Why is it so coincident that you were drugged at that time, and when a woman was needed, she appeared? Admiral Minister, I think that the woman should be investigated. Maybe this time the drug incident is related to her. Assistant Su remembered the woman's love for money and was angry. Although the money itself was prepared for her by the minister. Even if she wanted it in her heart, 
it should be installed on the surface. Moreover, he felt that the minister had given too much. That's just an ordinary woman, we're worth fifty million. If it weren't for the emergency at that time, he could just pick a man with good conditions in all aspects for the minister. Basically, there is no need to spend that fifty million. Although the money is nothing to the minister, is that kind of woman worth it? Hey, given a half a million, he feels too much. When I saw the ink, Xiu looked at him expressionlessly, and Assistant Su immediately counseled and explained, I didn't doubt her. It's just that everyone who appeared next to you last night should investigate it carefully. In the past, we always this is how it is done. He specifically emphasized that he did the same before. I just wanted to tell Mo Shixiu around the corner, not because you slept with someone else. I believe others unconditionally. You were not such a person before. Mo Shixiu naturally knew what he meant, staring blankly at him for a while, his eyes lightly responded, Well, check it. Assistant Su was relieved. Fortunately, the minister is still very sensible, and has not become a faint tempted by beauty. Master, that's what I... Mo Shixiu's lowered eyes raised, and his brow furrowed, last night, she might be uncomfortable. You will find her again. Assistant Su was stunned, adult minister said the lady last night. I asked her, what? All the money should be given. In the future, it will be cut off, and the old dead will not communicate with each other. Go find her to do. Um. You find her and ask if she has anything else she wants. Assistant Su? A few meanings? Fifty million has already been given. She still asks if she wants something? Is this the rhythm you still want to give to her? Isn't it? Is it true that after a night of sleep, you have a feeling for someone else? Sir Minister. Do you still want to compensate the lady? Mo Shixiu squinted his cold eyes for a while, and then nodded, I feel guilty. Only by giving her more compensation will I feel less sorry for her. However, Lord Minister, you have given her fifty million. This amount of money is already a lot, enough for ordinary people to worry about food and clothing for a lifetime. I don't think there is any need to compensate. Compensating the kind of woman who loves money, he feels worthless. He would rather donate the money to poor mountain areas. If you let you go, you go. Mo Shixiu stared at him coldly, unhappy, what are you doing so much nonsense? You seem to have a lot of opinions on her. No. Assistant Su quickly denied, I just think that the compensation of 50 million yuan is enough. If you make extra compensation, Lord Minister, it will make her feel that your money is particularly easy to take. It is inevitable that the lion will open his mouth. Changed to other people, Assistant Su is not very worried about this problem. But that woman last night. She loves money so much, and then to make compensation, she will definitely open her mouth. Lion's big mouth is also opening with me, what are you worried about? Mo Shixia pursed his lips, and his voice was cold. No matter how she makes a lion's big mouth, I can get it. I wish she could get more, like this, I also feel better. Assistant Sue. It's over. This is the head of his family. How can it be like a ghost? If he hadn't heard it with his own ears, he couldn't believe it. Such a faint-hearted character would come out of his minister's mouth. Knowing that they will be pitted, and want to be pitted? I also felt more comfortable if I was pitted. This psychology, he could not understand anyway. He thinks it, that night last night. This is a silly sleep for his parents. Still stunned, don't go quickly. The Minister of the United States actually takes this kind of woman for nothing but beauty. When did his minister become so superficial? Miss Zhang, I didn't come to you to get the check back. Assistant Su spent a lot of effort before reluctantly suppressing the anger and the impulse to curse. He always treats women as gentlemen. This was the first woman who could not control his emotions and even wanted to scold others. 
because he thinks this woman is really amazing. But she was so lucky that she ran into something good like last night. If it wasn't for her to be deliberately good early in the morning, then she was indeed shit. How many women love their ministers, but they can only look at them from a distance, and dare not take a step closer. Because the minister is like a above, giving people a sense that they can only look far and far from being blasphemous. A man like him is not close to a woman at first sight. But who can think of it? The minister, who has been a boy for nearly thirty years, will be thrown away in the same situation as last night. It was also thrown to such a woman. He felt unworthy for the minister. Isn't it for a check? Hearing that he wasn't for a check, Zhang Luo was slightly better off, but still didn't give him any good looks, and said coldly, So what are you doing here? You didn't say with the money, don't have any contact in the future. Assistant Su grinds the alveolar, the host asked me to come to Miss Zhang. Do you have any other needs? As long as it is not too excessive, he can meet you. The last sentence was added by Assistant Su himself. Mo Shixiu never said such a thing. Assistant Su is afraid that Zhang Luo will leave the lion to open his mouth. Although the minister has a lot of money, he can't be capricious to this kind of woman. Zhang Luo couldn't help but stunned, with a trace of surprise in his eyes. She froze for a few seconds before frowning, Have you already given money? Assistant Su, yes. But my host has a good heart and still feels ashamed of Miss Zhang, so I hope you can put forward some other requirements, and he will try my best to meet you. Miss Zhang can think about it, do you still have anything? What is needed? Of course, my host's ability is limited. So I hope that the request made by Miss Zhang is as reasonable as possible. This is better for everyone. Zhang Luli was silent. Assistant Su waited a while, before she responded, her brows frowned again, Miss Zhang, have you considered it? Zhang Luli raised his eyes, no need, I don't have anything I want. Also, is your host ugly enough to see someone? There is nothing he dares to come to me and say every time. Your assistant tells you. What are you talking about? My host is not ugly. The host is handsome and handsome, and I don't know how much she is admired by women. Assistant Su said that Mo Shixiu was ugly and ugly. His brows were twisted, and he almost jumped. The face of his home minister, together with the man he was also surprised by the heavens. The golden lady said that the minister is ugly. This is totally unbearable. Oh! Zhang Luo sneered disgustedly. Come on, don't even dare to show his face, it's not an ugly thing. What happened last night? He didn't have any shame for me, after all, he didn't force me. I accepted the check, but not the others. You go back and tell him, don't feel sorry for me. Although his technology is terrible, it makes me feel that the experience is extremely poor, but I don't blame him for the 50 million copies. In the future, it will be two different widths, everyone is a stranger. Cough cough cough. Assistant Su opened his eyes wide, a violent cough, his face flushed red. He stared at Zhang Luli with a strange expression on his face, as if she were some kind of monster. In fact, in Assistant Su's mind, Zhang Luli is now almost like a monster. He had never seen a woman who could come up with such a thing in public. It doesn't matter. It's like talking to people about the weather today. Moreover, it is even more unbearable. What is even more excessive is that she actually said that the minister is poor in technology. Well, last night was the first time for Lord Minister. The first time a man has no experience, he will inevitably perform worse. But how could she say it directly? It doesn't give the minister any face at all. Miss Zhang, if you say something like this, I'm afraid it's a bit wrong. Assistant Su's mouth was crooked. How can Miss Zhang be such a private matter, just say it. You are slandering our master behind your back, is it a bit excessive? Master does not treat you lightly. Do you think you can get as much as 50 million for another person? Zhang Luli had a smile on his face, 
and when he heard this, the smile on his face dissipated and his eyes sank. Assistant Su, as if he hadn't seen it, continued to be in justice, and, the master still wants to compensate you a little more now. The master treats you so well, but you slander him like this, you are really too much. Do you know who my host is? Do you know how many women want to go to bed? Do you know what good luck you did last night? Well, I tell you, if it was last night it's just an accident. If I find out that you are deliberately close to the owner, don't blame me for it. As long as she found out, she was deliberate. Even if the owner really cares about this woman, he will not be weak. Protecting the safety of the owner is the most important thing for him. Everything else is not important. He must solve everything that threatens the personal safety of the owner. Hearing the threat of Assistant Su's words, Zhang Luli was all ridiculed, Oh, I want to know, how are you so polite? Also, the owner of your family is really a great identity. Glasses tell me you, what about other women, that's their business. I'm not interested in your master at all. Technology is so bad, there are still a lot of women wanting to go to his bed. Oh, are you sure you said everything is true? I have no mood and no time to talk nonsense with you again. Poor technicality is bad, not to be told any more. Have I vilified him? He knows it best. I don't want to have any relationship with you any more. In the future, don't come to see me again. After saying this, Zhang Luli pulled Jiao Mian Mian and turned away. Zhang Luli, you stop me. Whose glasses did you call just now, you are a woman who is rude and has no quality and no shame. Zhang Luo had already walked away for some distance, and he heard Assistant Su growling angrily behind him. She pursed her lips and couldn't help but sneer, the kind of master is the kind of subordinate. I don't think that man is a good thing. Xiao Mian Mian turned his head, looked at him and stood still, staring angrily at their Assistant Su. After a moment of thought, he said, I don't think that man's character is too bad. In fact, 50 million compensation is really a lot. He asked his subordinates to come over and wanted to compensate Zhang Luo a little more. It can be seen that the man still has a certain sense of responsibility. Otherwise, he need not do so. Zhang Luli seemed to hear something weird and opened his eyes wide, Baby, did you even speak for that man? How can someone else's character be good? Did you hear what the just said, maybe it was his meaning. I want to continue compensating for what I said, in fact, I want to explore my tone. What are you talking about? Of course I'm afraid I'm not satisfied with 50 million. I want to ask him for something else. I think he shouldn't mean that. Chiao Mian Mian thought about it for a while before saying, you don't know who he is or his contact information. Why did you ask him for something else? Zhang Luo froze for a moment, frowned and said nothing. So I think he is simply guilty and feels sorry for you. This man, the nature is not bad. As for the issue of responsibility, Xiao Mian Mian actually thinks that it is normal for the other party to be unwilling to take responsibility as long as it is not forced. After all, neither side has any emotional foundation. What happened last night was an accident. And according to Zhang Luli's character, even if the man was willing to be responsible last night, would she be responsible? Maybe. After being silent for a while, Zhang Luo shrugged off indifferently, but he has nothing to do with me. Whatever happened last night, I will treat it as a dream. Forget it, not to mention him, baby. Should you go find a male god? Xiao Mian Mian looked at her uneasy, what about you? Zhang Luli's current state looks normal, but it just looks normal. I'll go back to make up. Zhang Luli said as he yawned while covering his lips. I'm so sleepy now that I don't want to go anywhere, I just want to go back to sleep. Just leave me alone and go find a man god, let's have a sweet and sweet meeting at night, so that it's better than your two world. A few more days at the weekend, I will fly to City F to visit your class. Are you really, no problem? Chiao Mian Mian was worried. 
Can I have any problems, do you think I look like a problem? Now I suddenly turned into a millionaire, I don't know how happy I am. Well, I'm really okay, it's not is it a one night stand? I'm not the kind of woman who thinks it's important to see me for the first time, and I will die if I lose it. She patted Chiao Mian Mian's shoulder, ah, I'll call a car and go. Chiao Mian Mian hesitated for a while and nodded gently, okay, just call me if you have anything. By the way, don't forget to take the medicine. Well, I know. Asterisk. The two each called a car, and Chiao Mian Mian watched Zhang Luo leave the car and then turned around and walked into the other car. As soon as he got into the car, Mo Yesi's phone came. She picked it up. The man's low, magnetic voice came over, it's back to Yunchinch. Where is it now, my name is Wei Zhang to pick you up. Chiao Mian Mian froze, how do you know I'm back? A low, sultry laughter came again, your fans sent you Weibo and met you at Yunchinch airport. You didn't tell me in advance when you came back, did you want to surprise me? Chiao Mian Mian. She almost forgot about it. No wonder he knew she was back. It turned out that she saw the Weibo sent by her fans. Where? Mo Yesi asked her again. I didn't find me when I came back. Where did I go? There was something wrong with Lolo, so I went to accompany her first. I just got on the taxi and went to find you right away. Chiao Mian Mian wanted to give him a surprise, but now the surprise is not enough. Mo Yesi's deep voice was slightly surprised, Zhang Luli. What happened to her? Chiao Mian Mian was silent for a while, uh, it's inconvenient to say now. I will tell you slowly when I pass. Okay, then give me a call when you are about to arrive, and I will pick you up. You come to pick me up. Well, what's wrong? It's nothing. You used to let Wei Zhang come down. Well, I miss you today and I want to see you soon. After listening to his words, Chiao Mian Mian couldn't help but chuckled and said, Mr. Mo, we seem to be separated in the morning. Are you too exaggerated? Mo Yesi said in a serious tone, Well, it's separated in the morning. It's almost ten hours away in the morning. For me, I hope my baby can stay with me every minute and every second. The separation is so long time, I think you are not a normal thing. Okay. Chiao Mian Mian couldn't stand even if Mo Yesi had so many times, he could make her fawn bump with a few sweet words. Asterisk. Twenty minutes later, the taxi stopped downstairs in Mo's building. Chiao Mian Mian got out of the car and walked into the hall. As soon as she walked into the hall, she saw that the elevator door in front opened, and Mo Yesi, dressed in black and black pants, came out from inside. Even if this man is already her husband. Even if she is already familiar with him. But every time he sees him, Chiao Mian Mian still feels emotional. His eyes fell on the man's deep, three-dimensional, handsome face, watching him walk towards her step by step, and his heartbeat could not help but speed up. She felt that her husband was really handsome. How could? Shui Cheng like this. That face, that figure, can kill any old bacon in the entertainment industry. If he doesn't become the company's president, he can definitely eat with his face. And such a handsome man is now her husband. She secretly rejoiced in her heart for a while, feeling like she had picked up the treasure. Just as she committed nymphos against Mo Yesi, other female employees in the hall were also peeking at their bosses, and even Chiao Mian Mian could not hold up the charm of Mo Yesi, and he was nymphos to him, not to mention others. The female employees blushed and hearted, and their eyes were filled with spring. When Mo Yesi walked out of the elevator, they couldn't help but straighten their chests, and flicked their hair with their hands, and then smiled sweetly at the corner of their mouths. I want to show my most beautiful side. Although they have all heard of it, President Mo has recently made a girlfriend and is also very fond of his girlfriend. But as long as they are not married, they still have a chance. Moreover, President Mo was never close to female sex, 
but now he is willing to make a girlfriend, does that mean he has changed sex? Interested in the opposite sex? Therefore, they actually have a chance. In case. If you can be seen by a man like President Mo, even if you can't marry into the Mo family, you can have a love relationship with such a man. And President Mo is so rich. Even if you break up, you will definitely be compensated a lot. Anyway, you won't lose anything. The female employees held this kind of thought. When Mo Yesi passed by them, the smile on her face was a little brighter, and the voice was sweeter than usual, Good afternoon, President Mo. Mo Yesi did not squint and walked directly towards Chiao Mian Mian sitting in the rest area. The female employees looked at him with him, and then they saw Mo, who was still in Xiao Xiang, walked in front of a woman in a white dress, and then reached out and touched the woman's head. The action is very spoiling and gentle. The tenderness and pampering are things that they have never seen before. A group of people looked dumbfounded and couldn't help whispering. Who is that woman? I noticed her just now, and she looks pretty. It looks a little young, and President Mo seems very unusual to her, is he sister Mo? No, I have never heard that Mo has a sister. Is that Mr. Mo's girlfriend? Isn't that Mr. Mo has a girlfriend, and he has brought him to the company before? Well, that is President Mo's girlfriend. She has been to the company twice before, and I have met her. President Mo really does pamper her girlfriend. Heard that before his girlfriend came, he also asked the secretary to prepare lots of snacks or in the office. Wow, I didn't expect it. I thought that a man like President Mo simply didn't understand how to spoil a woman. How could it be? A man who is so cold and cold meets a woman he likes, and it will be different. Where will there be men who don't know how to spoil a woman, but they haven't met the person they want to spoil? The female employees were talking enthusiastically. The other side. How long have you been waiting below? Mo Yesi reached out and took Chiao Mian Mian, holding her slowly out of the rest area. The man clasped her fingers tightly. The moment her eyes fell on her, she never looked away again, as if she was the only one in her eyes. I just came. Chiao Mian Mian felt that the employees around her were watching her. She was a little embarrassed. She pursed her lips and said softly, Aren't you busy now? Busy. Mo Yesi hooked his lips, No matter how busy my wife is, I have to pick you up. Chiao Mian Mian's lips rose sweetly, Did I delay your work? In fact, I can just go up. Work is not as important as my wife. Mo Yesi led her into the elevator. After pressing the floor, she reached out and hooked her jaw, lowered her head and kissed gently on her lips, and then said in a low voice. One, the others are behind. The elevator doors have not been closed. As soon as Chiao Mian Mian turned his head, he saw the employees outside stretched their necks and looked towards them. She blushed shyly and tapped his chest twice with her small hand, What are you doing? You will not be allowed to kiss me outside. Baby, this is in the elevator. It's a coincidence. Chiao Mian Mian clarified immediately, I didn't even know that he was on that flight, nor did he know where he was next to me. Linda was silent for a while, and said, I believe what you said, this is just a coincidence. But now, Someone took you and took a lot of photos of your interaction. Before, Gong Xiao publicly helped you on Weibo clarification has made many people doubt your relationship. This time I photographed you taking the same flight again, and it happened to be together again. At this point, Linda was silent again, and after a few seconds it continued, the man sent the photo to Weibo now, netizens on Weibo are talking about your relationship with Gong Xiao. Originally, the direction of public opinion has begun to go in a good direction. But now, after the scandal between you and Gong Xiao, public opinion is not good for you again. Linda said, sighing, your recent segment there are too many scandals out of time. Although it has been clarified that it has nothing to do with you, it will inevitably make people feel that your team is deliberately hyping you. 
and we found that there have always been black spots hacking you everywhere. As soon as you published the news, they immediately heard the news and attacked you in various comment areas, chaotic rhythm. In this incident, I don't know if the person who posted the Weibo is a real netizen or someone with ulterior motives. Think about it, who did you offend? Xiao Mianmong froze for a long time. Who did she offend? She did not take the initiative to offend anyone. But every time she didn't take the initiative to find someone else's trouble, she still couldn't escape others' trouble. If you have to say who offended her. She felt that she offended more people. If you can have money and hire the sailors to black her everywhere, the economic strength must be not bad. She thought about it and came up with three people. Chiao Angzhen, Shen Ro, Huang Yilin. These people are the most likely. Among them, the possibility of Shen Rong Qiao's peace of mind is the greatest. Huang Yilin is now ridden with black material, and she is insecure. She probably has no intention to black her. Xiao Mi and Mian guessed for a while, and got a little bit. Sister Xiat, do I need to post a Weibo to clarify this matter? Xiao Mi and Mian had a terrible headache and had been devastated by the recent scandals. Where can she think of it? She just took the same flight as Miyazawa, and she was able to be photographed and taken out for speculation. Not for the time being. Linda thought for a while, and then said, let the group of sunspots continue to bouncing and bouncing, so that we can find out exactly where this group of people came from. This time the scandal is with Gong Gong Xiao. Relevant, speaking of it, although it has a bad impact on you, it is not without any benefits. Benefit. Xiao Mian Mian couldn't figure out how the scandal between her and Miyazawa would benefit her. Well, you had a gossip with Gong Xiao before and this time the gossip has caused a lot of trouble. Many people will think you have a close relationship with Gong Xiao. No one will dare to do anything to you in the future. This will avoid a lot trouble. Linda said obscurely, but Xiao Mian Mian quickly understood. Linda is talking about unspoken rules in the circle. Once she has a relationship with Miyazawa, many people will be scrupulous and dare not move her casually. This is indeed a good thing for her. Just. Xiao Mian Mian thought of a jar of vinegar and suddenly became a bit big. To let him see the scandal between her and Miyazawa, she had to explain for a long time, coaxing for a long time. After a few more chats, I hung up the phone. Just hung up the phone, and a voice that could not hear any emotion rang at the same time, Your agent called you? I just heard that you mentioned Gongsi. Is there anything related to him? Xiao Mian Mian raised his head while holding the phone. She wanted to say nothing, but thought that her scandals must have been in full swing. If you don't tell him the truth, it will be worse when he sees it himself. After hesitating for a few seconds, she explained the situation at that time. Anyway, it's a coincidence that he and I will be on the same flight. Don't believe the hype, it's all fake. M.O. Yes he listened, the mood on his face did not change. He picked up his phone, logged into Weibo, and searched for scandals about Xiao Mian Mian and Gong Zili. After reading the scandal roughly, he turned off his phone. The man raised his head, and there was no expression on the handsome face, and his voice was a little cold, what's going on with that blindfold? Hey! Xiao Mian froze. M.O. Yesi squeezed his lips tightly, his eyebrows twisted, and stared at her with a disgruntled eye for a few seconds before he said, You gave him a blindfold? Isn't your relationship with the fourth child good, why are you giving him something? The most annoying thing is that he just looked at it. The blindfold that Miyazawa wore, and the blindfold that Jiao Mian Mian wore were pink. One is a bunny and the other is a kitten. It seems that the two are like the couple's blindfolds. Moreover, what kind of eyes does the guy in Gongsi look at her? He wanted to dig the guy's eyes. Dare to stare at his wife like that. M.O. Yesi felt very uncomfortable thinking that Xiao Mian Mian had never delivered his blindfold. Xiao Mian Mian. Isn't he jealous again because of this? In order to avoid his bad feelings, 
she quickly got up and walked to him, took one of his arms and explained to him anxiously, I thought he helped me once before, and the blindfold was not a valuable thing. He asked me where I bought it, and I gave him one. Really, I bought it on Dobeo, three for ten dollars. The man's face was still stretched, but because of the girl's timely appeasement, his face was a little better than before, can you send it for three for ten yuan? You have never sent me. At the end, the tone was a little bit grudge, and there was still a trace of grievances. Chiao me and me and pulled the corner of his mouth, and almost couldn't help laughing. Every time Mo Yesi is jealous, it looks like a child. Very different from his usual image. She once heard people say that men only show a childish side in front of a woman when they really like a woman. So, although this man loves jealousy all the time, and can't be careful with his emotions, Chiao Mian Mian thinks he cares about her and likes that she will turn into a jar of vinegar. Basically, there is no way to blame him. So what do you want? She looked at him funny and thought that Mo Yesi was so cute, so when he coaxed him, he also coaxed the children's tone, when you go to work, we will go shopping in the mall, I will buy one for you? Well, I give are you buying expensive ones? Mo Yesi raised her deep black eyes and looked at her. His beautiful face eased a little bit more than before. Obviously, she was pleased by what she just said. There was a little smile in his eyes, but his face was still stretched, I didn't ask you. Yes, yes. Chiao Mian Mian continued to laugh and coax a certain arrogant man. You didn't ask me for it. I wanted to buy it for you. Buy me expensive. Well, buy the expensive one, pick the most expensive one. I didn't force you. Yes, yes, you didn't force me. Everything is voluntary. Then you said, go to the mall to buy it later. Mo Yesi said here, his eyes were already lightly smiled, and his lips were tickled. He reached out and pulled Chiao Mian Mian into his arms, let her sit on his lap, hugged her and opened a document, you read the last few documents with me, and I can get off work. Chiao Mian Mian twisted in his arms, adjusted a more comfortable sitting posture, stretched his arms around his waist, and hugged him, will this affect your work? The fragrance of the girl in her arms is soft. The tantalizing sweet fragrance haunted his nose, and it would have no effect on him, impossible. Hugging her, he always has a snack. Want to do something else? But the feeling of holding her was so beautiful, he was reluctant to let go of her. He took a deep breath and endured the hotness caused by her twisting just now, his voice squeezed, and the words he spoke were a little hoarse, Baby, as long as you don't move around in my arms, there will be nothing to me what effect. Otherwise, if you twist twice, I may not be able to guarantee what will happen in a while. As if to prove his words, there was a very honest reaction somewhere. Chiao Mian Mian sat on his lap and felt it all at once. There was a heat wave on her face, so frightened that he froze in his arms and dared not move again. Last night. This man was tossing for too long. Moreover, so many tricks to toss her, until now, her legs are still sore. She didn't want to be tossed again before she recovered. Asterisk. A private club. In the renovated antique courtyard, a handsome and evil man sits in a gazebo. Around the gazebo is a pond full of pink lotus flowers. The man leaned on the scarlet railing, holding a piece of fish food in his hand. His slender white jade fingers twisted the fish food in the small porcelain bowl and threw it into the pond, attracting a group of fish to scramble for food. A delicate tea set was placed on the stone table next to it. The tea artist in the clubhouse carried the teapot into the teacup and poured hot water. The refreshing tea fragrance rose into a white smoke and spread around. The air is full of sweet and pleasant tea fragrance. The tea artist carried the teacup and respectfully and carefully delivered it to the man who was feeding the fish, Young master, please taste it. Miyazawa threw some fish food into the pond again before turning around, taking the wet hand from the waiter and wiping his hand. After wiping, I took the cup of tea. As soon as I took a sip, 
I heard a footstep slowly approaching. After walking into the pavilion, the footsteps stopped. A respectful voice rang, Young Master Gong, Mr. Chiao is here. Gong Zili lazily raised his eyes, and his eyes fell to the face of Chia Ruhe who was standing there anxiously, hooking his lips. Mr. Gong, I, I don't sell my daughter. Although Chia Ruhe was afraid of Miyazawa from the heart, he still spoke up with courage. Although our Chiao family is short of money now, it has been my pain from childhood. My daughter, I will not exchange money for her if I are short of money. Miyazawa frowned as he heard it. Mr. Chiao, have you misunderstood something? His face was not so pretty. When did I say I wanted you to sell your daughter? Chia Ruhe froze, Gong Xiao is not right, then you. Chia Ruhe could only think of this possibility. As the saying goes, there is no wind and no waves. This one after another scandal made people have to think in that direction. In addition, he was too aware of what kind of face Chiao Mian Mian had grown, and it would be no surprise that these top-notch rich second generations would be seen. So when he heard that Miyazawa was looking for him because of Chiao Mian Mian's affairs, he immediately wanted to take care of his lover. Chiao Mian Mian is certainly not able to marry in the door like the Gong family. Even being a formal girlfriend for Miyazawa, I'm afraid it won't work. Gong Zili said with a cold face, why should Mr. Chiao think his daughter is so worthless, why should I have anything to do with her, it must be in the form of business. The phrase sell daughter makes Miyazawa feel uncomfortable. If it is a woman he likes, why not sell it? The word sell makes people feel cheap. Miyazawa was so cold-faced that Chia Ruhe was terrified, and said tremblingly, Yes, Gong Xiao said yes. I misunderstood you. He was afraid that the hands holding the teacup were shaking. Looking at Yunchinch, who is not afraid of the crown prince. I heard that he has some irritability. It is the kind that the six relatives don't recognize once they get sick, and they can't control their emotions. We'll do something irrational. Chia Ruhe was terrified when he thought that Miyazawa had made people vegetative before. Miyazawa watched him as if he were afraid, and frowned softly again, and could not help but converge on some of his anger. Anyway, he is Chia Mianmian's father. He didn't want to treat him in the same way as others. Mr. Chiao, what I want to ask is something that happened ten years ago. Miyazawa said again, and his temperament was a lot more calm. It was no longer as daunting as it was at first. Do you remember, you did you take Chiao Mian Mian to a palace banquet ten years ago? That year was my birthday. My parents feasted a lot on Yunchinch, and the Chiao family should be among them. Chia Ruhe froze for a few seconds, his eyes were surprised, then he lowered his head and frowned, a banquet ten years ago? I can't remember it for a time. It is too long now. Gong Rong let me think again. Okay, Mr. Chiao, don't worry. You can think slowly. Under the seemingly calm surface, Miyazawa was already nervous. He squeezed the tea cup in his hand and drank his head to drink the tea in the cup at one breath, think slowly, think carefully, you must think clear. Because of this matter, it is very, very important to him. He couldn't tolerate any mistakes. Maybe he has missed it once. He can never, wrong again. Although Jia Ruhe didn't understand what Miyazawa wanted to do, he could hear it from his words. He seemed to attach great importance to the matter he just asked. The narrow, long, and soft eyes were shocked, and the expression on their faces was shocked. They looked at Jia Ruhe with a shocked and unbelievable look, and the deep eyes were mixed with other complex looks. In short, at this moment, the expression on his face was complicated and changeable. In a short time, his face changed several times. Chia Ruhe didn't expect him to react like this. A little scared. I don't know if the thing he said is good or bad. He shouted at the sharply contracting eyes of Yuwa Miyazawa, Mr. Gong, me, am I saying something wrong? You just said that at the birthday party that day, you saw Chiao Mian's wet body. Yes, yes. 
Did she tell you why she was wet? Hey, this, she didn't say it. Chiaruhe said cautiously, I asked her at the time, she didn't say anything, just because the backyard lights were a bit dim, she didn't know the road, so she accidentally fell into the water. She's been to the backyard. Miyazawa felt that his heartbeat instantly reached 150, his fingers were shaking more and more, and his chest was shaking too. The answer he wanted to know seemed to be getting closer and closer to him. Yet. Chiaruhe returned honestly. So, she only got wet after she went to the backyard? Do you remember when she went? It's hard to remember. Things I remember ten years ago are pretty good. When exactly did he remember? But for Miyazawa, some things he has learned so far are enough for him to investigate the truth of the year. Although he can't be 100% certain about something. However, the evidence currently available is close to 90% of the truth. If, the truth is what he guessed, then. Miyazawa clenched her fists, her eyes sinking, and an irresistible anger rose from her chest. Chiaruhe looked at him with a change of face, and his heart became more and more embarrassed, thinking he was wrong. He murmured, Young Palace. Miyazawa took a deep breath and dropped the teacup in his hand, Mr. Chiao, thank you for coming here today, and solving a very important thing for me. Do you have any requirements to ask me, just as I thank you? Chiao Ruhe was flattered. God knows how difficult it is to get a sentence like Miyazawa. He didn't dare to think about what Prince Gong's help meant. Just now he saw Miyazawa's face was not very good, and he was worried about dying thinking he was wrong and annoying him. I thought he was about to suffer. But who can think of it, the next second, the surprise will hit the head. However, although it was extremely difficult for Miyazawa's help, Chiaruhe couldn't be more easily flattered. The other party was polite to him, maybe it was really polite. If he didn't know quite well, it was that his emotional intelligence was too low. You are too polite, and I didn't do anything. After all, it's my honor to speak to you, I am afraid to ask for anything more. Gong Zili said, I rarely take the initiative to help someone, but was rejected. Mr. Chiao, you think about it, you will not have the opportunity if you miss it. Are you sure you really don't need it? This time, Chia Ruhe hesitated. Where would he really not need? In fact, he needs it now. The current situation of the Chiao family is a mess. He has been busy with the past few days, running around to pull investment loans, but few people are willing to take care of him. I was so worried about eating loans that I could not eat well or sleep well. It can be said that Miyazawa's help came very timely. He is the crown prince of the palace. Just plucking the hair down can solve his urgent needs. Gong Xiao, if it won't trouble you, I... I hope Xiao Gong can help invest in a project of Jiao's enterprise. The specific project plan will be sent to Gong Xiao when I go back. I guarantee that it is definitely a profitable project. Won't let Gong lose less. Of course, if Gong Gong feels wrong after watching it, you can ignore it. After Chia Ruhe said anxiously, he waited anxiously for Miyazawa's response. I was afraid that Miyazawa would feel that he made excessive demands. It is good. Anyway, Miyazawa agreed without hesitation. You can just send the investment plan to my assistant. I will tell him about it in a while, and he will contact you. You said, how much investment do you need? Chiaruhe looked at him in surprise and excitement, Gong Xiao, is Gong Xiao willing to invest? He didn't expect Miyazawa to agree so quickly. Miyazawa nodded. I promised you would help you once, so I wouldn't go back on my words. This man is his father who saved his benefactor, so Miyazawa couldn't mind helping Chiaruhe once. For him, this help is nothing. Because he owes him a life-saving benefactor, far more than that. If, the person who rescued him was really Chiao Mian Mian, in the days to come, he will definitely treat her well and he will give her double compensation for everything that should have been given to her in these years. How stupid and dumb he was at that time. 
he would confess his life-saving benefactor. Is he too believe in Shen Ro? He believed everything she said. Never doubted her. Chia Ruhe ecstatically stated the amount of investment he needed, and that little money was indeed drizzle for Miyazawa. So Miyazawa agreed to him very simply. Chia Ruhe did not expect that he could not get investment everywhere, but in the end, he solved his problem by relying on Miyazawa. He kept saying thankful words. After confirming that the matter Miyazawa was investigating was good for him, he boldly asked, Gong Xiao, I can know, why are you willing to help me? Is it, related to Jiao Mian Mian? Miyazawa nodded, it's because of your daughter. Chiao Ruhei has guessed. However, he still does not know the specific reason. I don't know what did Mian Mian do that year, it will make Gong Xiao willing to help us Chiao family. What is specific, you don't need to know. It's my mouth, Chia Ruhe immediately said, just Xiao Gong helped us such a big job, I really don't know how to thank you. You don't need to thank me. Miyazawa said lightly. To be grateful, you are grateful to your daughter. I only looked at her face to help this. Otherwise, where is he interested in investing in such a small project? Even if he made a profit without losing money, the little money he earned was nothing but drizzle. Mr. Chiao, I have one more thing. I don't know if you can promise me. After a moment of silence, Miyazawa took the warm teapot on the table and poured himself a cup of tea. Seeing that Chia Ruhei's tea was gone, and took the teapot and poured him a cup. Chia Ruhei immediately flattered the teacup and said, Gong Xiao, let me do it myself. I don't know what Gong Xiao has, as long as I can do it, I will do it for you. It's not something that requires your effort. Miyazawa played with a small porcelain cup between her fingers, smelling the faint tea fragrance, and her soft eyes narrowed her eyes, saying casually, I don't know if Mr. Chiao can tell me something about your daughter from childhood big thing. I want to know her. Seeing Chia Ruhei's face change, Miyazawa licked her lips, relax, I have no intentions of her. If there are any attempts, they are also pursuing her seriously, giving her a fair and bright identity, and not hiding tuckers. She will not try to insult her with money. For me, she is a woman worthy of my respect. Chia Ruhei just wanted to be crooked. But when he heard Miyazawa say this, he immediately dispelled his worries. An identity like Miyazawa actually doesn't need to explain so much to him. If you can let him do that, it is indeed more respect for his daughter. After he lowered his head for a moment, his face showed a soft color, and his voice was a lot softer, since childhood, Mian Mian has been a very well-behaved child. I don't need to worry about her for anything. She is also a very kind person. Very caring child, since childhood, she has been helping some stray cats, cats, dogs, and dogs. In the past, we had a dog named Rhubarb in our house, which she picked up from outside. Miyazawa listened very seriously. Listening to it, he felt that his misunderstanding of Jiao Mian Mian seemed too much. Previously, because of Shen Ro, she was prejudiced against her. I think she is a woman with ambitions. So that every time I saw her, she was very unfriendly to her. Actually think about it carefully, why did he try to get to know her at that time? If it were not for Shen Ro, he would not hate her. She looked at it, not the kind of annoying woman. Chia Ruhei talked a lot, and Miyazawa even patiently listened to him from beginning to end. The whole process did not feel a little impatience. He even heard it with a bit of interest. Then I thought that she was such a cute girl. Kind and beautiful. No wonder that night, she would jump off the pool to save him. Because she has always been a very kind girl. She loves stray animals so much, not to mention people. However, such a lovely and beautiful girl, he actually missed ten years. He actually, now that she was the one who saved him that night. His indescribable annoyance and sense of loss made him feel down at once. Because he suddenly discovered that he knew the truth a little too late. If, even if he knew it a year earlier, 
the result would be different now. If he knew it a year earlier, if he could get to know her before M.O. Yesi, he would not give her the opportunity to marry another man. If the person she married was not M.O. Yesi, he could still grab her back regardless. Before switching to Miyazawa, she would not let her drink any more. But just now, he didn't continue to stop her. The woman was careful at first, and Shenro was very sensitive and noticed that Miyazawa seemed a bit wrong today. Miyazawa gave her a deep look at her and shook her head, not angry. Then how do you? Roro, let's talk. Miyazawa walked aside and sat down, her slender legs folded, I think we need to talk about it. Shenro froze, talk? What are you going to talk to me about? Talk about something a long time ago. Shenro was stunned again, and his heart beat suddenly. She didn't know the reason for the narrow and long phoenix eyes that Miyazawa had clearly made no difference to in peace, and suddenly she felt a panic. This feeling appeared a few days ago when he asked her if she had lied to him. She took a deep breath and tried to keep herself calm. What happened a long time ago? She looked very curious and raised her eyebrows. What the do you want to say? Why do I think you are weird today? Is that weird? Miyazawa smiled away from her lips. Perhaps. I think we should stop turning around, Roro. The thing I want to talk to you about is a thing ten years ago. Maybe, as I said, here, you should know what I want to talk to you about. Shen Ro's eyes widened and he looked at him in amazement. Miyazawa watched her with a calm voice, at the time, at my birthday party, I was rescued by falling into the water. The person who saved me wasn't you. You, what are you talking about? With a snap, the wine glass in Shen Ro's hand hit the ground. The floor is covered with tiles. The moment the crystal cup fell to the ground, it shattered and gave out a crisp crackling sound. Miyazawa watched her reaction, and the last hope she had in her heart was gone. She really, lied to him. Treat him like a fool, and cheated for a whole decade. But why did she do this? She clearly did not like him and was unwilling to accept him, but she wanted to weave such a lie and let him keep her for ten years. He didn't know what it meant for her to do so. Actually, I should have guessed it already. Miyazawa's self-deprecating gossip lip angle, surely so many feelings are wrong, I never thought that the person that night was not you. I'm like a fool. Again, I believe everything you say. Shenro, can I ask you, why should I lie? What is the point of doing that? Don't you not like me? Why lie to me? I was mistaken for thinking that the person who saved me that night was you. Shen Ro blanked his face in a question. She looked at him in panic and shock, facing her question, unable to say a word. How come? How could he know that the person that night was not hers? Ten years have passed since that event. In these ten years, he had never doubted her. Why suddenly? Zi Li, you, what are you talking about? The person who saved you that night was me, not me, who else? Shen Ro calmed down after a moment of panic. She felt that Miyazawa didn't know the truth. He was the same as that day, but he had doubts about her. He has no actual evidence. Because that night has passed, a full decade has passed. Shen Ro changed his face and looked at him with wide eyes, Miyazawa, what do you mean? Would you like me, to be close to each other? It's not a cut-off. It's just that I can't be a friend for a while. Miyazawa's voice was very calm when he said these words. My friend, it's impossible to deceive me like a fool for ten years. If I know these things, I can still maintain the previous relationship with you without any worries, then I am really sb. Shenro, it is impossible for a person to be stupid all the time. You have nothing to say. I hope you will be more sincere in the future and stop deceiving others in the same way. Lies are always lies, and there will always be a day when they are discovered. After finishing these words, Miyazawa never looked at her again, got up and took a step towards the door. Miyazawa, you stop. When I walked to the door, 
there was a cry of Shen Ro collapsed, you said I was a liar, in fact you are a liar. You said you would always treat me well, take care of me, and hurt me. What you said not counting. You said you liked me, you said that as long as I want, Miyazawa's wife's position will always be mine. Do you want to count now? Just because the person who saved you that night was not me, so, have you counted all the promises you have promised? Do you, don't like me now? Miyazawa didn't turn around. He stopped at the door and silenced for a moment before replying quietly, These words are what I said. But I thought the person that night was you, so I had these promises. I thought you saved me, snatched me back from death, so I want to take care of you all my life. You saved my life. I want to take care of you all the time. When Miyazawa said this, he paused for a moment, and the voice suddenly cooled down in the next second, but you lied to me. You also occupy everything that should belong to her. So, if you say you like me, you will be good to me, just because you think I saved you. Gong Zili pursed her lips without hesitation, yes. Behind him, Shen Ro burst into tears, trembling all over, and could not believe this fact. She could not accept such a blow.